No, he and I. Exactly. Yeah. What did I do? Why did you say the thing to me? What you're, you're, you guys are in charge, so everything's your fault. <laughs> All right, I'll go get Adam. Bring some rags, you go get Dev. Okay. Break Dev. into the houses. Dev. Rag them to the computer. What is Dev? Dev doesn't even do stuff. I saw he That's was true, doing a thing. Dev. He was streaming uh, Kirby. I saw that. <laughs> oh! All I see, all you... I see is him arguing on Twitter with Left Leftoids. That's all I ever <laughs> yes. see from him. And playing oh, Kirby. No. And playing Kirby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, he can talk to uh, Fringy about Kirby. Yeah, he can because it's a great game. It's well, really he can't because he's not here. Listen, I don't know if this is in the remit of the podcast, but I've got a theory that um that he's a chaser. But I don't know if we can discuss that or not. Kirby. No, not Kirby. No. <laughs> Sure, fat Ataku. We can, wait, discuss, a, we can discuss this. What's it? Wait, what what's is a chaser? chaser? Okay, I might be opening up Pandora's box with you fellas, but we'll see. Oh. Uh, basically, a chaser is um, uh, like a guy who um, like fetishizes and wants to fuck trans women. <laughs> okay, so they spend all their time replying to them, and they're like, "Oh God, oh let me look at that girl dick and all this kind of shit," right? <laughs> so, doesn't he? I if thought Dev had a girlfriend or something. Penis. Yeah. Well, have you ever seen his girlfriend? Who knows? I don't, I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> I think Isn't she's she on stream. some of the streams or something? Yeah. Oh, okay, fair enough. Well, it, you can have a girlfriend and still have that, you know, desire, right? I don't know, like... I guess. <laughs> oh I just see him in the replies of a lot of trans girls. That's all I'm saying, okay? Oh. That's, that's all How I'm do you saying, know they're right? not chasing him? Okay, maybe they're the chasers. Yeah. He's the chaser. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't work like that, I don't it, think. It doesn't? Oh, it definitely does. Well, the, 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 you've Listen, got this I'm not a misogynist. Have you okay. seen? Have you seen Dev? It could work like that. <laughs> Dev is. I, I've an actually Adonis seen him though. Is how they would describe it, right, Rags? Okay. <laughs> he is. A, he is a Donis. <laughs> he's a space Donis. He's, he's a space Donis. He's a Donis. <laughs> we have we have some artwork that's just come in. Look at this gorgeous. Oh my, oh my goodness! God, I will oh, send her. it to you in a moment when I collect them for my fucking. Is it a picture bad of Adonis Dev? Is, is, it, is Dev. a picture of the Donis that is the Dev? <laughs> he's uh, he's the Don. He's the Donis. The right. Don. He's the first one. I think it's. I'm gonna figure out what's happening while also sending it to you. Uh, look at that. Oh, oh like, that's look at so this. cool. Oh, nice. The Dev, the Donis is, is there. Is, uh... Oh, look at our chairs. Look at the Jedi Temple look. chairs. Kind of. Oh, hey. they are. Okay. I think oh. Rags is the most you comfortable. Can't... It's sized appropriately to me. Yes. I can get I can get full coverage on my little tum tum. Um, Black Soul <laughs> I'm, Odin. I'm glad I've been portrayed with uh with the angel wings and the halo. <laughs> Generally, it's like a forked tail and devil horns. And <laughs> oh, I was gonna say. Uh, this is the... oh, I'm claiming. Just me. Jeez, you look thanks. like an. You look like um. Oh, you look like Black Mask from Batwoman. It's only well, yeah, kind of, kind of. Maybe the animated ones, not the fucking Batwoman one. You look like Mauler like... from Mauler, honestly. Oh yeah, I... the Mauler show. <laughs> I need to read. Um, let's see. Jay's kindness is a trait we will not share. I have gathered the great <laughs> hosts. I have gathered the whole of the toxic brood. Oh. Very nice. Oh, this Bring is. Oh, dude, it's kinda... like um. Is it is it referencing Resident Evil? Or is maybe the Trinity of Bitches? No, I meant <laughs> I meant the fucking because you remember this, the 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 different people from the bosses, you know, like uh, the... Heisenberg and the the weird sludge creature. Dev kind of reminds me of the. Can sludge I be creature. the big titty vampire oh, mama? I thought, you say Resident Evil, and I think about the, the movie. Trinity of Just... Bitches, of course. Yeah. Yeah, the Trinity of Bitches. We shall oh, counter it. We hair. shall rebuke Jeez. their character. We will be relentless in logic. Are you ready? True meat sounds pick up. <laughs> meat sounds. Just dollar meat got, store, man. The dollar, dollar meat, meat store. store. <laughs> he's got meat in his teeth. Let's fuck them up. This this portrayal of me as being angelic and pure is it's fascinating. It's just mm -hmm. so accurate. So uh, <laughs> remember issues. I was the devil on the shoulder. <laughs> That was the, that was the missed joke I think that having me as the devil on the shoulder being like do it and then he like turns his head and looks at Rags and Rags goes yeah do it <laughs> yeah <laughs> like... do it fucking do it um, do it look at it look at it, stuff like this makes me think about like the end of like the age of the Ransona right I've talked a lot about Ransonas in my content and uh, it's kind of a, a dying breed you don't really see it so much anymore I like just I miss him I love a good character I love a good yeah. I, I love him. 
That's what I like about it. When people like go nuts with the artwork and create like mm -hmm. comic panels, it's fucking great. Awesome. A lot of just a lot of people are just like, this is just in front of my webcam, and my microphone is gonna take up my chin. <laughs> am, I, am I gonna make my bed? No. Oh, oh my god, wait, okay, we've got to touch on this because this is it. fucking pissing me off, Let's okay? Uh-oh. Rags, bro, listen, what the fuck? Do you make your bed every day or what? What's that about? Yes. Oh, come on, that is fucking <laughs> you, bullshit. No, you I don't, don't believe you. No, you don't. I don't believe that. You know, you know it takes it takes like 10 seconds. I believe he makes it every day. I can believe that. I uh, I don't. Well, it's kind of irrelevant though, because it's well, not so a question I'm not whether. I'm going to stare at an unmade bed all day, and I'm certainly not going to do it if it's my background to my job. Right, that's the actual issue. Because mm. yeah, it doesn't yeah, matter if you maybe do it every there's day. a point there. If it's in frame, if you're going to use if it's in frame, it, yeah, yeah. So, I still okay. don't care. I'll, I'll, I'll accept that. Yeah, Mama I, didn't I don't really care no about dirty bread. bed haver. <laughs> dirty bed have self report <laughs> you you dirty bed haver with a hard r mm. no I warned you about that my microphone keeps fucking jumping around i need a new one this sucks Wait, what do you the, have a stand for yeah it? the microphone arm is like automatically going up i don't know i need like a weight to have you tried not giving it. a coffee I need a weight before stream from... It's it's a it's apparently it, my microphone arm has lost weight and therefore is is lifting on its own. It's getting all horny and this I feel it's rising on its own. There it goes. A lot Rise of up. microphones, um, they they come from the factory filled with helium to yeah. make them more light. So y there should be a plug underneath <laughs> the bottom of your microphone where you could mm -hmm. let Hopefully it all I don't out. I need my keyboard so I can keep it further down and you guys can still hear. Me. Should I put it right up to my face? Oh, like no, no, Scott! Ah, oh, no! It's like on Twitch, all those fucking birds are sucking off this the mic. This is the NPR <laughs> podcast with oh, Mauler. Uh, you know. So, does having your microphone get in the way of your, your keyboard? Well, if I put it this far yeah, down right now, it kind of is, yeah. Timing, oh. right? It's what? Oh, I thought you so just... If, right where I would have it like... normally, it'll just spring off and run away. But right now, if I put it down far enough that it doesn't spring off, it's now in the fucking way of my left hand. Can you believe it? Ah. This operation no. falling to shreds. God, Struggle. my microphone. I don't use an arm for my microphone. It has a little. It has a little stand, kind of like my um, kind of kind of uh, kind of like my little my, my little arts here, right? Where it's just sort of sitting in front of the keyboard. I know. I've seen your artwork. Is that far it's... away from your face, though? It's not very far away at all. You no. could lick it if you really wanted to. It's not, I mean, you're like leaning an, down an, next to your mic when you talk. That is a well, fucking OCD what? setup. I believe you make your bed every day now. Josh your hands five <laughs> times when you uh, go to the He's, bathroom as well. He is a clean and proper <laughs> person. That is okay. Important Important to know that this is just an artistic rendition. Oh, right. Uh, okay. Yeah, I was going to say, that's <laughs> not... That's not weird. But, but the uh, fact that you yeah. thought it was real. Yeah. It, it is a, it is good, a testament yeah, to yeah. the quality there. Yeah, but... I... Because I have my... My 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 digits on um, they go past the microphone and I don't have to. Yeah, that, I, well, I don't normally have I wouldn't have this problem, but this yeah. microphone arm is being a fucky fucky fucky. That's yeah. Isn't that like the super duper expensive one that you guys have? Whereas I have my little dinky twenty dollars off of Amazon one. I don't. I think That's the most expensive costs, ones are like yeah. ridiculous. This one was yeah, I think yeah. fifty sixty dollars ish range. Ah. Um, and where did it bring you? And now it has the policy. Well, I mean, it's, it's gone for a good, what, four or five years? So I, I don't, I, I don't oh, hate it that like much. Oh, like ten bucks a year. No, oh, is that I, bad? Ringy has like a I headset know, from 2008 think, from Radio Shack. No, well, Tia said it happened to his headset. one, so I need to go and ask him how he solved it. Um, fuck, what, what, what is even the plan? So we're still missing two members of this wonderful cast. Um, they, Gosh they, darn it. So what we'll do is have some talks about some stuff. We got a new person today. We don't usually do introductions if people have come on before, because we're just like, I oh, fuck it. But this guy oh. is, um, he's like, what, what, where are you from era-wise with that image? It's like, man, you're from a while ago. Are you <laughs> for time travel? Well, it's pretty cool. I mean, listen, okay. Here's the situation, right? When I started this channel, I was a bit cringe, okay? And oh, I was no. like, oh, yeah. Let's go and dunk on the chuds, right? Okay, so I call myself Chud Logic and I use this picture. I, I've changed in, in some ways. You know, I'm a lot more racist now. Um, you know, yes. I'm a lot more... <laughs> I, I've, I'm transitioning to being a fascist, so that's all good. Ooh, um, but nice. no, it, right in. <laughs> We've been exactly, yeah. Nasty podcast. Let's go. That's why I came on, you know. Oh, yeah, see, um, 
but but yeah, is it, am I supposed to do an intro then? Is that, the, is that um, what's going on now? I mean, if you can do like, whatever you want, really. I just because it's a, yeah, because no one's gonna know who the fuck you are in our audience. So introduce no, of yourself. Who the, who the fuck is this guy? So who the fuck am I? I'm Chad Logic, okay, Ooh. and uh, I'm a Twitch streamer, and I talk about um, you're a Twitch like, react streamer, aren't you? Yeah, I'm like a reaction. Uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> all bad. Wait, I'm one of the good ones, you might say. Okay, listen, listen. No, I'm not gonna thing. listen. Listen, I'm not gonna start blowing smoke up your ass straight away. Okay, mm. um, you YouTubers are fucking annoying. No, listen. All I'm gonna say is this: <laughs> Go search Trot Logic on any good social media platform when you find me. I do a lot of drama coverage, some politics, stuff like that. Do you do um, gaming at all? Yes, I play Apex Legends at a very poor level um whilst listening to a vod of something or other i don't know mm -hmm. some panel someone's done um so yeah something like that that's yeah. my game that i play when i i have to focus when i play apex it's one of the, it's one of my serious yeah. games so that it's it's not time what's to one fuck of your around casual game frags what are, what's huh? one of your casual games casual games. uh guild wars 2 that's ah. a good casual game yeah, no, I did. I need more casual games to play because yeah, obviously, like battle royale and stuff is a bit intense if you're Seven, taking it seriously. Mario Kart you, know? eight. Um, you can you can talk yeah. about Kirby if Dead Dev gets back. Yeah, there you go. we can talk about Kirby now. I played it. <laughs> it's not really the same without Dev. It's not. It isn't. Yeah, it's not. It's not. You're, 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 you know. I'm sorry, oh, man. I just I just want to lie to you. I'm so pumped to talk about Kirby. You guys just deflated his spirit. Yeah. It's cruelty really right there in common. No, 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 I, I didn't... No, 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 I haven't deflated I, a spirit. I've just... We're just... Imagine, it's... You have a... a what's it called? A, um, a high time preference. What we're going to do <laughs> is... Yeah. Is you're going to wait to talk about Kirby so that when Dev gets here, mm, it's like edging. I'm there you go. Dude, if their conversation about Kirby isn't interesting, it's going to be so lame. Like, if they, if, if Dev's just like, yeah, it's pretty cool, <laughs> yeah. and then he's like, yeah, yeah. I'm just like, yeah, yeah. well, that's it. Know, it's good. <laughs> any any observations I have are going to be coming from somebody who's only played this game. I haven't played any other Kirby games. Not so. a true Kirby fan. Oh my well, god! Yeah, you're a poser. I, would say that I, was, I never pretended to be a Kirby fan. This I, I feel like Kirby you uh, enjoyed the benefits of such a claim without making it, I, and I'm, I'm I, disappointed and shocked. Wow! Wow! The strength of these <laughs> arguments, huh, chat? Jeez. This, this is a foreshadowing of what you got for the day. I played and Kirby yet, on the and Game yet Boy. No rebuttals. And Super yet, no Nintendo. Rebuttals. And yet. Um, Why don't you play, play your Kirby uh, and suck up a good argument so that you mm -hmm. can become one and then I don't do have what Kirby the does. abilities of Kirby. I don't have those abilities. <laughs> I don't have the abilities. If you were a true I, fan. I, I if you were a true I, fan, I, you would have been a true fan. fan. <laughs> you'd find fan, a good argument and you'd go... <laughs> and, just, yeah. mm. and then spew out good arguments as your ability. Suck it up. Mm -hmm. So well, get, get sucking. I mean, nah, you know what, I'm good. <laughs> You know what? I'm going to say no to that request. I, you um, know what? I'm, you think I'm, that I'm joke ever gets old to the Kirby fan club where probably, they're like, you yeah, suck. Probably. No, you suck. Ha ha ha. Because oh, we uh, both are suck. Not we, and then they hug. Not we clever. Well, so one of the things that I sucks learned, together, Alex, brother. <laughs> one of the things I learned while playing that game and that I kind of knew before is that Kirby's kind of got eldritch like lore. Like it's, it's actually kind of insane. <laughs> like the Me. kind of crazy things that happen in that game like at the end of wow i don't want to say because i would recommend it if you're wow, spoiling spoiler, kirby yeah jesus, yeah, jesus. kirby kirby I'm extends into spoil. the existential terror well uh, so the, it uh... does actually it does legitimately <laughs> <laughs> i'm not even i'm not even really joking well yeah, um, that pink exterior we, we, well, to go, we were supposed to be and... introducing chad and now we're talking about kirby how did this happen what's everything's gone wrong the whole system I, mean, I don't really, I, I don't really I, listen i don't have much more to say i mean unless you've got any specific questions i oh, mean don't worry I'm, about I'm it. Of... i will i'll do it for you so yeah there you've, were doors <laughs> you've given this setup on your stream so i guess i'll do it for mine the the holy reason that i know this fucker is is i contacted <laughs> you to be like hey man how are you doing uh, i feel like your coverage with the I think it was Jay and Denims, right? I, I, I'd listened to it, and then I think you 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 had mentioned that EFAP was like the the anti SJW podcast. They ain't no Nazis, and I was like, man, kind of weird to classify us that way with with everything we get up to. And so, um, I think the way I had the conversation with you, I was I was less invested in immediately being like, you're wrong. I was more like, where does this come from? What are the references out of curiosity? And um, it's a lot of stuff. It, most of its association. Um, because I end up fucking going after movies that are often targets by other 
channels that, you know, like the whole Brie Larson stuff that happened with Captain Marvel, I just didn't care about that really. I was more like, no, the film was just really badly written, and that it's upset really me. Bad, yeah. Um, I only had the one video, and I don't think I really shout on her as a person. In fact, I complimented her acting in a different movie, of which I intend to force you guys to watch at some point. Regardless, Kong Skull Island, that's right. You yes, love Kong Skull Island. Mahler's not a misogynist. He has a Brie Larson friend. I okay. mean, I'm a little bit... Just bad. <laughs> you know, somewhere, somewhere out there, there is, there is the surname Misogynist, and... Ah, there you go. Oh. Yeah, it's gotta, it's gotta uh, be a thing. Miss, so Mr. I'm, I'm, confused. I'm confused. <laughs> Chud said that you that you weren't Nazis, and that bothers you. So what? I was actually like really happy to see that and hear that, and then oh, I was okay. like, I don't really want to settle for anti SJW either. Oh, <laughs> like, I you yeah, can yeah, do that, so Sitch, if you wanna. The, I'm the, fine with that label. Yes. I've I've moved away from it now because I'm just kind of bored of talking about it. You know, yeah. who, I don't really give a shit if Superman sucks a dick, and if you do or don't care about that, whatever, it doesn't matter to me, right? Um, so cultural stuff isn't really stuff I talk about. But do you mean if Superman's gay or if the movie's bad? <laughs> no, or Superman if... sucks a dick if he's a homosexual. Is what I'm talking <laughs> okay. about. Yeah, so it's just <laughs> wow. implied that it would be a bad movie if Superman. Well, no, because I'm dick. like, super, the, like the movie was bad. What are you saying? Have you guys talked about Superman being gay or something? I'm... Uh, no, 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 not at all. I'm just saying that's like a cultural talking point that I'm not really that invested in, right? And if you, not not you, as in, I mean, the royal you, people want to talk about that, whatever, right? But I don't really talk about that anymore. He but has the, the course... last Krypton, Kryptonian penis, doesn't he? Oh my fucking god. <laughs> you fucking nerds, Jesus. Yes, he's got a Kryptonian cock, Jesus. I, I don't yeah, know, yeah, I whatever, that's true. right? Yeah. It doesn't matter what is. what matters is, is it going in a fella's mouth or a woman's mouth? Okay, yeah. Okay, that's what is a, a we concern. Gotta, you gotta yeah. propagate the Kryptonians, though. I mean, he's a duty, right? <laughs> Duty. No, okay, duty listen. Not look, duty. I'm trying to fucking. I'm trying to make a point here. Okay, so I, in my coverage of that <laughs> stuff, I ended up talking about people like I don't know, Doomcock, and you know, geeks and gamers. Whatever, Another right? cock. Stop. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. The point is, you get a perception, and when you see someone with a rant sona and they're talking about movies, and you've maybe got a misconception of their takes, you're like, oh, they're just another anti SJW, right? Um, but I think talking to Mauler. Um, and also going back to my stream and saying, look, has anyone got any evidence of Mauler saying any yike shit and no one really been able to provide anything? I mean, the best they had was Mauler commented on a black woman being bold. So that must mean that he's racist in some you way. You still said that is that is kind of a connection to racism. How does that work? Okay, okay. I was trying to be generous, okay? Listen, I was trying to add some nuance to the conversation, okay? <laughs> is that what nuance uh, All I was saying, all I was saying, and look, at, at the end of the day, I don't know if you've seen the recent discourse, but obviously, oh, with yeah. J Jada Pinkett Smith, that's Abel Noir, ableism against black people. <laughs> I was just wondering noir. if you were maybe engaging oh, no. in some Abel Noir. Is I don't a, know. Is that a meme or is that like That's a the thing, thing that a lot of people <laughs> tried to start up. <laughs> ableism I towards do. detectives. They tried to start it up with the Noir <laughs> thing. It was great. <laughs> It Wait, takes a detective you, to figure all this shit really? out. Who was who was the black woman that Mahler called bold? Bold. So, I mean, <laughs> all of them. All of them. It was. Uh, well, it was one of those. It was one of those like black Walter. Panther women. Walter. I mean, you know. Yeah, the, they all look. Walter. They all look very similar. Not because Amanda they're black. Or because they got the well, same. I mean, no, she's not bold, but um, like, yeah. She's not bold. If you were in the military, you'd probably want to like cut your hair or at least keep it shorter. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's hard. Because you rewind to 2017, and I think that's about the time Walking Dead was almost dead as a cultural interest. And I was just like, oh, it's Michonne. She doesn't have any hair. Okay. Because she has a lot so of hair gone. in The Walking Dead. Michonne usually has very long hair. Yeah. yeah. That's the, and, um... That was your first mistake, I, Well, honestly, redrafting <laughs> no, it, I'd be like, better not throw that in, because the only good it does is show that I was just a little confused and taken aback, but that doesn't benefit the script, and then it fucking gives some people the impression I might be racist somehow, so it might be well, worthwhile no, removing. you're racist because you didn't like Black Panther. I, mm, this is yes. shit. <laughs> I liked him you know, in Civil War, damn it. Mahler was on our stream a couple times, Chud, and I'm pretty sure he said something racist. What? So. Yeah, of course. I think you can go so. check those. Roll back out. the tapes, let's go. Well, um, and also, someone else sent me another thing, which was a forum that was calling you autistic because you make long videos. I mean... And I was like, listen, that's that, may be true. True. <laughs> that may be true, As but that doesn't... <laughs> Absolutely true. <laughs> that doesn't speak to whether you're an anti I'm not going to have a counter for that one, but all right. Autismus <laughs> <laughs> Maximus. So, yeah, I just got more and more frustrated. And I think um, there's this concept of, like, I don't know if you've heard of it before. Destiny spoke about it first, I think. But it's this idea of webbing. And um, it's the idea that you just throw an accusation at someone. 
And if it sticks, that kind of sticks to you. And, and you know, that's how people look at you and judge you and see, you, you know? Well, I quite so like I think you fellas... Uh, the, the concept being that maybe Nazis in the center of the web and an extension of that would be, you know, uh, association with a Nazi or has yeah, a talking yeah. point that relates in some way and then outside of the web on that one is just something less significant and then outside of, and so as long as you get them into one of these it, the re the web does the rest, it puts them all the way into Nazi Yeah, yeah, this, that, exactly, yeah, that's, you explain it way better than I could, um, but yeah, that's basically what happened, and I don't and also, you know, I am on like good terms of like Jack Saint, for example. I know you fellas aren't massive fans of Jack Saint. I get that, but like, yeah. you know, I had a perception from that too, which you know, I think we and Mauler have spoken quite a bit, and you know, I've sort of conceded that that was probably not quite right. But um, I know some of you fellas have got some spicy takes, but we don't need to get into that now, obviously. Okay. Um, I was actually going to say that the whole uh, sort of perception-y thing is just—it's just something that we've kind of. You know, we thought like I may as well ignore it. There are there are Reddit posts that end up with like tens of thousands or tweets that ends up with hundreds of thousands talking about the one Jenny Nichols stream we did, uh, Nicholson rather, uh, and it just they, they never stop and nobody ever has any clue of what actually happened in the stream. Nobody's listened to any comments on it, but the fact that we made a video on a woman was oh. was enough. That was it, um, <clears throat> which was really strange. And uh, from that point on, which was around episode what like. The fourth. 50 something, I think. Yeah, it was relatively early. Wow. Uh, we were just like, well, that's just people talking about us who don't know anything about us. And then it just sucks when random people who I'm, I'm not, like, in any way oppositional to are like, oh, yeah, they're the, uh, the like, the incel podcast. <laughs> it's like, wait, what? <laughs> just because we talk about well, Star listen, Wars? I defended you fellas on, on that. Some of my chat were calling you incels, and I was like, look, they're not incels, yeah, yeah, okay? Yeah. They may be severely autistic, but they're definitely <laughs> not incels, okay? Yeah. Get yeah. Straight people. Yes. Be your shit together is voluntary. <laughs> um, well, actually, you <laughs> you should have seen uh, some of our coverage of the of denims from previous week uh, as as a bit of prep, so you got a bit of mm. bit of knowledge. And um, I was listening to it, and I just, I just I just jotted some things down as topics, so we can delay a little bit, a little bit longer, see if Dev can get here in time. Um, so, and then let's go. Uh, well, I, I was just going to say, like, you're from a different sort of panel culture, I would argue. A panel culture mm -hmm. I'm aware of, and I've seen a lot of, but EFAB is just different and strange, you know? So, yeah. the, 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 one of the main things you got you had trouble with listening to us was the pedantry. And, uh, yes. I, I wonder if that's just a matter of, there are things you don't want to talk about, but we all do. And I wonder how that'll play out. For example... Like, we're very obsessed with video production quality because we consider our podcast not only a way for us to discuss and improve ideas on, like, storytelling, but also video production. We're very much invested in trying to get a, a bunch of new people started up in, in doing whatever they want to do, expressing themselves in video essays and stuff, because we think that the and current... just improve yeah. and our own little projects. To give you an example... We have what you call pride in our work. <laughs> To give you an example, a lot of people we've noticed in the videos, whenever they have a bell sound, it's always way too loud compared to everything else. Yes, they always fuck the, the balancing. bells and the dings and, and the boinks. Ding. And so, if that happens, we'll point it out, talk about it, figure out why it might happen because they download it from some fucking site and then they don't edit the actual levels. And we've had Das Bullshit on before, who's like been an editor his whole life, and he's like, "Yeah, that's one of the main things he's noticed with loads of people's videos." We find that interesting. I could totally see someone else being like, "Why the fuck are you talking about a bell? Move on." What? Yeah, yeah, sure. I think I think the thing is, is I'm used to going on like a panel where there's like a, every time there's going to be some sort of disagreement. And sometimes when there's like eight or nine people on, you're trying to like machine gun points out or make your point. So it kind of gets frustrating when people talk about like irrelevant stuff that wow. you consider to be irrelevant anyway. And I'm not saying, listen, I'm sure it's all very this bell thing. I'm sure it's a great point. OK, <laughs> whatever. right? But talk about the bell as much as you fucking want. OK, but I'm just saying like, yeah, you're absolutely right. I think it's the culture difference from like, you know, we're from different. Angles, I was going to say, strap know. in, because you're going to get some of that today, but if ever you wish to okay. leave from pure boredom, you're welcome to. Don't worry about <laughs> Listen, it. Listen, I'm not going to leave, okay? I don't have any plans. I always like to give people right? that option, though. I don't want you to feel awkward and sit here being like, oh I my could God, just leave because I'm bored this whole time? No, Jeez. not nope. you. Oh, damn it. <laughs> you're locked the in. <laughs> the <laughs> thing is, though, that would be a bit awkward if I was like, Listen, fellas, this is fucking boring. I'm out of here. I don't know. Wouldn't <laughs> that be for Chad. Awkward? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, the thing is, if we're entertained and you're bored, I'd be like, Don't worry about it, don't worry. We're, if we're talking you about Iron here. Man's lasers for too long, you know, I, I can understand. Um, uh, what else did you say, you fucker? Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. You you were, like, baffled by us talking about um, 
neurodivergent being this weird new thing people called each other and you felt like it was nitpicking, but um, you agreed with us. I thought it was so weird. You well, made a point okay. against I what think... we were saying, but it was in favor <laughs> okay. of what we were saying. Like, I, okay, listen, I, I'm one of the good ones, like I say, okay? So a little bit of ableism, <laughs> what, no problem, whites? okay, let's do it. Well, that whites, <laughs> white, yeah, so, <laughs> so what happens um, is, Friggy is like, why do they say neurodivision? Then I say something like, oh, because, you know, they, it's, it's, you can't call retarded people, like, retarded because that implies they're not normal. And then Friggy's like, but divergent is not normal. Isn't that the whole point? And you get, like, frustrated. And I was just like, why are you, Friggy? Don't you agree? No, what, what triggered me, what triggered me is I think Rag said something like, because it's offensive to call someone normal. And I was just like, what the fuck are you on about? Like, I get, oh. I know what you're getting at, but it just, I don't know, that that triggered me, okay? That's true. Is is. I'm assuming you would have meant offensive okay. to call someone not normal, right? Okay, yeah. I don't know if you want to get into the fucking, the roots of normal. Like, what is normal? What does that even mean? You know, Common? that's a whole conversation Typical, you can have. usual, common, generally yeah, but the, part the, of the, the bell the curve, point, average. But the, point, the point is, what we consider normal is, um, you know, it's ever-changing. And mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I would agree with that, but I mean, that doesn't mean that there isn't like. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm okay with someone saying my videos are neurodivergent. Okay, <laughs> the, the, the basic the basic point I'm trying to make is the idea that it's like offensive to call someone normal. I just took an issue with that because I was like, that's a bit ex of an excessive way of putting it. But I guess I kind of agree that yeah, like if you <gasps> you know call someone normal, people might freak out a bit and be like, oh, what does normal even mean? Da, 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 as I kind of did there, I guess. Well, but... to call <laughs> I take, upon... I, I take offense to it because I am an exceptional individual and I am not normal. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm very special. <laughs> to call upon... What's so weird is that, like, simultaneously saying something is normal, or saying someone is abnormal or not normal is bad, but calling someone normal is not really a compliment. That's, almost, that's usually an insult. Yeah, like, ha, you're oh, so you're not just special. Asking people you're say, why can't bitch. you just be normal? You're a basic bitch. Yeah, exactly. Basic, but yeah. To, to call upon the lefty like godmother bitch. of sorts, um, I'm pretty sure ContraPoints made a made a thing about this at one point, that words themselves, they just develop over time. Retard has become offensive while neurodivision is the new way of saying it. But if neurodivision was used enough in an insulting tone, that would become just as of offensive. Course. And then we'd find a new word. Um, there's no principle what? behind what the actual words mean. It's just social sort of like stigma as to whether or not you should or shouldn't use them. Um, we should start that right now. What are you, Divergent? God. I think I actually used it as an insult in my um, Black Widow video. I, I, I asked so the characters with Neurodivergent. Well, are you Divergent, like, socially, politically, or neurally? All of them. Oh. I'm, uh, I'm one of them gosh darn jack of all the trades. One of these NDs over here. Jack of all divergence. NDs. That's that's the one. You want to, <laughs> you know, a little easy to say. You fucking ND. Fuck you, ND. Um, so I'm ND. curious, Chud, how did you manage to escape the pit of shoving the microphone into your face that we came across several times? <laughs> oh, yeah. Relevant, <laughs> I haven't Hassan. heard your... Yeah, your microphone isn't peeking every other word. It, What's going explain on? Yourself. Explain it. <laughs> explain yourself. Well, I'm actually I'm actually on a um on a bit of a scuff setup with an old microphone, but it seems to be working. Um, I think it's just about um monitoring your levels in OBS. I don't know. That's how I do it. I just look, and if it's in yellow, that's probably okay. If it's green, people probably can't hear me. If it's red, I need to either move away from you're the a, mic or turn down the gain or whatever. You're right? fucking genius. You've nailed it. That is it. That's pretty much it. That's all you needed to do. And so many streams. I don't know. D dude, don't know. that is like a basic requirement. He's not wrong that OBS does basically tell you when you're uh, you're in the safe zone. Yellow is basically the safe zone, which is kind of unintuitive. I, in I a don't sense. know. I I feel like if your lips aren't giving that microphone to tickle every other word, then you're clearly doing something incorrect. <laughs> I mean, like just oh, look at me. I talk for a living, and I am heard clearly. Mm. Well. This is another thing that I feel like you may have thought was pedantic, but I can't explain to you how fucking frustrated it is listening to Denim's the way she uses the microphone. It is, uh, it is, it is immoral. <laughs> it is against it is the immoral. law. And she should be punished on a cosmic level. Um, because she's Hassan's... got, like, an amazing microphone, too. Like, that, those ones are top of the line, and she's yeah, ruining and it. She she's absolutely it. Yeah, ruining she... it. She might as well be talking to an Xbox 360 clip-on $10 yes. headset. The ones that, the little ones that went over the top of your head, and... Oh, so like man, we want because uh, we've said this before like oh. when people say like what's the first thing when start up a video it's like oh make sure you get the fucking audio right okay even if your visuals are garbage the audio yes. can carry you completely you gotta... agree with that yeah mm -hmm. I I, I learned that lesson early on something, yeah it's an important one yeah because well, you is can I'm gonna drive you crazy because his his audio I cannot stand ever he fucking shoves if his you face right denims, in you can get through his son he, he has like this like <laughs> tingy quality to his microphone I don't know Tin what's going tingy? on there. Yeah. 
The, the thing is, though, you don't even need to spend a lot of money. Like, I'm on a true Ooh. snowball at the moment, and it's like, you know, $70 American cost, and it's fine. It works perfectly. Mm -hmm. um, and it's plug and play. You don't even need to fuck around with anything. So yeah, there's no excuse, really, for, like, bad audio. Um, right. I'm not sure, like, they're like or... Dude, they are seconds away from not having it be yeah. bad, but they just... They're saying it's not doing it. I don't know. It's popular but to shove just... it in your face. Yeah, they shove it in their face and they brush their lips against it, and the gain is really, or the 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 the, the gain levels are super high. So whenever they talk, it peaks and it gets all scratchy. And you're like, "What are you doing? This is your job. Well, you talk for a okay. living." Okay. If Stop if it. you want to talk about this this um feature, have you, do you know who Haas from Infrared is? Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> <That's not laughs> just <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's like a Marxist Leninist guy, and um, he gets pretty angry, shall we say, and um, he turns his gain up to absolute fucking maximum, and he's screeching into his microphone, <laughs> yes. and it like fucking blasts your eardrums out if you got I, your uh, volume up. I yeah. I have seen the clip where he was screaming at our relevant. All you did yeah. was talk to me. It's hilarious. Yeah. It's a banger. It's such a banger. Um, I actually I need to had grab a little. A I'll be right back. I actually mm -hmm. debated him recently about like some drama shit, basically. And uh, he spoke in an English accent for like three hours. It was fucking Is that insane. To be like fuck you or something. I, I I don't know. Honestly, I think he's like this isn't even an ableism thing. I think he is mentally what? ill <laughs> and he needs to take some time off the internet. Because <laughs> holy shit! The I just like the insane. idea that there's a chance that him doing a British accent is implying like it's me. It's rude. It's bad to be British, which is ableism. <laughs> something like I'd be like no. Well, he's a Marxist Leninist, so he's obviously retarded. Uh -huh. Well, I. <laughs> Uh, happen to think that whenever someone does the British impersonations, it's usually an American, and it's always like, don't, don't do it, don't do it. Also, that's foreshadowing. Uh, Fringy, you're going to experience something pretty horrible in this Hassan Supercut. Am I? Oh, yeah. Oh. I'm so sorry I? ahead of time. Um, and, and it has an accent, does it? Perhaps, perchance, it may hath <laughs> the beneath do. Uh, here is a link okay. that takes you to a wonderful little watch together. And it's the watch together in which we're going to view a little video I put together um, to give everyone just a little quick previously on. Uh, you know, Jay put out the video that was highly edited, an hour long or so, about the big problem with Twitch reactors. And as, as we covered last week, I don't know that Jay could have done a better job, and I don't know that Jay could have been any better faith yeah, than he was. That didn't work and out yet, very well. And yet, um, and yet yeah. We've, uh, we've yeah. covered... Two like, you know... Go ahead. Not, not, to, not to blow smoke up your asses, right? I, I just I just think that, like, I don't understand how you can disagree with Jay. Jay's been super good faith about this. Very well, reasonable. You can um, disagree with Jay if it's actually not in your interest to take on the advice of, hey, let's not actually watch people's credit, uh, content true. without transforming it. If you do that, then it's actually in your best interest to try and uh, assassinate gun... Jay's character as much as possible. Gun for well, ulterior motives. The argument. Gun yeah. for spike-driven... Like association. Dev's Ooh, Dev's on his way. Dev's oh. on the way home. He oh was boy. at the dollar meat store. Hey, who's what? playing Caminandes? Oh watching? shit! Sorry, my bad. That's me. <laughs> um, but but yeah, I think I think that one day. I think that there's definitely the entitlement, and um, you know, and the thing is, it's like movie studios are just DMCA ass, right? They don't give a shit. But YouTubers could do that potentially. It's a bit unrealistic. But also, like all they're saying is, hey, just just react to it. That's it, right? They're not making any massive like. You know, there's, it's not like a massive deal that, that you guys are making about it. It's just, hey, react to our stuff. Well, so yeah, yeah, Jay, actually, Jay went above and beyond, because Jay said, you know what? You can watch it without transforming. Give me credit, please. That's yeah, uh, simple as that. That's kind of, yeah. And yet, still, look at how <laughs> that charitability was rewarded. Jay's I'm a little annoyed about that. Well, so I was actually no, going to lead no, into no, no, that. No, no, no. We are a little bit annoyed. <laughs> that's why these this trilogy of streams happened, basically. Well, to be clear, I'm, I'm not annoyed with Jay's kindness. That's a good trait to have. I'm annoyed with how it's being treated. How it's been I'm, received, I'm yeah. Yeah, like Step how yeah. Jay's good faith has been rewarded with so much flack. I can't believe it's it. So it's insane nice. to me. Um, I'm trying to get... You, have you used this before, Chud? Just, just clarifying. Yeah, my chat is telling me to not show the room code, and obviously I was I've already about done that. So uh... to say we're gonna <laughs> have to get us a new room because you've done that. You fucking idiot. That's okay. Hey, <laughs> right, I didn't realize. Listen, I don't hate you. I'm right. a self-taught streamer. Okay, some of this stuff. I'm a bit of a boomer, you know. So yeah, I'll give you a new link in a second. Who's but not a self-taught streamer? If you can um, chop who, up the uh, the like your screen, just chop out the top part so that the URL yes. doesn't show. You should be okay, I think. Then. 
Okay, I'll, actually, I'll figure it out. I won't do it again, you, okay? I promise. You, you, you just click the, the link and close your eyes. Who is the guy in your profile picture with the green eyes? I imagine they're not green oh. in reality. But, no, they are. You know, no, well, no, no, no. No, they are, yeah. <laughs> it's Joseph the, the, the Maestra, I think is how you say it. He was one of the first um, reactionary thinkers, and, and his perspective was that after the French Revolution, he was like, this fucking sucks. We need to get the monarchy back, because the monarchy was based, to put it simply. <laughs> ah, mm. Right. So... But, you know, I just like the idea of he was the first kind of guy that had those kind of ideas about things, you know, and um, playing on that a bit. But like I say, I started off as more of like, I guess, like kind of Vosh clone in some ways. I don't know. Um, like some of my early videos oh, I look back at now and I'm just like, oh, God, cringe. Vosh, but I haven't heard Vosh before. That's uh... You haven't heard Vosh? I thought there was no, a name. Vosh, Vosh, saying, his, name is Vo Vosh. his name is Vosh. Everyone calls him Vosh as a meme or whatever. No, I call him right. Vosh. 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 That's the if British really way to say it, isn't it? If you want to get, in, if you want to get into the deep cut memes, call him by his real name, which is public information now, because um, that's what people call him if they want to kind of freak him out or something. I don't know. Like, I know what your name is, and it's like, yeah, okay, I find I Vouch well. funny. Vouch is funny. Vouch is good. Yeah. I never understood that. There's a lot of like, if there's a streamer that people know their real name, someone's like being insulting to them. They're like, "Excuse me, Ian or Carl," and it's just. How is that insulting? It's just their name. I think it plays into the whole like you know, I know I know a little bit about you, right? Yeah, but it, mm -hmm. everyone you know. knows it. It's like okay. Well, you see, well, yeah, this, I agree. It's cringe, back, but it goes back to ancient Egypt. Okay, uh -huh. if you knew someone's name, their true name, then you had a level of power over them. You could cast you spells. To, it's true. If you wanted to cast a spell on someone, then or a curse, you would have to know their true name. So it, it it's so, taking it uh, way oh, back. Right. Now, oh, me, right. When when you, are you you want to watch Moon Knight later, like afterward? <laughs> Everything I want to do is later. However, sure. yes, exactly. I would. I would. I would love to. I all the things I, that I've done, I've done before, Mom. Well, but, Goodness well, gracious, we got, you! We got Wait, all the things you've done are done before. Not necessarily. What if I'm a time yeah, traveler? Yeah. We, oh, what if you're? That's true. What am I supposed yeah. to? That's true. We learned a lot about time travel these last few maps. Right. right. We, we got two choices really for show. We could watch Moon Knight. We could watch episode three of Halo. No. I still need to watch episode two of Halo because you watched it without <laughs> me. Yes, you watched did. it without me. <laughs> you did. You watched it without me. <laughs> right. It was horrible. I, I don't even want to. Uh, well, we need uh, to be in the loop on how Halo is the next thing and list of things that are now being completely right, fucking well, ruined. Well, Oh, I think I've mentioned it on stream, but there's a part in the episode when Chief grabs a dude, throws him against a wall, and screams in his face, What am I? It was, uh, pretty <laughs> surreal. <laughs> <laughs> it was, oh, oh my god. god. Now, imagine, imagine go good old Chief in Halo 2 when he's he's there talking to Cortana, and he's talking about how he's going to give the Covenant back their bomb, and he's going to jump out of the ship. Can you imagine that guy just grabbing some dude? Throwing him against a wall. And just some random face. grunt what am I? on an alien spaceship. What am I? He's like, you're, you're you're the Halo. <laughs> you are <John> Halo. <laughs> well, well, he is John Halo. That's that's kind yep. of that's how I. It's the He's Luke Skywalker, Chief. Jake Sorry, Skywalker sort of situation. Um, so what else does Rags think of Halo Infinite? I played it, I played it for thirteen hours and I st stopped. Well, hey, but dude, <laughs> season two is coming out. Three maps after Yay. six months of waiting. Yay. Do Dude, they have that game campaign co-op and forge? No, that's, that's not coming until the end of the what year. What about Fire I was going to say, Rags, whoa, calm down, mate. What did you, 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 so I much content, just Jesus. can't complete Halo games these days. We don't I can't just release that. video, video games. <laughs> From what I understand, there is no campaign co-op in this. It'll be in Season 3, so that'll probably be in August. Season 3? Jesus Christ, that's insane. It was supposed to be out at the start of the year, right? Some of my most fun memories yeah. of gaming growing up are playing campaign Halo co-op with my friends. Back in the good old days, you just have that straight away. You, yeah, you had a complete around. Halo game that had multiplayer, a campaign, Forge, and, and remember Firefly. Reach had theater and all that stuff with it, and all the file share stuff, and yeah. all that custom games. Well, Halo 3 oh. had all of that. At, at the, yeah, when it, it did. Out. And, that was and the first time they built those features. Um... But yeah, the hours we spent building bases in, well, in in maps and just fighting each other is you oh, know, not oh. You had, I mean, it would have helped them with the map problem if people could make maps for them, but it's too late. I think I'm pretty sure more people are playing MCC than Infinite now. Which is um, so fucking funny, but yeah.
What are you gonna do? That is really funny, but also like, damn, you had a great opportunity. People didn't like Vanguard or Battlefield ah. 2042. No, sorry, it's, I'm trying to listen. I'm trying to maximize the screen. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> yes. What, what, we have what to have you coming you on fucking, again one day. You're showing it again. No, I'm not. <laughs> I, you can't see it. I can see it right now. <laughs> no, you can't. What are you talking? Oh shit! Hang on, give me the, the dress bar. You know what? Just use that one to get it right, and then we'll make a third one. You're okay, gonna be okay. fine. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> I've put a giga chart up to block it, um, but I didn't block the actual address bar. Just, just uh, chop you know. out the bar. That's all. You don't need a giga chart. Okay, 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 okay. I'll do it. Give me a sec. Professional well, Twitch streamer. No one's I'm not we, like we, the other ones. He said. You should go <laughs> back to the first one. It's like hey, a Hassan false wouldn't flag. have had this problem. He would have gotten straight in. Wait, hang on. Oh shit! I've done the wrong thing. How do I? Okay. Listen, don't worry about me. I'll sort this out. You just say, talk about Halo. Can I just say, I fucking, I'm a massive Halo fan. I'm into the lore and all that shit. So, uh, yeah. It's oh, you so, well, in, in that uh, case, no. I would not recommend it. And I because, recommend because I'm into the lore, I'm not fucking watching the show because apparently it's dog shit. The Master Chief takes his helmet off. What the fuck are you thinking? Absolute well, insanity. Well, so my favorite part is that he takes his helmet off when someone's pointing a gun at him in an attempt to convince her not to shoot him when his armor <laughs> is... She can't penetrate the armor with the, any of the bullets because it's fucking Spartan armor. <laughs> like it's, to oh, be well. fair, the battle rifle is fully automatic. Oh. It is in the show, I think. Wait, is it in, when we see yeah, it in the show? Or, it, I yeah. thought it was the DMR. Both, both the DMR and the battle rifle seem to be fully automatic in the show. I think the DMR in That's Canon a fun touch a for the fans. Toggle, a toggle. Well, my favorite, have, Rags, have you seen the uh, the plasma pistol that's made out of cardboard that they forgot to do the CGI Yeah, the one for? that they didn't paint, which is odd considering it's very prominent and they clearly told an actress to just hold it at the yeah. camera. Very, yeah, that's... That's that's the sort of thing you don't even catch in editing. Dude, you're just as you're doing it, you like, go, oh. That show costs a lot of money. That show that show has a big budget. I'm Apparently. pretty sure it has a budget in excess of the Mandalorian, which uh, is insane because I don't see it yeah. translate. Could the, still uh, be in... money laundering. I don't know. Oh yeah. Hmm. That show's already that's... been renewed for a second season. I'm curious if we would get a third because, dude, the public reception is like not favorable, and I don't even know that there are that many people who are watching it. Had a really strong premiere, but nothing's on Paramount Plus, so like that doesn't really surprise me. Hey, Bar uh, Rescue's on Paramount Plus. Well, isn't isn't it, they did a reboot of iCarly? That's on Paramount Plus, right? Because oh, that'll bring him back in droves. <laughs> it, it, I, I mean, it may well like a pretty well, more yeah, popular than Halo. Never... You never know. Hi, Carly is more popular than Halo. How old is she now? Isn't she like 30 something? So, uh, old she's in her 20s, I, yeah. Yeah, it'll be great. It'll be filled with nostalgisms for, for all the uh, great episodes of Hi, Carly that everyone watched. Well, I was yeah, they could, a, they could do a. They could do a. What's it called? They they could all get like a team up. You could have Amanda Bynes and Hillary Duff and Oh my god. That and that's so Raven. Oh, and that's so Raven were on Disney. I call it like, like, Yeah, he's saying like cross, oh, cross but multiverse. Do, yeah, then fuck she talks to SpongeBob or something. <laughs> so they don't even live in the same world because they're part of different networks. Multiverse <laughs> the, the network cinematic universe, the NCU. <laughs> Did you manage to figure it out, Chad? It looks like you yes, did. Yes, I've done it. I've done it. Okay. <laughs> My, I've got a scuff set up. Okay, please. I'm okay. I know what I'm doing. Okay. I'm a... so you can team up with Zach I and like Cody, you right? I have a right to yell in this situation. <laughs> Don't breathe no. too hard. Don't knock the setup or anything. All right. Here is the, the new link. That is oh, the wow. correct yeah. link. Oh, Whatever links right. you have before are all the wrong ones now. This is the new cool oh. one. Hello, Dev. Good thing oh, Chad has these hey. things that we haven't started yet. That's... Oh, Big Buck Bunny. That's way better than Commandantes. Yeah. Wait, what's been going on? Chad can't Your figure out how to happen. protect his screen That's from people seeing can't the internet URL. Properly. Mm -hmm. I'm an idiot. Oh. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> You've arrived at the perfect time. Good, apparently, uh... we've figured it out, and it's time to start it up if everyone's in. Also, people are like, Mola, where's Adam? Mola, where's Adam? Sitch, where's Adam? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Am I my Adam's keeper? I ask. Am I my Adam's keeper? Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> We're all just okay, like listen, I just want I just want you all to say yes for a clip, okay? That's all I want. You're his, <laughs> you're his, you're his handler. I, I am my Adam's keeper. All of my Adams, well, except for the dead skin cells that are falling off me at every single second, but otherwise. Well. <laughs> 
Yeah, you got rid well, of Adam, those, Adam those Adams. Adam will arrive like when Adam arrives. Okay, he's got to do his hair. He's got to quaff Adam it. Adam will arrive when Matt arrives. Quaff Matt it cannot be hair. created or destroyed except by black holes, maybe. <laughs> That's wow. a little racist, That's... but so, a pretty big exception. I, see, I thought you guys, I thought you guys consistently start at three p.m. Daylight saving times, bro. Oh, okay. You see, what I did was about, <laughs> I don't know, about like six something hours ago, I said, hey, just so we're clear with time cha time changes, how many hours do we start in? And and it says Mahler added short fat otaku into the group. So uh, the, the first message he said was starting up in five hours, lads. And then he has a cheering peepoo poopy. <laughs> and then a poopy? It, a poopy. poopy. And we were, I don't know, man. Peepoo. What Rags well, is trying to say I'm is that it's okay you made the mistake. There's no way you could have known. It yeah, it's oh, okay. yeah. all right. Yeah, I mean, I, get I made the mistake last week, but then I learned. Okay, I grew, I <laughs> oh, changed, no. I evolved, you adapted Dev. and evolved. You went on your own. Hey, listen, listen, listen. Okay, uh, I'm uh, since since we're already gonna be an hour late anyway, regardless of me, you might as well just make it straight up to. No, we were here on time. So, well, yeah, we're, we're totally on time. We've yet, had so much we? great discussion. Haven't yeah, we, we talked everyone? about Superman. Yeah, gay. Well, now guess you what? and Fringy can finally talk about Kirby. I'm so excited. Oh, yeah, you guys go ahead. True, yeah. Talk about Kirby with Fringy. I mean, I enjoy Kirby, the new the new game. It's pretty fun. Yeah. <laughs> he was everything I expected <laughs> oh, to be. Yes. Oh, my yes. God. Yes. 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 He said it was me. Yes. What? I said it was no, a good no, What? 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 Perfect. Perfect. No, that's the best that's response I like it. you could no, like possibly it. give it. This is good. This is good. That was a great conversation. Uh, anyway. That was good. That was, really, that, was, that, was worth, that was worth everything that we possibly yeah. thought it would be. Here, here's the thing, all right? Kirby is Kirby's generally good enough, but also a, like just a little bit bland. So every Kirby conversation is, is good. Yeah. Oh, that's the wow, whole thing. Wow, Friggy's going to disagree I, with you on that one. I, I Thank God. Disagreed. Once I got close to the end of the game, I started to think a bit more about how that game was designed. And it was kind of interesting to me. How it tries how to escalate. Well, so Kirby is not like a platformer in the same way that Mario is, where a lot of the challenges are oriented around, hey, can you clear those jumps? Or, you know, here's here's an obstacle, get around it, get over it. Like Kirby is more, there's a lot less of you need to worry about falling into bottomless pits, because if you do, you just respawn on a cliff whenever there is one. Um, so like, I was sort of thinking about the way that challenges were constructed in that game. And something that was really cool is towards the end, a lot of the challenges were based on timing. Um, so like, that have a platform that's oh it's slowly descending into lava and if you're too if you're too um slow you're going to lose your opportunity to collect any of the items that you need to get in this part of the level so hurry up you know it's kind of a cool way of doing challenge in what is meant to be like a very easy accessible game i um, uh i never felt that actually have you beaten the game <laughs> yes in the last levels when the when you're in like the lava land and, and the platforms are descending and if you're too slow you miss out on opportunities to get collectibles or save hidden waddle dees. Um No, I don't really feel that. Maybe just because I'm really good at it. Ooh. Oh, no, it's, not about whether, it's not about <laughs> whether or not you feel it. It's about whether or not it's there. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. No, I, um, I know I know I know you're memeing. I've actually just... got an important question from my chat about Kirby, if that's okay. Um Okay. So okay. I'm being asked to ask you, what happens if Kirby inhales cum? Do you turn into cum or a person based on the DNA of the cum? <laughs> I, That's a I'm good not, question. That's a good I'm not well versed enough in... You, in, you probably turn into uh, like a Kirby cum power-up. So Kirby is going to be like spitting hoses of cum or something. <laughs> it's a beautiful it game. Beautiful game. Yeah. I disagree. I, I think you turn into the person. Why would you turn the cum? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> well, because when, when Kirby, you know, inhales fire, like a fire enemy, he doesn't turn into the fire enemy. He turns into like a fire power up. It's like yeah, a metaphysical it... concept of p fire that he absorbs. So maybe he turns into, you know, when you go to like gas stations and they have those, I don't, oh, this is a thing in America that maybe won't translate for everyone else. So here in America, or at least around these parts, well, a lot of the times when you go to gas stations and stuff, just around towns and whatnot, Wayne Fipart, come they have. The story. Oh, do, oh, don't do not you worry. We <laughs> we are approaching that. Um, they have these pills, right? Mm -hmm. And they're generally they they have they have like rhinos that are their logo and stuff like, and they're like super sex power pills 
and they're supposed to last for like two days and they make your cock really hard and they make you come like a fire hose or whatever it is. And they say all these incredible things on, on the boxes and whatnot. And so maybe when Kirby inhales come, it does whatever those pills allegedly are supposed to do. To allegedly. You. Alleged. I've never had them. I was I've never say, had personal well, experience. One. But no, I mean, yeah, I, if, I just if, noticed if them when the I check out that they're these big just mega cum cock pills that you're supposed to yeah. take. And, mm -hmm. and rhinos are the, the they use rhinos for the logo because rhinos are very you, you horny them. and virile. You, well, yeah, the they're desk. right there when you check out. No, no, they're Behind, like, like right 10, there. Feet, 10 feet of glass. They're very, no, they're prominent. Somewhere. They're they're quite okay. they are they are positioned to sell. I won't say that. <laughs> There's a giant rhino statue with a four foot cock. It's, it's, it is a i'm telling you they and these are big pills too these are the biggest damn pills you've ever done seen and it's like dr mario pills they're big fuckers and they just say that they do all these things for your your dr. sexual mario prowess are practically sized you right rags like they are the big yeah. That, yeah, like if Mario tried to ingest one, it would probably kill him. Oh wait! Oh, someone it, said someone said they use rhinos because rhino horn was supposed to be an aphrodisiac. Yeah. Is this? I just thought it was pill? because rhinos are horn. Yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it looks like one of those um, things you drop in water and it like turns into a dinosaur in a day. <laughs> this sounds like one of those those scam commercials you see at three a.m. What on cable shows? What I don't is... know if they work or not. Maybe they do. I'm not. I just. I have not no clue. I just noticed them. I've it's never just seen the these thing. Before. I don't know if you have those in your parts of the the world. If I could just nope. one moment, Chad. What is this shit? I got four ads in a row that are thirty seconds on my phone for your stream right now. Oh my fucking god. Okay. Right. <laughs> Newsflash, motherfucker. Okay. How do you think people that don't sub to me pay? They watch fucking ads, okay? Four in a row that are 30 seconds Four long, Jesus. Four yeah, run, in a I've, row. Okay, listen, I run two minutes of ads every hour, right? <laughs> that is fucking nothing compared to what you get on, like, network TV in America and shit, okay? So oh, these that's the way we compare it, it. Oh, I see. If people don't fucking like, like it, answer. they can sub to me, okay? Like, I'm not saying, you know, that to you directly. I know you're just giving a bit of banter, but holy shit, the amount of people that complain about it. Like, motherfucker, you freeloading bitch, give me some money or fuck off, okay? I honestly, it does my head in. Sorry. Right, that's just... an interesting perspective, and I, I understand it. It's very... Do you, do you run ads on your YouTube videos, Mola? Um, one Not per four. hour, yeah. <laughs> one and per the, hour? Well, you're fucking five, mugging yourself off. They're five seconds log. Oh, come on. You're full of shit. <laughs> I feel Does like someone go check? Is a way of checking this? It's a different culture, Mala. You, <laughs> you can. Okay. You could You could go to his channel and you can. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, also, I'm also it's, okay it's two, with. Five, uh, 10, I know. 20, you don't 30, buy it, 40, you freeloader. And people are also. Wait, what do you mean two? What? You run what? ads. At, this is the fucking standard you do for YouTube ads, okay? Two minutes, mm -hmm. ten minutes, twenty. Sorry, two minutes, oh, five minutes, that. ten minutes, twenty minutes. Yeah, yeah tell us the standard. I don't do that. that. No, First no, of all, I don't do that either. One per hour, and I, secondly, I, I run an ad every fifteen minutes. I think what, that's fair. Fifteen. I do one per hour, and I'm actually more than fine with people using ad block if they want to. Go one, ahead. One yeah, and then you understand, okay, like listen. at this point, we're just happy to get ads. I'm happy to give <laughs> views. <laughs> people to get ads. We haven't all got fucking juicy patrons, patrons like you do. Okay? I never did this. <laughs> like, okay. What are you well, talking about? <laughs> are you making money then, bro? There's got to be some way you're making money off of this venture, off of your fucking. I used billion to have a job, says. and then I didn't because I made enough money from YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but how are you making money from YouTube if you're not running ads all the time? That's what I don't understand. I don't run them all the time, one per hour. One per hour's bullshit. What are you making <laughs> per video? I mean, I suppose some of them get a few million views, right? So that's going to be, you know, well, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, most yeah it, most it'll depend on how many people see it, not necessarily how many, just the sheer volume of ads. It's, you know, you get enough people watching and then you produce content. No, no, enough. okay. Once you you fucking YouTubers don't understand how it works, okay? <laughs> I'm, like, yeah, I'm getting pissed off, right? Yeah, fringy the way it YouTuber. Works now, yeah, the way it works now, okay, is is based on how really long your view times are. YouTube incentivizes you to have longer videos. So Please that's don't use that word. word I beg you. <laughs> So we, we have talked about the incentivization stuff on the denim stream. It's it's really not like it, it, you are incentivized on YouTube to make long videos pretty consistently, like regularly, very yeah. frequently. Spending like four or five months on a long video is not what would be generally considered incentivized, the incentivized thing to do. In fact, it mm -hmm. seems like you often get shit on both creatively and in terms of the algorithm. But it's a choice you make because that's the kind of content you want to make.
Okay, but you're incentivized to run multiple ads, right? So you um, maximize the amount of money you make. I mean, if, you, uh, if you're in a position where you don't have to do that, that's fine. Okay, I, mean, I get well, that. Well, but well, if you are, you have to. I well, no, you don't. You can like to get it. You can stop. You can. There's like, many different kinds of ads. Okay, this is fucking bullshit, right? How the fuck do I pay my editor, right? If I don't have the, if I don't have fucking a few thousand dollars coming through YouTube, I have oh, to run all the ads I've got. Well, uh, I so, can't edit videos and out of fucking time. I stream eight to ten hours a day. You fucking kidding me? Well, I, I'm I, sorry. I didn't sorry. Listen, I'm getting a bit heated. Okay? I'm not actually these mad. Are, this, this... These sound like reformed sorry, arguments sorry. from the ones we've had from. Uh... No, they're not. They're mm -hmm. not. You're you're so fucking. Oh my god. I'm okay, not like her. Right, <laughs> Well, no, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, curious. There's, there's literally nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with running lots of ads if I want to run lots of ads. If you don't want to do that, fine. You get a fucking billion well, views I mean, per video. I mean, so you probably don't have to, right? Well. Well, so, I mean, obviously, everybody can make the choices as to how they want to do the content and monetize their content, but, I mean, people are allowed to disagree on whether or not they like that, or... And people in different positions can okay, make different Okay, I don't give a shit about. if you like it or not. There we go, conversation over. Okay. Next, next well, topic. No, 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 listen. What? We're principled Sorry, I... YouTubers who do this for the love of the craft. Yay. Oh, fuck off. I mean, actually, <laughs> sort of, yeah, like, I, I only need <laughs> Twitch streamer. Put, oh, my God, it's so bad. I know, I know for Dog Bites, it, like, it gives you the options of what, what ads you want to run and how many and stuff like, because there's multiple different kinds of ads that you can run. It's not just a unskippable thing that plays, you know, necessarily. You can have skippable ads at the beginning or the end. You can have little overlays that can be clicked yeah. away. You have some options. But generally, uh, generally, I'll just say just a skippable video ad at the beginning of the video, and that's fine enough for me. And uh, I just don't, I don't want to annoy people before they get my content. I'd rather incentivize well, them to uh, become a sub instead listen, of annoy I, them into it. I thought I was the fucking lefty here. I'm the only capitalist in the place, apparently. Do you know what I mean? What the fuck's well, that about? So, so capital. Well, you can Ethical have different priorities. Baby. You can have different mm -hmm. priorities when it comes to how you want to capitalize on your. Like, yeah. I mean, we have I mean, all these for, options. We, this, this came, this came up, this so came up before. Make, People were like, "Oh, you guys can say all this because you have super chats." Like we didn't when we started. Oh, well, I didn't. Yeah, super chats. Be, they all the were same, same principles. That, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, because super chats haven't, haven't been around for forever. They've been around for like four or five years, I think. Yeah, but, they I mean, started up sure soon after. YouTube yeah, they were started up soon before, before we actually started up EFAP. But um, I, for my videos and streams, same for Rags, presumably, like they weren't. Yeah. This thing of like, we'll only get rid of ads if you guys super chat. It's like, no, no, we just yeah, how we did it. I want to, I want to build up a bunch of people who want to give me money and who are encouraged to do it because they like my content. I don't yeah, want to yeah, annoy yeah. them into feeling like they need to give me money so that they get the best experience from. Listen, content. fuck the viewers, okay? Fuck the viewers. <laughs> That's my fuck them. I say fuck that every EFAP. I know. Yes. Uh, well, hey, we're, there's that clip, right? Dedeb said Chad doesn't know fucking anything, so... <laughs> what do they know? Disrespect um, the viewers as much as possible, okay? That's the way to do it. I see that five people are in this room. We're missing somebody. Who is it? Adam. No. I'm not waiting for Adam. I hope you... I hope you <laughs> that would be seven. <laughs> there's six of us. There's six of us. Isn't there? No, there's five. Oh, the, the other room. room. I didn't click the watch oh together. There's so watch many that. rooms. Is that, is that what you're talking about? Stop chewing Dev, on you... your dollar meat and yeah, click on the Yeah, he runs it like a <laughs> week <laughs> old information. That's how he goes. He's just like, ah, oh, hang on, guys, some <laughs> common. The um, the reason that I was I was a bit late is because Naomi and I went out to have dumplings. Aw. but not from the dollar meat store. Uh, dollar dumplings. Oh, it's dollar, dollar dumplings. dumpling Friday. Oh, wait a Saturday. minute. I forgot. Now that Dev is here, should he address? The accusation. Oh my God! Go What's ahead, the Chad. Accusation? Go yeah, ahead. some people are saying you're white. <laughs> I'm white. <laughs> okay, listen, bro. Okay, I just commented on. You know, I see you. Obviously, we're we're moots on Twitter. Okay, always a pleasure. Wait, are we? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We we DM <laughs> the other day. He doesn't even know. He doesn't even what the fuck? On. This is bullshit. I'm I'm a rational <laughs> chat. Well, it's not me, obviously. It's a but we we talked oh, in DMs oh, oh, briefly it... the other day. Did we? Hold on. Yes, you fucked wow. up. Wow. Wow. This, this I don't remember crazy. anything wow. that I did. Wow. 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 No, listen. No, no, no. Well, I, I anyway. know who you are. I just don't. I don't okay. quite remember following you on Twitter, but I probably did. I don't okay. take. I don't. I don't take Twitter seriously. You see, Dev is so popular. Either, okay. He just can't keep all his DMs straight. There's mm -hmm. so many people who so want to talk popular. to him. <laughs> oh god. Well, I think the reality is, and this gets into it, right? I often see you arguing with people, and I often mm -hmm. see you in the replies of trans women. So I was just wondering, are yep. you a chaser? 
Of course. Okay, that settles that. Dude. All right, then. <laughs> listen, listen. Moving on to Hassan. I will, right. I, I, I will, hold on. I, I will chase trans women. I will chase cis women. I don't give a fuck. Okay. I'll chase them all. We chase Hell yeah. There yeah. you go. Yeah. You, you chase long men. Yeah, doesn't discriminate. Dude, even, even some dog. men, I'm okay with it. Any holes wow. a go. Okay. Yeah. If, if a man's feminine looking enough, I'm down with it for sure. Are you Brilliant. in an open yep. relationship with your girlfriend? Uh, no, but we don't mind fucking around online. Like, just making jokes. I say. What's I your see girlfriend? jokes. Uh, I see. Okay. Well, right. hold on. That, that's fine. She, that's she's good. also in, into trans women too, so it's okay. Oh my god, you're gonna chase literally together. or figuratively? Yeah, actually, yeah. Oh. <laughs> actually. <laughs> actually. Yes, we, yeah. we 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 will chase together. It's okay. There you go. Ooh. All right then. That's, you still didn't join the room, you fuck. You're a you're a. Pack. Oh right. Sorry. He's too busy chasing. <laughs> too pack busy animals. Chasing. <laughs> He's on Twitter, He's like, and the replies from trans girls right now. Is mm? when you said you were getting dumplings with your actually, girlfriend. Is that code actually, or I something? Is that code? <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, we we got our first car together, and now we're like, we can go get dumplings every day. Oh my god! And we should probably okay, stop okay, getting dumplings. We said chase. I didn't mean drive down people. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a driver or a chase? A driver. No, we we've now gotten like three dumplings, and I'm like, we should probably stop getting dumplings three times. That's that's too many times of getting dumplings. <laughs> that's a, that's well, a lot I mean, of dumplings. Three, three, well, it depends on how I'm long like, of a period of time. Sure, yeah. This oh, thing like three times many. in the past week. But, okay, you, you know uh, how when, you, when you, you, you get your first car and you're like, I can go anywhere now. And yeah. then you just start driving everywhere and like wasting a bunch of time. Yes. I we're, only we're, mean we've now gone through that period. Um, so anyway, you guys mm. want to start this fucker up? Mahler wants to yes, move on because please. he doesn't annoy I, know the joy of driving. I, I'm sorry, I don't understand oh. it. It's some kind of weird mechanical horse or something. I don't know. Well, to be honest, I don't really care about the driving. <laughs> I just care about the dumplings. <laughs> Vehicles are only a means to an end. A means to a dumpling. A path, a means they're to only a, a pathway to more dumplings. Um, wait, is, is that the only thing you've used your car for? Is to get dumplings? Um, You'll say, wait, there's other things you've used it for? Uh, let's see. I think about half of our trips have been dumpling related using oh the car God. since we got it. He has yeah. two places that he goes to. <laughs> Dumpl dumplings and the gas station to get more dumplings. <laughs> gas station dumplings? I was going to say no. <laughs> no, gas station <laughs> <like a> car. <laughs> Dollar meat store gas dumplings. I can only get more dumplings, dumplings if, I, if I buy more gas for this car, with which I will use to buy more dumplings. If only they could merge the gas station and the dumpling store. <laughs> the cycle is short, yet vicious. <laughs> okay. I don't even know if the, there's prep in this video, okay, for you all to understand the journey. All right, this is going to be all an adventure. All of this was not part of the prep, yeah. Yeah, now that we've taken an entire fucking hour, it feels right that we start. Um, yeah, we're right on schedule. Yeah. Oh, wow, so, previously on EFAB. So this is just a, a brief reminder, Yo. okay? Because this will be important context with some of the things he ends up talking about. I'm going to zoom in. I've been watching Superhuman for a long time. This is a streamer called uh, Moist Critical, who's also a YouTuber. This is where the homeowners really had their best ideas, I think. He, the laboratory, did the same thing as a lot of people did. And Jay called him out too. And I'm just showing you what it was what Jay was annoyed with. Right? And then you'll see what happened. The photos are good for a dollar. Yeah. Thanks to Prime Love Shack. Thanks to Recent Paradox. You haven't seen shit from this house yet. We're only just beginning. I'll let the whole thing ride. I've seen this uh, before and looked into it. This is what it looks like when you activate 100% of your brain. It's like, it's like kind of fine-ish, but it's like mostly... It's like I'm here, you know, The, the funny I'm, thing I'm is, around. I think we would have been much harsher on this when we first saw it, because now that I've seen the others, it's like, okay, this is actually something. <laughs> like, he's there, yeah, you know, for it's one. Like I, yeah, I know you're here. That's quite a low bar, though, right? Jesus. It is, it is a low bar, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately. I'm gonna stop there, because I think mm. you get the point. 
Mm -hmm. um, yeah. There was a, a channel that I really enjoyed and I watched their video on a dilapidated building that was for sale. It was a house and it was one of the most confusing house tours of all time. It was this fucking labyrinth, a house of nightmares, and they had a great video going through all of it and I watched it on stream. I'd already seen it before I watched it on stream as well because I just wanted to show people and talk about it and like get really goofy with it and figure out what was going on with this house. But I ended up just getting too lost in the video because they presented it so well and it was just such a great video. And the creator saw my reaction to it and was really disappointed. They didn't appreciate it. And I totally understood where they're coming from because I didn't really add anything to it. I didn't. Um, doesn't this feel alien? Yeah, it does. It, it, it's alien is what's face. going on with so, his hair there. Charlie's pretty cool. Uh, he is a very cool guy. He is. He's happy he is to a take the L when he, when he fucks up. Like, you know, he's done it for a couple of times from what I've seen. So that's good. Yeah, it was, uh, this was the kind of thing, because I was getting this for some context I needed, and I was like, fuck yeah, I forgot this is how he actually responded to Jay. And it was just like, nice. This is it. That's all you need to do. You're all, yeah, you're all good. Yeah, this is it. Didn't really react to it, so to them it felt like I was just re-uploading their content on my stream. And I get that perspective, I really do, but that's never the goal. It's never supposed to be piggybacking off of someone else's hard work in order to do nothing for it and make money off it. Going forward, see, like he—that's it. It's done. <laughs> he doesn't yeah, even need to say anything. It's over. Else. He did a. Yeah, this is really great. This nice. is awesome. I won't just be rolling dice, cool. hoping I can add to whatever video gets recommended on YouTube night. I will be maybe checking them for a little bit, and then if it's something that I can add to, I'll look at the rest on my own and maybe make content out of. As this is pretty cool. He's he's adding wow. his to his thing now. Yeah. He's gonna check out the videos a little bit beforehand, which, by the way, most of the time that's what I do for EFAP is uh, mm -hmm. make sure the videos the, are EFAP. There's there's. Someone in my chat saying react harder, and it's like, well, yeah, that's literally what's being asked. I don't think kind that's of, too much to yeah. ask, right? Like, I don't understand how that got he, stigmatized. Yeah, he himself is admitting he should be reacting harder. So why the fuck are you saying that? Get the fuck out yeah, of here. Yeah, you Jesus. have to react hard enough to transform it. Yes, so you do need to mm -hmm. react. Yeah, that's 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 like the actual and, law. Uh, Twitch just <laughs> seems to be in a place where that's not a. I don't know. Why, I don't why know. Is, it, a lot of memes like that, right? Isn't there the forehead meme for like doing stuff, like oh forehead for just advice that might be worth taking? So, um, I mean, they would say react harder forehead, yeah, but like the, the problem yeah. is just right. weird. It's just like, why, why is that getting treated as though it's a crazy wrong thing? Uh, it feels like the right thing. Um, and yeah, Jay just tried to change the, the rhetoric as it was coming to its end to like, no, 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 transform, transform, not, not about, it's not even, I don't even imply that you didn't, because people treat it as though like, oh, I didn't laugh enough times for you. It's like, no, <laughs> yeah, not what I'm getting at. It's, I mean, transform, yes, yeah. but also the transform other thing. harder. Really, yeah. that's the tr that's the, the, the real thing. Transform word all. The thing is, for me, like, look, I'm guilty of this. I'm guilty of being a dirty little streamer. Okay, <laughs> um, punish me for my sins, gentlemen, if you must. Um, but you know, I've sat there at the end of a stream, fucking slobbing out. You know, fuck this. I'm just gonna put this on and not really say much, right? And it's shitty. And for me, um, you know, if I'm watching a video now and I'm like, I'm not really saying anything, I'll just cut it halfway through and be like, if you want to watch the rest of it, there you go. And I'll move on to something else, right? Because a lot of videos, because people are saying, well, there's nothing to add. And it's like, well, there's, if there's nothing to add, don't fucking watch it on stream and, and watch Very something true. else or do, yeah, do something else true. or whatever it is, right? Hell yeah. Simple as that. Mm -hmm. But you got to eat your macaroni, though. You gotta <laughs> nom, 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 nuggets, nom. man. You gotta say the nuggets. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. um, nuggets. Uh, to Let's give you a little. Star. A little bit of a tease, tickly little balls there. Um, a lot of this Ooh. stuff Ooh. from uh, Charlie is later on reacted to by Hassan. <gasps> Let's go! I can't leave now. You, oh. You've pulled me in. <laughs> as a response to it, as opposed sufficiently tickled. to real-time reaction, which has always been the majority of my content anyway. I think what really helped me understand this perspective wasn't Dark Viper's video. It was actually JX's. They made a great video recently, just going over the entire React ecosystem. Just going over everything. This is definitely a peepo yay moment. You're like, oh, yeah. Jay, Jay doesn't oh, get shat on for once. Yeah. Oh, yay. Can, we, can we also say, like, I admit that there's criticisms, but Dark Viper said that React streamers are comparable to ra rapists in some he, way in terms of their Yes, That's fucking insane. Like, can <laughs> we just say, come he on. He screwed up I mean, big time think about it. with the optics. I... Because he seemed I, I'm as not familiar with this, I don't think he was this... as passionate as Jay was, but he handled it very differently. Uh, he's he's yes. famously fucked this conversation up quite a bit because he said that um, these are the, the React streamers are the kind of people who would probably try and fuck you without your consent or some shit like that. It was it was <laughs> like why would you <laughs> why right, uh, would you? I mean, is, is it, and, and and obviously Hassan pointed to that and said, "Look at this, this guy's saying I'm like a rapist," and immediately you've just lost it, right? Yeah. Whereas. 
you know, if you make a more measured critique, you're going to do far better. Yeah, absolutely. As well, because you open yourself up to all the bad faith people who would be like, I don't have to address the argument. I can just pick the shit one and be like, yeah. I ain't touching this rhetoric. It's all fucking bullshit, man. And that's Hassan does try to do that. I've um, I've mostly just cut the parts in where he's talking about Jay's video rather than Dark Vipers. But yeah, he has a lot mm. to say about Dark Vipers video as well as the man himself. That would be for Dark Viper to deal with, I suppose. Everything from the perspective of someone that had their video reacted to by multiple people, myself included, it's actually the video of the Bizarre House walkthrough, the one that I mentioned, was a very shameful moment for me where it's a video I really liked but didn't react hard to. I'd already seen it and I just basically shared it with my community without adding anything to it and they were upset with that, which I totally do get. And they made a video going over that whole situation and really helped put it in perspective for me to understand things better. Dark you know, for a second there, I thought the poster in the background was Gears of War and I was like, wait, no. Cold cod slap. I thought it was, I thought it was Dead Island. Uh, when God. I when I read the left one first, God and slap. Then I was like, oh, God slap. God splain. God I never heard of that before. I've Isn't, never heard of God slap. Am I crazy or was there like a bloody gear handprint thing for yes, gears? Something, something like that. No, gears five maybe. Like a bloody gear. No, 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 like no. Skull? The, bloody, the bloody handprint was Modern Warfare Two. That was the symbol for the militia team in our multiplayer. Oh okay. I knew I recognized it from something. Gears of War had like a bloody gear with a skull in it. That was yeah, uh, yeah, the skull. The yeah, okay. God Slap but... is his own comic, I think. Oh, that's, oh, that's cool. cool. Oh, I had no idea. Paper more focuses on dunking, which I, in some I'm cases not his comic. Just G Fuel. Somewhere. That's Game of Fuel, right? I've never, I've never had, I've never had G Fuel. <laughs> I find the whole concept hilarious. It is it like the, a protein uh, shake how... or something? I wonder how it's an energy it drink, I think. It's like an energy yeah. drink, pre-mix energy drink. It's like Red it makes yourself. It helps yeah, you game harder. harder. Like it makes you evolve. I think. I think all well, the. Take that. Well, okay. It's not about gaming harder, but like you know, if you have caffeine, it, it heightens your senses, you know, or something. I don't know. Maybe that's a bit of an excessive. Or a rags product review of mixing G fuel with the Rhino pills. Ooh. <laughs> oh man, I will be fucking and sucking and Where will it go? gaming and oh man, high scores all around, mm -hmm. so to speak. I've, every right. I've been curious about those sorts of G fuel and they have the special energy drink concoctions because anything marketed for gamers should make you raise a brow anyway. Um, well, even if it's a peripheral or something you put in your fucking body, but I've always wondered if that stuff has, does anything whatsoever, or if you should just go down to the come and go and, buy you know three rock stars for five bucks and call it a day oh i suppose yeah you're like why is it any better than is it really more for gamers than rock stars like i doubt it but hey yeah branding you gotta do I mean, it it's, it's, it's cheaper it's chemical. cheaper per serving that's, uh, that's the benefit um that's and they probably give you the uh, is... you know type in code critical and you get whatever off like that's probably oh yeah it's yeah. all like affiliate deals and shit right like it's yeah g fuel hmm. is known for going to big streams and being like hey shit off stuff and we'll give you money I just don't know how you find out if it works. So what? Just post it in the chat there. Have you ever tried this stuff? The actual gamer food. What is this? It's just nuts. It's just like nut mixes and shit. It's just like trail mix. No, look at the name. Seeds of victory. Do they put caffeine of destruction. Cashews of chaos. Do they put caffeine in the nuts? The real name is the gutter optics glasses. That's the gross. Glasses. Inject caffeine into oh, the gaming nuts. glasses. Why are they stuck? energy nuts? What is? How does that work? Gaming they put caffeine glasses. in the nuts. Oh well. well to to be fair to gaming glasses, I have heard that those legitimately do work because they tint the screen. Because gaming so glasses are generally, aren't they? So why don't yeah, you just yeah, put they... a blue blocker on your screen then? That's yeah, like, like a normal person. Probably costs oh. nothing if you just do the saturation settings on your screen to like. They're not gonna do say, that. At, at least they work for some people. <laughs> well, I, yeah, I know what, I, I know high that's bars that's here, but at least they work. A fellow that I used to know, he used to work for Twitch like eight years ago, and he ended up getting a free pair of Gunner Optics just from his job there because I guess they were given a mode or something. And it's yeah, it's literally just just blue blockers on the glasses. They're just like yellow glasses. They don't right. they don't do anything. Because yeah, you no, could I, you could I, buy. I yeah, I guess, but there's still other colors of light coming through. Yeah, but the blue's supposed to keep you awake and make your eyes tired. Because these are, they're like 50 bucks. Something crazy like that. The, the fucking nuts? They're nuts. 
No, not the nuts. No, the glasses. Uh, well, the nut, they may be. I mean, the, the, the they are gamer, gamer food, nuts, after all. Gamer nuts could be 50 bucks a bag. You slap <laughs> gamer on something, and some people will just pay out the nose for it. Uh, yeah. but like, look look uh, at gaming chairs. Line. Great example of that, right? Gaming chairs often fucking suck. Oh, yeah. Um, well, they put gear on it. With gaming chairs. I see them everywhere. I assume they're good. Like... I don't know. There, no, there's man. some good ones, yeah. some bad ones. Some good, um, yeah, 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 pretty much. Yeah. Good ones, yeah. bad ones. Uh, many overpriced ones. Yes. But some are some are just fine. Like I like the ones that I have. I got them on sale, which is why I because my old office chair was finally starting to be like, oh, you're getting really old. And I just happened to there was a sale, and I bought a gaming chair, and I've been using it for years, and it's working pretty good, and I'm satisfied with it. But I've heard some just suck. Yeah, Especially when they ones. get into super high tier, you know, price range. And oh, you're I just thought like, the low tier ones maybe were the, the dodgy ones or something. I think the, that the 200 to 300 price range is sort of the golden zone for where yeah. you get your money's worth and where the quality starts to get to the plateau and you don't have to go further. I think I've um, gone through. I think... No, sorry, go, oh, go ahead, man. No, you go ahead. Go. I was gonna say, I think that is it um, Nexus Tech Tips or something. One of those channels did a like a thing, and Gamers basically, Nexus. Gamers Nexus. That's it, yeah. And yeah, um, yeah. you can basically get a company to make a generic chair for you, a bit like a Chinese, you know, phone or whatever, and you put your branding on it, right? But it's all the same shit. So you know, some of these chairs you could have different people selling them at different prices, but right, it's the same yeah. base and shit like that. So it's off to the con, you know, at that level. Yeah, and, and that I, I watched that video stuff. too. Yeah. That that base is actually a terrible chair because I, yeah. I had one of them for like two weeks and I was like, I can't fucking sit on this. It's destroying me. Damn. Respect so I actually ended up going... I, what I did for, for, for chair is I went to a, a store. Yeah, for, for chair. I your got car? a chair. <laughs> no, no, this is actually before I got the car. I, I, I bought a chair meant for like a 600 pound man. I'm not that fat, okay? Before we fucking get into that. <laughs> I'm not that fucking fat. But I bought a chair for somebody who's like like really fucking obese. It's like the, the ultimate wide chair. So I'm just sitting in this chair. I'm completely dwarfed by it. I can sit in it cross-legged, no problem. It's really big Damn. and comfortable. It's great, man. That sounds adorable. <laughs> you sat, are you sitting cross-legged right now? Like you're fucking yep. Buddha at your... <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, I can like put the, my arms the, in between the the actual armrests. It's it's nice. Wait, wait. I, I respect your uh, your setup for your, your Twitch channel. I was like, oh look, you got a little, you got the green screen going, you got the game oh, poster and stuff. It's like good effort, good stuff. Oh, we knew it with the couch and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and and you look pretty comfortable crossing your legs. Like, oh, look at you go. Yes, I I also do it on that couch too. It's a pretty it's pretty comfy. Thank you. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I understand I just, things I have better. <laughs> Dark Viper more focuses on dunking, which I, in some cases he has every right to because I got things wrong. But JX, he really painted the whole picture that put it all like in a really good perspective oh, for nice. me to get. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that's a uh, that's a really the criticism that was thrown. Oh, so this. Oh God. This was actually a late the edition. The they know who they are. All right, in the EFAP audience, they left a comment on both the unlisted and the upload, possibly on both of our previous videos. Like, please add this clip to the. I I saw it. Okay, and I added it. We gotta add this one because this is this is such a clip. I don't know if you've seen this before, was, Rags, but I, uh, sounds like Chud has. I don't think so. I don't recognize this. I covered this whole video and it fucking sucks. It's yeah. just basically these people went and said, "Hey, Asan, can we uh, shove your cock into our throat, Spoilers. please?" for like 10 minutes and he was like yeah no problem well that yeah for context the idea with the interview is that Hassan gets to describe his rise to his position and he got to just fucking wash up all of that that history into something glorious and he talks about himself being so fucking great but there's a particular quote that is particularly interesting all like in a really good perspective right. for me to get the criticism that was thrown in my uh, in my face uh, has been consistent throughout my career I'm an idiot. I'm a dumb uh, bimbo. I don't know what I'm talking about. I've gotten yeah. numb to the criticism. Like it's not. It's I. As a matter of fact, I seek it out now because I make content out of it. Seeks out mm. criticism. All right. Mm. Interesting All thought. Right. I'm, Keep that okay. in mind. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, and now, God, there's so many context things to give. So Jay actually intended to make a sort of a response to this situation uh, again, and then fucking just decided, fuck this, I'm out, I don't want to do this. And so when I was talking about how um, third coverage is coming up, Jay was like, would you mind throwing in this portion of the video I actually managed to create? 
because it gives just one final response argument Jay wanted to have clarified, which was um, the whole aspect of you're just you're just drudging this all up again and again and again to to do it for views. So take it away, JXE video that never got released. In November of 2020, I released a YouTube video making fun of a weird house. In July of 2021, Hassan streamed a reaction to this video live on Twitch, which he spent the majority of either absent or eating food, pausing to comment very rarely, ending up adding less than two minutes of total commentary to my 14 minute video, which he plays Jeez. in full. He does not give credit. I soon after responded with a satirical live stream, making sure to outline what my actual perspective was, both in the stream and in a pinned comment. This perspective was basically, I'm fine with reaction content. Hang on, let me just repeat that again very slowly. Slowly and clearly. I am fine with react. Sounds like Jay hates reaction content to me and would ever want everyone That's to stop. That's what I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm getting from this. Nice. Sounds spiteful and angry. Yep. Action but Quite I don't think it's cool to go around playing people's full videos on your stream without adding anything or giving credit unless you have their express permission. Hassan then responded on his next stream, first by apologizing and saying that he wasn't going to watch any of my videos on stream anymore. If you don't want me watching your stuff, I will gladly never watch it. I'm really sorry. After this, he spent approximately the next 25 minutes making arguments as to why he didn't think he was in the wrong for doing this kind of thing. Aren't you taking views away? No, most YouTubers don't mind that, actually love that shit when Twitch streamers react to their videos because they get a, a fucking word. fat bump. But he did always stay true to the principle that you shouldn't do this to someone if they've asked you not to. I then went live with a couple of friends discussing his arguments and dis- Nazis. Uh, sorry, Whee! I just slips out sometimes. Agreeing with most of them. Now, something that most people, including people from my audience, seem to not know is that I always intended to take the arguments made in that stream and turn them into their own fully edited video. As someone who primarily interacts with their audience via fully edited videos, I often do this with my live streams. If we're free now, why are we not free to do what we were doing before? If you're truly free, then you should be free to do what you were doing before. Except, that doesn't always apply. Here's a stream where I live react to a Watch Mojo video, and here's a fully edited response to that video I made a few weeks later. Here's a stream where I react to some Troom Troom video. It almost feels bad that Jay would even have to mention, like, is this is all to, to cover the argument you, you, you did a video once before, so you're doing it again. Jay's just like, oh, you know, I do thought bubble brainstorm streams and then I make the edited proper ones. It's just like, why the fuck do you have to justify this? Jesus. But, you know, that's the world we're in. It's fine. And here's the fully edited main channel video. Stream. Video. Stream. Video. Stream. Video. So yeah, I always intended to turn this stream into a fully edited video. It just took me a little bit longer than it normally does because I had other stuff I wanted to work on first. New TV shows that I wanted to review while they were still fresh just kept coming out. Somebody a video about react- Cartoons look like crap. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's nothing else to say. True. <laughs> just yeah. correct, Rags. Yeah. That content was still something I wanted to do, it just wasn't a high priority. If you still don't believe me on that, then here's a tweet from months ago where I explicitly outlined that those are my intentions. Finally, on the 1st of February 2022, I posted my first and only fully edited video on the topic. Hassan hates this video and insists that it's bad faith, despite the fact that he's never seen it. The irony of which <laughs> is lost on him because of how he's a fucking stupid person. <laughs> that's, that's correct. Wait, was, was this unreleased? That's... Oh god, I feel terrible. This is great content. I want to watch is, this video. That is unreleased, Jay. Apparently Jay's, uh, I think, mentioned to me that uh, there may be a, a release on the second channel just for that section, but that's all that exists of the video, I think, as far as Jay got before uh, uh, continuing on. But yeah, it's the first and only spicy thing Jay ever did, was right at the end of that, where he said, yeah. Hassan's <laughs> a fucking idiot. It's like, <laughs> I feel you've held back for... I mean, that's just true. That's just factually true, right? <laughs> it isn't true. It's not an insult, it's just a description. Yeah. And so, the main event, because you've got all the connective pieces you're going to need now. And obviously I apologize in advance, there's nothing I can do about this. Except hit play. Basically, well, I have no way of like, oh, I seek out the shit nonstop, right? But I've basically uh, gotten to a point where like, I have no way of responding in a way that makes me look a little bit better. Like, it looks fine to you. Okay? It looks fine to you because you know where I'm coming from. It looks fine to you because you understand what I mean. You watch me eight hours a day. It looks fine to you. But if someone has never fucking actually watched me, and the only thing that they've seen is, like, an eight-hour compilation, or if the only thing that they've seen are fucking enough clips of me standing up, leaving... You know what's interesting is, I don't think I've actually watched a critical stream. 
and yet I have I a very have good perspective of him. him. Why is that? Can't yeah. imagine why that hmm. happens. Weird. Because Hassan, as he's said over and over again, he apologized, and you know he he. So what? Man, there's some kind of weird mechanic oh. going on here. I think it's a bias. Thumbs up. And they're also and not they content creators not themselves, like so mm. they have no way of understanding what content creators are. Uh, what content creators are interested in, or what content creators? Well, he's in luck because all of us are. Woohoo! We can help out I with this conversation. I have been known to create a content before. You have. I've I've I have been there. Created. There's like or what motivates them, and the only thing that they hear is like one content creator that they actually like that has decided that reaction is bad uh, for everyone else. Then of course, like I have no good way of communicating that. To people effectively communicating that I to can people. imagine and that if you had good points that you would yes um and for for like timeline context this is the the morning after i think or, or around about the same time he put out a, a tweet that fucking missed the point completely and uh, jay oh. put out the video at this point so he's about to show it i think and it sucks um, sorry i just want to say as well like this this seems like a complete straw man as well in terms of like Movie studios think React content is bad, right? But, like, um, YouTubers don't. YouTubers generally don't care as long as you do something with it. And some don't care at all. They're like, just watch my video as long as you shit it or whatever, right? So I don't think any YouTuber is going to be like, React content is bad, not that I'm aware of. I don't know if you know of anyone that just hates React content and doesn't want anyone to do it in any context. I, I mean, I find it really odd that he would say, like, oh, yeah, you know, they're unfamiliar with it. It's like, dude, with it... YouTubers are particularly involved in copyright stuff and transformative stuff. They've been yeah. like conditioned for it all, and we hate the DMCA system. Yep. So yeah, it's especially mm -hmm. weird when you have like uh, different streamers being like, "Just DMCA if you want to stop them." It's like, what the no? Oh no, that's no. like that gives that's us the weapon PTSD of the enemy. To hear it literally is yeah. letters. Oh. It yeah, uh, it's awful. Twitch streamers have no clue about if, if you've never been on YouTube doing that thing. Having yeah. to deal with content ID yeah, it, and it sucks. It's content a, ID is fucking a night. It's a blessing ugh. and a curse. There's a, it, great yep. things about it. There's shit things about it. You know, and it's very complicated. And that's what annoys me. This is a boring thing, but existence. Hassan reacting to like MasterChef, not re not realizing the mountain ton of shit that could bring down if Twitch are like, right, we need to put a stop to this. They invest in a similar system to content ID, and that's that finished. You know, you can't even watch, a, you know, a thirty second clip of a, a TV show because you might get taken down if you're live. Right, you know. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. it, it just seems like the music one is the the progenitor. It's like, music. You, you, yes. you guys used to be yep. able to play music as much as you wanted, wherever you wanted, but now it's yep. they clamped down on it, so... Yep. Well, it's only exactly a matter right. of time. It's not going to persist forever. You can't yeah. keep just watching Hell's Kitchen and not saying anything. It's only a matter of time until one network sees what's happening and decides to clamp down on it hardcore, and then Twitch will probably implement a shoot-first-ask-questions-later system yeah, because yeah, that's what YouTube did. Themselves. YouTube got very scared, mm -hmm. and you can understand. I, I, I don't know if you guys... They, they would prefer to protect themselves than, like, go through every individual case to check. Because the reality is there are going to be a lot of instances where it is just copyright infringement. Um, so, I, I don't know if you guys know the... Right the uh, sorry, yeah. I, I don't know if you, got, if you guys know the old deep lore, but something like nine years ago, YouTube switched over from a content ID system that they had licensed from their company to something that they had built in-house. Mm -hmm. And maybe six months after that, Twitch bought the license to that company that YouTube used to use. And Twitch still has it. They've just kind of been sitting on it. Interesting. Um, they, ha they haven't used it to take down streams, but they have used it to identify music. And it's the huh. same system that YouTube used to use back when it was really bad. So I that, actually do think that we're just waiting for something to blow up now. Do you think they've just they've got the systems prepared for when the reckoning comes? I bet they, they do. Probably. Yeah. I yeah, bet probably, they know. Probably. They know it's coming. I think they. Well, yeah, because for as long yeah. as the system can operate as it does, I imagine that there's not a whole lot of incentive to clamp down on it. But as soon as a company slams them with a lawsuit, that'll probably be the time that they bring down the hammer. It feels well, like time, it's only you know, a matter of time. I, I don't know because. From what I understand of of, Twi of like the internal situation at Twitch, it's kind of a shit show right now. Um, mm -hmm. The friend okay. that I mentioned, the, the friend that I mentioned that I get all this information from, he quit something like five years ago because it was just constantly falling apart. All the people who were like really good at their jobs, they were all moving on. They weren't getting replaced with anybody who was good at it. It seems like Twitch is just running on fumes at this point. Of like decade Twitch old does work not of, run of, on of, gaming, uh, gamer, <laughs> gaming, <laughs> <It> is, <laughs> gaming, 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 gaming
no it, it, it just seems like twitch is it seems like twitch is is running on good work that people a decade ago did and right. when it finally breaks down nobody's gonna know how to fix it well, the the thing is, you know, as a Twitch streamer, you know, I'm like a 500 viewer Andy, and like I, I'm I'm not like a big shot or anything, but I I never hear from Twitch, and it's like I'm not Mizkiv level. Mizkiv had the CEO of YouTube on his stream the other day, right? Oh. And it's like I can't even get an email from a fucking Twitch member of staff to say, hey, how's it going? Like, there's no Man, communication. YouTube is, oh, it's it, it's like it's killing it. It's killing it for streaming. Make that company. You just <laughs> you, you get the impression that no human being actually has anything to do with YouTube. That it really is just a purely one hundred percent automated okay. system. Mm -hmm. But I think if you were like a video creator, editor, etc., putting up pre-prepared content, yeah. But YouTube are very interested in the streaming space, and they're really trying to attract streamers now. So they're putting a lot of time and effort into that. Um, you know, that's my perception of it, anyway. Maybe. I mean, will, there's an irony here too. Which they definitely want streamers, but sure. That Hassan and all these other Twitchers are complaining about YouTube when. YouTube is the shield. The only reason they've been able to get away with, you know, streaming Hell's Kitchen is because the media and these companies have been focusing so heavily on protecting their content on YouTube that they've ignored Twitch basically entirely. So they should be thanking us. YouTube, it does feel for weird. For being the front line, damn it. For yeah. taking the bullets that they won't take. <laughs> it, it feels weird that Twitch hasn't had this climb down already. It really does. It's just like, how could it, how could it, it have taken this strange, long? This feels yeah. like something we would have said happened well, in 2010. It's because you know? this all comes from the, this all stems really from the adpocalypse and the media seeing YouTube as a competitor and a threat. So they went hard against them. So YouTube had to roll over, show them their belly, capitulate. Where Twitch was never perceived by the media companies as like edging in on their territory, so they kind of left them alone. It'd be so interesting to see how this all plays out ten years from now. Let's say I wonder. Mm -hmm. Plenty of times well, people have change. called the end of YouTube as well. Um, still, still pumping along, still going, still there. And you'd argue, Dev, presumably that it's healthier than Twitch. YouTube is, yeah, yeah, I think so. Um, for, for all of YouTube's faults, I think because it's a a much bigger operation, they have a lot more leeway before they fail. They can have more free riders in, on within their organization. Yeah, but Amazon bought Twitch, right? I mean, yeah, but from what I understand, Amazon again, this is like a, a low level guy at Twitch where I get mm -hmm. my information from, and it's five years out of date. But right. Amazon basically bought Twitch because they saw money in it, but they don't actually care what Twitch does. Oh, yeah. Right, like but I'm micromanaging Twitch. It's like right. a passive investment sort of thing. Yeah. Sure. But I'm assuming Amazon, like they, just like YouTube has Google to fall back on, Amazon, Twitch has Amazon to fall back on. I don't think Amazon would let Twitch like completely collapse. You know, it true. could get worse. Yeah, my, my, but they'll my, bail them my, out. My understanding is the reason that Amazon bought um, Justin TV and whatnot in the first place is I think it was to do with the, the software and the, you know, infrastructure they used and whatnot. And that now they sell like a street. You can set up a streaming website through like an Amazon Web Services company or something like that. Um, and I think that they just like Twitch because they were the first to market. They've captured the market. But then mm. YouTube is like nipping at the heels in many ways with the streaming stuff. I don't know. Um, I don't think Twitch is going anywhere. But yeah, there's definitely some issues. I'd say for sure. Mm. I wouldn't be mm -hmm. surprised if I guess Amazon's their strategy was we're just not we're not we're not going to deal with Twitch until we need to. Yeah, when the oh, time sure. comes that like, we have to do it's something a monopoly with it, thing, yeah, like, grab we'll do it. it then. it's it's not yeah. YouTube, but it's it's you know it's close enough. Yeah, it's something, oh. and you know it'll probably just pay itself off eventually, even if we don't do anything. And if we need to do something, we will. But until then, we'll just let it do its thing over there. But that's what they should be afraid of, because the reason YouTube cracked down so hard was because this started affecting Google's AdSense bottom dollar. They didn't, so they're like, oh, we're going to super crack down on YouTube because it's affecting our business. So if the same thing happens to Twitch and it affects Amazon, then they're going to crack down super hard. Um, I thought maybe yeah, it's I worth... Think so. I, I think both Amazon and Google are kind of asleep at the wheel. Google less so. And as soon as, the, as, soon as something big enough happens, they'll be like, wait, what? what's going on? Oh, we'll fix it, and don't worry. This, 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 right. this. Yeah, like the, the, the owner of a restaurant coming in and being like, I don't like that all the tablecloths are red, I want them blue. And then the people who work there are like, ugh. Right. Yeah, yeah they don't want to hear that squeaky wheel. They want it to just keep going. 
Well, I um, think as well, YouTube is like a big part of Google's, like, because it's linked into AdSense and whatnot quite closely, right? Like, they're ad, mm-hmm. they're, you know, Google's an advertising business and YouTube clips into that quite nicely. But Amazon is a um, delivery business, whatever you want to call it, you know, and Twitch doesn't really fit within that. Do you know? Do you see what I'm coming from? It's like, it doesn't yeah, fit in as yeah. nicely There's as YouTube. Direct as connection, yeah. Yeah. yeah, precisely. Yeah, I, th- I, think, I think you were kind of onto it earlier, Chad Logic. Um, in that I think Amazon bought Twitch so they could get a hold of the streaming tech so they could start doing the Amazon TV stuff. I think that's what yeah. it was. Um, I just want to, maybe it's worth clarifying, right? So anybody who's listening and has literally no idea who any of us are and what we do and what our experiences are with all of this stuff in relative to... Because, like, Hassan already referenced how, like, hey, content creators will get... So, uh, Chad Lodi, you upload to YouTube, but you're, you're streaming on Twitch almost every day, right? Yeah, so I kind of see the both sides of it, you know. Um, yeah, well, like I know the pain of content ID and whatnot. So then you got uh, Fringy, you're streaming with YouTube through EFAP, uploading to YouTube, you know, content created, edited videos, and streaming on Twitch semi regularly. Correct. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. I myself do shit tons of uploading and streaming on YouTube. And then I do a lot of watching of Twitch, and I used to, I did a good two three stretch three year stretch of, of Twitch stuff. So I'm very familiar with the platform. Sitch, what what what's what's your experience with the two platforms? I have zero experience with Twitch. I mean, obviously we stream on YouTube, mm-hmm. and like people like to rub my face. I used to upload <laughs> onto YouTube. But you but shouldn't I mean, really be on the stream then. You should leave, yeah, you... We used to make videos, but I mean, we have we had some huge content ID problem last week because we streamed. The John Oliver stuff, which is available for free on YouTube, and even though we transform a twenty-eight minute you know video with to like a six-hour commentary, there's still you know HBO is so fucked, still locking it? down on us because yeah, because like we would do it with more things because we believe like the the ethical and the the law, you know, like it, it's like it, I think that you can transform something very easily ethically, but that you won't qualify with YouTube's copyright yes. system at all. Yes. Um, yeah. Because I'm even, I, I can be, right? I could be convinced, I think, if someone did Jay's 14 minute video, they played the whole thing, credited him, and then talked about all of the elements they wanted to talk about for like an hour afterward, I could probably be convinced by that, but YouTube would never be convinced by something like that. Right. Uh, so it's just because it's like, oh, if you have 30 seconds of uninterrupted or less, you know, it automatically goes to them and it goes to some intern and you write your reason for why it's for use and the intern says, oh, fuck you. Mm-hmm. You're not going to sue me, and then they just deny it. There's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, because then you have to actually, court, and it's like that's a fucking nightmare. Yeah, who's going to do that stand. for? Yeah. You know, for like See, a I, I have to disagree. I, I don't think that that's an accurate representation of how YouTube works because I've fought a lot of copyright mm-hmm. claims on YouTube, and I always win them. Really? Always. always. With, I haven't, with like I haven't big companies. One. Yep, big companies, small companies doesn't matter. What on music? I, I, I just I just keep yep music. You've won music, the music um, ones. Video. Yes, all the mm-hmm. time. That's almost unheard of. I just, to me, I just but... keep pushing it. <laughs> right. I, I even, I even, I push it to the point where YouTube gives them ten days to take me to court, or they will release, and they never take me to court. So I just Wait. say, you know what, you're, you're not gonna fucking do it. I'll just, I'll, I'll just, I'll make you be legal about this, and then they just give up, and they always. If give you, up. if you keep appealing, they have to take you to court. I thought it was the reverse of that. They have, no, no, they, they have to, to take court. you to court. Yeah, because they're the one. Oh. Yeah, you are, you're the one claiming the fair use defense. And yep. they are the ones who it, it the balls in their court. YouTube's just essentially standing by to see what they'll do. And yeah, if they want, if if if, if they say it's copyright infringement, they have to. They got to be the one to do it. Well, there you go. Okay, so here here's I'll, I'll give you some, some details on it because my Elden Ring video from was it about a month ago? Yeah, I think it was about a month. My Elden Ring video, um, it got a copyright uh, claim. And then I said no. It's fair. I said no. It's 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 fair use. And then it comes back and they say, well, they disputed your fair use. I said, well, no, it's still fair use. And then they gave me uh, a delayed strike, so I had seven days to voluntarily remove the video, or YouTube would remove it, and then I get a strike. And then I got so I said no, fuck that. So I got a strike. But then so now I have a strike in my account, and that's no good. But I also have the opportunity to file a counter notification, and that's yes. a, that is a legal notice. But the mm-hmm. counter notification basically says that they have to now take me to court and prove to YouTube that they've taken me to court or I automatically win the dispute in YouTube's eyes. And the worst part is that they have a huge window to delay 
And yes. a lot of the times they'll just play the delay game and they can make you wait. There's like 29 days. It's basically a month in mm -hmm. multiple stages that they can make you wait. So if they really wanted to just be cocks about it, they could delay your video by like almost two months. Yeah. I think they, they can max it out at about three months before they just have to give it up or take it to court. And at that point, they're just hoping that you've forgotten because then all the ra all the ad revenue for all those three months goes to instead of yeah. Three. If if it's a time sensitive video, then waiting that kind of monthage is just not really well, worth what about it. The so stuff? you change it just to doesn't it keep it in escrow? Is like the idea with, with a lot of these? It'll be like we'll keep it in a little thing until it's decided who won or whatever. Well, yeah, yeah which is by the way that something they implemented. That you, that you give up. Yeah, that that what when I started YouTube, that wasn't a thing. Yeah, that was it got introduced they, uh, relatively yeah, recently. Yeah, where it, yeah, it yep. used to be where once the company just claimed it, they started getting all the money until mm. the resolution of the whatever it is. And now it's it goes into all the money. Yeah, it, it's it withheld until the matter is resolved, and then the winner of that dispute gets the money, which is but listen, better, what? but. When you I know, started like YouTube, since I'm an old much. man, when right. I started YouTube, they just deleted your fucking video. This was like 2008, all right? Oh, fucking hell, jeez. Yeah, <laughs> further back you go, the, sh the shitty results you can get from copyright. There um, are a few things in YouTube that have gotten better with time. <laughs> yeah. Things. But yeah, yeah, so when it comes to um, the copyright claims, I'm actually... It's it's annoying having to work through it, and a lot of companies will just send out false claims and hope you forget because it's deep in the backlog of your uploads and you're not going to see it, and they'll just quietly get like leech money from you. But if you stay on top of it, it should be no problem to get all yeah. all of your revenue. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it is a small channel gets this copyright claim from this big company or whatnot, and they just they capitulate. Scared. And yeah. They're just like, oh yeah, yeah, like a lot of understandably, um, especially so if you're new to I think, it. And they'll just I think sort of, something that is worthwhile to caution people on is that like when you do like a counter DMC claim when you do a counter DMCA claim, like that is a that is a serious escalation. Like it's it's worth remembering that. Like usually this copyright stuff is just restrained to YouTube, but like it can escalate to like actual legal stuff. So like yes, you really, true. I would I would seriously like I don't I don't want to be like sitting here saying, hey yeah you know just like just counted and then you'll be fine like it, you might not be like I don't yeah, know like that if, if they're serious enough a good they idea to tell people yeah yeah well, you've got to bring up the chat energy before. like come at me bitch if you yeah, want to see me bluff, see me fuck guess, you but... so, yeah yeah that's cool. that's sure, what I do I was like yeah come on come on come do it well also here's the thing I'm in Canada Canadian copyright laws it it's no problem for me me for Americans. Mm. I I'm not sure that it's that simple. Um, that if you live in a different, I in fact I'm confident it's not. Um, because if they live in the United, like, do you think that's how it works? Like that if you lived in a country where that's not the United States, that you wouldn't, you'd just be fine. Like, surely a channel would still well, no, no, be a it's, it's because Canada's copyright laws specifically, they're I'd say a little bit better than America's in a lot yeah, of but, ways. Right. I, I'm assuming if if you had to go to court though, it would be under American jurisdiction and American law. Yeah, I mean, YouTube not TOS me. is YouTube TOS is on the California. I mean, you uh, say that, I, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like they'd be like, "Okay, Dev, go to go to court." It's like, no. What? I, so, so obviously, what do you do? I, so like so that. I don't know. He's going to show up. So, I, <laughs> yeah, so now he's not going to show up. The CIO will come and put you in a black fucking truck and take you oh, to America. God. <laughs> Dev is behind. Little bounty hunter turns up to get you. <laughs> the YouTube militia will come and get me. So. I mean, I, I mean, you're obviously, obviously it seems like a meme that you would be extradited to the United States, right? But like Canada has an mm. extradition treaty with the United States, don't they? Yeah, but like not for things like this. Yeah. I mean, like this, 200, would, 200 bucks of ad revenue. I don't think this is going to, well, no. I, well, no. So, so what I'm saying is like, obviously it sounds fucking insane, right? That you would be extradited to a different country, <laughs> like fucking <laughs> like a over YouTube a YouTube video. video. <laughs> um, My videos yeah. get like 50,000, 100,000 views. I, I'm not getting next. You you would hope they would. For anything. That would that would really that would, help your that channel. Would be, if you got yeah, that would be <laughs> good content. Can you imagine oh, live stream it. Live stream it happening. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's I got to be more content brained about these Google things. Google sent goons to kidnap me Not the and goon. bring me to California <laughs> over a YouTube video. Um. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh. Rags, you don't do Twitch at all, right? You don't really. 
No one I do Twitch? not currently do Twitch at all. No, I do not stream the flumes. But you do plenty of uploading to YouTube. That's that's your your uh, thing. And then I, yes, I have uploaded your, to uh, YouTube. And... You're doing a lot of them, right? The Twitches and yeah, the YouTube. I'm doing. I'm doing all of it. So he does YouTube, Twitch, Dollar Meat, the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Dollar Meat. <laughs> so, well, Dollar Meat. Yeah, <laughs> Chasing stream. The, the thing stream. is, like, I I started YouTube when basically it was like me and my friends fucking around making anime. Right, completely different period of my life, which is why my, my name is Short Fat Otaku. It's from 2008, um, and the, the name just stuck. You know, you can so change I, it. You can't change you it. Yeah, but like, what would I change point. it to at this point? Dev? You know, Dollar Meat, <laughs> Dollar Meat Dev, <laughs> Dollar Meat Dollar Dev. Dev. <laughs> That's a good one. Um, so, no, well, no, I case, just wanted to. I know, I know how a name could stick. I just let you know that is actually a thing because some people legit don't know that you could change your name and you can you mean on so, youtube right like specifically not on just, youtube yeah. yeah on youtube well, if, on if like I origin on steam well. yeah i mean my my side channel where i put all the all the really spicy videos i called it devonetized since they're not getting monetized nice. <laughs> yeah, devonetized sounds good. like a yeah. like a pop singer <laughs> Or genre. Is that the ones well, with all the uh, racial slurs in and stuff, right? Oh, yes. Uh, yeah. Rags doesn't know what they are. He just loves based. the songs. <laughs> so here, here's the thing. So I've, I've been doing YouTube for a very long time um, and only recently be become like, like, have like a drop of success at it only recently. So, you know, good enough. And I've had a separate, like, I, I've, I've never liked the, okay, hold on. I don't want to be rude. Because uh -oh. I like oh. Destiny, but I, I don't like, I don't like the merger of politics and gaming. I think it's hmm. kind of annoying sometimes. I like Destiny's content, but like, the, I, I, I've kept my gaming stuff on a separate channel, on a separate brand, where it gets no viewers, but that's fine because I like it being a little bit quieter over there anyway. You know, my, my, on, on Twitch, my gaming channel gets like 50 viewers, 100 viewers. On YouTube, I might get like 500 or 1,000 on SFO. And that's, I'm, I'm okay with that. But I, I've done both. And I've, I've been the, the larger streamer and the smaller streamer. I've kind of experienced all of it. Um, I do prefer YouTube over Twitch as a platform. I think, though. I think so too. Uh, but I, I might actually, I might actually start doing some SFO streaming over Twitch because Twitch politics is getting kind of spicy, right? It might be fun. Oh, oh yeah. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll, oh. I'll dip my toes into it. Who oh, knows? No. Be careful. There's, I'll, there's, I'll roll up know, my six going pound on. chair to Twitch and uh, start. Uh... <laughs> the, the, in all chair. seriousness, no, right? Just be be careful on Twitch because the TOS is a bit more restrictive. Um, oh, you know, yeah. YouTube plays a bit more fast and loose with some of the. Uh, Hateful Game awards. speech and stuff, right? And Game Awards, yeah. Um, Twitch is... Oh, I don't know certain so. words. Um, that is true. Someone's saying... Uh, the, the, so, so is the idea here that uh, we're now mad about someone using others' content to make their own content, like what you guys are doing right now? Um, I Hi, welcome I, to EFAP. Well, funnily enough, that's from Chud's chat. Sort yourself out, man. Oh. What are you doing? Come on. Oh. Chud, Chud, that guy, Chud. I, sp I spoke to that Chud. guy the other derp jerk. He's a fucking moron, okay? Honestly. <laughs> I didn't. I spoke to him on stream. Okay, good. good you must enough. beat this person. I, listen, <laughs> I'm a free speech guy, okay? I don't care if you're retarded or not. You can come in my chat. That's how I <laughs> yeah, yeah, We have the same no dollar virgin. We have the same policy. Sorry, we have I let the, the same talk, policy. Okay. Hold on. Aren't you on Twitch? You can't say you can't say retarded on Twitch. You can. Okay, listen. I can talk about this for ages. I won't talk about it too long, right? So. Okay. Retard is is okay. Um, when it comes to <laughs> racial slurs, they've got a hard line against all racial slurs. Mm -hmm. The N-word is an instant ban no matter what the context you say it, right? Okay. Soft A, I think, is okay in certain contexts, but I'm English, so I don't want to test that theory, well, like, right? If you're black, you can do it, right? Um, yeah, if you're black, you can do it, sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, but even if you're white, if you do it in a, in a, in a, like, a friendly way, that could be like okay, but I'm not testing way. that. If you use it as a term of endearment, then... Yeah, exactly, but I am fucking yeah. testing that out, okay? Like, Jesus, that's like playing with fire, right? Um, but obviously we had the, the cracker discourse. Do you remember this? Careful, when, like, dude, you're gonna get I, 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 I do, yes. I do remember Oh my that. god. Oh my god, I can say it. If I called you that in an aggressive way, I might get suspended. But I can say it, right? It's fine to say it. And anyway, I'm reclaiming oh, okay. it, right? All right. Reclaiming. Yeah, oh, you should be allowed you to say it. You're white. Yeah, that's our word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's cr cracker. Cracker. I don't know how you'd say it, but with an A, soft, no worries, you know? Um, 
So yeah. To be fair, the N word is also our word, and I say it's time for us to reclaim it. <laughs> okay, reclaim it when um, Chad I mean, isn't on, is so he doesn't true. get banned. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 All right. I'll I'll okay. put that down on the doc. <laughs> right, I'm, I'm getting some palpitations over here. But anyway, <laughs> just it's an interesting point. Right? So Twitch are quite um, consistent on racial slurs. So what their policy is, you can't use racial slurs even if it's against white people because they don't want to have an inconsistency where they're penalizing people from you know using racial slurs against black people but not against white people. Mm -hmm. That's why Hassan got banned. And so actually, you know, if anything, I mean, that's like a pro-Nazi policy, right? We're finally stepping up for the whites eventually. You know? Oh, no. That, how's that a pro-Nazi policy? Well, because they're cracking down on anti-white racism. What, cracking? Cracking, yeah, exactly. But how is <laughs> what I mean? How, how is that pro not How is cracking down on on racism? It's not pro Nazi. A Nazi, pro -Nazi I assume that was a, I, I assume no, that was a joke. Listen, obviously it's a fucking joke. Know. Oh my okay. fucking look, god! Look, 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 okay. in this chat I was reaching confused. Fever pitch. Okay. Well, listen, point, you did say look, you're a leftist, right? You did. Yeah, yeah, I am a leftist. Oh my god! I've already said. I've already said I'm not like. Okay, go on. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Okay, I'm ready. So are are you are you a leftist or a liberal? As the leftist would say. No, he's a leftist. Okay, terrible. listen, I okay, I don't you're, think you're of myself as a leftist, right? I, don't, I mean, if you want to call me that, that's fine. Call me whatever you want, right? My perspective is, functionally, <laughs> we're all liberals. We've got these things that we put on ourselves, right? I call myself a Marxist because that's the closest thing I can think to describe how I look at the world, right? But mm -hmm. I don't really give a shit about the labels, okay? The labels are cringe. We're all functionally liberals. We're all working in support of liberal hegemony or fucking whatever. Anyway, we don't want to get all political. But the point is, is like, yeah, I don't like being seen as a leftist because, you know... Um, I mean, I'm there's no good labels right today. Like, all the labels are like, everyone goes, <laughs> well, ew, you're that. I think there are some good labels. They are gamer food. Nuts of destruction. <laughs> Nuts of <Nashes> destruction. Of <laughs> and seeds of victory. That's, that's what the flavors are called. Exactly. I love them. I love the labels. Yeah. They're great. The, the problem with leftists now is it's associated with these people online who are like hyper fragile and sensitive, but also like will attack you but cry if they get attacked back and you know what i'm talking mm -hmm. about you know the kind of watch them i just right now. i we don't know. want to get associated yeah, i hate being associated this is a with that. Stream, yeah. yeah right so, so you're talking about literally everyone that destiny quote retweets <laughs> they just explode in rage <laughs> mm -hmm. it's like why I can't, can't i just believe... call you a rapist for no fucking reason i can't believe he has a big bad vibe I'm it's insane like i'm surprised twitter uh, twitter has nuked him several times over by now Especially well, because did. you're not allowed to. Like third account? Yeah, because when you're on multiple accounts, they can just auto nuke you, right? Yep. So mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know how he's done it, but he's still going. It's his I friend. Think the, I think the reason is is that Twi like what what Twitter like, Twitter's also a very automated platform. They will um they'll basically scan to see if your phone number has been banned before, and if it hasn't, then you have to do a lot of work to actually prove somebody is ban evading. Mm. Mm. So just just get a burner phone. You can go back on Twitter anytime. Oh, good. But there you go. I didn't even know that. Nice. Uh, so I got to get better at that. That's definitely something I used to be a lot better at. I don't want people to think that like I'm fucking running away from criticism. I never do. I, if anything, people oh, no. get mad at me for uh, m maybe doing too much. <laughs> uh, uh, head diving headfirst in the criticism. <laughs> I love yeah. it. It's so great. But yeah, yeah, it's so those cute. those quotes will become richer as the video progresses. Best thing to do is just ignore them. Much like that him. sucks. Hmm. Oh, but the uh, the misinfo would also just stay. I I don't think there's any way to like. I don't think there's any way to respond to it. Well, it was a good thing I showed those Charlie clips, eh? Hmm. Yeah. There is. Uh, if there, there's only one way to respond to it, and I did it. There's there's clearly no other way. Hmm. It can't um, be done. Thanks for spending the last year with me at Hassanabai Heart. Uh, I don't think there's any way to that? like respond to it and like actually fucking defuse the situation. Oh, and another cool, reason why. Uh, sorry, you're seeing this all unedited. I, is that uh, I want to show you what I'll be cutting. Right, Sitch is very aware of this. Hassan takes enormous gaps between like everything he says, and so eventually I get bored of this and start cutting a lot. I was. Sorry, I, I, yeah, I, I was say, actually I, uh, confused every once in a while when you when you were listening to these clips, right? If you close your eyes, you can't tell when a legitimate edited pause begins or when he's just lost in thought because he's not a good speaker. I I just wanted to say I like that doggo. <laughs> just yeah, the yeah, animated dogs guy, are great. Yeah. They're wasted on him. Well, is his is his son just stupid? So it takes him forever to complete yes, his I'm thought. I'm willing. Or, he's lost or in the thought. Lots of thoughts. Is he it? just reading the chat constantly to affirm his position? 
That's a theory. I can't fathom um, how difficult and distracting it would be to try and read through like a 40,000 viewer chat. The, well, the other thing he, as well is you've all got each other. Listen, I'm going to fucking defend Hassan, okay? Fuck the it. circle joke. Oh shit. my let's go, God. Okay? Fuck you all. Let's, let's go. go. No, right, okay. <laughs> Marxist so think... comment. I'm just kidding. Marxist. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I think that one thing is you fellas have all got each other to bounce off, right? I don't know what you do in your kind of solo streams and what that looks like. But I think when Talk you are just thing. But like when you're by yourself and you're formulating thoughts on the go, you do have pauses and stuff like that sometimes. So sure. you know, I, everybody sometimes. has pauses. It would sure. be the frequency and the length of the pauses I was about I to think see. is uh, varies. Just because yeah. we're bouncing we're off each other, that cancels well. out the gaps between us finishing our sentences. But everybody here mostly doesn't do anything near what he does, which well, yeah, because more the, like the example would be if um, after this. we pause here, it's like, you know, I, I really, you, that that dog, it's cute. It's really it's pretty <laughs> cute. Yeah, that like that would be what he does. Um, um, and um, oftentimes, the, the last time we covered him, it, this felt like it was because he really didn't fucking know what to say. He was struggling like hell to defend this position because cool. it's undefendable. Yeah. In, in, right yeah, here, that's true. I agree with that. I think he's discovering these arguments. On th off the top of his head, because fuck me, he just doesn't, he wants to be done with this whole thing, but it keeps popping back up. Which, um, I mean, admittedly, he might just be better served to ignore it, because he is incorrect on this, principally, <laughs> um, and... <laughs> it, yeah, he no, mentions at one point, one of his friends well, told him he was completely wrong the, on it. There's also mm. the fact that there's a lot of ideas that you can hold, that if you only think about them for five seconds, they just seem reasonable, and then you just kind of hold well, them. Well, it's, it's, like, it's, it's the standard, well, hold on, right? hold on, it's the Socratic method, right? You just keep asking questions about your uh, position so that you can kind of root them down to some core, and then once you have the core, you can extrapolate that to individual topics, rather than right, kind yeah. of picking your opinion based on the topic and the general perception. You have no idea what the underlying principles are that inform your position. Yes, th there are some times when you might you might have an idea, and it's like, well, that makes sense, and then you kind of never think about it again, and then it comes back up five years later, and then you you say it, and you're like, wait, why do I why think did that? I think that? Yeah, yeah. And then you have to wait like ten seconds for the next thought to come, and then ten seconds for the next thought to. Come. That process is better done off stream, of course than it like is. on on yeah. the fly, where you you kind of look like an idiot. You know, I've seen a lot of. I think I think every debate streamer has done this at least once, where they hold an opinion, but they don't know why they hold it. And they have to rationally work through it in their head, you know, in front of an audience where it's ten times more embarrassing. Yeah, and mm -hmm. the unfortunate part is Yeah, but that's a little different, that... though. Well, like, even if someone's working through their argument while they're debating someone, they're not pausing every 20 seconds to complete um, the thought. I guess the thing is, is, it's kind of hard to say, like, so is Hassan, like, wrong for not being able to articulate his thoughts clearly? It's no, like, I, think it's, I think it's, it's indicative just, of the fact so that he doesn't noticeable. have a position to express and he's well, trying to find one. He has a very right. empty yes. head. It's yeah. not full of things. Well, that's why I think he's reading the chat to to try to gauge what he how he should react. Well, I mean, of, yeah. I, I would imagine that that is something that is pretty. I mean, I mean, I feel like anybody would be kind of lying to themselves if they said that the way that chat is reacting to what's happening doesn't sometimes inform how they respond or think. Mm -hmm. Or yeah, yeah, a course. lot of us here out chat yeah. chat and just say, you know what, fuck you if they disagree. All right, that's what we do. <laughs> yeah. It, it can also be what he does sometimes is he'll pull someone up, some random chatter, and be like, oh, 23 months sub, fuck you, <laughs> fucking idiot. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. We, are, yeah, right. we, we are accustomed with that. I, I yeah. think we, to just bring it up again, because it was really, there was a dude who asked, I'm pretty sure it was an incredibly innocuous question, and they got like 11 month banned, and then the community that they probably thought they were a part of, like, mocked them as they and got Chia, kicked out yeah, the door. It's really strange. They, they all make fun of the people, and they make fun of how long they thought that they had some yeah. sort of uh, place in this, in this like, community of sorts. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's really uh, grim, I well, think. Did, did you, yeah, did you sure, know yeah. about the, the trans person um, incident? That that's might very I, that might just okay. pop up in Which this video. Which one? <laughs> okay, that's fine. Because okay. I did coverage well, of that, and like not to suck my own dick, but I think I kind of brought some some attention to that because no one was talking about it, and Assam was horrible to this person. But well, so something that we up. talked about last stream, when because you weren't here in the last one, is um, it was kind of something. Oh, well, you watched the denim. You you watched that, so you probably remember. It, there seems to be. I've just gotten the distinct impression that like a lot of people are. Uh, don't criticize Hassan like in that circle and the only thing that I could chalk that up to is either they don't want to burn that bridge or like they're kind of nervous about 
what would happen oh if God. they kind of went after him. Oh so many takes about right this. Up. Holy shit, the Hassan Orbiter Industrial Complex, right? Um, <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a good name for it. So <laughs> because I think I, Hassan I, Orbiter Industrial Complex. The Hode. So oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm on good terms with Destiny, and I'll criticize him if he does some dumb fuck shit, right? But like, I'm not like denouncing him every stream for whatever stupid thing he said or whatever, right? That I disagree with. Um, and I get accused of being a Destiny Orbiter. And also, you know, I've you know, made content with him and we, you know, have got a, a working relationship, whatever, right? So I get called a, um, a Destiny Orbiter because of that. Whatever, I don't really give a shit. It is what it is. But then you get these people that are literally dick riding Hassan 24 7, right? They'll never say a bad word about right. him. Not, They're replying not to him. What? <laughs> Figuratively. <laughs> This this stream, Rags. He's a Twitch got, streamer. You have to let him you gotta, do it. No, we gotta draw the line somewhere. <laughs> he's well, never well, gonna not, be able to adopt that. They're not he literally never will. doing it. Sorry, are you upset by the hom homophobia I'm engaging in? Is that what no, no? Is? I'm pro. I'm pro. No, I'm pro homophobia. It's <laughs> okay, just cool, that, good, it's, good. it's the use of the word literally. It is they. We gotta. Oh, oh, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like gotta... autism kicking in. I understand. It's all good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Okay. I'll try my best to avoid it. Right. Sure. Okay. Figuratively. <laughs> I feel so bad. For you. Anyway, listen. You've ruined my fucking flow. Okay. This is ridiculous. <laughs> right. The basic point I'm trying to say is, there's all these people, and they are going to praise Assad and never criticize him, and accuse everyone else of orbiting other people, but they are like turbo orbiting this person. Mm. And the saddest part about it is, Hassan's never going to pay him any fucking that's attention. Not, right. That's no. Not, no. Yeah. Like, They'll never now, know they e maybe, ever exist. Maybe someone else knows this. I remember hearing it. Doesn't Mike from PA like schedule his stream so that they always yes. happen when Hassan is not streaming? Like mm -hmm. it's funny after? as fuck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The Hassan That's waiting incredible. room is what it's called. So everyone watches. Hassan <laughs> waiting yep. room. Yep. <laughs> nah, Tragic. Is a, uh, Tragic. Imagine being that, that his waiting room. room. Oh, Jesus. No. <laughs> That's uh, man. Wow. That's actually like really sad. Damn. Well, um, and he's, man, he's very and bold uh, of you, Chud, because you're burning that bridge with, with Mike from PA right now. How could you do that? I burned that wow. bridge ages ago. <laughs> Listen, I fucking, I just, you know, a lot of these people are idiots. This, yes, a lot of these bridges are in cinders already. It's just, you know, ashes at this point. Um, but but Mike, from, uh, Mike from PA has actually, like, changed his image so he looks like a fucking <laughs> dollar store Hassan now. It's really Wait, funny. You know I don't what? know if you I, noticed it. I said Wait, that image really? to Friggy once. It's well, funny as fuck. Up. Can yeah, anyone find it? It's the comparison it? image. I would... I've never seen this image. I, if one of you has it, I would love to see it. Because Mike, I'm sure someone in my chat will link it quick. Go on. You look so much I've different heard before. Mike from PA, but I don't think I've I've have the pleasure. Have you seen? Have you seen the? You've seen the clip with the Bad Bunny, right? When he <laughs> the one that <laughs> oh, no. where he punched there's, the sofa. There's, there's the sofa punching <laughs> one. There's the cringe, like you know, um, touching a one. I don't know how to describe it, but yeah, there's a lot of cringe clips there. Um, oh, fuck, I'm, I'm probably not going to be able to right. find the image. It's so I've, funny. I've got, I've got the image here. I'll put it into the, uh, <gasps> oh, into yeah. this Let's chat here. You know what, let's, um, that's the destruction. Ah, oh, right, that's the one. All right, so, wait. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait, 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 don't react. <laughs> Hang on, because chat, I've got to see what Mike from PA looked like, and then when he got influenced Before, by yeah. Hassan, okay? So, one sec... God, this takes you gotta a long do it in shit. chronological order. Yeah, give me a sec. I'll even send you guys oh, it. So, yeah. I'm so excited. This, so excited. we have <laughs> generic white man <laughs> Mike from PA. There he is. <laughs> this is what he used to look wow, like. Okay? This is what he used to look like. Yes. Now, he looked like this on his stream for a long time. And then uh, he got influenced by Hassan and he tried to oh, copy man. and paste everything he does. And this is how he looks today. <laughs> 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 it's so good. It's so good. It's such a great oh comparison. My oh, oh my god! I, if you didn't tell me that that was the same person, <laughs> I would have never guessed. And they're both wearing a denim. They're and both it's wearing denim I think jackets. The same. They legitimately look totally. Different. <laughs> I. Wow. It's such a dollar That's meat store version of us. <laughs> <laughs> dollar meat store version. Yeah, imagine being the dollar meat store version of like a McDonald's or something. Yeah, it, wow. Yeah. Well, well, you, yeah, I mean, it's, it's such a shame that Hassan is like the biggest political streamer. I mean, it's a shame for lefties, I guess. I guess you righties probably laugh at the idea of that. Uh, yeah. You righties? 
Well, you know, I don't know. Rags, uh, short for Ataki, you're centre right. I don't know. Listen, you know, you know, I'm getting it. <laughs> Am I still right? You, As a Nazi, I, mean. I love his. I love that Hassan is the top <laughs> left streamer. <laughs> it makes us look so good by comparison. As, As a disciple of Mussolini himself, <laughs> a you know what I'm fucking getting at, Okay, in. Jesus. Oh my God. I'm it's offended by your use of the Lord's name. It is is just it is legitimately amazing how we have. He looks like a respectable individual, and then you're like, "What the fuck happened?" Twitch happened. <laughs> he went homeless. This is, <laughs> this is your brain on Twitch. <laughs> he uh, brought, he used to make his bed, and now he doesn't. Oh my God. That's the first well, step. The, Dude, seriously, the, the diving into that... Mike from PA's Twitch history is hilarious. More, There's so much uh, shit in there. The, the yeah. alpha mouth stuff is pretty funny. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just as a general thing. Like, oh, generally, if someone goes around calling couch. themselves an alpha male. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but mm -hmm. apparently it was a meme all along. Um, oh. <laughs> just like the couch oh, punch, my. I presume. That was a okay. meme, too. Well, it's all memes. I don't know much about Mike PA, uh, so maybe... Maybe I'm, we're just not in on the humor. Maybe it's this not is the tangent, right. though. We we met, we're here for Hassan. Not oh man, my my oh. voice just like See, disappeared. There even your own body he, rejected the idea yeah. of going back to Hassan. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, well, no. It, talk about Mike from PA. <laughs> well, didn't Mike from PA accuse somebody of doxing him, even though his name is Mike from uh, PA? I think, I think it was Destiny because Destiny. <laughs> yeah, was, that was Destiny. Because uh, okay. when they were having a conversation, um, that was when he found out that like Mike had run for some office in like some sort of I don't know if it was like federal or state in Pennsylvania, and it's like yeah, Mike oh, from PA. Was like, it was and, it that he was a fake? So, wasn't he claiming to be a lawyer but wasn't so, or something? Well, I think it was I mean, that, that um, yeah. when when he ran for his campaign, he is like mm -hmm. a law graduate. Um, but he is not, right. he, he, like, he didn't do the bar. He's not like a, he's not a lawyer. Like, you're not he a never, lawyer. He never practiced law. Like law. He school. dabbles yeah. in law. Uh, and, and then that was how that, that, all that dabbles. connection found. It's like, yeah, Mike from PA. So PA does mean legit, literally Pennsylvania. Yes. I'm yes. pretty okay. sure that's right. Yeah. yeah. That, that was where and it came his, from. He used to have his full name, I thought, on his channel too. Michael from Pennsylvania. Yeah. Michael his full name is Michael from Pennsylvania, but his friends call him Mike from PA. <laughs> So, I don't know. This meme itself, it's wild that this combo- Oh yeah, let's have a look at this meme he posts, right? So the myth of mutually right. beneficial React content. I consent, I consent with the reactors and most content creators, but then someone who isn't even being reacted to says, I don't. This it's is not this a very one. apt one, considering that Jay was reacted to by you and right. several people. Also, um, the awkward well, element- this is a core of the meme the, the the fundamental core of the meme is that like even though i'm not like me i'm jesus in this image here as i am in many images but i like i'm i'm a youtuber that no one's reacting to in this situation but you shouldn't do this you know like it's not yeah, the right thing to do regardless of my involvement it's a total straw man because if jay was fine with it then this would make sense. Like, well, okay, Jay's fine with it. But Jay wasn't fine with it. So we can comment on the shitty well, behavior. Not, not to mention the whole issue was the lack of consent. Like, that was the, yeah, that was nobody, like the one of Jay's well, whole points was if you had permission, yeah. it's chill. But you yeah, don't. Our relevance, but our relevance said that consent is just there Automatic. and you have to retract it or something. Yes. With, Which, with, funnily with enough, it is like... <sighs> It's like a malformed, mutated version of the reality, which is, so this is something we brought up before, but when Jay says like, oh, it's good that he said, if anyone asks you not to watch the videos that you don't, it's like, that doesn't really, that's not actually that true. Like, if, if someone puts up a really controversial video essay about a movie and fucking rips it apart and then says, I don't want anyone reacting to this, we'd be like, um... Yeah, tough titties. Tough titties, uh, yeah. Uh, it might be worthwhile, because we've, we've said it in the other streams, but maybe there are some people who here who haven't watched those. Um... The general, uh, I shouldn't be playing Mario Kart while I'll do that. So <laughs> the whole idea is that when you create something, when you've like created a piece of, when you've created something that is, I guess, in a sense, intangible, a creative work, you own it. You own that work. It's yours. It belongs to you. And when you've created something, you have rights to it, like your property that is enforceable broadly against everybody. The whole idea of fair use is an exception to the general rule that if you want to use something that someone else made, you need to ask them. Fair use is an exception. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, fair use permission. is literally you. It says in the copyright law, you do not require the permission of the copyright well, holder. Yeah, Why so, did you so, do these things? 
the idea with fair use is these are the circumstances in which you are not required to get permission. And essentially the idea is that you've transformed it. But the main points are like criticism, educational purposes, parody, those are like the yeah, main points. So the, the the important part is in this conversation is the the framing that it's like, oh, I can re I can use these and you need to tell me not to is backwards. You are meant to ask them yes. unless you transform it, in which case you don't need permission. That mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm. it. That's that's right. the end of the discussion. That is just it's that is the reality of how it works and how and that's probably how it should well, I even said probably yeah, well, I think that's I mean, how I, it should work. Yeah, I think so too. It should be it we should not have a system where it is the job of a copyright holder to be in constant vigilance mode all the time to have to seek down all of the well, people who are infringing on their copyright well, so and then take steps to prevent it. That's what that that's the whole purpose of the DMCA system is when people do do things that breach your copyright or infringe upon it, that's yeah, your you mechanism for enforcing the rights that you have the rights that you have automatically for what for what you've created it's yours like it yeah. is your property that's what copyright exists as is a mechanism to essentially make property creative works or things that are um it's basically like courts. I guess like you, you shouldn't break the law but if people do now you have this system to work with well, yeah, and so when we talked about the DMCA thing, the whole idea of the counter DMCA, in essence, is no, this is my copyrighted work now because I've transformed it. I am asserting copyright to what I've created, and then you would compete to see whose claim is valid. Um, yes. but the, the, I have the transformed it efficiently. This is mine now. Um, you essentially, have your thing, that's what I have mine. It's just. Yeah. It's, the meme is perfect in the sense that, yep, Hassan still hasn't changed his mind at all. This is exactly what his position was before, and he still doesn't well, understand yeah, why everybody's mad at him. Well, so the reason why it's frustrating in this, I, I guess I've got, I've got that uh, context in my head, is um, that Hassan is not like, he hasn't changed his position. His initial response was, oh, you don't want me to react to your content? Fine, I won't react to your content. That is not a change in the principle, because it's the principle that's the important part here, not whether or not you're going to specifically react to Jay's content or anything. It's like, you're not going to transform it. Ask for permission. You probably get it, um, because people probably will see some sort of utility in doing that. Uh, or alternatively, if you transform it, then you don't need anybody's permission. And that's it. Yeah, that's easy it. way. That's, that's how. That's easy it. way to understand it. If we crank the scale, is he just gives everybody one stab, and then Jay goes, "Fuck! What the hell was that?" And he goes, "Fine, I won't stab you again." And it's like, <laughs> you're like oh, you're gonna continue doing that to other people. It's like, well, until they withdraw their consent for me to stab, <laughs> then yes, I will. And hey, a lot of people like being stabbed, so. And yeah, you so, know, I, I think the other love thing when streamers stab them. I think the other thing as well is like, you know, it's the, the standard for a YouTuber, because generally YouTubers know they haven't got like the legal weight of like a movie studio is it, it's so much lower than like a movie studio. A movie studio will fuck you in the ass, even if you transform yeah. their content in some cases. Right. And they will yeah, fight. They know nail they've got the weight to throw around. Yeah, they've got the fucking expensive lawyers and the money to throw into this stuff. And, you know, YouTubers don't have that. So I think sometimes people do it and it's almost it's like taking advantage of the fact that youtubers don't have the same sort of like legal ability as a big movie company and like someone on the left that's insane to me the fact that you would take advantage of the fact that a worker essentially has got less power in the legal system right um mm. i don't know it just seems like really hypocritical if your worldview is worker power etc etc i think that's uh i think that's a good observation yeah so oh, it, even it, to is, to is this is this where where you guys mentioned earlier in the stream that it was being it was being equated to rape basically the stealing of content is, well, is this so, is where that comes from uh, yeah hassan responds he oscillates between talking about doc viper and jay and doc viper is the one that said that uh it's about like they're a tantamount to rapists and stuff uh this meme um, I think the point of the meme itself more so is just to say that Doc Viper is someone that didn't even get reacted to and he's talking about this. It's like, that's not an argument. Which but... is not, yeah, which is not, uh, exactly, it isn't. Like, you can have, yeah. th these are what happens when I have, like, there's all kinds of terrible things that happen that I have no personal stake or investment in that I disapprove of because I have underlying moral principles and a foundation for ethics and all that <laughs> risky thing to get in the way of living. Yeah, so I don't right, have right. to be involved. <laughs> <laughs> for me to talk about things yeah i i don't, I don't know if it's rape but like it's certainly you have to distill it down to a super basic mega base kind of level thing 
for it to even be comparable when it comes to the I, th I think we would all just agree, like, don't yeah, fucking compare horrific, those. Yeah. Just don't. Just don't <laughs> yeah, compare it's, it's them. The, two. the work yeah, you have yeah. to do to make that even work. I, mean, I hesitate to bring oh, in, this, in the, general, the, though, the stab like, comparison, you know? Because people would be like, oh, it's like stabbing someone, is it? It's like, no, 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 it's not. But you know what I mean? It's just chatting. Scubby, yeah. It's like scummy yeah. behavior. I don't know. Yeah. Like, there's other ways to do it. I mean, without yeah. if you're, if you're, if you're a leftist, if you're a leftist, your your view is that employment of workers by bosses is an extractive institution. You're stealing the surplus. Is it called surplus labor or surplus value? Judd, you know you're yeah. The, sur the surplus value of their labor. That's the concept, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The, sur the surplus value. But that is literally what is happening here mm. in this situation. Yeah. It, it's stealing and, and surplus value from this person's hard work when they created a video. Yeah. They're not crediting them. They're not. They're not doing anything to help this person. They're just stealing the value. They're rent seeking. Is that what you're saying? Awesome, <laughs> basically, yes. basically landlords, right? Um, mm -hmm. But but I tell you what's interesting is lefties talk about like say a show like MasterChef, right? They see it as they're stealing from the investors in the show or the head right. shows at the industry. But what they don't realize is like the mechanism by which capital gets invested into a, a production that get pays camera work, you know, camera operators, staff, you know, workers. Right. So, you know, it's not as simple as, oh, I'm just stealing from the capitalists. Right. right. Like there's a whole mechanism and process of their refunding that goes into this stuff. And that money ends up in the pockets of workers as well. well so. Yeah. Yeah. If um, that was, yeah. if we all stole well, if from like, no longer, it, it, if we all stole if, like if Moon Knight, no right? Longer, um, um, okay, sorry, go ahead. Go if, ahead. if we all stole Moon Knight and said it's Disney, fuck them, and then Disney are like, yeah, we got no sales on Moon Knight, so we're gonna cut the season two, and everyone involved in that project is yep. let go. He'd be like, oh, right. Well, yeah, because and, yeah. the cost is gonna be borne by somebody, and it's not strictly like the company is like a nebulous term. There's people who are part of the company who get paid to do things within the company. And if that money disappears, yeah. those people lose their jobs. Like, it's just how it works. Yeah, exactly. Like, the Disney is not going to lose money. They're just going to put their funding somewhere else. It's the people who worked on the show that's going to lose their money because now, now they don't have a job. And this was the same terrible argument Hassan made with, you know, why it's okay for people to loot Target stores and loot other large chains. Just say, well, you know, it's a large chain. Who cares if yeah, you're like, stealing people from the man? That. I don't know. Have, they, have those people ever, like, worked in retail before? Do they have any understanding of, like, of course not. Dude, of, of, of course not. I told the story well, before. Chains I came out close. Of whole, like, dates. I came exactly. close to losing my job because things were getting stolen. I, I, I was, it was put on me as a worker that, like, you shouldn't be allowing this to happen. Turned out it was one of the other workers using his keys to get in and steal shit. It's like, how the fuck was I supposed to stop that? It's like, mm -hmm. well, you're at fault. It's like, great. Right. But as Rags was saying, I mean, even worse is like if it's wide scale looting, then you're going to have entire neighborhoods or places where they're not going to have access to these stores to buy the goods they need for their normal life. Yeah. Well, the, the, or the other place, isn't profitable. Dude. They're just going to close down. They're just going right. to say, well, we're not making any money here. Yeah. Everyone's stealing it. We're just going to, we're just going to fuck off. And now there's no yeah, store for anybody. Gonna, yeah. It, I've, I've recently made trips to outside of St. Louis and some other places on some jobs and stuff. And there are, you go through, you drive through Ferguson outside of St. Louis and it's just like closed building, closed building, closed building, closed building, old department stores that no one will, no one is going to rent, no one's going to pay for, no one wants to put their stores up and stuff. I mean, it's just companies will leave these areas and the, that the other, doesn't come from nowhere. The other problem you've got as well is like, I'm pretty sure we'd all agree. Um, if there was some poor fucker who's literally got no other option and they steal a loaf of bread to feed themselves, like who fucking cares, right? But there's a difference between that and like these professional shoplifters, yeah. right? right. Yes, and they go and fucking absolutely. slam in fucking hundreds of like, I don't know, um, laundry detergent pods, right? And they go and sell them on the black market. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you get people that are like, oh no, that's fine. Don't worry about that. It's like, motherfucker, what are you talking about? Like, yeah. um, you know, well, that, that's real. Just, to sort this of, is an yeah. impact. And to transpose yeah. that over, it's like we've just talked about all the complications with stealing just from Hell's Kitchen. These people, like Hassad, will happily just steal from the lowest level YouTuber without giving a shit. This is like, damn, right. dude. Hey, listen, listen, listen they've all got insurance, TV. right? <laughs> the the new YouTubers insurance. have insurance. Stream, right. Streamer yeah. insurance. <laughs> the, the insurance will pay for it. You don't got to worry about any kind of looting. Actually, did you um, see recently? There, there was that one, uh, there, was it a gay bar that got torched by some anti-gay person? couple days ago yes. and it turns out that their insurance can't cover it so they're, they're got, they have like a gofundme it, mm -hmm. i guess insurance doesn't really cover it does it christ 
People think was, insurance sorry. is like a get out of jail free card for when a bad thing happens, and it's a bit more complex than that. Actually. Well, the part that they get wrong is the whole it's an instant refresh. It's like, no, no, no. Exactly. no. Sorry, did, no. sorry, do we not support Black Lives Matter on this show? What the fuck's going on here? Like, what's, what's all this Why? racism? <laughs> Uh, can we just get back absolutely to the not <laughs> sir oh good listen Lord. i support <laughs> i support the leaders of black lives matter to buy mansions for themselves and their families and uh redistribute the wealth that way capitalism oh my god i've not actually covered that story yet but that is fucking horrendous like what the fuck is going on there <laughs> yeah just to be yeah. clear listen i'm sorry i know that this is a very you know i'm not gonna say it again i don't want to be too ableist i'm joking with some of this stuff okay maybe it's the british thing i don't know okay but when I, I say shit like that, it. you don't have to uh, fucking take me seriously, are, play Jesus. Are, what, we don't okay. think you know any lives matter. It is the accent. Is. Is. Actually, what, so what I'm going to say is, like, when you start yelling, I don't know if, like, you're memeing or if <laughs> Yeah, you're I don't know. I didn't know. I have, I have no, no clue. clue. I, I have know. a better understanding you know than listening to enough of your streams. It actually is the accent. I don't think it's the accent. Look, with Sargon, I can't tell if Sargon's joking ever, either, as well. Wait, wait, wait. Do you guys have that trouble with me? Or Or no? No, no but you, really, no. Mahler, you. Mahler puts a very specific voice on when he's being but I'm sarcastic. used to you, Mahler. That's I'm used true. to your horse shit all the what? time. I've, I've, <laughs> I've just dealt with you for Down. so long. I know, your, I know your voice. I know you. Very well. Well, um, but, we'll get to, used to, to up, there, I'm sure by hour nine we'll have gotten it. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, at the end of this, when we're grizzled veterans. Oh, yes. Yeah. You're Welsh though, not really British. All right. <laughs> uh, it's all Let's the same. I don't to talk about. Been, uh, it's wild that this is even a convo when most people love watching it and the overwhelming majority of content creators, including myself, love when people react to whatever we make, right? This is true. The myth of mutually beneficial <laughs> react content. This is true. <laughs> this is true. Instantly, the correct, we just got off this big tangent on why this <laughs> is wrong and his first words are true. Well, to be fair, he's not listening to us. He's just listening to himself, Frag, so of course he's going to say true know, it, constantly. <laughs> <laughs> his, his inner monologue is nothing but him. If he has one, it's nothing but different versions of him agreeing with himself in his head. <laughs> it's that fucking Jerry meme from uh, Rick and Morty where it's just everyone's cheering for Jerry. Yeah, who yeah. is Jerry? <laughs> Ten. I consent is the reactors. I consent is 99.9% .9 of content creators. And I don't says random YouTuber who no one is reacting to. Isn't there? My sources, I made it you the fuck up. Yep. So I made this, uh, I made this meme, okay? And... <laughs> The problem with a meme like this is that the problem it's with wrong. a meme like this is like a third of the whole meme is empty white space. That's uh, what's wrong with this meme. Yeah, first yeah, off, yeah. That. it's a mobile meme. Okay, he didn't crop yeah, he, it. He oh, it's a mobile. Mo oh, yeah. you're right. Oh, it a of course meme. It of course that, uh, uh, does not see the valid side of the criticisms, right? So hey, that's great. He's just acknowledged the meme doesn't see oh. the valid sides. How about that? Okay. Oh, growth. Wow. The valid this sides of arc. the criticism. What are they? Are this. Okay. If I watch okay. a content creator, okay, it doesn't matter if it's helpful to them or not. If they don't want me to watch them, then they're right. Oh. Well, we're <gasps> still oh my back fucking here. god. <laughs> we're still back what? on that one. Oh well. Jesus. He's such a fucking idiot. It's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, he's been saying that since day one, and I don't know why. Nobody knows why. <laughs> he keeps saying it. <laughs> what fucking said that? Where's he even got that from? I don't know who... Oh this is what I mean. It's a weird principle, right? Like, who even says, like, oh, yes, that's the way you're supposed to do transformative content. Whenever they say stop, you stop. It's like... Uh, well, is this, like, he's just too stupid to understand? Or yes. is it that he's crafted this straw man, and he's gonna, by God, he's gonna stick with it forever? He's gonna piss all of that straw man forever. I don't know. I think, um... I don't know He's if trying to even, frame like, the argument. Right. I understand way. that you can criticize something. Like, I doubt that if he was watching, like, Fox News or something and shitting on them, and then Fox News were like, stop it, that he would just say, <laughs> oh, well, they've asked me to stop, so I'm going to. Like, you are I think correct. Yeah. What if they, right? they said it in that <laughs> voice? Stop <laughs> it. I, I, well, of, course, of course it's said in that stop voice. It. That's how you ask people to stop, stop reacting stop to it. your, Get your up. news coverage. Stop. It was valid to be like, hey, that's fucked up. Please don't do that again. Okay? That was valid. It's weird that he says, because if someone said, like, your coverage of us was uh, fucked up, don't do that again to us, I'd be like, oh, shit, what do we do? What do you think was fucked yeah, up? It, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. tell us. And, and if they said, no, 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 just the fact that you're covering me, I'd be like, that's not fucked up. Oh, go away. Well, you criticized my bed, so that was pretty fucked up. <laughs> that was pretty fucked up, Rags, come on. That was the. I know the bed, okay. unmade bed, is fucked up. The bed wasn't the agreement. worst part of it. The bed wasn't the worst part of it. It was the <laughs> oh, fucking eyelash comment. It was the, it was the eyelash comment. Three. What the fuck was that about? 
You know, yeah. Listen, oh yeah, that was, that was the oh, hardest point. I was I had to push back against these incel comments, oh, and then you said that, and I'm like, oh wow. What did I mean? You could hear uh, those eyelashes coming across so just, the mic. Come uh, just on, they were very loud. What did you say? It was something to do with like I don't know. It was sticking to. You said, oh look at those eyes. I can't remember exactly. It was like look at those eyelashes. Rags remember. She had like. The fake eyelashes on, and one of them was kind of off slightly. Lustering so whenever she blink, hair. it would actually move her hair. And yeah, so I was distracted. Yeah, I asked because I was curious what you remember. But essentially, my comment was: it that slut looks like it's really, really annoying to have your eyelash constantly rubbing against your hair all the time. That must be really, really annoying to have to have that be your I'm day. To be honest with you, it doesn't sound like an incel comment. It just sounds like a normal person comment. <laughs> just yeah. oh, that's a it's weird. It's very thing strange. Going there. Cause, Cause in a lot of the footage of her, you could tell that her eyelashes are not like on the same horizontal line because <laughs> the right eyelash is stopping where the hair is. And I'm like, that's, that's gotta why, be annoying. To... Why are you spending so much time looking at her fucking eyelashes, bro? What the fuck's going like, I'm on? I'm looking at her for hours. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. That's it's what her job making... is for me to look at her. <laughs> it's because you're making all these other pedantic points. So you spend all this time looking at her and you find more, you discover more to dig into. Look at those that's fucking eyelashes. Oh my God. It's her problem that she has all these issues that are worthy of pointing out and commenting on. I'm gonna uh, shut next point. time hold you on, comment on, on anything tertiary. I'm gonna be like, "Wow, the pedantry." Also, I'm correct. You don't even disagree that that must be very awkward. I mean, sure. I just don't think it's a rele relevant <laughs> ah. observation. I just think it's the point. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Out, okay? what, but what is what is the underlying thing here? Why does it bother you to point that out? I guess because um, I'm protecting the queen. Actually, funny enough, <laughs> Denim, Denim's, funny enough about all this, Denim's right? I'm orbiter. fucking going to bat for Denim's, right? Denim's unfollowed me on Twitter. I've got no idea why. No! Wait, was do you know when it was? Because we shall follow you back. Because if it was when you you had mentioned you're coming on EFAB, you doomed me. You shouldn't have come here. Well, it's I, I don't know. Like I made a video critical of a video because it sucked, um, and then obviously <laughs> I reacted to you watching, but I was somewhat defensive. And then I said I'm coming on here. I don't know. It could have been a number of things. We, you know, there's some other stuff from before where we had like a bit of a fractious interaction. I, I don't know. There's a whole bunch of shit. So who well, knows? I'm pretty sure oh, she's maybe it's because well, I'm, right? Maybe Mahler. it's because I hate women. Yes, Dev. Well, I agree. Yeah, Dev uh, hasn't blocked me yet. Oh, you Despite can sort that out. Just add it with like. I think you'll you make bad content. <laughs> I should do it. <laughs> No, 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 well, just, just, just send me that clip privately. Of... No, 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 just add her a picture of the unmade bed. <laughs> <laughs> Mahler sent me a clip privately. Wait, 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 wait. Just because about my tweets. Nobody fucking actually do that because Jesus Christ, people will be like, oh, let me show you a picture of <laughs> me doing it. Don't do that. Leave her alone. Leave her alone, please. Leave her alone. This is not a brigading channel. No. Anything. Yeah, we, for don't, dev. Yeah, right. dev only. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was already saying that to Dev, okay? Because he's, he's chasing. Oh, am I? <laughs> not this time, guys. Not this time. Not this time. Okay, for fuck, listen. She's not trans. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking the bed God. identifies as being gay. <laughs> we know what Dev's into. Okay, come on. <laughs> Kirby. <laughs> He's into Kirby. <laughs> <laughs> he has a, a, a Kirby vor fetish. Very. Those line up very well. Um, wait, Chubb, were you about to say something as well, though? No, I'm done uh, hating on women for now. Right. I'll give it 10 minutes and I'll be ready to recharge. I remember when I used yeah, to say it. that. Just one bite, I said. Oh, I'll never do, do it that? again, I said. Do you see what that person in chat says? It says, just asking if someone like Steven Crowder wanted you to not watch his content, yeah, would you right. stop so watching it? They asked me basically the, the same thing that I was thinking. Right. Which, um, Wait, sorry, so well, the question I, is, if Steven Crowder start, asked you to stop watching their content, would you? Yeah, because yeah. remember, no? Hassan said that that's... Well, no, no, no. They're asking Hassan. Do you not see it on screen there? Oh, sorry. I thought you meant our chats. I was looking for it. No, 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 no. Hassan's chat. Oh, he, if he sees that, he's oh, going to ban him. So, yeah, sorry. I didn't. Okay, yeah. yeah. That guy's genius. It's the Fox News. <laughs> You're what, playing with fire here, my friend. So we, 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 we like to point out whenever there's a, th a free thought in uh, Hassan's chat. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. It's like a unicorn. Yeah, it's going to get banned soon. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I have clips of that. <laughs> no, no, no. Hassan <laughs> seeks out the controversy. What are you talking about? Yeah. Okay, so listen, this is the reality of it, okay? Mm -hmm. um, if you're doing something that you think is wrong, if you do it to a right winger, it doesn't matter because they're a right winger, okay? That's how it works. That's the logic. No bad I wouldn't, only are, uh, bad targets. I wouldn't, want you, I wouldn't want people to think you're joking there as well because that's a, that's a thing a lot of people have said. Yeah, uh, that, that is. I've, yeah, the true yeah, thing. That's move, that's, yeah, that's the famous quote. No bad tactics, movie only bob. bad targets. Yeah. I think Move Bob okay. just tweeted that out, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the movie Bob. Didn't thing. we... I could have swore we heard someone unironically parrot that, that we were watching. Move, move, move Bob. 
No, Beyond Movie Bob. Beyond Movie. There is what no is Beyond, Beyond Movie? Well, it, it's it's from <laughs> Saul Alinsky, right? It's not a fat it's joke. We're just like it's, it's not, it's just, just to be clear, that's not what we're saying. I feel okay, like highlighting look, that made it worse. <laughs> I've I've got this quote that's really good, and I think you're going to get a kick out of it. Okay, mm. this is a good quote. Um, can I just read it? Is that okay? Go for yeah, it. Go. Well, you, you got it now. You it's can't much, leave it hanging. It's, okay, it's much, it is a leftist meme. It's much a text, though, but I think you like it. Um, okay, the surest way to work up a crusade in favor of some good cause is to promise people they will have the chance of maltreating someone, to be able to destroy with good conscience, to be able to behave badly, and call your bad behavior righteous indignation. This is the height of psychological luxury, the most delicious of moral treats. That's, that's, that's Huxley, that's eh? Video. That's Huxley. Yeah. Yes, yeah, that, that is. Yeah, it reminds me okay, of that. Uh, fan of that, that John Cleese video from. Like, well, I use it in a video like ago. two days ago. Okay, big brain. Yeah, <laughs> I know, I know. The, the quote people things. talk about Kirby. Listen, listen. I got an absolutely <laughs> useless degree. Let me enjoy it for once. <laughs> what happens <laughs> if Kirby, Kirby swallows what a quote? Your, what's, what is your degree? What do you do? Uh, Huxley, English, were you listening? <laughs> English literature and gender studies. Oh, oh nice. okay, right. Wait, why the, the gender genders. studies? Because just I could curious. get a minor in one of three things. I just need to take one extra class because of all the various like side classes I took. And I said, oh, oh this one's the easiest. Don't fucking you... bullshit us. It's to be a more effective chaser. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is that I was going to say, you don't accidentally your way into a gender study degree. Hey, okay. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Listen, gender studies in the 2000s was very anti-trans. I didn't learn how to be a chaser there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Was it? Was it? Uh, oh, yeah. You're like old. Or something? Oh yeah! Oh, absolutely. Listen, the the feminist scene in like two thousand nine, one hundred percent turfs, all turfs. Yeah, everywhere. but it doesn't make it better. I'm. So, why would you take that? And I don't understand. Well, no, be, no, no, no. Because it, the the joke is that you wouldn't learn how to be a chaser. Oh, for shade. I got you. I got you. Yes, 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 yes. But milking that for an entire fucking year and continuously making like videos about it is crazy. You know, after a fucking year, yeah. especially yeah. because like. I agree with the original. It's been six months at this point. I don't know why he keeps saying a year. It's, uh... Even if it had been a year, though. Even if it had been, yeah. Something again. Well, the, the weird thing as well, he sees all of Jay's, like, stream and video as excessive. Meanwhile, every time he brings it up on his streams, it doesn't even count as coverage. No. It's just like, okay. It's only when Jay... Larger yeah. audience. Because you've got Hassan's initial reaction to the video, then the reaction to the the reaction to that, and then this. So that's three. Jay's only got two, as far as I know, maybe three. So it seems like you guys are equalized. Like, is there a problem? Mm -hmm. No point. After a year, it's like, okay, well, like, I what do you what else do you want? Well, if you listened, <laughs> you'd have some <laughs> clue as to what was uh, being requested. But this yeah, stellar it's commentary. Yep, for me. You know what I mean. And no. the thing is, like, I will not watch their video. And every time I talk about it, like, people go and seek it out and they watch the video. The entire point is, like, to get people to watch the video a year after the fact. It's just not worth it. It's not. Like, I, I feel so, like this is just a standard sort of dig for motivation. It's like Jay's after the views. They just want you to watch it. And it's like, oh, well, I mean, I, I guess it sounds sappy, but Jay believes a point is being made, an important one, and uh, wants to share it. Uh, mm -hmm. as someone, I know my my opinion doesn't mean much to Hassan, but it's just like a, with how much I know about Jay, I just be like, yeah, I, I don't really believe it was even a primary or secondary motivation was a monetary gain from views. I really don't. Yeah. Jay mm -hmm. is very pure. Yeah. Well, not if, that wanting money for your work is impure, but that's yeah. true. We're all good capitalists here, but uh, apparently, as we learned, but um, not us. We don't, we don't do four <laughs> ads in a row. We're not, we're not that good. <laughs> But if Hassan had acknowledged what, like, what the problem was correctly, kind of the way that Moist Critical did, would Jay, I mean, would Jay probably would have made the video, right? Nope, Jay would have been like, that's cool, dude, you go right ahead with uh, right, exactly. whatever you're up to, thank you, I appreciate it. It's not what happened, though. No, nope, that is not what, that's an alternate reality that we'll never get to. I feel like it's bad faith. Uh, I'm sorry, okay? Yeah, you, you haven't Jay, even seen it. You haven't even it's seen just great, it. Jay's already in bad faith happy. territory. Even though song. he hasn't seen the video, nope. he doesn't even I mean, he know can what it's about. He can sense it, but he does actually go on like to say that, that, that eventually. I feel like that needs further emphasis. He hasn't seen it. He hasn't watched it. I mean, do you really have to watch a video to know it's content? To know what's in it? You can yeah. smell you the face. feel it in your gut, you know, kind of like, bubbling up. This is good for Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or is it just Freudian, right? I mean, I would only <laughs> ever, like, drudge up old stuff because I want to get more viewers and stuff. 
couldn't be that someone just believes what they're saying <laughs> and wanted to talk about it or that there were well, other they, videos that they worked on in had, the meantime i wouldn't know about that i'm hassan i don't make videos had jay released it a month after hassan would be like one month yeah it's not, <laughs> exactly it's however long you decide is long enough or he'd say it's more than a month because it's more than a, it hasn't been a year it was six months yeah but you can round up six months to a year <laughs> like, okay if it's zero or well, a year it's, it's you say know things that aren't true you know let's round six months up to two years fuck it especially yeah, considering I mean, that like i'm right or i mean they're right <laughs> and i <laughs> <laughs> that's fine that's i fine. have apologized like i agree like you, if someone doesn't no, want to watch so your sh what you what you said is oh i will never watch their video again and you said it in a tone that was pretty hmm but also, like, you're going to continue doing it to other people, which I would imagine Jay's not super thrilled about. Well, the and just to principally sort of back up that tone point, the impression everyone gets from Hassan is very well, Jay. You lose the privilege. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, and also Hassan didn't just say I'm sorry for like the wrong thing. He said I'm sorry, but then he said suck my dick, fuck you. Well, Do you want me to well, starve sorry. and die? Yeah. He said a lot of other things afterward that it, if yes. you conveniently ignore, and of course he will proceed to say some uh, things as well. It was weird because like a critical's appreciation of Jay's perspective didn't even involve that many insults, if any at all. It's so strange. Like, <laughs> not possible. He must have misheard. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I have, on, I have it on good authority. That's just stop. That's not possible. You don't watch their shit. That's it. Okay. So there is validity in that. So in that conversation that's where he sees the validity it's insane to me it's like no that's that's not yeah. really that important compared to the uh. in that side do i personally think it's beneficial for them no but it doesn't matter it's not me it's their video the guy who posted in a hot score basically just wants you to pause but before you go to pee that's it he's in good faith can also be very annoying so a bunch of people also jumped on this and were like dude why do you play the video while you're fucking getting up is it coffeezilla no of course not i love coffeezilla that person made it. Oh, that's what? the other reason. The person uh -oh. that we're talking about also made an eight hour podcast was like kill stream Nazis. What the fuck are you talking about? Where they like basically just <laughs> restreamed my stream, which I don't have an issue with, but I. <laughs> We didn't restream I, I, your stream, what? you loser. Kill stream Nazis. Is he talk you talking about this show? He's talking yes, about this yes. show, EFAP. Yep. Yes, that's us. Well, how does it I mean, feel? Ha have any of you been on the kill stream? I think I have once. I have. I have once. I'm yes. only aware no, of it. Once, like years no. ago. I'm aware of it. I know it's a horrible place. Well, I mean, I uh, argued yes. with, with Nick Fuentes and other white nationalists, so I guess that I, means I'm a Nazi now. I, 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 one of the things, the inception of EFAP, I was like, I hey, Rags, uh, do you know about that, the blood sport shit? And you were like, yeah, I was like, we ain't doing that. And you are like, yeah, good, we ain't doing that. Yeah, we're not, we're not, we, it is, <laughs> it is in our, our manifesto <laughs> that we don't do blood sports. Don't, do blood sports. don't be pussies, guys, you no. need to get in there. Look, I, I recall during early dumping with Scrump days, Scrump wanted to turn our show into a blood sports show, and I was like, ah, maybe not. No, this no. is not. This it, is it a good idea. I'll, nowhere uh, good. It leads I'll ask nowhere you more, good. Since you've, you've edited the video, that's where he got that talking point, right? Someone yep. in chat said that, and he's latched onto it forever. He believes it to be true now. For the rest of the, he's just like, Even this is a does, true well, statement. Well, I remember in the first stream that we covered, the on, the first time that he heard of this show was when someone said EFAP reacted to you, and I think his exact words were. Fuck EFAP, I'm not watching their dog shit content on the basis of nothing. He didn't even know what it was. He didn't well, yeah. know the content of it. He didn't know anything about it. But he latched onto that. And he's seen someone say this and he's latched onto that forever. And he trips up in um, that, in that, what you're referring to there, because someone in his chat is like, whoa, whoa, every, every frame of painting is an amazing channel. And then he's like, every frame of. No, I, li I like that. Wait, what's. what's yes, he? because. Wait, I need his, to be his, able to his brain was seriously like, "Whoa, there are there are two ways that that word can be used." Jesus Christ, what is yeah. this? I'm having so much trouble right now. And it's just like, "Yeah, yeah, you gotta well, so cross it the, out." The good way to avoid that is when someone says, "Hey, someone criticized you," don't just immediately say "fuck them" and what they make sucks. Uh, and similarly, when you're gonna say something incredibly, I, actually, is really annoying me. Um, <laughs> Like, I can't believe that you would just see one person say something in chat, and then you decide to latch onto it forever in front of a massive audience. But if it and helps like, your narrative, the problem there. Especially the, if it helps your narrative, of course you're going to do that. The magnitude yeah, of that claim. Um, it's not like they said, you know, EFAB have had uh, right-wingers on their audience before. Without checking, you could probably be like, that's probably true, yeah, you, know, you could probably run with that, but killstream Nazis? Like, you might want to confirm that before yeah, <laughs> telling everyone so that's what we are.
Yeah, like someone in chat just said, uh, Chud Logic is a super Nazi and he kicks kittens. Also, he smells bad. So that Damn. is uh, clearly, that's, I don't know who this person was. I don't but smell bad. Is, I don't smell it's bad. in the chat, so it, it must be true. <laughs> but all that but other someone stuff. said it. So, yeah. And that's, you got, um, that guy's got a tick, so he must be right. Yeah. So someone in chat said irresponsible platforming. Well, I would say that it gets worse than that going forward. But uh, in terms of like the nature of what is bad about what he's just said. The, um, um, the aspect of it that's so odd, though, is like, you know, it's like, try and give the best faith response to this as possible. Kill stream Nazis. Like, but if you watch EFAP, you would more likely be bored by the nerd talk. That is that is the reality of this podcast most of the time. Yes, I this can is... attest to that having been on it. So. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That is so. Has anyone actually seen the stuff where we like talk about one movie for nine hours? It's like this is something we do. It's no. barely ever anything controversial. Well, I it can was be told by my comments that you, some, somebody here, mm -hmm. wanted to talk to me about the Mandalorian season one. Oh, Shall we divert for the next four hours? Look, we no, might have to shelve that for another <laughs> time. That that, no, it but uh, no. yes, I, I tell you, I tell, I tell you what's happened, right? So there was this analysis about like YouTube algorithms and pipelines and stuff like that. I think there's like some validity somewhere. Like I can envision watching Dave Rubin speaking to Stefan Molyneux. They watch Stefan Molyneux. Like there's a process there. Maybe that happens, right? Whatever. But I think people like spread that to everything. So it becomes if you watch EFAP and they've had Sargon on once. You're then going to end up watching Sargon and but Sargon. Nobody, do you know what I mean? How come nobody ever mentions that we have Jay on? And, and Jay Jay, Jay's the most common because guest the pipeline at this point. Is, yeah, the pipeline is only useful when it needs to be useful, and it doesn't. Well, yes. well I mean, uh, I feel yeah. like you've, you've actually done the thing there. The pipeline goes both ways. Um, There's a pipeline can, everywhere. Yeah. It goes exactly. all over the place. It's a series of pipelines. You can just. Yeah, can how how do you have said they've gone from like. People have gone from like Sargon to Shu on head to Vosh. You know, people say this all the time. Well, what all the time, if someone you know? went from mm -hmm. Sargon Any to direction. us? Like they go, oh, <laughs> I don't. You know what? I have less political interest. I'd like to talk about movies more. I'd These like guys to Yeah, we went from Sargon to Efap yeah. to Resident Evil, and no, we never get credit for that. I don't think yeah. it has to do with your having Sargon or any guests on. I think it has to do with like a lot of the Star Wars stuff, where there was sort of this I push think, of like think, yeah. woke inclusion so, means you like Star Wars, the new Star Wars movies, and since you guys are critical of it, that means you're anti-SJW Nazis. I give an example, right? Black, yeah, Black Panther like, was yeah. an optical mistake for Mola, even though the only goal he was trying to go at was I didn't think the movie was very good. Right. But like, exactly. it was a disaster optically. <laughs> well, there are the plot reasons and character <laughs> reasons why this movie is You might as well have just said this movie's got too many N-words hard. And yes. you would have been the same effect, you know what I mean? Yeah, with, yeah, yeah. Well, with how many Rhino. people haven't even watched the video, right? Like, how many people haven't well, even watched the Well, they do the thing, the where they're like, don't you think it's convenient that the, all the movies in the MCU he's gone after are all female-led or black person-led? It's like, wow. That's not even, this is not, like, they have no idea yeah. what I think of, or have, I, I, we literally spent like yeah, seven man, hours. I mean, when you say that, like that, Mahler, that is convenient. No, we I'm shredded suspicious. the Winter Soldier. It's one of the most popular fucking MCU movies. We had, with yeah, a yeah, white lead. Totally. That had to do with, that has, <laughs> Winter Soldier has gay undertones, so obviously. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, well, you know, uh, uh, they've had trouble oh. maintaining this when we did the Arcane coverage, because me, Fringy, and Rags will basically come out loving the show, and it's got it. two female leads, and one of them's a lesbian, so we're in good. Okay, they'll listen, just ignore on, it, they'll just ignore it. I'm on the Sigma grind set, so I'm going to show myself right now, okay? Yeah. <laughs> There's a video on my YouTube channel, which are all like Twitch edits, right? And I, I went to my chat, and I was like, look, I've spoken to the man himself, okay, the long man. And uh, I'm told that he's not quite as bad as everyone makes out. So <laughs> what have you got for me, chat? Hit me up. I mentioned this earlier. And it was just nothing. No one had anything for me. And I was, like, getting annoyed and pissed off. And I was, like, banning people from chat that were giving me shit. Um, but, yeah, and this is the thing is when you question it, you kind of realize, like, well, actually, maybe I I'm have based this on, on, like, misinformation or not really knowing what's going on, you know? So, yeah, I don't it's know. The I think one thing that happens all the time. It's the same thing he did. One person, I heard it from a person somewhere. Maybe it's just a random mm -hmm. tweet or a random internet comment on a stream or a YouTube video. And that's all it takes. And people latch onto that and then they spread it to other people and it never stops. That's what the truth is now to them. Mm -hmm. And uh, Chud, well, you, it only takes one. you'd be aware of this, but like, yes, I made a four hour video shitting on the new Black Widow movie that is female led, but it baked into that video, you will find it. There's a whole section about how much I like Black Widow as a character and how much she's been ruined. There's like, I wouldn't know that if you watched the video, though. 
Exactly. Um, so the, the yeah, frustration you... comes from an appreciation and love for the writing as it were, not as they've done it now. For a woman! Mm. No, 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 I, I think a lot of this just comes from, like, e even if you're, if, if you're like an anti-woke leftist, let's say you're just not a real leftist to a lot of people right now. I think that's just where it is. You, you might want, you know, a healthcare system or whatever the fuck, but if you think woke garbage is cringe, then you must be a Nazi. That's just but, the whole thing. The, the thing but is, it's, though, not even, it's not even a major part of what we talk about here, though. They wouldn't talk about that at all. Well, landscape. you know what? They, like, they you... use the one drop rule on that, you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I, ju I just think that, like, you know, you, you can be critical of pandering and stuff like that. You know, without being like insane with it and being like, "There's a fucking black person in this movie. It sucks, right?" Like, you know, that's a bit of a. But you know, there's there's some people who literally the presence of any minority. I think of some like Doomcock, right? Who's got fucking shit takes often about this sort of thing. I don't know if anyone's friends with him or whatever. I um, haven't here. watched his videos in forever, so I can't say. I know well, of him. I know um, the the first EFAP you had me on. I think is when we watched No BS's video. Oh god! And he talked about how Vision is like uh, a trans allegory. <laughs> <laughs> No bullshit is the Hassan of the right. Do you, yeah, Chud, do you know the, the famous quote from No Bullshit is there's a suspicious amount of women in Black Panther? <laughs> it's a fucking banger. It's a great no quote. No Bullshit is hilarious. He also had Debates Are Gay. Debates Are Gay. Right. He yep. asked you, Sitch, if you consider yep. yourself white or a Jew first. Where do your loyalties <laughs> truly lie? He called yes. me and he called me a known leftist. And Mahler, he called... Oh, what did he say about you, Mahler? He said you were um, anti-white or something. He said, oh, fuck, yeah, I can't remember. It was hilarious, He had, he had though. one for each of us, yeah. He, he, no one left. Nobbs is hilarious. He's such Nobbs. an idiot. <laughs> Nobbs is I'm not going to say, name, well, his uh, name is... Why are we not calling him Nobbs? That's, a, that's it. It's true, it is Nobbs, I guess, I mean, if you his want to. kind of died, right? His channel did die, yeah. Yeah, um, he's... It's a, you're branding... Do it or something? I don't know. Is he still around? I I I, I don't know. I would assume I he's still around. Know. I don't know. He's probably yeah, fucked up, isn't he? If you're not making money from your YouTube, then what's the point? I guess I don't know. Well, I mean, maybe maybe well, he really maybe believes he there has... are a suspicious amount of women in the world. <laughs> we got to do something <laughs> about it. <laughs> I think that the the apt reason is he's got that mundane Matt energy, and he is just too stubborn to quit, and he will he refuses to quit. Regardless of what the numbers are, he cannot let it go. Mm. Well, well, you know the, what? The, There's actually some respectability in that. Like, you're, you're going to keep going regardless. Of? That's the grind um, set, right? The stick yeah, with yeah, grind set. Of, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know if you fellas noticed this as well, but like, um, I know certainly from my content, I used to do more cultural shit and, and speak about some stuff along those lines. Um, you know, the, those amongst you that have done that sort of thing in the past. But I think the the, the appetite for that has really died off. I don't think people really care about whether Superman is going to suck a dick or not as much as um, they a few years ago i mean i don't know maybe uh, the fandom i think it's, I think it's it, bigger than it used to be so i was actually oh, really? gonna say if anything yeah i think so too what's yeah. happened though is it's splintered into its own thing it's it's a right. really powerful and passionate own section of youtube it's big it's, it's i was gonna yeah, say like, yeah, so. the most popular regular stream i'm aware of that's not like tim pool or hassan is like friday night tights right now which is very much about like how hollywood is fucking up lots of different things through their own interests or whatever. Um, yeah, point... maybe it's a one-sided thing. But like well, a quartering. Like if I did a quartering response for well, shit anyway. I would say it's probably a matter of focus. Oh, sorry. I, yeah, there's... I, there's I, think, I think it's a matter of um, focus, you know? Like, what is it that you... I think that it can be very... I think a lot of people, like, have a lack of awareness of what's going on broadly because they can become quite insulated in their own little circle of the internet. I think um, it just happens naturally because there's so much about YouTube that you just never really engage with and you forget they exist. Like the, yeah. the the makeup and fashion portion of YouTube is just gigantic. Right. But yeah. you right. just don't think never, about it yeah. because you there never are a suspicious wanted. amount of women involved in that sort of YouTube. There are a suspicious yeah. amount of women. I mean they, <laughs> yeah. they say fifty one percent of people are women, which is pretty sus. That's suspicious. I mean if you believe those numbers, come yeah. on. Where'd you get those numbers from, Rags? Fucking the elite. Well, probably? I got it. Well, there's a lobbying group, big women. <laughs> and they push for these sorts of numbers, and it's really. It, it I've, I've heard this. I've sense. heard a statistic: fifty-one percent of the women do a hundred percent of the YouTube makeup tutorials. I wow. don't know how true that is or not. Oh my yeah, god! That is, yeah. Despite, yeah, I know it's it's, <laughs> it's very strange. Someone should look into this. Um. Hopefully, then 
That's a great set of points for why we were surprised to hear that Hassan had said Jay was on a Nazi podcast kill stream thing. We were it, like, well, what the fuck? We are the shittiest Nazis. It, it comes <laughs> up later, doesn't it, right? Well, it's like, just, it's, the, it's the, right the there, but it gets repeated. Yeah, this is the this right. is the origin point. This is yeah. patient zero. I can't for believe that the, the origin point was someone said it in chat and then Hassan like <laughs> some guy. Well, you know, he, hundreds like, of thousands of people. The important part is just he that. wants to believe that's true because that's great. That's yeah, true. That's all you need. I, yeah. It's I, I, I am a little bit upset <laughs> about that. It uh, that really. What are you? Me what off. is this first time being called a Nazi, Frankie? Come on. <laughs> first time. <laughs> Now it just makes me laugh. It, it is like, oh, it, yeah, it, it is something you unfortunately get used to. Holy fuck, the number of times up. people the start calling me like, Dyer Sargon. That's very offensive to me. Again, I, I will say it does seem like there's a general lack of awareness of me. Like a lot of people are, oh yeah, Efap, that's Mauler and Rags, and the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting there in the corner manufacturing my goo. I'm just like, I'm just trying to make goo here, all right? I'm just give it, give it time. <laughs> sitting in the like, dungeon. during my uh, during my Kirby stream this morning, I actually uh, someone asked if I was going on EFAP again, and I was like, yeah, that, that's a uh, Mauler and Rags's show. And like, yeah, yeah. What time guy? does that start? <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I don't know. I mean, at least for me, it's because Mauler and Rags they're in like the secret chat, and you're you're not <laughs> sorry. Uh, the secret chat. Yeah, yeah, talking about where, like, secret chat. in there, and people that we can't talk about's in there. I don't understand. Oh, this. oh, yeah, 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 right. Yeah. Why am I not in the secret chat? What the fuck? <laughs> You're not cool enough. I've actually to asked to put you in there. I don't know why he hasn't. Oh Damn. Who, who's in charge of the secret chat? It's a secret. Well, it's a <laughs> secret. <laughs> Is it because of that debate? I know what you're talking about. People are saying poor Frongo. I'm appealing to this as kind of poor a good Frongo. thing right now. Because if, if people forget that I exist when we're being defamed, that's, that's, I guess it sucks for these two, but thing, like, yeah. for me, I, I get, when, I get when, when like, which by the way, I guess I want to emphasize, maybe I was going to leave it till later. Like, this is like, this is very defamatory. Like, I feel like it's important. Oh, yeah, it's very that. defamatory. Yeah. It, this is the thing. He's like, dealing with people who can take this on the chin and be like, this is fucked up, but we can move on. But, you know, this is yeah, fucked up. It is. It's it really is, shitty. It's we, yeah, like I know that people have been laugh memeing about, about it in chat, and you laugh about it because you kind of have to. But it's like yeah. this is bullshit. Like you got. He just told hundreds of bajillions of people that we're just we're just well, Nazi. Right. So, yeah, like, this is live streamed yeah. to like forty k, and then the vod is viewed by tens of thousands, and then it gets re-uploaded to YouTube. This does course, as a second. Right, there wasn't an invitation well, for you to depress me more, but I get your <laughs> and point. Also, well, uh, and also, so. it's also it's not just us. It's also Jay because people like it was it was yeah, it is. To throw against Jay was not on those streams. Nope, it's all wrong. Like that's it's Jay had nothing to do with this wrong. essentially. It's yeah. insane how wrong it is. If, if you've been doing this for any length of time, you kind of get used to that sort of thing, but when you really yeah. think about it, it's pretty fucked up. It's a shitty part of the territory that you just unfortunately mm -hmm. accept as being a part of it. it. It sucks, and we laugh about it because we know it's yeah, ridiculous, yeah. and we know it's crazy. I remember the first time I was called a sexist on the internet, and ugh, those halcyon days. But nowadays, it's just, it's, it's just a normal, and you just, uh, oh well. Another well, day, another... Listen, you know, we live in the age of the Giga Chad. Nowadays I am a sexist. You, exactly, that's the <laughs> no, meme. We live in the age of the Giga Chad. Just lean into it, right? I've had a few things oh, yeah. where people have called me racist for doing, like, blackface or whatever, and I just go, yeah, I'm a racist. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You've done blackface? Nice. Yeah, did you, not, did you not see the clip? It means digital only, blackface. If you want to see it, if you want to see it, I can, you no, can see is... it. I mean, I don't want to oh, 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 take oh, it over the stream, but... That's right, no, you, you did... Oh, don't, don't worry about that on this stream. You, you, you did the, um... The uh, VTuber thing, right? I think I saw yes. that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, Abel Noir. I, uh, I, I did find you on Twitter, by the way. I do actually follow you on Twitter. Yes, I found you. Oh, thank God for that! You remember now? Jesus Christ! Yes. Look, do you know I what? I remember. Yeah, it's a bit slow. He's catching up. Just you remember the fuck are you? Game. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Listen, I don't live online, man. I don't know anything. Yes, you do. When you're not gosh. driving to the dumpling store, you're on. Well, no, hold on, hold on. Like, I'm still surprised anybody knows who the fuck I am, anyway. Yeah, you. I know. You're Philip, right? Kevin, I, I know who you are George because there's a few there's a few reasons. One, oh. is um you're like I, sorry I don't even know what I'm talking about. Here. Do you remember you had that debate with um someone at the time that's called Kezbox, right? Do you remember that? Yes. 
Yes. And I followed that from the sidelines and I was like, oh God, Kesbox is not is a bit cringe here because like um, they filed a DMCA claim against you, but you had been part of the content. So you were like, well, no, I'm part of the content. So it's my content. Too, oh yeah. Right? I remember yeah. that. Yeah. That was, yeah. Uh, mm. I was watching you from afar. Okay. I was, uh, you know, just looking through the curtain, seeing what you're up to. A peek and, uh, it was interesting oh, to watch. To he was stalking you. I was stalking. I was e-stalking mm-hmm. I see, you. I okay. See. I see. No, 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 you know, let's not make it weird, but you know, <laughs> let's not. Make I'll, I'll it give weird. you, I'll give you an update on that situation. Okay, so Kesbox yeah. ended up. Story time. I, I, I had to like actually file, so Kesbox ended up taking my phone number and like signing it up to a bunch of shit. So oh, I kept wow. getting calls at all hours no of the day. Way. Oh, what is really? God. I was like, oh, that's a shit. Thanks. Yeah, it's, really? Yeah, that's, Fucking that's, hell! How'd you solve that? New phone? I should change my number. Damn, dude. I, I change my number like once every three months at this point because I keep Jesus. something c- fucking happens. It's been to me at so this point. bad Jesus. for me. Sometimes, Jesus, I have just sometimes a day where I swear I'll get a spam mystery call every thirty minutes, and it's insane sometimes. And this emails, Jesus Christ. The fun world we live in. Yeah, we live in. I've I've anyway, uh, had my number put out there num- multiple times. I've been doxxed a couple times. I'm just like, well, this is just life. Now, what was your so. guys' debate about? Uh, I don't numbers? even remember. I remember. I remember very I think, well. I think she was being retarded, though. It was she to do was, with socialism yeah. or some shit, right? And, um, you know, basically you had a conversation and, like, they kicked her out of the call, I think, because it got heated or something vaguely mm. like that. I yeah, thought you were treated quite badly, to be honest. That, I remember at the time thinking, like, what? this but i didn't really know you so i was like fuck, fuck it whatever i don't know much i can do about it <laughs> <laughs> i i think it was just like uh i think we we're just I, I was giving my reason why i think socialism wouldn't work and i was talking about just like trade and how how people who own their own businesses you know get on with each other and you know wh- why it's good if like you value something that somebody else has and then you trade for it you both get more value like it was that kind of thing and then she just raged and kicked me out of the call yeah, I do remember that. Listening, uh, the being reminded of it. That was uh, embarrassing. You seem well, so I nice. You're just anyway. asking questions and talking, and then she just—it it went from zero to sixty really quick. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I it kind of. Uh, I, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm still not a debater, but like that, I think that was my, my, my first debate, and I was like, whoa, okay. He, <laughs> well, I think so. Was... My first debate was. It was over TLJ with Wolf against some Randy who was obsessed with defending it. Those are the days. Ever remember? Nostalgia. Not so great debate. <laughs> Famous in the EFAP lore. The EFAP archivists and historians. It, uh, it's our history. Good times. It's where we came from. It's who we there's, are. There's this little debate strategy that people have where basically the aim is to make the other person mad or triggered or something. And then if they leave the call, you've won the debate. Like, it's just pathetic, really. And it's, have you, ever you done see that? it all the time. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we, um, we, we well, call that strategy the demon mama. Oh, <laughs> listen, okay, look. Speaking, of uh, I'm, com- I'm I'm friends with demon mama. Okay, so I mean, I don't know if we're gonna be able to. I don't know if I'm compromised. Okay, I'm gonna say that nope. straight away. I, understood. Um, you ain't gonna okay. talk about it. No, that's fine. If you want to talk, that's fine. I'm just, you know, whatever. But like, I was gonna say, I, I tried not to do it, but I did debate Lord Patriarchy a long time ago. Um, you remember that guy? That War Corp six six six. No idea who that is. No. Nope. Oh come on! You got to be kidding me. That guy's a fucking. I don't legend. know anybody. I just said I don't know anybody. Yeah, He's the guy I'm that is the yeah, yeah. beers, getting drunk, and calling everyone the F slur because I don't know for oh, reasons. No. He's hilarious. Yeah. Sorry. Are you I... sure this isn't like a made-up boogeyman of bread tube or something? Lord Patriarchy. Lord Patriarchy. <laughs> no, no, this guy's fucking legit. <laughs> a He's demon just of the well. <laughs> Okay. This film right. is beyond any of you. Go. You gotta watch one of his videos because it's hilarious. Lord Patriarchy. At some point. Again. I promise you. It's, he calls himself that, and it's just pathetic and cringe. But anyway. No, that that's was in the based past. In red pill. <laughs> Chad pill. <laughs> Lord Patriarchy. <laughs> Lord I don't know. I feel like these days, maybe me and the LOP might agree on a few more things. Who knows? Oh. You should come on here. You should. You know, when you on. do anyway. that, it's like I don't. I, I. It's it's impossible for me to see it as like good faith criticism. So there's that too. There was like literally well, I'm glad fucking you just Nazi- decided that. <laughs> oh, yeah, there it is again. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. Actually, Nazis on there. Ah, he's full of shit. Hey. So if you're doing that sort of stuff, like then. I don't think you're doing it I in like good faith. I think they're saying our podcast while they're watching a guy who streams what eight to ten hours every day. And we don't. I don't, want I don't know, man. I never there understood it. I don't know why we get shot on for this. Uh, ah, yeah, podcast has a certain length, time, but a yeah. stream. Yeah. 
doing the exact same just, thing. In fact, though, we have more head. people, no, so doesn't it make sense that it would... Mm, why do I bother? Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah, it has always struck me as odd. This, we're going to make fun of people for making an eight-hour video. I'm going to spend 40-plus hours of my life sitting in a cubicle working for someone else in a job that I despise and hate with every ounce of my being. But those people are sad. Oh, at least there's another uh, free will in Hassan's chat saying, uh -oh. you're arguing we'll the wrong that. Point, though. That wasn't Jay's point. Oh. Oh, Ooh, rip. careful, Selawand, careful. <laughs> Question the king. It's kind of sad. I think it's kind of pathetic. And I'm sure they'll keep making more videos over and over again. Here we are. Hello. <laughs> we, we are back in action. We, we haven't covered it aside in a while. Uh, but yeah, I'm sure he'll be very upset that we've decided to drudge up this old drama to try and get clout. Because that's the only reason no, we could ever have to do anything. Well... Because we were talking about other stuff for a while, like Arcane. <laughs> but weeks. legitimately, like, I don't know if anyone believed this, but like, I couldn't make those uh, supercuts because I was busy making TFA Part 4, and I was like, well, we've still got Arcane to talk about, the Batman, Boba Fett, like, I can't do the Hassan stuff yet. You have to wait. Boba Fett. Like, we would rather talk about a show that was, at the time, months old, and we didn't even know if people were going to be, like, as caring about it. We did it for three streams in a row, because we, we just really liked oh, Arcane, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Right, good stuff. <laughs> it is good. Okay. Rap. Ultimately, what was uh, what I am uh, uh, going to do is like, yeah, I get up when a fucking video is playing from time to time. Okay. Yeah. See, was that him looking for stuff in chat? You think? Mm -hmm. I. Well, isn't this isn't this something? It's so oh, so. Maybe that was his like, conscience. When you look saying at, you look at the screen, it's like peering into the mind, right? When people, when somebody, when like a stream is like, hold on, let me look up their Twitter or let me look up their Wikipedia to see if I can find anything to instantly shit on them. It's such an yeah, interesting like that's become thing that people mm -hmm. do. become really Just popular. Like, let me see if I can find something that I could use to immediately write somebody off. Hey, look, there he's pretty bad faith, though, right? <laughs> Super bad faith. Not like me. Good faith, Assad reason why I don't pause it when I get up is because I care about the content above all else. I care about you guys being entertained okay. above I, 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 can't. Ugh. I care about I stealing care about... above all else. Ugh. It's that Listen, I care about you, okay? It's yeah, not I'm about... actually the good guy here. Yeah, it's I'm not about his benefits from this. It's about chats. Ugh. Above all else. You know what your problem is? You care too much. And I know that if I fucking... Um, if I pause the video, you guys are gonna be fucking annoyed. You're gonna be like, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, no. So I'd rather play yeah, it on my I phone. I must capitulate to your demands and watch, even though I'm not transforming the content, I must capitulate to well, your demands to not this thing, he's, it. he's made it chat's fault now. <laughs> like, which is incredible. It is the fault of my chat, somehow. I've made this the fault of chat. While I get up, you know what I mean? While I get up and, and uh, answer the door, get the deliveries. Fucking, uh, you know, uh, even in the like ten-minute period, the two things that come to mind for like why you would ever get up and leave. Yeah, it's the deliveries, the door. Oh, look at that um, message for you. <laughs> uh, the the same per this same person is uh devast devastated with an eye Doctor Who fans because they send their horde of reactionaries to attack people with a different opinion. Nice. On a oh. Horde of yeah. reactionaries. Jesus. Hey, they are not a horde. They are a cabal. Get uh, them straight. I like how someone says, so we just have to sit here in silence. It's like, surely his son has enough money that he could, like, just buy some licenses for some songs. Play, play his them. own content. Or play his own there content. There is a, you got a options wealth here. of free music on the or internet. alternatively, you could just leave in silence. Yeah, you... These are all <laughs> options before just stealing people's content, all right? Yeah, yeah. they always treat like, as Oh, I gotta go, guys. One. Pause. I'll be back in a moment. It takes hey, me a while to get from one side of the mansion to the other to get this delivery. I'll be back. Like, imagine, imagine he has. This would just be a, actually a really cool gimmick. I think he just has like cameras in his house that, you, that he'll cut to as he walks around. <laughs> just to it, prove like, that I really am going to watch the good video. My chicken I, I am watching the video while I'm plays the video on the speakers. Like, I, I'm going to go house, to the room so. now, and then like the camera cuts. That could actually be really cool. That'd be a cool idea. All motion detected. Yeah, I should copyright this. <laughs> And then do something with it. Patents it, you mean? You need to patent this. Oh, right, right. Sorry, okay. Either way. Where I'm off no, camera. No, either way, patent. Spring's gonna beat you up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, moving All on. All right. Sporadically, when I am uh, cooking. 
so it's so bizarre man. to me because the I, idea that you are currently streaming and also you are cooking like well, i i couldn't imagine streaming and be like oh guys i gotta go and cook a meal i'll be back yeah. later and then just get up and fuck off mm. while the stream's running and someone's video's playing. I'm okay That's with just, it if you, I could you imagine. You could leave for I mean this was a this is an idea we floated, right? But for the the long boy anniversary streams we do, like what if we pre recorded a twelve hour stretch with a bunch of coverage so we can put that between two live twelve hour ones, so that means me, Fring and Rex can actually get some sleep. Um you know, so then it's it's like a constant, it's a 36-hour series of live content for the people at home. But a lot of it is when we're not even there, but but it's us, you know? It's, it's, it's still, it's us from the past. You know, so, so it's nice and ethical. I'm a genius for coming up with that, okay? You are a genius. It's brilliant. Hassan would never think of that. Hey. You, you should copyright so, it. What? You know, of course, of course, I'm gonna do that. Uh, and and the reader, I don't understand. What is there to not understand? This man, I don't. People how do you? How do you? How guy. how forty thousand? Where it's like so. <laughs> so, like, what? How? What? I don't know. Uh, the real reason why I don't care about it, for the most part, you do is because care. you do ninety percent. Like I said. It. But that's what the YouTuber want, disrespect. So that right there is pretty strong proof of Sitch's theory. He literally was reading in the middle of him saying stuff for some reason. Mm -hmm. And then he just decides to click on it to find out who you are. He's gonna get you. <laughs> Look out, do door you ever, shit. Do you guys ever do the thing, or I guess realize the thing, where you've been typing, and then as you're typing something, you look away, yep, or you're yep. listening to something, and then you realize yep. that you've sort of just... Your typing has melded your original thoughts with whatever you've yep. been listening to or watching, yeah. and you're like, yep. "Oh, Very true, oh yeah. whoops, yeah, that's like, ah." Uh, like, wait, what fun. do you mean? They don't even say. They don't even want to say don't react. They say that leaving videos only and leaving disrespectful to the creator, and they just want people to be more transformative. Okay, but that's the react harder argument, and yeah, most of the creators. It's yeah. a good one. Yes, well, transform harder. <laughs> that's right. Like, water, harder. but Hitler drank water. I don't know, man. I guess. That are quite literally in here, like Nick is not green, for example, is a great, a great example of this. Like, these are people from this community as well. Like, they don't mind it. Like, 90% of creators don't mind it. And I do react hard, okay? I react so, so fucking hard. Uh, why is he making out? So, surely, surely, like, is, is Hassan, can he never, like, try and connect two pieces together, like, to try and figure things out that, like, oh, the majority of people are in favor of it. Two. Therefore, I can, which just, how do you not draw the connection that there are a lot of things that exist that protect minority groups? Like, as a principle, on the idea that you want to, whether or not most people are cool with it, you're trying to appeal to some core principle. How does he not, like, how, how does he say that without, like, ever stopping on, well, wait a minute, what about this counter argument to that claim? Wait a minute, what if not everybody is in favor of it? Like, how is, why is it not well, happening? Well, his own words should be enough. I mean, by him saying, because he just made the fuck up that 90%, it's, it's a constantly changing number. Uh, but he just said 90% of people are okay with it, which means that in his mind, one out of 10 people that he does this to, he's stealing his content from. I guess he is saying shit. it's a calculus, right? Like nine times out of 10, it's going to be fine. So screw the yeah. one out of 10 people who are going to be upset. I'll shoot first which and is, ask questions later. Which is the response. Every time someone says, I have a problem with any instance of it. And then he's like, yeah, but it doesn't happen all the time. Which is not a response. It's like, yeah, it doesn't doesn't need to happen all the time it's mm -hmm. it's it's not it's it's a total non sequitur you're appealing to a principle there are entire memes about how much i pause we totally forgot about this for some <laughs> nah, weird reason on. because one you content creator with memes. a relatively sizable audience that has partnered up with a bunch of other content creators who just fucking despise me okay but I do kind of, Doesn't but matter. like that's got nothing to do with my arguments. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> like, we despise no. you because. And of also, this. you've uh, you've not helped in uh, alleviating yeah, like, that what? disdain. Am I am I allowed to have some negative feelings toward the person who said I run a kill stream Nazi thing? Like, come on. You did call us Nazis. That's not. That's not. You kind of like we. You lose like, a lot oh, of. Drink, haha, but it is not what we are. Why should we be friendly to you after this? Like, what the hell? Well, yeah, th okay, good. there's a, yeah. there's a wider thing at play here, which I noticed because I'm, you know, more involved in some of these spaces, maybe than some of you are perhaps, but um, people will attack, and I spoke about this earlier, I think, people will attack you, and you'll be like, well, hey, fuck you, bitch, you're a fucking piece of shit, 
And then they'll go, oh, no, what are you doing? You can't attack. That's wrong. You know? And it's like, well, you fucking instigated it, right? Like, you fucking started this by calling me a fucking Nazi. I think, Fuck a, lot, I think a lot of people don't realize when they've in, uh, instigated. I think a lot of yeah. people don't understand, like, the... It, it, it's um which i'm pretty sure we even talked about it last week it's when mm. people will infer from tone so someone can be like very calmly basically call you a terrible person and then if you respond with a fuck you you're perceived as being the person who the started the fight even though you're yeah. responding to a pretty negative thing that was said about you I yeah, it's like there's the snarky the snarky sort of like oh yeah I, the snarky shit pisses me off so much right it's like i can be a bit snarky i think we all can jesus fucking christ you know that they, they'll say it in the right way or the right tone and it's just snarky passive aggressive shit it infuriates me and i pop off and they're like oh well, you're in the wrong for getting angry oh i think they know what they're doing i, don't I was think about to say like i think they maybe do it deliberately what, what you were describing for me being like yeah because victimhood yeah, or victimization true. is the currency right now yeah. especially in, in leftist it's spaces so. cash man yeah so well, it's, they, not just that. It's, not just, it's not just that it's it's also that i think they they genuinely believe in in the power dynamic of if you have a lot more followers and therefore right. you can bring down a right. lot more noise in the mentions tab then farming clout off you should be fair game but you shouldn't be able to hit them back or else it's sure. unfair because you have five followers and they have fifty thousand. I think that's where a lot of the, the the trouble that Destiny gets into on Twitter comes from, is that people will just say like the worst shit about him with with no no proof whatsoever, and then he says, "Hey, you're retarded," and then they're like, "Oh my god, how could you do this to me? Well, this is, I'm getting that, harassed by DGG." I feel like that like, has to on, stem man. from a lack of an understanding that like we are all individuals at the end of the day, we are people, <sighs> and we all have generally. You know, like, yeah, it, it is that whole thing of, well, you've got a big platform. It's like, true, we're all people, though. Like, at the end yeah. of the day, it's not like something yeah. that you say is necessarily going to be less upsetting. Well, do we um, We have the backwards has big audience. Um, perspective to a lot of people, and I always found it baffling, right? Because it's like, if I said to you, uh, Fring, your 12 Angry Men video is just filled with lies, and then you go, what the true. fuck? <laughs> and I'm like, okay, so you're clearly being me meaner and ruder than I am. It's like, yeah. what, how? How could I put... <laughs> like the, you said something way worse than what I said. It's like no, well, you yeah, have said it, something way worse. Um, well, yeah, it's like if someone says, "Hey, Fringy, fuck you." It's like that's 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 not as harsh as if someone said, "Like Fringy, every aspect of your being, I loathe, I despise. You are you are a rat. You are a, you know you're like a." But <laughs> they say, and then they say, "Like, but I'm not angry though." At the end, it's like you know, it's like right, that's way worse. Mm -hmm. Let's call it what it is, okay? It's the pussification of the internet, right? Yeah. Some of these I people know, don't yeah. know how fucking lucky they got it. Ten years ago, it was Slur City, right? It's so fucking sanitized now. You can exist online with all the tools you've got in relative peace. If you don't want to get harassed, you don't want to get fucking called slurs and stuff like that. But it's still not fucking enough for some of these people. They want more and more and more and more. And I'm they fucking want, sick of it. Okay? They want more way. when they receive, but they want to have complete freedom when they give. Yes. Right. To right. clarify, chat. I'm not like rats are neutral. To be a rat is neither good nor bad. You rats just, are uh, great. <laughs> rats Why are you clarifying the rat? I am pro rat. I, I has an I, animal no, affinity. I, I, feel, okay? I love rats. I do have an I do have an animal affinity, and I feel bad for rats. I feel bad for a lot of the animals that have like the bad reputation. Like pigs. Which it's kind of funny because yeah, well, yeah, I feel bad. Pigs are intelligent, my dude. They're uh, they're cool. I like pigs. I've I've actually got a picture saved on my desktop right now. Of it's just a little piggy. <laughs> I have a picture of a pig. I've saved it on my computer. I have pigs on the internet. They're free. You can take them home. You can take them home. I have it. I have that piggy face right there. Look at him. Look at that critter. How can you hate him? Look at him. I love him. When people hate pigs, put him on screen. It's great. I'm doing it for you. I'm doing it just for you, man. Wait. Yeah. Actually, yeah, yeah, Chud. That that was my topic of my my video today was just how pussified the internet has become because that 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 one seventeen year old kid who was just going off on his stream, he's now been banned from fucking everything, and it's like this is kind of that kid was fucking based. Okay, that was the old energy we used to have. Yeah, that was all of the internet it used to be, and you know what? It made you tough and resilient, and then nothing bothered you because you. Yeah. Sorry, I just got to put it because mm. he put the, he put the little piggy on screen and then also cut to that Dark Souls boss. Was it Atreus or no? No, Atreus is Kratos's kid. What's his name? Artorius. Um, <laughs> it's either Artorius or Dancer. I can't remember. It's my yeah. background, right? But look, look at this little pigs. Pigs are interesting little critters. Well, little that this one's a little pig, but then there's the big pigs, and they mm -hmm. they're pretty intelligent. Apparently, they're quite social. Um, 
Yeah, animals are awesome, guys. Like, animals are really neat. You can find something interesting about a lot of animals that otherwise have kind of negative reputations. For instance, hyenas, when they laugh, they're not happy. They're actually they're quite distressed. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hyenas are hyenas great. Very, hyenas are very social creatures as well. They're super. They're very social. They hang out in packs and they, they really like each other. Now talk about mosquitoes. Hyenas are awesome. I look all right. Mosquitoes, I, you know, <laughs> mosquitoes. Are you know, uh, not every not every animal's a banger. <laughs> gonna say it. Well, no, because some animals, it, you know, it's just like when you think about a piggy, it's like so. Not only are piggies super cool and friendly, but they're also smart boys too. Sitting in their little recliners, reading books about um, they're reading True. Aldous Huxley. They're reading about that, and they're like, hmm, indeed, while smoking on a pipe, mm-hmm. taking um, over animal farms, you know, the whole bit. Yeah, I get. Why didn't I say George Orwell? That's a way better. <laughs> like, just one well, why would they be? Because George Orwell makes them look bad. Oh, They're well, not fans slander, of Orwell. Well, well yeah. sure, but they I mean, don't... just because it make. But I mean, look, Hassan's trying to make us look bad. That doesn't mean that we're not going to see what he has to say and respond to it. Yeah, but I, I still think a lot of pigs would be like, "I'm not going to read that. It's just it's insulting to me." Well, this and pig I, was yeah, curious. Yeah, he wanted yeah, to yeah. see what was a little. Maybe going on. The, maybe Remember, he was, or maybe he doesn't he, know about Animal Farm, and he's just like, "Yeah, I love Orwell's other he's stuff." He's never and like ah. Oh, yeah, you know, 1984, that was a really cool book. Let me read Animal Farm. Oh. <laughs> oh, damn. I hope he doesn't feel this oh, way man. about all pigs. Jeez. It's like discovering Three. a streamer through that one video that's like their only good video, and they're like, what else did they do? Oh, oh. it's all shit. Yeah, it's like me with Chud Logic, yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Nothing. What was this good one? <laughs> What, oh, so what yeah, about me? Uh, right, Hassan, let's, uh, what do we have for us? There's here? this notion on the internet that, like, I don't fucking react hard or something. Oh, I wonder where that comes from. Yeah, yeah, no idea <laughs> where that could possibly come from. <laughs> There's a Does reason why people call me Pause and Obby. It's so weird that people are now saying, like, when he joins, you should say you're going to eat something and leave him alone with your chair for 30 minutes. <laughs> That's yeah. why I'm like so confused by this. This is a wild take and it speaks to the power of compilations. I have eight hours of stream you can watch. And it's like, people are asking me. The power of compilations doesn't even make sense as a counter. It's like, yeah, they show you leaving. That's what, what that's the requirement. Me, yeah. It's not even, a, well, yeah, because it's always remember. To you, it doesn't matter. But to that guy, that was their video that they worked on. To them, they have suffered the entirety of the harm, even if you don't do it often. That person is still being detrimented by what you've done. So to them, like, it doesn't ugh, matter whether or not compilations are proven to people that yes, this it happens even a at some point. Though it's just an example. Yeah, exactly. It's well, like compilations. Funnily enough, show me doing the yeah. ones that I've shown there are the ones you guys have seen before because the I only yes. ever watched two streams of Hassan's and I managed to collect like six examples. That's not a good ratio. No. Well, so I've just clicked over to his stream. He's got pulled up something called Playing It Straight Season 1, Episode 1, US mm. reality TV show. So my presumption is that that's going to be what he's going to be watching now. Yep. So People are basically... I, doing, hey, he's doing it for the fans. He's doing it for the fans, yeah. yeah. Because he's doing it for chat. He, for chat. Yeah. Basically asking me uh, to change the way I do the stream, but they've never watched the stream. I did. It was horrible. So... Doesn't even matter if, well, so people, uh, it's, it, it, how hilarious is this considering he hasn't watched Jay's video or our coverage? <laughs> like, and yet he's called his killstream Nazis and said Jay is bad faith with a bad video. It. He can smell us out. This is like, a, it's good you pointed that out, because it's just such a, the most standard, straightforward hypocrisy, but I don't think he'd ever give a fuck. He'd be like, I can tell they're bad faith. You guys shouldn't be able to tell I'm bad faith. Mm-hmm. It's smelling on your soul. The stink of it. Mm-hmm. Stinky bad faith. The famous one. The chair. Look at him. He's... Like, if you were a stream watcher, and that was something that was, like, frustrating you, that's a little bit different. You know what I mean? But you don't watch the stream. You've never watched the stream. You've only seen compilations. Don't tell me I didn't watch it. I did. It was horrible. Of it, also, and you it doesn't a- matter. We can be upset at your behavior, even if we didn't partake in it. Yeah. A false notion that uh, I do this thing where I just like fucking play a video and move on. Play a video and move on. <laughs> I'm an idiot, I'm a dumb uh, bimbo. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know how the fuck it nice. turned into like, dude, you're not reacting hard enough to the videos. You can say that about anyone, by the way, for the record. You- no, you no, can't. No, you can't. <laughs> you, you really can't. So, so that, that clip uh, 
before this one where he was like giving an interview was that from, from the interview where he basically he, he like laid out his past and how he came to be yes and he completely ignored the fact that destiny basically made him yes, he, yes dude he, he practically stole <laughs> destiny's history like he, he, all the shit destiny Our done history, he around. was like yeah that's me by the way i crafted this space i took the risks it's like oh Sorry. you man it's it's kind of like the you remember in the Simpsons when they meet uh, Fidel Castro and they've got the trillion dollar bill and he's like can I just take a look at it and then he looks at it it's like now give it back give what back <laughs> like it's kind of <laughs> sorry I had to I had to find a way to get a Simpsons meme in there maybe there's a more apt one coming down the line mm -hmm. I'll, uh, I'll I'll rack my brain for some of those memes you can say that about anyone and there are instances where like if your argument is if your argument is don't watch my videos on stream. Okay, I don't want you reacting to my videos. Valid. I will never do that again. Oh keep saying this I hate, over and I hate over again. Keep saying it. It's valid. I'll never do that again. It's like you're missing the point. If your you argument is, you have to transform it or ask for permission. It's that simple. Is watch my videos, but watch them harder. Okay, and like react to them harder. Then that's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> there you no, go. Yeah, so there it is. Insane. It's ridiculous yeah. for me to at react harder. Can't you see so this is the apex reaction content? This whole <laughs> narrative of being like, I totally agreed with Jay. Now Jay is struggling. It was like, no, this was Jay's point since the beginning. You just somehow never gathered it. I just don't know how. Even though, well, I, I wonder if it has anything to do with not having watched Jay's video. You know, that might explain it a bit. You, you read Jay's comment the, out loud. Uh, Jay's comment oh, made true, it all clear. True. But he's totally forgotten about it, but yeah, or he chooses to ignore it because he, he can't chooses, defend yeah. it on that on I, that part. I would rather assume stupidity over like malice with um, him. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, give after everything we've seen, I, I uh, maybe I need more from this. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll well, see. his, we'll his, see his argument of whole towards ethos. the end. I mean, he we just did. said free use is a ridiculous argument. Is what he just said. He said transformative content is. Yeah, he said, oh, if you're if you're saying that I should react harder. Well, that's what tr making something transformative is. <laughs> okay, oh, you, have yeah, to sure. do you can extrapolate the argument, but you can't... I don't think you can say he made that argument, because I don't even know if he knows well, no, that he made that the, argument. That's essentially what he would be alluding to. You're, you're correct. Yeah, but I don't extrapolating the logic, that. but I don't know that he's done that. You know, he'd be like, oh, no, I don't, I'm yeah, not saying okay, that. Sure. Oh, no. <laughs> Maybe. Do you know what I mean? This is what I mean, man. How, How come I got there? fucking How hit? I know. For HBO, I, for, he's on for, Twitch. for commenting on John Oliver Twitch. for five hours, but Hassan can just walk away from the damn chair, and it's fine. Twitch, baby. Yes, Twitch has just got nothing to stop that in place at the uh, moment, so yeah. what can I, you do? I'm sorry, I gotta I got say it again. You can't, like, sit there and be like, yeah, alternative media, not like all those shit mainstream media outlets when you do this, and you just watch the full coverage from, like, a mainstream <laughs> media outlet. I made that go by pretty and fast, but entirely. you guys do uh, register just how much he did there, right? Like how fast it that was sped harder, up. Harder, okay, that was and cool. like react to them harder, then that's fucking ridiculous. You know what I mean? Look at how fast we're going. John Oliver has a team that he pays. Yeah. Writers, researchers, uh, editors, camera people. Uh, other correspondents that all cost money they prefer to be called people in camera. the show to try and create a show it's ridiculous um and the, the fact that he's trying to argue is like yeah okay if you look at a compilation he'd probably argue like what is this taken from like years and i'd be like two streams man two mm -hmm. it's very frustrating that people are now like making it seem like i just fucking sit around and don't do anything <laughs> oh, man <laughs> Well, to be Yay. fair, he's not sitting around. He's actually out of the seat. <laughs> That's true. Well, no, yeah. no, no Bernie's defense. sitting around. Yeah. Bernie's sitting there. Yeah, Bernie's that reacting. That's right. <laughs> I would, I would much rather see what Bernie said his Twitch stream would look like. That feels like that'd be really funny. Look at him sitting there with his little coat. His Cold. And I know immediately Cold. when someone makes that fucking yeah. meme that they just don't watch. I watched it. And I made the compilation. Do I qualify in your world? Well, but he doesn't even no, know what it means to watch it. <laughs> he doesn't even I mean, know because he didn't watch it. Yeah, yeah. has he, he seen any of these compilations? Can he even comment on them? They just don't watch at all. <laughs> This is all from Twitch, 
you? Two streams. How often does he get out of the The reason why I'm saying all this is so that Never. like we can, I guess, make a YouTube video or something. Eventually. Yeah, so just so you guys know, he cuts this, the, all you're about to see in this video, he eventually puts into his YouTube channel as well. The video saying that we're all killstream Nazis. It's like, woohoo! Multi-coverage! Awesome. Bring it on. Pilot so that people on. can understand. What I feel is, there are moments where I'm not all oh, there, exactly. okay? I'm live for eight. Oh, I believe not you. all there. I believe you. Just not there at all. I believe you. <laughs> Ten hours a day. There are moments when I go up and go up and pee. The reason why I don't pause it is because if I did that, everyone would be super fucking pissed. Yeah, let him be. And I care about be. making sure that uh, I care about making sure that you guys are entertained. Like that's what I care about more. Uh, it's just uh, more than anything else. Okay. I like that appeal though. It's I want to make sure that you guys are entertained. It's not that I want to risk potentially losing viewers or people getting annoyed at me or. Well, yeah. The, the reality is, if you you know you're going to drop viewers if you. So that's what he's worried about. That's his primary concern. So as far as I can tell, like that, you know, yeah, I, I, I don't I'm, know what this is. This is cope about like, oh, well, I'm just trying to keep you entertained, guys. Yeah, because you don't want to fucking lose the viewers. Yeah, as if there's no other options, well, you, though, of just be honest. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's about him. It's not about, videos. it's not about people being entertained and being feeling good. It's, it's, it's the bottom line of I don't want to lose viewers and thus be less popular. Simple. Mm -hmm. um, also, this, this artwork, holy fuck. I d just saw that, yeah. <laughs> now, so this is Zigzor, Z I G G Z O R. Uh, you know, you. This is what he did last. Uh, the the line our lineup here. Oh, oh yeah, shit! Yeah, this one, yeah. And then uh, there's also that Kirby one. I saw that on Twitter before. Oh, hang on. Let me get that one up too. Uh, that Kirby one's awesome. Sorry, this this production we're running here is just so slow sometimes. Mm-hmm. But here we go. <laughs> I like my Eldritch Kirby. Yeah, it's cool. Awesome stuff. Um Yeah, it wouldn't surprise like me that Jay would I uh, like my Furby. That sights like on Furby too. Yeah. That sights on Australia and it's goo after after draining all the rhino milk from Wakanda. It's my goo, it's not it's not. It's not yours. Well, it looks like at this point in time you've packaged it and you're selling it, so it's all good, right? No, this is just somebody's idea of a future that may. Or <laughs> yeah, may at this not point, exist. it's uh, you know, but we're not I there said yet. Future, not. Yeah, we're not there exactly. Maybe this is a future. Maybe this is an alternate reality where this is what's happened, but that's not the reality that we're in. Um. Anyway. And I care about making sure that uh, I care about making sure that you guys are entertained. Like that's what I care about more. Uh, just that, more than anything else. Okay. And your crime is you can't do. I care more about I care more about entertaining chat than the craft and the principle and the legal list. <laughs> Which is bullshit. It's not about chat. It's true artist. Yeah. It's about I'm just him. A slave to chat. What can I say? Like, that's what I'm I care about. Incentivized. But more. To care more uh, about just, chat. Just that, more than anything else. Okay. And your crime is. You can't do much. And the reason why I don't think people <laughs> give a shit about that overall, like I don't think content creators themselves get like super fucking mad about that overall. Well, clearly that's uh, not it, true. Because mm. the response to Jay's video has been broadly positive. Yeah. Oh, the, sorry. Hang on. Uh, there you go. The Discord icons are fixed. My bad. Is, is because they like it when we're watching their videos. Okay. For the most part, 99.9% .9 of content creators love it. I I'm a that statistics changed again. Uh, it, yeah, I know. We went Why from... Why did he feel so confident saying that? Like I don't 99. know. 9 because How many people idiot. have you polled? Well, because the statistic Himself. is conveniently in favor of his argument that nobody's made it counter Very to. Very conveniently in favor, yeah. Nobody's countering the argument, though, that most people are probably okay with it. Make, makes it weird, though, that Joe would make a video that is broadly, positively received, um, and that there were actually tons of people who were... Criti I mean, if 99.9% .9 of people agree, why are you even being criticized? Surely that would be like a, it would be negligible. You'd never hear it. It would never make its way to you because it would never be propagated because people would be like, oh, that's stupid. You're one of no, those. No. You're one of those 0.01% of people. Wow. All right, whatever. Listen, like, dis despite 10% of YouTubers complaining that Hassan uh, steals their content, they make up 100% of anti-Hassan content. Oh, yeah. You're right. It 
Oh damn! He said nine out of ten, right? And now it's he split ninety percent earlier. Yeah, ninety percent before, and now it's ninety nine point nine. And then it was ninety nine point nine on the meme too. I mean, one out of ten, one out of ten thousand. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. the same. Content creator, I love it when people fucking react to my videos. I don't care if they're like not reacting hard That's enough. Good for you. I don't give a good fuck. You. That's you. your choice. Yeah. It doesn't matter what you think. Yeah. You can't extrapolate that to everyone based off a sample size of you. <laughs> you yeah. have done the study. Or whatever the fuck, the it doesn't matter. And the thing but is, as you... well, is like, you know, you could just, you could just ask. You could just literally message exactly. them and be like, well, hey, calm down. It's it funny you say stuff? that, Chud, because when our relevant is told that in his stream, he fucking rages out <laughs> on his chatter. And he says, how the oh, fuck no. am I going to ask Jay permission to watch his video? It's like, oh shit. When consent oh. is implied or something, what was it? <laughs> consent, consent is assumed. <laughs> You're trying to make me burn all my bridges today. I say it is. No, okay. you don't have to uh, say it. Well, you, you know what I will you say is, you know, even people in my chat who also watch Relly um, said, hey, like, you know, really had some bad points on this. And I've not watched any of the coverage that much, so I can't really say either way. Um, but yeah, I, I, you know, I, based on what I've heard, it sounds like he had some weird takes on it, which was seemed out of character from what I know of really, but I don't know. Okay, so contextless, w without context of anything, would you ever say the statement consent is assumed? Um, no, I mean, that's, that's like fucking, <laughs> really fucking bad, right? <laughs> Let's um, be real. Whoa. It's did, not the right temperature for that sort of comment, you know what I mean? I mean, we're still not through the Me Too shit, so... You got, you got this careful. conversation I, going I, on, I, okay? Where it goes, I don't think these uh, Hassan even knows these guys exist. And someone said, no, no, he, he said uh, they're killstream Nazis. And then the person says, well, not far from the truth from what I know about them. <laughs> what do you know about us that confirms we're killstream Nazis? Goal he has head. irrefutable proof that we're Nazis, provided Jesus. by that, that Why that is everyone guy. so comfortable with calling people Nazis? What happened? It's the gas mask. Yeah, probably. Okay, is, um, yeah. there's another comment from my chat as well I just want to bring up. So, can we just oh, clarify no, no, no. something? Go for no, it. no, it's actually it's a clarification on all ends, okay? Oh, What's man. this? What? Okay, does everyone here know who Booksmarts is? I'm aware of yeah, them. Uh, very yeah, vaguely, aware yeah. Of them. No. Okay. They're like a streamer, they're from Destiny's community, they give Destiny rhetoric advice and coaching, right? Um, now, in the course of the coverage, Irrelevant made a comment about books, and some people are saying he was talking about book smarts. He the definitely person. wasn't, definitely wasn't. You were wasn't. saying he's talking about books. I know book smarts enough the to know. So he basically says he hates long-form content because it reminds him of books, and then he says books will oftentimes repeat the, the, their points throughout every fucking page. I don't think he's talking about book smarts. Yeah, he said. Yeah, he said page. Okay. And why would he refer to book smarts as books? Is that like a common nickname for him? Because I didn't know that. Well, I, okay. The nickname I came up, me and book smarts had some of like a kind of falling out. We're on good terms, but I, I called him book retard, and that kind of spread. <laughs> and it turned out he absolutely <laughs> hated getting honest, called honest book retard. His name was book fucker. Honest mistake. A book fucker doesn't hit so hard, does it? You know, I, I wanted to know the fucking retard. Okay. What a, what a terrible place to get a paper cut. <laughs> Uh, so, sorry, uh, I've just because yeah. I'm I'm skulking around there. EFAP is typically right leaning, but simply just typically what? conservative stuff. I don't like their opinions a lot, but it's a lot to do with the echo chamber effect. I will say we we get into fights with our audience pretty consistently oh, more, so and we than don't yeah. even yeah. ban them. I've never the only thing that gets, no. gets you banned is TOS and spam. If you say you hate um, us all, you're allowed to stay. Dude, we mainly just talk about movies and video games. It's <laughs> yeah, it's weird to know. say like they they do a lot of conservative stuff. I'd just be like, really. I'd be confused on exactly how. I I legit don't actually know what they are referring to. I don't know. I, I don't know. But hey, that's better than Nazi, I suppose. We're getting there. Moving uh, up. Yeah, Moving up. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the quote tweets on that meme. The quote tweets on the uh, meme that I posted this morning. Oh no, here we go. It's literally I'm everyone being I'm like, "Dude, that's all you. All you do is you're a leech. You're just an entirely bad person." <laughs> Well, maybe just 99.9. .9. And that's a statistic that I pulled myself on, so it's all good. Neon Tasser, you didn't react to Jay's content. You took a shit while playing his video on stream. <laughs> Honestly, it'd be different if you only I did this with Master... 0.9% of people were cool with it, though. Oh, Why damn are there it. so many people were getting mad at you? This right, is the 0.1%. Yeah. The well, this is the relaxed. That's just very yeah, loud. Um, yeah, yeah. All on Twitter. Chief and TV shit show, but full channel five videos with barely any reaction sucks. I really don't think many of those viewers will go rewatch the video again, but who knows? 
first of all, the funny part of it is there there are people who like don't understand content creation or why it's oh, actually good yes, to fucking please, yeah, please fucking tell explain to us how much you understand about content creation. I need to know. He's, he's about to, to pull the content creator card on us, and and then we're gonna. We're, I'm looking forward to asking you guys when, when what year you started because oh, he's gonna pull a year on us. React videos. So they think like they operate off of like the one the one YouTuber that they like that said this guy sucks. So they're thinking all YouTubers feel oh. this way when that's not the case. Most YouTubers don't mind that, actually love that shit when Twitch streamers react to their videos because they get a fucking fat bump. Yeah, I asked a load of YouTubers if they would be okay with it and most of them said no. Like, I I've been a content creator for 10 years, man. I, I, I know, like, can, can sure. people at some point be like, okay, maybe you know what you're talking about? So, he's been for 10 years. What kind of fucking timeline do you guys have? I'm actually well, going to Google a movie's release, because I'll know from that when I first made a video. Has, well, I mean, f before this, he, he didn't make content on his own. Didn't he work for his uncle at TYT? Yes, this is the thing, right? So I don't know if you know much about his background. Hassan Piker is actually referenced in the page for nepotism. That's how <laughs> fucking crazy it is, right? Well, yeah. And, and there's a funny right. story with that. So while well, Hassan fan tried to delete the reference from the page because it's embarrassing, and I watched it on stream, and I was like, "Well, this is bullshit." And one of my viewers went and changed it back. So um, nice. we managed to keep him on there. Um, but but yeah, he worked for TYT. So like his involvement or knowledge of what content creation is is massively. Like he left college and was plucked for like a um, internship. At TYT, mm -hmm. and then he ended up like hosting a show because obviously his uncle was Cenk Yuga. He likes to act like it was partly the Sigma grind set, but let's be fucking real. We know what's going on, right? right. If your uncle runs a media company, come on. To um to just do it quickly, like, cause, like, like we could all do it if you really want it. But um the first video I ever made, I remember happening one or two years after Jeepers Creepers Two came out, and it was a video of ten screenshots and a backing track, and then me talking about why I thought some movie monsters were better than others, and Jeepers Creepers was one of the ones that was in there. So, that would have been, what, 20... 20... 22... Well, it would have been... Well, it, would, it would have been when YouTube started, basically. And that was, like, the first things I ever tried to do. Then I recorded some Trackmania while playing it. On Steam, made that into some videos. Then I started to try and do some Let's Plays. Then I moved on to uh, doing... Let's plays that were like reviews at the same time of, of games and stuff, and then I wrote out my first attempt at doing a full breakdown of Machine for Pigs, because I was really pissed off with it. Um, and then I made it, and then I started streaming on Twitch, I think, while making videos like that, until I eventually made the TLJ stuff, and that just boomed my YouTube off, so I decided to focus films, and here we are. So, that's more than, more than 10 years. But get fucked. I outclass you, buddy. Maybe you should listen to me. How about that? Um, anyone else well, have an interesting YouTube you, history? You were creating content on your own and uploading it. You were an actual content creator. I wouldn't call someone who is hired by a network who's, you know, they sit on a chair and they, you know, read lines or whatever. I, I don't know if that's fair to call that person a content creator in the um, same vein. It's a pretty broad labeling. I mean, he's not making a point right now anyway. It wouldn't fucking matter. If you're a person working for one year hardcore oh. and learning everything about the industry and every program and how mechanically everything works and all the statistics, they would know a shit ton more than someone who's worked on it for 20 years but only ever done streaming vlogs of talking about their day. Like, you're probably, you know, the, the, we all know how this works. Everyone's got a different amount of information they can gather and understand from all kinds of different places. But he's just saying, I got 10 years, as if that, like, 10 years of what being aware of YouTube is just like at that point I'm pretty sure all of us still beat him Yeah, absolutely when, when it comes to just yep. sheer work put into the content and pride in what we do easily So, so I guess for me if, if you actually wanted everyone to, to do the do thing, it I uh, I started I, I recorded videos in 2008, but didn't upload them till 2009 and that's when the channel actually started and it was anime reviews and it, it was basically like a clone of something that you would see on that guy with the glasses, which was big in 2008. Um, sh changed focus to Let's Plays a couple years later. Had, had like a few videos that, that did very well, but, other but otherwise like the channel was kind of going nowhere. Um, did Gamergate content in 2014, which started, which, which kind of moved me into, into politics, and now I'm in politics. And things are going pretty good in politics. Mm. Um, who's next? Take the mic. Well, isn't that interesting? So I'll go quickly. I've only been streaming for like two years. Um, but due to my, you know, raw sigma energy, it's going really well. I don't know. 
No, I, I mean, know what's what. That's it. Well, uh, just to make it slightly more fleshed out, was it you were watching Twitch and they were like, I could do this? Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I did used to like kind of be a bit of a like anti SJW type, watching Sargon and all that shit. Um, and then I kind of changed perspectives a bit. Always had an interest in making content, but to be honest, it was like Vosh that watching Vosh was the thing that made me think, hey, I think I can do this. Um, you know, I'll give it a go. And it kind of went from there. I started a Twitter account and in there, started streaming on Twitch and. From there, it's grown, basically. Um, well, we've got three left. Uh, I think I uh, was I started like regularly uploading in 2013, um, but I I definitely was like interested in YouTube for a long time before that, and then it was like little pivot animations. I don't think I've uploaded those. I wanted to do Machinima for a while back in the early like 2007, 2008 days when that was popular. I remember, I think the idea I had was I can make a Machinima in Super Mario Galaxy with a camcorder set up on a, on like a stand in front of the TV. <laughs> that was how I could do it. Um, hold on, hold yeah, on. Are you yeah. also going to have a stereo in the background playing Linkin Park? Uh, I I yes. I'm not sure if I ever wanted to use Lincoln Park. I might have because that was definitely at the time. Yeah, people played Lincoln Park. Oh yeah. Um, I remember that. Oh, I think I've told this story. This isn't even really because it's not related to YouTube. Oh man, I uh, I remember I really liked Pivot. Um, I was really into it because I've always loved animation. Um, I think you've told I this really story, liked, but it's okay. I have, but I'm, I'm yeah. I uh, I was doing a Pivot animations, um, and. It was, uh, I remember I'd, I'd made three episodes of it. I think it was called, uh, yeah, I think it was called Gangsters. That was the name. It was these three guys just going on adventures that actually had very little to do with crime or anything. It was just, um, Like Boba Fett? It, it, kind of, except, I, I don't know. I, th I think that there was, wow, I probably shouldn't say that about my own work, that there might have been a little bit more artistic merit to, uh, <laughs> to the stupid idea that I had. And I remember I, I really liked the chicken fight in Family Guy, and I decided for episode three I was going to animate this big chicken fight, um, not with a chicken. It was going to be between these two characters with lots of collateral damage, and I worked on it for, I think, a couple of months. I think I worked on it for like two or three months. It was getting pretty long. It was even a few minutes. Um, and then I decided one day, you know, I'm going to also start working on another project. Um, and I worked on it for about an hour, and just out of habit and instinct, I saved over the file that I'd been working on for months. I was very, very, very upset. You learned a that lesson a that day. I learned a very valuable lesson, which is now I basically never overwrite saves ever. I always have stuff backed up and and uh and I make sure that I've got things copied and I'm always paying attention to that and make sure that I don't so it's it's it a harsh lesson. And I have no doubt that it actually turned me off of doing more animation stuff for a time there. Um, yeah. which about what the what uh what how that one decision might have changed some of the other decisions I made in terms of my pursuits, um, but yeah, that was uh yeah. So the, the the long story short is I've been I've been interested in the creating of content for a very long time, mm -hmm. but YouTube actually has been nine years in uh in about a month I think. Um, rags and search, you almost left. Oh. I don't, it's not nothing too exciting or crazy. I just thought it would be a, I, I've been aware of YouTube for years and years before I actually started making content on it. And it was fun and uh, to kind of listen to people and to imagine myself as some, you know, a professional opinion have or giver. And so I just kind of started doing it. Uh, it was a little creative hobby and then it became a viable job and so i slowly weaned myself off of a more typical job and eventually went part-time with that and then transitioned into youtube and then got into the streaming thing here in efap and just kind of bouncing around doing things and yeah it's, it's but not seemed for like 10 a fun years thing though, to do. so you should listen to Hassan, yes yeah i really should there's so much that we i mean unironically there is so much we could learn from Hassan, though mm -hmm. maybe not in the flattering way he thinks I mean, I basically had the exact same story as Rags. I just said, hey, I can have opinions on the internet, yeah. too. That looks yeah. fun. Do that. Let's do that. Yeah. And it was fun, and we, I did enjoy it. It is and a fun hobby, uh, creative it's, outlet. It's funny for Hassan because, you know, he's giving his 10 years of experience. This is his argument for why he knows that content creators want you to, like, steal their shit and play it. And 
most of his his experience before Twitch, or not all of his experience before Twitch, was when he was working at TYT, where he's getting paid by TYT. His he's not getting paid via like how many people view his content. So it doesn't really matter if people are watching TYT stuff and reacting to it, and you know TYT is losing out from it. He's not directly affected by that since he's getting a steady paycheck. Yeah, well, I, you know, I I take from all of that that he is in luck because he's saying like, you know, I'm dealing with a lot of people who don't even understand the content game. It's like, you know what? All six of us do. I would be saying seven, yep. but Adam is apparently Ooh. dead. I don't know. Adam Something. is Adam is dead. Uh, um, but dead. also with Hassan, I think his background was that like his his father was very rich or his grandfather was very rich or something too. And I, isn't that where Chank I think got the money to start TYT in the first place? I got no clue. I just know that he was like just fostered and had held into all the stuff that he's managed to achieve. Uh, all right, Chank, I'll give you this big loan for your news company. Just promise me you won't call it something stupid, okay? <laughs> no promises, sucker. And the the other thing as well is like you know he's always got Chank on the on the line if he up like remember yep. the the um, you know america deserved you know what <laughs> I um, love that right that now look that was a spicy comment but it, you know he was on fucking tyt a couple of days later like yeah i fucked up you know basically just on his uncle's media platform to wash away his um his image issues it's just like he's always got that in the back burner you know it's mm -hmm. like you know you know if things get really fucked up right you know you could go in stay with your parents right basically assan has got that but with a massive media platform well, he fucks up yeah we talk about the safety net, right? How far can you fall? There's only yeah. so far that Hassan could ever fall because of just his connections that he he was just lucked into by virtue of the family that he was born There's into. There's a big old trambambaline right beneath cool. him, and he goes all the way back yeah. up. The real person here that's really mad has got to be Chink, okay? Because Hassan now is more popular and bigger than him, he's and it's just him staring. Yeah. yeah, he's just it's just him in a fucking chair staring at the screen, like watching Master. Oh Show. yeah, I mean, I mean, <laughs> Shen works harder than Hassan. Right? I know. Like, oh yeah, like like Tyt at least they, like they built up this company and it was like a show and there's all this production that goes into it. I, if I was Chang, I'd be so upset. Yeah. Also, isn't Tyt kind of like slowly on the decline nowadays? Oh, it's been it's presumably. Been, yeah. yeah, I I don't hear from much from them anymore. Yeah, yeah, me neither. I can't wait for Chank to be working to, to be working for, for Hassan. Hassan. Yeah, yeah. that would be fucking great. <laughs> yeah. And then you, you have like complete. he has to take in for whatever Hassan's offline. Is Chank just not watching Master Chef? Oh my <laughs> God, yes, he's the chair warmer. <laughs> chair warmer. He's like he's like Hassan. Can I comment? No, 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 no. Just keep the no, chair. No, you're fucking warm, it up. Okay? A good compromise the link of the video in chat and direct people to like and subscribe to the video Hassan, channel. Say Wait, we already do that. We already fucking no, literally you didn't do that. You didn't do yeah, that. that. If you didn't care, we had another criticisms of Jay. Another free three three. I think a good compromise. Chat, see, I think a good compromise is uh -oh. link in the video in chat and directing people to like and subscribe to the channel. Easy stuff. Woman protector. So this person's just great, you know, top notch. And the sounds response. The link in the video. In Chat and directing people to like and subscribe to the video channel. I mean, we already do that. We already fucking literally. We already point to the video. I talk like about it. I talk about the video sorry, when I'm watching it. Did a weird. Hmm. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. My page just glitched out and it reloaded. So carry on. Carry on. Oh, what do you want me to roll? Well, I'll, yeah, I'll we're at 1643. Pretty much. Can okay, literally, yeah. we already point to the video. I talk about it. I talk about the video when I'm watching it. I say, "This is I the content creator. I can't believe he's doing this. This is great." Um. It, it doesn't matter. This has just been a very yes, small project on the side as I work on something much bigger. Look at it, my full critique and breakdown of season 11. Okay, and I'm gonna change the call. Yeah, I mean, yeah, just so to He's make sure, because this is the first time Chad's seen this. So Hassan like crosses off desperately to make sure Jay can't promote anything. Like, so, so oh, not only does Jesus. Hassan not promote Jay's channel, he prevents Jay from doing it for him. Um, and this is the thing. Look, you don't have to say anything, Chad, okay? But this is our relevance response. What's the being? Um, wow, good job he did that. This is. <laughs> that was kind of Sigma, dude. <laughs> You're okay. using oh, that. A, fl a flashback to the best re response. It's hard it's to believe that our funny. relevant was the best of the three villains. Yes, he was. He was absolutely the. Top notch. I mean, people are going to be wondering today whether or not Hassan or Denims is the uh, the worst. I think, but to be fair, so yeah, I can already talk about that. I still think he's outclassed Denims by the fact that he's fucking told uh, his his thousands and tens of thousands of people that we're Nazis. Uh, I feel like that already outclassed. Love it. Her.
But, Love uh, it. Up to everyone else. What is this? Dev's dollar oh, meat my store. Goodness. Oh my. Dev's goodness. dollar meat store. Jesus. Happy Nils. Jesus Christ. That's that what it looks like. Quite the place. A lot of that's hot cream in there. <laughs> I feel like that picture might be slightly racist. Well, I don't know why you would say. I that. mean, I mean, hold on, hold on. I, I'm okay with it being racist. It's just wait it a second. Be. Is that supposed to be like a, a caricature of a Chinese person, or am I the racist for seeing that? I think you're the racist. <laughs> wow, right. this is a I racist think that their test. skin is just so bloated that their eyes are kind of like. I think it's, yeah, they like they got black eyes, sort of things. They've been punched and stuff. <laughs> okay, listen, I, I don't know. There's a lot of tropes being played on here. Is that a dead dog? I can see. Like, listen, okay, well, you're, I'm you're, trying to okay, here, 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 there's also hey, listen, an amoeba. It might have actually <laughs> been a Chinese dollar meat store that was being so, referenced. Again. So, so Chud, Chud, you don't know the lore. So here's the lore. Okay. A couple of apps ago, I'll I'll do it really quick. I, a couple of years ago, I told a story about how when I was in Vancouver, I went to this location. Just take a look at it, okay? Just pull okay. this up on your stream, and would you okay. eat at this location? <laughs> okay, I'm going to be honest with you. I'll show it to the stream real quick. Yeah, this is a bit sus. The meat store. <laughs> the dollar meat it's, store. The, it's a dollar store for meat in, in Vancouver's Chinatown. Oof. Okay. Yeah, that's a go heavy heck and yikes from me. I'll be mm. real with you. Okay. Now yes. now seeing this with some of the iconography, I'm I'm coming to certain conclusions about that image, okay? All I'm gonna say <laughs> is due to TOS, I'm not gonna show it on my stream just to be on the safe side, all right? That can be a your stream exclusive, all right? Well Jesus. I just like that it's not clear what's alive or dead in the entire shop. That's that's what's, mm -hmm. what's not the, the customers are dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Add faith. You recycle the meat that way. Oh shit, someone, oh god, I feel so bad for these people. So someone in Hassan's chat just said, I watched the new, uh, he's supposed to be saying Doc Viper video, and w he was spot on on you using bad faith. So, how's he gonna deal oh, with this one? Oh, no. I... Nice knowing you. Oh, he's looking at the history. Dear the Vapor, Vapor, 18 month subscriber. What, I'm, I'm using bad faith? I'm using bad faith arguments here? I already recognize and admit I already recognize and admit that if someone does not yeah. want me to watch their content, Here then they're completely justified. Why? They're completely it's his, correct. It's his fallback. There it's are people back door. The not you not being in your chair bit hasn't even been mentioned in a few months. I've been here until you started pointing it out. Now everyone's saying it the trigger the classic one one stun lock. Okay. You seem to be very focused well, on the topic. Like I got skipped to ban because of uh, that is he yeah. got distracted, so he didn't get banned. Because he, he even highlighted his him. length of subscription. He always does that. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And you're riding the tiger. And it feels like I know it's bizarre, but it feels as though the longer you subscribe, the more likely you are to be banned. Oh my! Like you should yeah. know better. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. Maybe that's it. You're backpedaling. You watch people's YouTube videos, and that's a positive way to engage with someone's content. That's a positive way to, to make an interview. Not necessarily. Not necessarily, no. Uh, mm -hmm. Lots of things could happen. Interaction with this community and their community. And then the other way to do that is basically by fucking doing these like call out posts and all this other shit. It's the same. It's the You're literally doing a call out post right now. Right now. Right. You could be like, well, I'm, I'm reacting. It's like, yeah, but they reacted to you. And he's like, yeah, but I reacted to them. Like, yeah, so where does it all start? With you being a shitty reactor. That's where it starts. The way that I come out on top. The same energy. It's by trying to attack the content creator. You're like trying to fucking tackle uh, their, a piece of their audience, maybe drive a wedge between his community and try to like grab as many fucking people as you it can. It can never be that you have a point to make and that's it. It can never be nope. that. It has to be because everybody's clout driven. Everybody's money driven. It can never be anything. It's all a cynical enterprise. It's all built on just the, the worst faith interpretation They're, of everything. They are all content brained. That's the terminology used now. I just content well, I, that's what I, think, I said. Yeah. I think this speaks to Hassan's views because Hassan is the biggest fucking clout shark out there. Um, mm -hmm. You know, since he started on Twitch particularly, he's, you know, he used to knock about with smaller streamers. He used to raid smaller, like, marginalized streamers and stuff a long time ago. But now he just hangs out with, like, the big the big boys of Twitch, the big, like, gaming streamers and stuff, you know? So he's kind of got to the position where he can do that. And he Shame, doesn't need I, to, yeah. you know. Sure, I, I mean, hate the idea that as you get bigger, you just can't hang out with all the small channels anymore and you can't talk with them and... Like the, this concept that oh I've moved on I've I've grown up and over these smaller well, channels like I it's, to, to be I, fair I don't like that 
to be fair, Rags, sometimes it does actually come from the other side. So I, you know, what other before pre, pre gamer gate when my channel had like two thousand subs or something, I hung I hung out with a bunch of of let's players. We were all let's players at the time, and none of us were getting any fucking views. We were having fun, you know, hanging out together and crossing over and filming stuff together, watching other stuff. You know, we were just having a good time. We were all friends, but um, my channel blew up and theirs didn't, and theirs still hasn't blown up. And there was just a lot of bitterness there from them, and it kind of killed a lot of the friendships. So sometimes it's not you. Oh, so yeah, I'm sure that, yeah, yeah, I'm not, it's not like I'm, yeah, of course, I, yeah. <laughs> I think it was Dev. Oh, shit, it was me, actually, yes, of course, yes. I ended all the friendships myself. I knew it. You're <laughs> like, I can't hang out with these 2,000 Andes anymore. <laughs> um, but I think the other thing as well is, like, especially, you know, if you're someone who cares about uplifting people with, like, smaller platforms or whatever, like, you know, it gets to a point where you the bigger fish or you know you're bigger than other fish anyway and i feel you got kind of a duty in some ways to like pass that on to the people that come beneath you right sure. that sounds gay but you know what i mean <laughs> i just oh, no, so well, you, mean, you, have, you have a duty to redistribute fans oh yes mm. to Our redistribute fans. the um you know the the means of fa fandom know, fandom whatever i can't think <laughs> of it you know what i mean i'm getting at it makes you wonder if um, the all-knowing wizard of truth came to Hassan and said, no, these people actually just care about the point. Or, like, Jay cares about the point alone. Do you think Hassan would just be like, no, wizard. <laughs> You're wrong. You wouldn't know. You can't get a source I've for been a wizard for ten trust. years, bro. Yeah, I know all about wizarding. Can That stuff does not work. Okay? That stuff just does not work in, in the long term. You're not gonna get enough, like... You're not going to be able to farm enough hate engagements. How do you explain fucking Keemstar? Wings of Redemption. Yeah. This is the thing. I don't even want to defend this point, but now he's saying, like, you can't get engagement just hating people forever. It's like, you can. It's not, like, it's not preferable as a bias if you just, like, you just hate everything or something. But isn't there a, isn't there a channel on YouTube called I Hate Everything, by the way? Um, he did it right. Uh... Um, what? I'm just saying, because <laughs> I just keep jumping between chats. Someone said, uh, I think he's, you, pretty pretentious and full of himself, and his film criticism to be very shallow despite how long he talks for. Have you ever heard and that let's before? Let's go! Hey, I mean, that's true, though. I'll, I'll accept that over Call Me a Nazi or whatever. Yeah, right, I guess. <laughs> like, at least can, I, can I, listen, can I just point, point out, though, right? My chat has been very, totally chill. There's been no... No, I know. I, well, well, I mean, it's, no, no, it's, that's cool. it's, it's, right, it's, it's totally fine to pick stuff out. say the mean things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. It's totally fun, obviously, to pick it out and I get, uh, you know, often you see that. But yeah, it's, I'm, I'm quite um, happy with how my chat has been pretty chill about the whole hey, thing. Hey, if it's I was to review time. them, i give them like a 9 out of 10. There's only been like one or okay. two things, but the thing is, I'm sure there's been more negative things about you in our chat, so... <laughs> yeah, I was going to yeah. say, yeah. Our chat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't give a fuck here. about those viewers. Fuck you. Hey, fuck every single one of you Chad, if you don't Chad, like me. You can okay? bring if you some of them you're over based. if you were nice. Okay. If you like me, you're based. Come and watch me when, you know, another time, but if you don't, fuck you. What's that show, Wife Swap? Let's do a chat swap, where we just swap <laughs> chats, and then I don't know what actually happens in the show, but... It, <laughs> as far as you know, <laughs> That uh, will, will allow you to have a sustainable business model, uh, for sure. You know what I mean? I know this. I know. I promise. He knows. I think I demonstrably have at least some level of knowledge on content creation. I've been doing it for a very long time. How the fuck do you deal with someone who has the same experience and says the opposite thing? What do you do, Hassan? Do you explode? Couldn't, like, Trump, couldn't Trump just say to him, I've had four years of experience being the president of the United States and you'd have yeah. zero, so you have no right to say anything <laughs> about anything that I've done? Or like, politically. I have experience yeah, in no political like, opinions about, at all. Hasn't, yeah. hasn't Sean, Sean Hannity's been doing, like, what, political coverage for, what, like, 40 years, so you're not allowed to criticize him at all if you're younger than that? Well, if we just like, grab... Like, you're just precluded from criticizing him, apparently. If we grab the oldest creature on Earth, like, Noam Chomsky, and just ask him, like, oh, well, <laughs> what, what can we talk about? He can say nothing. <laughs> he gets to talk about everything we don't. I, yeah, what a what a weird way to I've I've done it longer, therefore I have more authority necessarily. No, you don't. Not no, necessarily. You, don't. you could be doing it wrong. You can for do all something that time. really it... shittily for a long time. Yes, exactly. There's people mm -hmm. that, that make content for ages and like it's just not very good content and they don't get many views. Nothing to be ashamed of, but it's not for everyone, right? But somebody would try for ten years. Doesn't mean you, you, you know what to do or you know the right way forward.
Mm -hmm. um, well, yeah. ultimately it's the quality of your arguments not how long you've been doing it for i don't yeah care, of course like, yeah whether or not sean well, hannity has been a political commentator for like 40 years i don't mean anything necessarily and a lot of this is a moral question so it's like okay well you've been an, an like an immoral person and an asshole for 10 years i mean so what well I, you know, surely everybody has the right to make observations because all he's talking he's trying to appeal to these like weird ideas that um well, I understand how the game works. It's like, it doesn't really, this is an argument about what you ought to do principally, not what will make you succeed or not. There's kind of a different conversation. Everybody has a right to have that conversation about what you ought to do based on like what is right or wrong principally. You can't preclude people from that because they haven't been streaming for as long as you. Mm -hmm. I think he's doing this to just further shepherd his audience and to not question this shit. It's like, look, trust me, I'm correct. That's when you've given up. <laughs> like, kind of, yeah. I don't need to make any more arguments. Well, Can you just trust me? Like, oh. You are appealing to authority here. Your own authority. Which, yeah. is, which is the weirdest one, right? Like, you, trust me, I've... Especially content creation. It's like... So if I'd been making, like, fucking paper airplanes for ten years, can I just claim that too? Mm-hmm. Or, like, if you're a content creator and then you're like, now let me give you all of my very well-informed perspectives on animation as somebody who's never touched a piece of animation software or doesn't, never yeah. watched a documentary on it, never read anything about it. I mean, it's content creation. I guess we're going to get as vague as possible. XQC doesn't respond and it's the smart thing to do. Speaking like a true capitalist. Yeah, exactly. You can say it's a true <laughs> Wait. capitalist. Wait. <laughs> that one what? that one coughed me off caught me off guard. I'm so whoa. It's it's capitalist to not respond to criticism. Not responding. Wait, I don't even But those are two separate comments. You know what? Well, I think what I find funny about that is you know what's very uncapitalist? Responding to the market. That's very oh. that's, that's a very non that's a very non-capitalist principle. I'm confused as to who let me see if we what can grab that. Connection? Grab that again. Uh, Creation, I've been doing I, it for I, a very long time. XQC doesn't respond. It is. Speaking like a true right. capitalist. So this isn't. So what That's is that regarding? Perspective, then. I think he's saying they... not responding to the criticism, just ignore it and pretend it's not happening. The drama, like, don't even acknowledge it. I think that's what he's saying. Well, and so is that common then critical of Hassan speaking like a true capitalist? Because that would be offensive to him, right? Um. Or, or maybe let's see him say the full comment it's the smart thing to do speaking like a true capitalist yeah exactly you can say it's a true uh, capitalist oh. or whatever but i'm not going to be baited into watching wait so that sounded like he agreed and then realized it was against him did you, did you catch that yeah you went weird. like exactly like a true wait, capitalist. No, actually, yeah. no it's not exactly wait, yeah, well, yeah well, look. exactly you can say it's a true capitalist or whatever but I'm not going to be baited into watching someone's fucking video a year after the point when I've already agreed with the original it's point that they year, made. Like, and you didn't agree with their original point. You didn't oh agree God. with Jay's original point. Stop pretending that you did. I'm not going to watch it a year after I agreed with their original point. What? What? What an easy way to just... Yeah, because I'm sure that all Jay said in a 50-minute video was the same thing that you think you agree with. That there was nothing else that was brought up. And he still never addressed the fucking- well, other than- if, if you can call it addressing it, he said React Harder is dumb, so I guess he did address it. Right. What do you want? What do you want me to do? The answer is, ironically, Die. I want you to react to my video! So, like, I'm not gonna do that! If the main point of contention is, don't react to my fucking videos, I did not consent to this, and then you try to get me to react to your further fucking videos, I'm not gonna do that! Why the fuck would I ever do that? Why would I literally give in to what you want when I already acknowledge that you're in the right to fucking watch? Uh, in Hang the right on, to say, him. I don't want I you like to fucking watch getting, my shit. And so that's tangled. fine. So He's so tangled. Jay said, don't react to my videos. Jay then wants my reaction to a new video. Why would I give in to what Jay wants when Jay is right to ask that I don't watch their videos? And that's fine. Why would I do the Why what? would I do the right <laughs> thing if it's what my opponent wants? This is when Hassan's brain doesn't take the gaps, okay? Well, it's because Hassan's it's brain jumping. is a gap. What I is this? He's jumping for a lot of the clear things, right? He said, this is Jay's position, but Jay is farming for clout. Why would I capitulate and give him clout? But also he's right. And that's, you know, like it's, it's like you're hitting all the things at once because you, you're not appealing to any core. You're just kind of latching onto whatever you can to try and run away from this. Wait, I would go as far as this is just fucking nuts. Like, what is happening to his brain? This is all over the place. You can't even- If you were someone who didn't even know anything about Jay, you'd just be like, so Jay wants you to- 
not react, but to react, and you're going to respect what Jay said by not reacting, but also never give in to what Jay wants. And that all of this is okay. I have no... I got no clue. I don't know what's happening. Mm. Um, but he's, he's so aggressive, as though he's... Very upset. <laughs> very... A lot of indignation here. Yeah. A he very he's a righteous boy. Well, it's just an impassioned way to relay a very confused point. Because, like, what else can you say? When you put it like this, you're just like, okay, I just don't know what you want, mate. Like, <laughs> we'll have to keep moving, because that's it. Isn't it funny how Charlie mentioned his Dark Viper video, how the same person told him the same thing, react harder or don't watch? Charlie did the same thing as you and never watched their vids again, but you're the only one catching flack? Yes, because yes, I no, respond. Charlie didn't do the I same thing. I can't imagine why Charlie... Charlie didn't do hmm. the same thing. No, he did. He yeah. definitely did. Because I'm a fucking idiot, okay? Am I misremembering? But I ended up just getting too lost in the video because they presented it so well and it was just such a great video. And the creator... Yeah, this is what Hassan said, right? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, this is definitely what, yeah, it's a yeah. spitting image. Yeah, yeah. Who copied who? You know That's what, what I want to know. You know what Hassan said? Oh, actually, I'm wrong on this. I should transform the content or alternatively ask for permission. That's a good point, Jay. You're correct, principally. <laughs> That's what Hassan said, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was all this, one for one. Peter saw my reaction to it and was really disappointed. Man, how they didn't appreciate it and get mad at Hassan if that's the case. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's weird. I totally understood where Remember they were coming how from Carmen because... fought, thought he fought a dragon when he came up with the fish sticks joke? You with, mean when uh, he did uh, fight Jimmy? the dragon? Ah, that's sorry, yes, when he did fight <laughs> the dragon and then Jimmy stabbed him in the back because that's that's exactly what happened. Mm-hmm. I didn't really add anything to it. I didn't really react to it. So to them, it felt like I was just re-uploading their content on my stream. And I get that perspective. I really do. But that's never the goal. It's never supposed to be piggybacking off of someone else's hard work in order to do nothing for it and make money off it. Your YouTube content is there when I ain't got nothing else left to talk about, dude. Let's be straight oh, about it. Oh, The bad the best clip. Of the, three. <laughs> the best of the three. Listen. I feel like I need to need to you know apologize on behalf of uh, <laughs> my uh, my brother irrelevant. I, I don't know. I don't know what got into him about this. And this is something I've heard from his viewers as well. They're like, watch me. They're like, yeah, he said some weird takes about it. Um, yeah, I I've got no idea, and we've not really spoken about it. Maybe I'll speak to him about it. I don't know. Um, I just feel like I would have to watch the content, and I can't be fucked to do that. To be perfectly honest with you. Um, so, yeah, yeah, you, you don't have to worry about it at all. It's all it's already over, to be honest with you. That was, what, three weeks, two weeks ago? I can't remember two time anymore. I just, I just, for my own benefit, I want to be like, you know, like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? What's going on? What's wrong? What's, what's up? You know? I don't know. It just feels like out of character. I don't know. It's weird. I at least am trying. I'm making an effort to be as charitable as possible. I'm <laughs> making an effort to be as charitable as possible. I'm making an effort to be as charitable as possible. Come the fuck on, Hassan. I'm making an effort to like respond to it, you know what I mean? And then people no, say, Hassan, you, haven't you don't even watched it. You haven't <laughs> even watched it, dude. <laughs> Take criticism well, but like, but there is a there's a degree of criticism that I can charitably understand and respect and respond to, which is what I'm doing when I say you're right. But what else do you want? <laughs> what else okay? do you want? And then there I, is the, what more can I don't I really give a shit. Literally did nothing, less than nothing, if you will. And then it's like, what could you possibly want? Shit, I just want you to watch my favorite content creator's video. Uh-oh. Has he spotted something? Yeah, sometimes I have to look over and make sure that the video hasn't just paused. Someone didn't pause it. You never know. And it, especially... Oh, by the way, you don't want to read some of the random shit that comes out of his chat. Holy fuck, he has trained them well to, like, mm -hmm. just shit all over anybody who disagrees with him. Actually, because, like, it's a non-issue that turns into an issue. Well, no one wants to get banned, right? Um, some of them seem to They're enjoy so it. There's, there's one so example... There's one example you'll see in a bit who, uh, says, like, haha, that was easy after being banned, or during being banned or something. Like, they knew. So I guess there's some people in there who are, like, Fuck it, I'll get banned for this because he's a you know idiot. But yeah, you're right. A lot of them are not gonna want to get banned, so they're like, I'll say the thing he likes, and maybe he'll even highlight me and then say I said a good thing. Maybe. And then I'll be really happy. Yeah, it will make him real happy. Yeah. Validation. That's my what, biggest yeah, problem that's what happiness is. on the internet. What you're oh, misrepresenting this argument? Can you watch this clip? 
in this reality, XQC doesn't use other people's labor. I'm so, I'm so sick and fucking tired of this, dude. I, I hate- Oh, you did watch it for a whole two, three seconds there? Uh, you gave it a really good chance. So, yeah, yeah, fair chance. Hate this. This guy is literally- Look at his videos, man. Look at his fucking videos, bro. Look. Okay. Look at this channel, okay? At. Look at this fucking channel. Yeah. Right, yeah. He's got videos with 70k views, 94k views. Well, don't forget the 656k view there 13 days ago, 556 11 days ago, 156 8 days ago. It looks like a relatively healthy channel if he's putting these videos yeah. out once per day. Damn. What's his point, even? And he's got a million subs. Well, let's just, we have that information. Let's see what his point is. 64K views. Boom, nine hours ago, 228,000 views. You, what are you, are you riding or dying for him? So I have, I, I, do, am I on the same page with the rest of you? You wouldn't have any clue what his point is yet. I, is he no, saying, yeah, I'm like legitimately a bit. I, I, okay, I think, I'm assuming he's going to say that this guy's channel is dying. He has very low <laughs> views until he does drama content, then it blows but up. The oh, previous... He's saying he's cloud chasing. The right. previous video, 178k views, a day ago. No, what, how can you argue that he's only doing this for the views? So the funny thing is as well, is because I've, I've seen some of the Dark Viper stuff. He is passionate about this. And if someone said, you, you know, gun to your head, take a bet, and you know, if you lose the bet, you die. Is he doing it more so because he wants to get as much money from it as possible, or because he genuinely believes in this? I'd be like, oh, it's easy, genuinely believes in it. This guy, uh, the idea that he is an angry boy in relation to this. Topic. They can't fathom it. So, yeah, um, yes, he has more views on that video than he does on a couple of the previous, but it's not even the most viewed video in his last three lines of uploads there, so... Actually, it's not even... Is it fourth? So, yeah, weird point, but okay. Are you- why? Like, are you his biggest fan and you want him to fucking- look at this thumbnail, holy shit! The real, the real reason why he's doing this is because this, because he wants people to react to his fucking videos, and it's very no. frustrating. You're a f God. I want people to react to my videos too, and so then wait, subscribe wait. to me and watch, and then give me money. What's what's happening here? Oh, you know, God. like he's going nuts. Yeah, I think you want to save thinks, those out first. You know, I think he thinks them. he's cracked it, right? That he's like, I've got definitive proof. Uh, like it's written down by Dark Viper himself in a DM to a friend that got leaked, where he said, "I'm only doing this for the money," and hopefully they react to me because I don't actually have any principles. And that's why he's like, he feels so strongly on this when all you've highlighted is that the video has been watched by a lot of people. That doesn't mean anything on its own. Fucking idiot! If you don't realize that, okay? That, and from my perspective, this is not a good look. It just also, sorry, like the oh, really I mean, w w also earlier he said he was talking about how it's great for like um, YouTubers for streamers to react to their videos. So yeah, of course, if you think that's the case, why are you acting so fucking amazed or surprised that a YouTuber wants someone to watch their videos if that was the case? Do you see what I mean? Well, you hate to do he's it, like, right? Maybe he's but... like the goldfish. You know, they say they have be. like three second memories. <laughs> but you hate to do this. People are like, right, Hassan, let's say you're correct. This is all correct and you only did it for views and look at that, it's working. Let's check out the other universe where he did it just because he wanted to make a point and then it was a popular point. How do you tell the difference between these two worlds? What is your way of falsifying one of the two worlds? Like, how do you, you have yeah. a mind reading machine that just tells you exactly what someone's thinking? And he's like, well, it's obvious. He has more views on that video. Like, ah. It's, it okay. is really peering into the mind of a, like, I don't, I don't know how, like, you, how, why is it so simple? Why is it such a dichotomous thing, right? Either it's for view, like, it's got to be for views. It's that simple. Couldn't be for any other reason. Couldn't be that they believe in what they're saying. There's a difference between good faith criticism and bad faith criticism. You literally are trying you know to desperately yeah. give in to what he wants to do, which is react to my fucking videos, please. Okay? That That's what bad? he's doing. I mean, I don't... Yeah, there's not really much... Yeah, but the specific context he's gunning for is to, to make money. And we don't want to give him money. He's a bad faith actor. Wait. Well... You've decided well, this is true. You haven't got this from anything. We shouldn't even buy into this frame because this is very egotistical of him. Like Jay That's, and yeah, I assume yeah. Viper making this video. It's not. It's not because they want Hassan to react. It's because they feel like they haven't been heard. They want other people to hear their arguments. They've only heard Hassan's bullshit arguments. It's not. It's not all about Hassan reacting to the stupid video. I think that's the thing that he 
is struggling to get past, or at least it seems that way based on what he's saying, is it's, this is a topic. It's not really about, it's partly about you, but it's more so about the broader subject of reaction content, transformative fair use, copyright. Like that's, it spins off from you. It's not all about you. Um, and to, right. I don't know. To, it seems like you can appreciate that. To clarify as well, Hassan, in a particular universe here, has made a fair point if he had the resources to actually prove it, which he doesn't. He's made them up. Which is that if someone is specifically only making eye catching and trolly videos that are all f fake news sort of shit to get you to click it, react to it, and then get their money, like, and they just fully admit to it, it's like, yeah, you probably would want to avoid giving, just like feeding the troll or giving them what they want, sort of thing. He's decided that that's what Dark Viper's doing, but he has no more evidence for Dark Viper doing it than literally anybody else. Like, it's just, because a video was made and put up. That's it. Well, you got. And also seems to be trying to tar Jay with the same brush. Oh, yes. Yes, he does. Who possibly have different motives. I mean, I know what Jay's motives are. They were just the topic yep. and what he felt was right doing but you don't know that because you're not a fucking content creator i am so i know what he's doing there's two ways of doing yeah, it yeah we're all Make the same there's two yeah, ways of doing that. it it's the negative engagement or the positive engagement there's nothing else right there's no degrees of engagement or a mix of positive or negative or even neutral engagement yeah like impartial commentary the, and and the motives behind that engagement or the broader yeah. objectives behind that engagement it's just either it's good or bad what a very and as, man and this is a political commentator yep people throw money at this guy they throw money at this guy well i mean it's also a giant self report if he's saying he's assuming all this bad faith and he's saying i understand this because i am a content creator <laughs> Oh, that's oh, a lot all... of Hassan, is he's just projecting the way he feels and his incredible Look, it's, it's, cynical it's... outlook on this onto other people, to everyone. It's all very Sigmund Freudian, okay? It's very <laughs> Sigmund Freudian. Oh, oh, he, he's doing the friend-enemy distinction thing that the Nazis liked. Oh, don't be go. making those comparisons. Also, I just yes, noticed, in, yes. uh, it doesn't matter which chat this came from, okay? But it says, the fact that they're watching a video that they made of Hassan's reaction to some shit that originated a fucking year ago and they are desperately trying to keep alive proves Hassan's point. That's... What? How does it prove the point? Who oh. said that specifically? And can they <laughs> please provide an uh, explanation? Uh, I don't I don't, actually... I don't need to know who... Okay, listen, listen, that's, like that's, that's... Okay, listen, that's Jude. But, Jude is, oh, has wow, got a tattoo. So, listen, I need to say this. Jude has got a tattoo okay. of Hassan. Oh. What? Oh, no. Wait, man, wait really? Yes. 100%. No. Why? So, what, what, wait, hold, so, actually, no, wait, 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 wait. What body part? Oh, no, I, I have a um, new question, though. What, what if Hassan, if you criticized him once and then he banned you, would you keep the tattoo or would you, like... No, like, he'd say Hassan was right to do it. Hassan, yeah. I was out of line. Oof. But listen, yeah. Jude, Jude comes by a lot. We've we've actually spoken on stream about Hassan, and we've got a lot of disagreements. But um, they're going to piss the off, piss you off a lot. But they're, they're an okay person. Like we get on pretty well. We have a good good combo. Well, but yeah, they're, this... they're always going to have be the pro Hassan side. You I was going to say if they're starting on Hassan is right, it's like they're going to have trouble because <laughs> he's uh, <laughs> it's a tough position to advocate for. But good luck. I wish you all the best good content okay and you're like hey please watch my video this is sick and then i do and it's awesome and that's not a parasitic relationship that's a positive relationship and then the other way to do it is by doing but that could totally be parasitic as well you could be like really desperate for people you constantly overly nice and you want everyone to just react to you and say good things about you because you're just desperately trying to you know get lifeblood into the channel or some shit you could even say you were like distant relative of Hassan's, like a kid starting up a youtube channel and you're like you know Uncle, can you please so react to some of my Minecraft Let's Plays to get me a jump start? That could be considered parasitic, of course. Just because it's not negative in the sense of it being critical. It's easy for him to say that it's positive because there is no negative, there's no detriment to you watching other people's stuff. You only gain. It's them who might lose out because of that. Right. You gain all of the utility of the video with none of the trade-offs of having to make it. Of course you like it. It's beneficial to you always regardless of whether it's beneficial or not to the person who made the video. So this is not, like, it just doesn't mean it. it of course you'd like it, because you only gain from doing it. And call out posts and having absolute fucking baboon brained idiots like you operate on his behalf. You're literally giving Free, him, you're helping him. You're helping him.
helping him by being like, yeah, you I mean, address the argument? And he's like, you're helping him! It's like, I guess I am, yeah. That's the point! That's why he's doing it, you fucking idiot! He's not doing it because he legitimately thinks it's fucking unacceptable. He's doing it because <laughs> then people- How did he- how did he- how is he so sure? How I don't did understand. he produce all of this? Yeah, he's such a genius. People will watch his shit, and he will get a big bump! Holy fuck! Ah! No. Oh, ah! Huh. Okay. So how big was the bump again, by the way? 200 viewers as opposed to 30- sorry, 200 views as opposed to 30 for that hour. Impressive. That's it. Mm -hmm. 30. And also, Biggest... a good chance that 40,000 people are never going to watch it. Yeah. Like, you know, a, a need good to. chance. Yeah, you've already seen it in full, pretty much. Yeah, like, why the fuck would I watch his clips if his entire fucking thing is like... I, I just... Listen, dude. <laughs> if his entire thing is like, don't react to my shit. Okay, because it isn't. Yeah, Nobody made this point. You made it up. Nobody, Nobody said this. Point. Yeah, you invented it in your head. Don't react to people. Like, why would I do that? The spikes are from starting drama, but the con. Holy shit! Is that Adam. Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! <laughs> Damn. Oh my. Hey, Adam. What this I, mysterious what stranger. Oh my god, Gandalf, what happened? he's arrived. What, what, okay, <laughs> I started so, without me. Yeah, why would I start without me? <laughs> well, dude, we've only so got. I want to point out. I want to point out. I might have been an hour late. I'm not even in the watch together room yet. <laughs> I, I, I might have been an hour late, but Adam is like three weeks late. So. <laughs> oh, cool. That's a good point. I appreciate oh, the yeah, you're, you're off, okay. the, uh, you're off mm -hmm. the hook, Dev. Yeah, and, we and found a I new punch bag. like ten minutes ago, but I was like, <laughs> I'm so beat. I went and took a ten minute nap, but I'm here now. Well, don't worry, Adam. We're only a quarter of the way through the those video. Were, those were Hassan minutes. Oh, those okay, were Denim's good. minutes. I didn't want to give you guys a chair. Uh, for the first 10 minutes, so I'm, I'm good to go. You, Where's that okay. watch together just link? Just scroll right up. Let me, let me make sure I share the watch together link with the chat a couple no. times. <laughs> we already had that. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, Adam, you know what you should do? Whenever you go take a nap, just turn on your stream, just let it stream somebody else's video, and then when you come back ah, to the stream, turn, turn, turn the stream off. There so it's only go. an there AFK stream. Yeah. That's a cool. great idea. I was, I'm, I'm not it. fresh. I watched most of the beginning, but. It? Have you found it yet? Adam? Let's Have do you scrolled it. up enough? Oh, yeah. Did I you find the link? The top. Go for the latest one as right. well, not the, uh, several. Oh, yeah, there's like seven of them, which, let's see. One, two. <laughs> that was, uh, that was my fault. I'm going to hold my hands up <laughs> to that one. It's okay. We don't judge you All right. harshly. Nope. Just nope. a little bit. Nope. Are you Simo streaming? Is that why it got shared out multiple times? Simo yeah, we're currently, streaming. for the first time mm -hmm. ever, EFAB's being streamed to Twitch as well. Not by us, though. Oh, yeah. There's a bunch but of yeah, just, just to be clear, we're on Twitch, so no N-words, okay? Mm -hmm. Just to be clear, Adam, all right? It's a tough habit to break, there. but uh, I've been trying to rain. 23 I minutes in? in? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're going to slow today. <laughs> Welcome. All right. Let's go. Only Reactive one people. hour like, left. Why would I do that? <laughs> The spikes are from starting drama, but the content itself barely grew audience. Exactly. The inverse of that well, is that, like, every time... Point, right? I was going to say, doesn't that just, at that point, then it doesn't matter if you engage, because then you're not yeah, going to give so views. I guess maybe maybe he's just going to say, oh, well, that other guy, he's just a bad grifter. He's bad at grifting, but he still does it. Or maybe. drama chasing or clout chasing. or I don't know. Whatever dismisses it the fastest. What... Yeah, yeah. Whatever mm -hmm. makes me the rightest. Time I get into these fucking dramas, I actually lose uh, viewership because people get mad and people get annoyed because I'm constantly fucking, uh, because I'm constantly fucking repeating the same points over and over again. Yeah, yeah you I'm are because you never seem to grasp the fucking points. You just repeat your own crazy oh, one. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking dumb to tell content creators they need to try to talk to you when you don't ask them for permission in the first place to act like a child when they try to respond. Oh, oh no, uh -oh. oh no, drink, Pull drink, and run. Can't no. drink <laughs> Dude, oh, there is only right, one content dude. creator who I've already fucking uh, who I've uh, he's hovered over those timeouts agreed mm -hmm. with that is like still farming it, Sorry. and you're a sucker Sorry. for doing Sorry. their uh, Sorry. marketing for Sorry. them. For the record, Sorry. because Sorry. like I said, the overwhelming majority, the 99 percent of content creators, are actually excited when uh, people react to their content. 99. Of course they are. Who cares if it's 99? We're talking about the one. Just even if it's literally one, one person, happy. that's it. Yeah.
because there's many possible- Also, that wasn't even the point this guy was making. It's dumb to tell creators they need to try and talk to you when you don't ask them for permission in the first place and you act like a child when they try to respond. Exactly. Just Fair true. point. That's uh, tight, pretty you shouldn't, much. You shouldn't have spoken, drink drinker. Goodbye. Positives to it. Okay? And you're trying to sucker Oof. me back into the, uh, into the drama right now? by writing the same shit over and over again, which is why I'm going to ban you. Oop. And the reason why I'm banning this person is not because I'm running away from criticism. Because <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, I'm not going to criticism run away from you. Uh, is I can't stop myself, actually, from <laughs> responding to everything over and over again, and it's making the content worse for the 23,000 people that are in here. You're being selfish oh, yeah, and you're centering Ooh. yourself. It's you're being, being selfish. selfish. <laughs> you're being selfish. <laughs> I'm yeah, banning that is, him. You are I'm right. That is like some really good cultures. conditioning. Yes. That's some real good conditioning of your audience. I seek out criticism, guys. I really it's, love oh, it. Oh, yeah. All right. I forgot about that. <laughs> the guy, he, he, it's a he simple, does have like. Simple hypocrisy has been pointed out. And now Hassan's making this huge example of this person as an agent of the enemy. And that is why he's banning him and setting an example. It's just like, holy shit, man. Sometimes these people are like, you know, 20 month subs, like they're, yeah. they're fans of the guy, right? So they're just offering light pushback and, and he fucking loses his rag. I don't know, like, I get pissed off with chat sometimes, you get some fucking dumb fucks, right? But like, yeah. Jesus, like, I don't know, it just seems so excessive on Hassan's part. Well, he has this amazing narcissistic ability to shift the blame to everyone else. So it's like, oh, I have to steal content because the chat will get mad. Oh, I can't respond to criticism because the chat gets upset when I respond to criticism because I'm just repeating myself. It's your fault. It's not my fault that I'm not listening to you and actually responding. But listen, Sitch, does somebody have a tattoo of you on them? I mean, they could. I don't know. <laughs> I I'll hope just so. have to take a poll. <laughs> <laughs> in the middle of the conversation, and you don't give a fuck about the 20,000 other people that are in here, because you- So yeah, just to clarify, anyone in chat, if you ever post anything about something you're particularly interested in, you're not appreciating the other thousands of people potentially who are here for a different thing. So you better right. fucking yeah. think about that before because you that, become selfish. That's your fault. That's your fault for saying it, rather than my fault for making this a two or three minute yes. long tangent. Because obviously, had Hassan never highlighted this guy, everyone in chat would have noticed it and have been affected by it in very negative ways. So, Hassan's Dude, a hero, kind of? Oh, man. Well, you know, you heard Hassan. <laughs> he says he doesn't have control over his own actions. He has to respond to it. So, the chat should know better. You want to be at the center of this drama. You want to bait drama. You want to continue the stun lock. And it's fucking bullshit. Okay? Unacceptable, and you should be ashamed of yourself for ruining other wow, people's days. Ashamed, ashamed of yourself. Of yourself. <laughs> Jesus. Tom Holland buys a Taycan. Everybody celebrates it. Tom Holland gets to drive the Taycan away with his incredibly pretty girlfriend Zendaya. Tom Holland and Zendaya then buy a four million dollar home in London together. Everybody celebrates that too. Sick and tired of it. Okay, sick Tom and tired Holland of it. Yeah, but he's talented. Out of the <laughs> Struggle. Oh, oh, before all of you say anything, just listen a little longer. People are going to okay, say, Tom okay. Holland is not a socialist. Okay, who cares? Who oh, <laughs> cares? I would say that's pretty what important, actually. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Jesus. So, do you recall, like, a year ago, the, the, the big discourse was socialists maximizing their, their gains under capitalism. It's, it's, it's just fine. That, 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 this is kind of an extension of the same conversation. You can use that with going by that logic, you can't complain about Elon Musk. You can't complain about Jeff Bezos. They could mm -hmm. be socialists. They're just maximizing their gains, you know? That's right. Well, yeah, because it's because people say the the whole I gotta survive under capitalism. You're not surviving, my dude. You're thriving. And you are yeah, you're better off yeah. than like ninety nine man, uh, you're better off than like ninety nine point nine percent of like people who exist now, let alone all humans who have ever well, existed throughout the, all of history. The, the the thing is with like the Matt Boars comic meme, right? Is it's the literal fucking surf, the person that's saying we need to improve society somehow. Exactly. Right? They have no right. they have no they don't have the means to change their life. Life in a way this motherfucker's like the lord this want. motherfucker's yeah. the lord he's in the castle mm -hmm. yeah jesus christ i fucking hate that comic so much <laughs> everyone you, does well, at this point did, hopefully yeah. did you notice his voice changed a little bit like he knows this is dumb as fuck who cares you're just you're not mad about the action itself it, when tom holland does it you're just mad here this is a part of the broadcast where i react to a news article sorry to fucking salon.com 
but I will be reacting to their news article, okay? I'm a re oh, Just shit. like Denim's, where it's like, ah, I guess the problem is just reacting, isn't it? And Jay's sitting there like, well, that's my whole career, what are you talking about? You know, you know what, at this point, it's at, like, this is a little bit different, at least he's actually sitting there reading it. No, that's it's true, like it's, it's just that... Mm -hmm. the, yeah, because Tim pool sweating right now. It's pretty hard not to transform an article, <laughs> I suppose. But I suppose you could still steal just the article's content, couldn't you? You just read it all out and go. You can just through. read it and add no commentary. Yeah. Reactor, I'm a react lord. It's pretty cool to know. Yeah, he can read, so that's cool. I guess you got that. This is what I do. This all started yesterday when I made the video. Our react. So yeah, just we've skipped forward now to because he watched these. It was more political stuff, and then he went to this is Charlie's video on Dark Viper. They had a bit of a back and forth, and Hassan's watching it. Unfortunately for Hassan, Jay comes up in this video, and so he's going to be forced to comment more. Well, I was going to say he didn't. I assume he didn't know that Jay comes up in this video because he wouldn't have watched it. Right? Um, someone in chat does warn him at one point, and he decides to soldier on. So. Uh, maybe he doesn't care. I don't know. Warn him that Jay's gonna be mentioned. They legitimately say, like, Jay's video's about to be mentioned, you should probably stop watching it, or something like that. <laughs> and yeah, this chat has to warn him about Yeah, because chat know. <laughs> chat know that he's gonna get fucking annoyed and have to deal with people making, you know, cogent arguments, and you can't have that. He's not commenting! <laughs> just... I need to be more like Charlie. And just like that be much, much nicer yeah. to people who are very, very obviously, <clears throat> um, very obviously engaging in like not only bad faith criticism, but like the worst kind of uh, bad faith criticism. Because like even if he himself, uh, even if he himself like actually is angry about a particular person or not, he does a really good job of. Fuck me, it takes so long to get a point out of him. Like, <laughs> I can't pause because he hasn't finished a point yet. You know, presenting himself as, um... Man, Sigmund, Sigmund as just, like, open-minded. Coming out, no, peek it out there, like, wait, so presenting himself. Words there. Interesting that you would say that. Presenting, presenting yeah. Yeah. Do you remember, um, uh, what Dedev said? I should get a phone? So that I can at least look like I'm watching the video when I leave. Oh, well, I could actually do it. It's like, pfft, yeah, nice. Like, it's too late, my friend. <laughs> You've already <laughs> said it. All these tactics, all these strategies. Yep. Instead of just doing the right thing, you know. Well, he doesn't even. <laughs> he, he doesn't even consider that Charlie heard the criticism and, and believes it. it. He's yeah. assuming Charlie's like, oh, this is bad faith, but let me pretend like I'm going to be nice about it. And that's it. the way to do it if you want to piss off less people. Hassan is learning, like, tactically how to get the best results without at all understanding, like, the, the arguments behind them or the efficacy or even, like, the just believing in the argument. It's insane. He's, like, not even entertained that that could be possible. Ugh. No matter how uncharitable someone is, yeah, it's a unique strength that he has, and I really respect him for it. Uh, I mean, it's maybe years and years and years. I didn't respect Jay for that. Jay put up with all kinds of bullshit from you lot. Like, I don't understand. But, you know, Charlie's the one that we got to respect. To being like kind of insane a inconsistency from Son all the time. Yeah. You just never really know what he's gonna say when it comes to a lot of things. Just on you the know internet, he'll always trying to defend himself, and he's never wrong. It's always someone else's fault. But how he verbalizes that, and how his mind jumps through the hoops, it's always just like a wonder to see how he's going to do it this time. Look at that chatter. It's nice of him, meaning Charlie, but it isn't as cathartic to watch shit on him. <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> nice. Jesus. What your priorities are? He does have some centrist takes. A lot of centrist takes. Uh -oh. So he's a Nazi. Well, <laughs> when I am faced with uh, a barrage of like shitty criticisms that are completely just bad faith, it's very difficult for me to take that person seriously and be charitable to them. I don't even know what he's talking about. Whatever. <laughs> I wonder if this dude talked about Miskiv at all. If you're gonna take ages, could you at least finish the mouthful? If you're gonna yeah. fucking take ages, yeah. I mean, you've already anyway. you might as well be fashionably late, you know. Uh, because Miskiv just said nuts. he's a clout farmer and moved on. He might have. He might you've already said he's a clout farmer or whatever. Just I guess didn't move on. I'd have mentioned Miskiv as well. 
but probably not to the same degree as he talks about Charlie and maybe even myself if he did mention myself. I do believe that it's because myself, sorry, (laughs) Um, (laughs) again, this is not when you like legitimately have a gripe with whatever the fuck you're talking about. Yeah, this is not the way you do it, you know, it's so clear, (laughs) but instead you're talking about whoever the fuck you're, um, you're, you're basically covering like whoever will bite. Yeah, because like if you had a general problem with reactors on Twitch, there would be no point in having like, oh, individual examples, right? That would be pointless. There would be no fucking point to that at all. It wouldn't help anyone understand anything. It would be so fucking pointless. It would show that you're bad faith, in fact. It would be better to appeal to vague generalities with no examples. Yeah. (laughs) I hate bad writing. What do you mean? Bad writing? Like what? Yeah, bad, bad writing. writing in general. You know, there's there's movies bad with some writing bad writing. Sucks. Shut up, man. <laughs> well, there's, there's lots of movies with bad writing. You know. So yeah, it's this everywhere. Is so really. helpful. You remember I how, did... like, when you learn how to just present arguments, like when you're writing an essay at school, how they were like, "Well, now remember, don't use examples. Um, <laughs> examples. examples detract from the point." Yes, mm-hmm. and they make you bad faith. You talk about XUC. Uh, yes. <laughs> Yeah, I decided there's no point in showing you all of the fucking skipping, so... It's just so weird because... Like, who cares? Okay, he got something wrong in one of his YouTube videos, like... I don't know what it's it is. Stand the life for you. Where you know how I always say like be normal. This is what I mean. When you see someone who made a YouTube video, right? Okay. And mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. and yeah. you know, there's some like oh, incorrect stuff in it, and you just make another YouTube video about why there's incorrect stuff in it. If it's yeah, about like monetization stuff. of your fucking YouTube channel or something. So if it involves money, that's when it's fair to be upset, okay? Sorry, but like, how does he rationalize this when it comes to criticizing mainstream media political pundits if they get factual information wrong? You would argue how that has, he, like, how he got demonstrable that? health effects on I, policy-related people, I think people, I figured blah, blah, blah. it out. The reason he adds so much gaps in between his words is because, mm. like, you'll forget the word he said before, so you'll forget <laughs> and not realize he's not making a point. Well, like, like hypnotizing yeah, but I tried dad. to bind it all into those series of sentences. It was baffling. <laughs> like, yeah, because I, I'm so lost in whatever the fuck he's trying to say because he's speaking so slowly. Such, such if the sentence takes forever, you won't remember the start. I still remember the start. Uh, what? What? <laughs> you need to make it longer. You need to draw out yeah. for like you know. Five minutes. Well, I don't want to torture you guys. Come on. <laughs> that was torture. That was actually torture. Why do you think it's the utmost, most important fucking thing that utmost, you could ever most. do? Like, you yeah. need to retract this. You need to retract this immediately. Like, you are misinforming people. It's like... I mean, I see, do you know what? If someone said, like, yeah, why? how come you guys haven't said, like, retract the Nazi statements? It's like, you know why? Because he won't. There's no mm-hmm. fucking point. But it would be like, is it something you would want him to retract? We're like, obviously. But he's never going to. So, like, why even bother asking? And then if he was like, you know, why get angry over this when it's just like a mistake or blah, blah, blah. I'm just sitting here like, ugh, as if you can tell the difference or would understand anyone's I, I mean, position on this. I, I, uh, um, brains explode. Because if, if the argument is, well, when they do it, it matters. When I do it, it doesn't. What are you saying about what you do? That it, it doesn't matter? That your work is inconsequential and irrelevant in terms of any real world or social impact? That's mm-hmm. a weird thing to admit about your life's work, especially if you pretend to be somebody who cares about issues. Well, you can't you square just... both of those away. You have to pick one or the other. Do you have an impact on people or not? Because if you do, then it doesn't matter. People will respond to you. He's just lying because if there was someone, you know, some uh, bigger person who, you know, mischaracterized his son in some very bad way, called him a Nazi or something, he'd be all up in arms talking about it for weeks or well, months. I can't point, believe he's this very person. Mad. He's very mad that Jay has responded to him. So clearly he thinks How Jay has he? an impact on him in some, to some extent. Right. Well, he, and Jay's like, a I much think, smaller platform than he has. I think he feels like he's just a guy in his house. And when and he's he, reacting to, for example... 
you know, the, the mainstream media or something, some website or or some some news outlet. That's David that's actually Vizcoliath. an institution. Mm-hmm. That, yeah, that's an institution he's going after. But he is just you know that he's the little guy because he's streaming out of his house. So I think that's how he's, he's framing very, it. He's yeah, you're right. Yeah. With a lot of viewers watching him. Like, like surely he rec- didn't wasn't I? Uh, you because you guys have watched it in that video. From what I understand, wasn't the gist of that uh that video that got cut in where he's talking about like his career and how he forged a space for politics on Twitch? Yeah, <laughs> like that's what it's about. So how does he square that away? That he, that he actually that he squ- he's created a place on Twitch where you talk he, about politics he, and it matters, but the, also it doesn't matter. The particular wording he is he paved. Uh, he paved his way is what he describes it as. Yes, oh, he, man. he squares it away because he knows that he's lying and he knows that Destiny actually did that. Yeah. No, 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 no. What, what I'm getting at is like, how do you, how do you make the point that none of this matters or ignore it? It's not consequential. Who cares? You'd say it's a how minor do you mistake. Do that while maintaining like the, this example. Right. And that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, I'm getting mad at the idea that he probably thinks of that as just if he was highlighted that like, oh, they're not Nazis, he'd be like, oh, well, whatever. Yeah, like minor he doesn't whatever, realize. Dude. Yeah. Why are you harping on it? Yeah, why, why are you bringing it up a year yeah, later? Yeah, let it go. Meanwhile, meanwhile, unlike me, hopping on Jay, making past. a video that I didn't watch about something that <laughs> That's I somehow virtuous. That I to, yeah. That's, That's kind of so weird, good. man. What? What the fuck? Just, like, give up. Give it up. And I do. I know up. you want us to give up. I understand <laughs> yeah. that because <laughs> like, this doesn't benefit you at all. But uh, no. See a lot of this. I do see a lot of this fucking uh, uh, way of behaving on Twitch. I'm sorry. It is just how it is. Like, some of you motherfuckers oh, you are be, like that. You, you can can't. Do... It's just how it is. Okay. All right. Be the change, nah. Nah. Calm down. Which, by the way, I think that's three for three. Our relevant denim and Hassan all said, hey, man, this is just everyone's doing it. I'm a slave to trends. That's yeah. just what people do. You Agency? like What's that? see something that is. I'll tell you what else you... was a trend back in the day slavery. <laughs> Hell yeah! Bring it. That <laughs> trend died out with. I don't even know. What would you even say? Listen, trends Listen. in and out. There's so many different. I don't like slavery, but we live in a slaver society, so I need to maximize my. Mm-hmm. my I'm just gains participating under in slavery. society. I'm incentivized yes. to have a lot of slaves. Wasn't that so like got literally? Out slaves, what are you doing? Like that guy over there's only got fifty. Like he's living in this society. You got a thousand, yeah. bro. It's like, come on, you know what? Just yeah. Games, what do you mean? <laughs> Just trying to participate mindset. in society, yo. <laughs> Wasn't that literally an argument that Vosh made, or am I hallucinating? Uh, no, he swore. Swore. Like he okay. The best argument about this is the rape cage. I'm sorry, did I say Hassan? I mean, I mean Vosh. I thought Vosh literally made this argument. Ooh, can, we talk about, can we talk about the rape cage? You're talking, I'd love to the talk rape cage. about the rape cage. Sish, you're talking it? about... I was there oh, for that. No. You're talking about when... So Destiny <laughs> said... Would it have been acceptable as an argument to say everyone else is doing it? It's institutionally relevant to have a slave, so have one. And he, in Vosh's response, was, "It's not institutionally necessary to have a slave, or something like that." He said, "It's not the same." I thought no, but then I thought he pressed him on, it. he said, "Yeah, but if back in back in those times," and he said, "I really thought he said, yeah." It well, was okay. he said it's not institutionally necessary, and Desi said they fucking fought a war over it. I think it, they would consider it institutionally necessary. Mm-hmm. And then he said, um, "Just because they thought it was institutionally necessary doesn't make I it see. so." So he just totally punted because he didn't want to admit well, he that had to avoid the argument. fuck out of that argument because right. okay. that's okay. that would destroy the whole thing. That was a good stream. Everyone go check it out. I can't remember who was on it. Was it me and Fringy? Or was it someone else? It was you and Fringy. Oh yeah. my god. That Adam guy was there too. Adam was there. Adam I was there. I remember. Mm. <laughs> you have considered to be an injustice. Wait, we never heard it- about the rape cage. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, what's up with the rape? Yeah, you had listen, me. I love talking about, about the rape, rape cage. <laughs> I love talking about the rape cage, okay? It's Yay. great. Um, so, basically, the argument is, let's say you've got a shop, okay? And in this shop, you've got this cage with, oh, like, someone's... Piece. A shop. A shop. A store. For fuck's sake, listen. <laughs> the rape store, damn it. Fucking lose it, okay? A Holy shop. shit. Right, listen. There's a fucking person in the cage, man, woman, whatever you, you fancy, okay? And they're trapped in a cage. It's called the rape cage. And um, basically, it's like, right, do you want to rape this person? Um, and you basically have to say yes, because if you don't say yes, someone else is going to come along and do it anyway. That you was can do the it whole nicely. thing, right? Right. 
What? Wait, was that part of it? I don't know about. It. Can, okay. Listen. No, 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 no. Because I, the next part of it is what an absurd hypothetical. I will not engage. Oh, okay. I will not engage with your hypothetical. That's the sign of a high IQ individual when they can't that's engage right, in hypotheticals. Right. Yeah. yeah. Vosh said that he wouldn't lower himself to engage with it, and it's like, didn't you make up Coconut Island? He did. Yeah. <laughs> Coconut <laughs> that's Island. Based on a real I story. Coconut Island. Yeah. <laughs> it's, hey, man, hypothetical. it's possible for Coconut Island. Who came up with this hypothetical? Put a person in a cage I was to rape Destiny. The, oh, the rape cage yeah, was okay. Destiny. Yeah, I mean, yeah. listen, it's a rape analogy. Obviously, Destiny came up with it. Came from Destiny. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That makes sense. Now it all makes logical like me sense. Me and my Hitler analogies. Yeah. And you literally fucking it just like breaks your brain. It could be an injustice, like eating the last cookie in the cookie jar, or calling but someone in a your Nazi. mind. It's like this is uh, the on. This needs to be punished immediately. This is the absolute worst injustice that has anyone uh, that has ever well, happened. I it's mean, like Hassan, there is a mechanism by which people can uh, receive retributive justice for things like this. It's called defamation. It doesn't. It's... No, you just stole a cookie out of the cookie jar. Shut up. Yeah. All uh, right. Yeah. You just get. The calm down, back. dude. It's just a fucking cookie. <laughs> you. The... Oh yeah. Calm down. <laughs> you yeah. want to shout all the time? Fuck. It's just mm -hmm. a cookie. Yeah. How dare you say it's just a cookie? It's the last cookie! What if I was dying in the middle of a desert, in the middle of a food desert, huh? It's genocide! You were treating me like the Kulaks were being treated! Well, so they Who just came up with- Who are you talking to? Oh, what is- what is- yeah, what is even in the point that you're so, trying- I'm getting confused. That's lit that was literally Hassan's argument, was he was saying, You want me to die? You want yeah, me to Yeah, he's starve? the one that said this, not us. <laughs> yes. He like for he he's like this is like Cartman. And he's projecting his bullshit on other people, and he forgot that that was the that was him. Sitch, if you remember, even Denims didn't defend that one. She was like, "That was stupid." It was like, "Yes." Oh. I <laughs> so there's careful, a level. Hassan. Okay, there's no one's with you on this one. Even the Hassan By Stalin! Are like, it's like nah. I just it's just a cookie. Like chill the fuck out. You know what I mean? And you and it's just but a you nuggy. would say that because you're the one who benefited from it. You oh, yeah. suffered no negative consequences for this, so of course you're chill about it, but the other person mm -hmm. yeah. isn't. Well, yeah, if we took it to be very literal, and it was a literal fucking desert, and he was just fine, and this other person who's starving to death saw the cookie and he just ate it, I, I, I feel like that person could be mad at you, yeah? I sure. think they would have a bit of a right <laughs> to, yeah. If you see why, this why? kind of behavior in yourself, you can stop it. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting <laughs> thought. Yeah. Mm. Why is there that big pause for you can stop it? I don't know, but this is a flash forward. Let's check out after Hassan just said, calm the fuck down, basically. You fucking clout goblin, dude. What a fucking musty clout little freak, goblin. dude. Holy shit. Look at him in his like little fucking basement wearing his ugly ass tank top with his fucking hamburger this meat nice popping stuff. out. If you see this kind that of behavior in that, yourself, right? you can stop it. My lord, what a fucking <laughs> sick tank freak, dude. You know, sick, play not to say sick that, you? freak. No, the some of you may be familiar with this clip. Yeah, Rags, you'll enjoy this one if you haven't seen it before. This is that it's a little bit closer to me than your fucking dumbass podunk Hungarian city that you oh, love jerking off to about oh. its fucking, you know, hey, I'm Hungarian. institutions and, and civil engineering. I'm disgusted. I am disgusted. This racism from wow, Rags, me and my right, Magyar people, we are it. very uh, disgusting filth, dude. There's more. Eurocentrist trash. If no. you see this, Eurocentrist Ouch. trash. Eurocentrist <laughs> trash. Ouch. So, uh -oh. so this this is a clip where it was like, are we? Are we veering into something much worse here than just being Are we mean? the baddies? Yeah. Well, listen, this is from the same man. I don't know if you're going to bring it up in a spawning your thunder here, but this is from the same man that said Hitler was only bad because he murdered Jewish people. That might just right. show up at some point. Yeah. So it's just still your thunder, yeah. right? But I'm just wondering, are we, you know, are we going down a certain path here? You know, it's a horseshoe theory. I I'm, a, you know, not a massive bit. fan of it. But well, I, I, are we coming to that effect? I don't know. <laughs> let's press on. This kind of behavior in yourself, you can stop it. Cut a liberal and a fucking fascist bleeds. <laughs> cut a, oh yeah, what? this clip. You cut a liberal and a what? fascist bleeds because we love throwing around the F word. Oh boy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, just to confirm, that's about Adam something, right? Who made a video saying... Yeah, which is even yeah. more absurd than throwing it on us when you've been told we're Nazis, but pretend to be liberals or some shit like that. He's going for somebody. You, I've seen all the context for that shit. It's insane. Yeah. Hassan blew a gasket. Yeah. He isn't well. It's not a shock, I guess. 
The way that these fucking nerds, <laughs> and some of you are like this uh, as well. Some of you The way are like that some this. of you fucking nerds behave is so insanely unlikable that it doesn't matter. You're just being man, man, imagine being insanely unlikable. That would suck, wouldn't it? Yeah, some know. people, yeah. Dantic and like, there's a reason why you don't have friends in the real world, and the oh only friends God. that you have are on the internet <laughs> of like oh, like-minded people that also. <laughs> oh, not, not me, not not me. Hassan. You, you know, to be fair, I kind of like rants like that. I've done a few of them in my videos. I they're like funny. Just, it's just yeah, yeah. yeah. They're funny they're when you're right. Be... You know, <laughs> <laughs> like when you're Toby. correct, it's really cathartic and it feels great and it's wonderful. But when you're just yeah. wrong about everything after you do your Hungarian racist rant, it's just a little kind of <laughs> like, oh, I'm not I'm not a bad person, but Hungarians are bad. And also you should watch out for moderates. They're probably filth. evil. <laughs> it's like, oh, shit. Behave in the same way. Um. I mean, I'm sorry. It's a, here. Here's a pill. Okay, here, take it. The hard to swallow pill. Nice. Okay. Oh shit. But but that's the truth. It's literally the truth. And like, you seek out other people that are exactly like you, and then you fucking despise them too because you kind of hate yourself, and they're behaving in the same way that you're behaving. <laughs> what is going on here? The <laughs> sun's going really hot on the. Look at look at the even the people in chat feel attacked. Mm-hmm. Because that's why you're in that fucking, uh, you know, weird, like, uh, pedantic uh, circle that you're in, okay? But just don't do that. Like, you can not do that. There's a way to address this. And that is, like, if you notice yourself being fucking weird and, and, you know... If you notice yourself being weird... And you know... <laughs> weird means criticizing Hassan, specifically. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Trying to world, get people yeah. tripped up on, like, semantics arguments and stuff like that. Like, the easiest thing to do is just shut the fuck up. Don't do that. Ever again. <laughs> That's some pretty solid advice. If you ever get in, into anybody's face with semantics, just shut the fuck up. Because yeah, that would be weird and you don't have friends. over here. Jeez. Yeah, I know. I promise your life will be better. I promise your life will be happier. Hassan Peterson. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Again, I, I, I mean, that's, oh, that's just the truth. I'm sorry, Fringy. This is the accent. Okay. All right. No, like, he's just like, I just don't lock. I just don't fucking lock when you're doing Twitch streams. All right. Oh, I don't lock it. Man, I just don't do fucking Australian Twitch streams. I don't bad, lock it. Jeez. Just pre-watch every fucking video. <laughs> Man, this is a low. This is a low tier impression. I must say. I fucking lock up. Here's an idea. No. Just no. All like, right. there's just no reason to do that. Especially when the overwhelming <laughs> majority of content creators literally appreciate... Ah, we're back here. You watching they your literally video. appreciate it as <laughs> opposed to figuratively appreciate yeah. it. Isn't that what you do already? I, 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 mean, I, will, yeah. I will give him... I, I, I will give him one point for, for the Chad no. But that's it. That's all he gets. You don't get points Why for do you give people no. points for things that aren't, like, that impressive? Yeah, you've done this dead. before, Dev. I'm trying, I'm I'm trying, trying to, to be the, 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 the nicest person I can be, okay? Yeah, and I mean, I do that. I do the final version. The Chad, no. Okay. Because that only works if a person speaks normally, so that when they pause, it emphasizes the no. But when he That's did true, the chat, actually, no, yeah. I thought he was just pausing like he does every five seconds to breathe <laughs> in between saying a single word. <laughs> Yeah, fair enough, fair enough, understood. ...version of that you see on my YouTube page. Because I do, in some ways, treat the Twitch stream like uh, a, a precursor to YouTube, where the things I talk about here will inevitably make it uh, make it into my YouTube page, where that video is... He's spending 10 million years to say, yeah, the shit I do on Twitch ends up on YouTube. Edited. Oh, so concise. Out, I, it has edit. I just, I'm the one that takes ages to say everything, apparently, but I don't know. Editing in it, we delete the, the parts that, uh, my actual YouTube channel, not like the ones that are Hasanabi, 
uh, uh, fan channels, right? Because some of them do fucking put like sh straight segments without any sort of editing whatsoever, and I get annoyed by that. But like, there's Ooh. nothing I can really do. Uh, oh, oh, it annoys you. Cloud chase admission. Uh oh. Mm. Admission, you don't like people stealing your content? That's what I mean, man. Like, Aww. when this happens How to you terrible. in life, you're supposed to kind of go like, Oh, wait, I, I'm i a fan of it here, but I'm not a fan of it here. Oh, and they why? Kind of is, this what this all, why? is this what why? empathy it, is? I'm upset when it happens to me. Huh, I wonder if other people get upset if these things happen to them. <laughs> what with them being other people? Man, no. what a, oh, what a crazy world happen. we live in where... For a moment here, it's like, you're so close, Hassan. This Hassan needs to meet the other Hassan, and they need to have a talk. I just urge them not to, but they don't... Oh, they don't listen! No. I'm happy! Look at you! Oh, oh, look yeah. you. <laughs> Crazy. They tell you to fuck off, wow. do they? Wow. Oh, man. What assholes. <laughs> react video about you gets brought up soon, oh, so is. you probably should... Oh, see, there you go. The anti react video gets brought up soon, so you should probably stop watching. Trying to protect you, Hassan. Just stop watching. You know that I don't just oh, do shit. react shit. Oh, he's gonna is he gonna start shitting? I, I can see Charlie shitting on me here too. You know that. Oh, but you shit. still portray that. Yeah, someone said why would he do that? This is exactly why. Throwing me under the bus is the safest play because I'm a literal lightning lightning rod for hate. I mean, no, that, that's because you're a bad person, and you, you do say a lot, a lot of, of bad dumb shit. things. Yeah, yeah. Totally. yeah. but and no, he, he's yes, he's a good guy. Okay, he's a good guy. Not to yeah, give the blueprint, the right I think it's Charlie very cowardly if content creators do that shit. Obviously, jokingly is one thing, but if they were to fucking do that to deflect uh, attention and criticism away from themselves, albeit like the criticism is completely unjustifiable. Um, that's really just the the most cowardly thing you can do. Damn. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying Charlie will. I'm just saying that that like content creators that do that are fucking cowardly. Right. And we'll maybe check them out for a little bit to see if it's anything that I can add value to. And if not, we're done. If there is, then we're still done because it's going to be a video that I will then watch the rest of on my own. If it is something that I can see, he's lining out. His plans for the future for video reaction stuff. He's honestly putting in a decent chunk of effort here that I would even say is not 100% necessary, but it's really appreciated. It's good stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. what will Hassan think? Truly add something to and add more to for, for the no content way. in order to branch off. Yeah, I'm never going to do that for the record. <laughs> I will never fucking oh, do that. Oh, wow. That <laughs> <laughs> he like he's a physical repulsion to doing he's the right like, thing. Yeah, I'm never that. gonna do it. I will never put in the work. Yeah, uh, doing the right thing. Cringe. Fuck that. Cringe. <laughs> it is a completely unrealistic and insane <laughs> expectation. Unrealistic. <laughs> the normal thing is completely unrealistic. All right. Hey then. guys, yeah. when do you I mean, when do you think Charlie is gonna learn? that what his plan is is just impossible and he just calls it off and he gives oh, up. Oh, the first yeah. time he tries it, he'll go, whoa, this was impossibly unrealistic. I, I, uh, I can't know, believe I even said I'd do it. I was in the store the other day and I grabbed some fried chicken off of the counter and they're like, you have to pay for that. And I'm like, that, but that's so unrealistic. There's so much steps I have to do. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just like take it? It's, come on. I'm already walking out the door. Like, do I turn yeah. around now? Just forget it. Just forget about it. Then, Why are you yeah, come on, on like, calm down. It's, it's and then the they past. go, okay, fine. They let him go. He puts it in his fridge. And then he hears the door. And someone's walked in and just taken his chicken. He's like, what, what are you doing? It's like, what? Oh, oh, I have to pay you now? Come on. And then they walk out his door. And he's like, huh. I don't Can like it when they do that. that. that guy just <laughs> took my chicken. Can you believe this just happened? Unrealistic. Um, Especially for, like... Okay, when people make demands, you have to think about what you're in. I don't even think Jay made the demands that Charlie demands. is choosing to move forward with. Jay didn't demand those. But okay. Action is okay. Like, what are you doing that is harmful, and what the impact is? Infraction and impact. What is the infraction here? You took shit stealing that content. Isn't yours. Apparently, okay. Yeah. Apparently. 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 <laughs> How this, this is just alleged, of course. I, I, uh, uh. Who is being harmed by this? Other content creators, and how are they being harmed by this? Potentially, they're being harmed because they're losing out on the 30,000 extra views that they would get from the content creator that are watching.
Also, you're a lazy fuck if you do it. Let's make sure that's in there. You know, yes, just, it, it, in there. this is a lot of this is just a flat out <laughs> indictment of you and your character and your mm -hmm. just method of well, let's call it work. Okay. Uh, from the uh, content creator, like they were all, all 30,000 were going to stumble upon it on their own. It's not the argument. Okay. That's not the if argument. If the infraction no. itself is, damn, you were quick with that. If the infraction itself is, uh, for the most part, completely fucking uh, just innocuous, okay? So, uh, oh man, okay. So if you're driving down a freeway that nobody is on and you decide to go like 180 kilometers per hour, there is nobody for miles. If a cop finds you, they can still, of course, they're still going to book you for that. It doesn't matter. Even, yeah, you, they, you, yeah, they, yeah. you could even make an ethical argument matter. there as well. Just like, that's still dangerous going to that fucking speed. Well, well, yeah, that's the, that's even, the point. even if the yeah. only person who's endangered is yourself, because uh, I don't know, like, I thought everybody knew this, the way that the, like, generally the way that it works is there will be an act that is just considered wrong principally, but then how severely you're punished or not, it, like, mitigating factors or, you know, factors that, you know, like, it, it oh, man, I can't believe, it's it's just... When you do something wrong, there can be the wrong act, but then the consequences of that act is like a factor in considering how severe or light the punishment ought to be. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it isn't just the, the flat out determinant on whether or not something's acceptable or like. Well, he seems shouldn't... to think that like if nobody was harmed, then something that could have been harmful is fine. You did something. I that ran was a, I ran that harmful, stop. But nobody sign. was hurt. Yeah. yeah, I ran that like, stop sign, but light. oh, there was no one there, crash. so it's all good. It, yeah, it's yeah, all good. I didn't the hit intent, anyone. Phew, the intent good. of the law is to prevent crashes, and I didn't crash, so I'm good, right? Yeah, sure. you can violate the law as long as it doesn't hurt anyone directly. <laughs> or in his, or in his mind, because he's he's a, 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 a. We see this from. I think we've pretty much seen this from all three of our villains. Is it's an extremely short term kind of thought process. There's no care or, or, or I guess you could say mental power that's put into a long-term what if everyone did this all the time? What is the effect of my behavior on creating a sort of pattern of behavior in other people? Am I setting a good example for what others should do? Um, am I being a, is my, is what I'm doing, if that was sort of blown up to a lot of people doing it would that make the world better or worse would that make the platform better or worse that is a good way to think about it if everybody did it this way right. what would the consequences be yeah and that's especially applicable app applicable to hassan because he has all these viewers all these people that tattoo their his face on their bodies Yes, these people are not, not mentally well. You need to be very careful. Listen, <laughs> just to be clear, that was one person as far as I know. But I mean, <laughs> there may be some other. I'm, I'm sure there's even maybe two out there. I, I'm sure of it. <gasps> no. And oh, the God, action, the impact of it is something that, that by and large, people even. not only do not care about, but also actually appreciate for the overwhelming. Maybe they would care more about it if they knew more about how some of these reactions go. Because yeah, I a lot of them don't know. On the face of it, they just flat out don't know. Like, would you be okay with a Twitch streamer of forty thousand active viewers reacting to your video? You'd be like, well, hell yeah. And then what? In reality, it is they never even know who made the video, and he wasn't there the whole time. It's just like, huh. I know that this is oh, yeah. not. I know this is not exactly comparable, but something that's talked about a lot in like art communities and stuff is people who take on commissions for incredibly low prices, prices that are, you know, unfair to them in a sense, because of, like, how much yeah, they probably I'm ought little, to be earning. I'm just getting started out. I don't need that much yeah. money. It's just a hot, you know, it, for whatever reason. And a lot of it is just, they, they're they overly humble, and they don't, oh, right. my art isn't worth that much, and well, you gotta... The, the, the reason why I invoke this is because somebody can have a perception of, like, oh, but this is fine, right? And then someone can come along and go, no, you really are underselling yourself here. Like, you should... People undersell themselves. You can be like, well, people are fine with it. It's like, maybe they don't know how much you're actually screwing them. Yeah, I mean, I mean, like, that buyer might... This is, not to toot my own horn, but I've gotten, like, art from people, and, and there's a lot of, especially nowadays, there's a lot of Russian who's who are artists, and they're getting really hit by a lot of the business stuff that's happening in this Ukraine thing. And so it, it's really impacting them in their day-to-day. -day. And a lot of people... 
if they're starting out or if they're not too familiar with what their stuff's worth, they will really they will significantly underprice what their art is. And sometimes you got to tell these people like you got to bump those prices up like you're really mm -hmm. doing yourself yeah. a disservice. I can't I just can't in good conscience say, oh, yeah, I'll pay you 20 bucks for this magnificent piece of art that you've done. It's like you got to you got to charge more. You're worth so much more than this. But the thing is that a lot of people take advantage of that, right? Like in this oh, yeah. kind of Absolutely. arena, any any business arena, right? There's always people that will just take advantage and they won't have that conversation, right? So yeah, they'll absolutely say, hell yeah, the 20 bucks yeah. for this whole thing. I'll absolutely, I'll commission you all the time because you're just in, you're just absurdly cheap. I'll farm and I'll, you. And I'll just get while the getting's yeah. Essentially, I will get while the getting's good. You got, you got to advocate for yourself, right? Like that's the, that's the problem, isn't it? You can't, you know, people don't teach like business acumen or like, you know, having a knowledge of how over so it continues right i don't know i think a lot of it comes from a mixture of being overly they don't do it for necessarily at least this is what i've noticed it's not to make themselves seem very very attractive to business uh it's because it's a mixture of them being very overly humble and not thinking that they're actually worth more and they don't really have a good gauge on what that kind of work is actually worth in the marketplace yeah these things combine and it doesn't work well for them so someone sometimes it takes someone just saying no nah, you, you gotta charge more you are you, you're hurting yourself here this is a very good image too very accurate let me take a look the virgin hassan piker versus the chad moist critical uh, thinks 99% of YouTubers like non-transformative reactions. <laughs> <laughs> communism, Bob doesn't, fluffy you know, hair. Doesn't, communism even is too dumb to even be a communist. Oh, wow, that's dumb. Doesn't know what a year is. Doesn't listen to criticism of him and complains he doesn't know what it is. Doesn't know the difference between us. Let's see, react harder. Oh, on Critical, you got die? does react harder. Yeah. Damn doesn't ban people for dumb reasons nice casual shirts <laughs> yeah because because uh the virgin's wearing the dumb blue shit <laughs> dumb blue shirt. <laughs> what i do is okay because others do it yeah. his chair is a better streamer than he is if he was on efap he'd enjoy rhino milk true most people enjoy it what is that you're reading a meme that was Gee. posted at him. Pay the fuck attention. Oh, okay. Jesus. <laughs> In the okay. Discord. I like the, the critical's got <laughs> learns from his mistakes, okay. can think critically. <laughs> yeah. Can think critically. You gotta you gotta separate them out, the ones who can and can't. Uh quite the dichotomy right. between our two actors. Majority of content creators. I'm not going to fucking stop. I'm not going to capitulate to someone who I've never watched before, to someone who I will forget about tomorrow. Understand that that's a good oh, argument. It's such a terrible way of looking wow. at it. It's, his yeah. thought process Ouch. is so... Yeah. I, well, I'll forget about tomorrow. Off okay. you, if you're not going to be on my stream and be my friend, and I'm not, if, I'm, if I can't get anything from you, why should I care? It's fascinating to me that he basically just said, like, why would you ever listen to an argument from a person you don't know? And it's like, I do that all the time. Like, yeah, it might be right. <laughs> all the fucking time. I mean, I've, I, I've, I'm going to be honest. I've got a slightly different perspective, right? 95% of the shit people say online about you is fucking horseshit, okay? You've got to ignore a lot of that. A lot of people are fucking stupid, okay? What you've got to be concerned about is, is what you're doing, like, conducive to your goals and your moral system or whatever fucking bullshit, right? And obviously, the sound's got a lot of problems with a lot of those things. But um, so, you know, you know that, that though because you have listened to those arguments and you'll be like that's a bullshit one that's a bullshit like the the bullshit detecting comes later not you wouldn't you wouldn't listen to sound if he said whoa whoa chud don't 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 listen to all these arguments they're from people you don't know like what that's... yeah they could yeah. be <gasps> liberal you, you, I, I rags, you liberal? mentioned earlier like don't uh, you mean fascists is there a they bleed. <laughs> you gotta, it's ooh, be wary of anyone who paints moderates as just a force that needs to be feared and distrusted. <laughs> Kill them all. Oh, jeez. It's <laughs> ugh, do not live your life like that. It is so bad for you. 
yeah, the thing is, Regs, like the first time uh, you mentioned that the first time that you got called a sexist, you were like, oh, no, like, did I do what? something I, wrong? I'm not. Yeah, I'm not that thing. I, why would you call me? I can't. Oh, my God. Yeah. Ah. And then eventually get used to it. Right. But then you have to also yeah. realize, you know, like maybe something maybe this time you actually did something. So you have to, like, finally tune that sense, which just comes with a lot of repetition, a lot of a lot of being called things that is just bullshit. What is the size chart? Ridiculous. Oh, I did. I, I fixed up the size chart. Fixed up the size chart. I'm not even I on it. I did a little edit there, on the I did a little edit on the You're there. It's very chart. small. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. See, I thought it'd be huge. Behind. I mean, I'm, I'm a big fat guy, right? I didn't know. So I figured it'd just be like a, like a giant that... circle towering over everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're you're wearing a gray shirt right now. You're just in the background. <laughs> it's the back. You're, you're on Adam's shoulder somewhere. Okay. <laughs> I don't know who. Uh, I don't. I didn't take anyone out. I don't think. I don't know who the people are. Just want you, Dev just wants you to draw a little circle so he can be in it. Dev wasn't in the original picture, sadly. Just make an appropriate. Mm. Oh, okay. That's why. All right. That yeah. Here. Ripped that that's still a large chunk of the video itself, so it is still pretty close to like almost the full runtime in some cases. So again, going forward, I won't just be rolling the dice hoping I can add to whatever video gets recommended on YouTube night. I will be maybe checking them for a little bit, and then if it's something that I can add to, I'll look at the rest on my own and maybe make content out of as a response to it as opposed to real-time reaction, which has always been the majority of my content anyway. I think what really helped me understand this perspective wasn't Dark Viper's video, it was actually JXC's. They made a great video recently, just going over the entire React ecosystem. Just going over everything from the perspective of someone <laughs> that had their... is he's just, touch. He's, he's <laughs> hearing all of this, but you know, eh, let's not, let's, let's not, you know, whatever. It's a kill bill. I'd say, I'd say in one ear and out the other, but I, I, you wonder if it gets in the first year. It's just so awkward after shitting on Jay so much to then be like, I trust Charlie. Charlie's a good guy. Charlie knows what's up. Charlie's like, Jay's good. And so I was like... <laughs> Uh, well, uh, do, 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 do. well, what are Ouch. we talking about? I don't see. <laughs> they tried to warn him, so... They did try to warn I mean. him. The video reacted to by multiple people, <laughs> myself included. It's actually the video of the bizarre house walkthrough, the one that I mentioned. was a very shameful oh, moment for me, where it's a video I really liked, but didn't react hard to. I'd already seen... <laughs> for the record, <laughs> and I've, as I've said this already, earlier today... I like how all and, of the chat are calling Charlie a cuck now, because yep. before, remember how Ooh, they were talking about how awkward he was? And look at how quickly the, t the tide turns. Well, we, we don't like Jay right now. That's the atmosphere. Bad Jay. Right. So anybody who's like, yeah, Jay's cool, is like, oh, that person's bad too. Damn them. And as I said, even back then, that person is correct. Oh, I should correct. not have watched his video. You get yelled- what? I shouldn't have watched- I shouldn't have watched it. Oh, this production. Shit. He never it's understands so what the issue is. He keeps, he, yeah, doesn't understand. That's slightly different, ha though. Like, he used to say, ha I stop when you tell me to stop, but now he just said, no, I shouldn't have it. watched it. Yeah, but I wonder if that's more so just because it's causing me all these problems. I don't <laughs> know, <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> like, yeah, when you, um, when you tell someone they did a, they did a wrong thing, and they say, I, I sh oh, I, I just shouldn't have even come here. It's like, no, you'd be here, you just don't do the wrong thing. Well, yeah, don't, because... don't steal. You could be here. That's fine. Just just don't steal. Because, you know, Charlie and Hassan is sitting right next to Jay, and Jay's like, oh, you know, these are all my issues. And then Charlie's like, yeah, no, I agree. My reaction was shit. And then Hassan goes, yeah, yeah, I agree with you. I never should have watched the video. And Jay, like, has a suspicious set of eyes on Hassan. Like, what do you, what do you mean? What? He's like, Here's yeah, I agree. I, I agree with all of you guys. I shouldn't have watched it. It's like, no, I'm saying your reaction was shit. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I agree. I shouldn't have watched the video. Well, Mahler, here's what I think he's trying to do. Maybe I'm reading too far into it, which is, even this is giving him a lot of credit, but I think that this is his way of framing it as if his detractors have a problem with him personally, which is why he's phrasing it as, oh, I shouldn't have even reacted to the video because it's all about me doing it. That's what your problem. It's that I did anything at all. I shouldn't have even engaged in this whatsoever. I think that's what his mind is trying to do. And, I and certainly to frame this as. agree with the idea that that's how he feels now. He's like, if only I'd never fucking watched this J video. Fuck's sake, you know? All of it would have been avoided. Mm -hmm. And as I said, even back then, that person is correct. I should not have watched his video. You get yelled at for pausing and talking too much, then you get yelled at for not reacting hard enough. What are you supposed to do now? I mean, what, what the fuck do you mean? I, I'm...
Oh, it, 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 imagine oh. you could you could phrase this in in ten million and one different ways. Oh, if I'm on the if I'm on the the far left, the far right will hate me. If I'm on the far left, the far lid, this will hate me. If I'm on any pos political position, some other political position, what am I supposed to do? I guess I just can't have a political position. As opposed to just picking the one that you believe in the most and weathering the <laughs> criticism that you get. Is if a chef is making a soup, a delicious soup, and then they just pour a bucket of salt into it, and people say, "Wow, that's this is really salty." You went overboard, and the chef says, "Oh, so I don't put any salt in it," and people say it needs salt, and I put salt in it, and people say, "Oh, you put too much salt in it." What am I supposed to do? I quit. No, he says I'm yeah. supposed to die, and then falls over. I'm supposed to die, <laughs> then um, does. By the way, <laughs> the, the reason I'm showing this clip is that he said, "Hey, back then I apologized," and then someone's just highlighted, "What are you supposed to do now that they've highlighted the?" You know, you don't react hard enough, and this was his response. Literally gonna do exactly what I've been doing, which is whatever the fuck I wanna do, bitch. What Man, he totally <laughs> agreed with Jay's point, huh? <laughs> what a good person. He's a cunt. <laughs> like, you didn't agree with shit. What are you talking about? You couldn't really ask for a more explicit declaration that he's not gonna change the way he does things. That person is correct to say, dude, you walked away. You didn't even give good reactions to this. This is my work. That's correct. I've said this a year ago, but it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> the way he's phrasing he it, it's like, is. What you, when you say you're correct, are you, are you finally agreeing your reaction was of poor quality? <laughs> yeah. Or are you still saying, um, yeah, you're but, right, I don't have to watch your stuff anymore because you don't want me to. You know, yeah. that weird point. Uh, <laughs> it's hard to... Well, actually, I'm not sure if that, that point's that weird. Do you guys recall about a year? It was about a year while ago. Dave is, actually, while Dev is time. handing out points, I'm going to get a beverage. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't walk away, Rag. You have to react to this I, properly. No, I actually do have to get a drink. It's in the freezer. It will freeze into a block. <laughs> Are we going to hear it clinkle around in the background again? Oh, we probably will. Okay. So, you guys recall about a year ago. Um, I think it was about a year ago. Uh, is, is, I think his name is Big Joel. Is that, is that, is that, is that a name for, that sounds that familiar? That is his name, yes. I'm familiar. Yes. So, Big Joel basically said that he found it weird that when Sargon wanted to talk to him, Sargon was being polite to him. Even though he disagrees with Sargon's points, and he knew that Sargon disagreed with his. And Sargon's like, well, yeah, I mean, I'm still gonna, like, I'm not just gonna treat you like shit, even though we're, we are politically mortal enemies. Mm -hmm. And he, he couldn't wrap his head around that. I think that's how a lot of these people think, is that if you don't agree with their, their, their stance on something, then you have to hate them. You have to treat them like, like they're scum. It's like, well, not necessarily, but they conflate these two ideas. And so that I think that's what that's where you get. Um, yeah, Hassan this saying... is this is sorry, this is true. This is absolutely a thing that exists, and I've experienced it myself, where I've spoken to like okay. critically thinking veteran on stream, and like it's the pushback meme, pushback harder, and it's like we're just having a chat and disagreeing about something, right? We don't need to beat each other's throats, you know. Yeah. And even if like say you know we got into some shit talking or whatever, you can walk away and be chill and be you know pleasant to each other, even if you've got bitter disagreements and. Yeah, it's just like this idea that it comes comes a lot from the left. I think that you've got to be bitterly at the throat of people you disagree with constantly. But like we all know, we we are friends in real life with people we disagree with, and it's like you, you just go for a beer, have a bit of a fight about politics for a bit, and then you have a good night, right? You don't have to be like constantly at each other's throats, and that's what people expect. And it's just not it's not reality. Yeah, yeah. I, mm -hmm. I mean, I not not to just you know beat a dead horse. I think. But, but I think it comes from the everything is political point of view. That that's just this 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 view of how you treat other people is just naturally downstream from that. Well, the recent definitely uh, big drama that happened with um, um, tactical misogyny or whatever was going on with J.K. Rowling and all that. It, uh, it was a time oh, of really like uh, yeah. it's, it's like you can't use that shit on people. It's wrong. It's like it's not wrong if they're pieces of shit, right? If there's people we disagree with, we can just be pieces of shit to them, right? And it's like. Uh, uh... Well, not if you have decided. I mean, if you're gonna do it, just yeah, you're a stupid bitch. Fuck you. Yeah, well, like, I said it. I don't care, if your right? moral system says Jesus. you can throw that at everybody all the time and it's chill, or it says you shouldn't do it because it's a bad action, it's like, well, then you can't do it. And it's like, well, no, but it has well, a caveat next to it that you can do it to people you hate. It's like that's a stupid caveat. Well, <laughs> like, actually, back to the I, I, I think, I, I think, I think what's actually from, happening Chad. there, Mahler. What's, what's happening? What's happening there, Mahler, is that they want to appear to be very morally righteous by saying, no, you, you can never do that. You know, a great example. You can never misgender somebody if they're trans, even if you might disagree with them. You can never do that. They Challenge want to accepted. 
<laughs> they, they want to have that that moral righteousness of appearing to be that good of a person. But then you know, there's that clip of of Vosh saying, "Okay, we can now misgender uh, Riley Grace Rochong because I disagree with her opinions." It's like, well, but, come but, on, come the fuck on, then. Like, oof. was that a wait? Was is that, that a is joke? That, I haven't wait, seen hang on. I don't know if I've not seen that. I've seen a you lot of clips. That? I've seen I a have, lot of clips. I would, I, I would assume. You know, what? I have it tucked away in a file. I can get it to you another time if you like. But I have it tucked away. I would I, assume I know I he's it. joking because that sounds like the kind of thing that would get him fucking canceled. Um, he wasn't. I don't think. All right. I, I've, I've, watched a fair this? Amount, I, I've watched a fair amount of Vosh at this point, and you can he he changes his rhetoric significantly when he knows that somebody outside of his community is watching, so like a debate or something, or right. when he thinks that he's just streaming only to his community. A lot of his opinions, a lot of the things he says radically shifts. So I do have the clip. I can get it to you another time if you like, Chad. Yeah, sure. Uh, for sure. You know, I, I'm not like looking to like um, be, be super defensive or anyone in particular. It's just I see a lot of clips. And if there's one I haven't seen that sounds interesting. Well, like I said, even I find it unlikely he would have meant that. It seems unlikely from what I know about him, but. Fair enough. Damn. I, I autistically out, out save. You never know with him. That's the thing. I autistically save know. everything I come across. I have it somewhere. Was he I, saying it in the context of like she made some argument and, and he's like, well, according to her argument, now I can misgender her. Um, I don't think so. I think it was just I hate her now, and so we I mean, can do I'm, this. Yeah, I, I, actually, no, no. Okay, here. No, I, I'm. I'm going to be more specific because I remember. I remember what he said. He's like, I don't care if you do this. Uh -huh. Not we should do this, but right. you know, if you're in my community, I don't care if you do this. Ah, uh, uh, here we go. The backpedaling begins. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I, I would still say that's pretty bad if he said that. That's uh, pretty fucking bad from his own yeah. sort of look morality. Listen, I've done it once already. I'm going to do it again. Okay, do it. The, I'm going to do the Aldous Huxley quote. Okay, do it. Yeah, there we go. Is it all, it's Aldous Huxley? Yeah, the, the surest way to work up a crusade in favor of some good cause is to promise people they have the chance of maltreating someone, to be able to destroy with good conscience. Um, this is the height of psychological luxury, the most delicious of moral treats. That is so oh, fucking yeah. relevant all the it fucking is time. So true, right? Isn't it Pretty madness? Good. Like it's from some fucking brave new world that book, but it's so true. Because then they continued. They continued to make more and more content about it because now Charlie's fucking talking about it. Like, this Charlie's is the point. Charlie's talking about it because Jay talked yeah, about it. Charlie's conceding to Jay. Like, mm -hmm. the, the, Charlie has, has, video, has yeah. explicitly said, I did a wrong to Jay. Like, I don't understand. Of course he's talking about it. He feels he has to, to address the problem. I can't believe this is getting shunned. Like... Ugh. It takes a Hassan. It's jeez. <laughs> there are positive ways of there are positive ways of fucking dealing with other people's content. Right. There are positive ways of engaging with someone, reactions. Mm -hmm. And then there are uh, negative ways of dealing with someone. Yes, which is Hassan. not reacting to their work at all. That's one. Yes. This, which is what Dark Viper is doing, which is what Jay's doing. Wow. Which is uh, to attack, to criticize, and... You're literally attacking Jay right now. To attack and to criticize is the wrong way to respond to this. He's already... What, what, if, they, what if they think you're wrong? How else... And they... what if you've attacked them? Uh, yeah, well... Yeah. No, we, 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 we forget do about that. that. Yeah. Yeah, like... Try to what, so, if someone perceives that you've wronged them, and the bad way to respond would be to criticize you for that, what other... What options do they have otherwise? Fucking uh, piece together as much of a negative hate farming, negative engagement as you possibly can. Okay? I personally think reacting is a better way to merge communities, to win over new fans. Hey, yeah, here's a way to do it. Could you do it. Bring on the creator. Talk to him for like 20 minutes about the video and why they made it. How how be that for merging community? Stop pretending like god. you're some altruistic Stop, yeah. god that's just trying to help everybody and take care of chat. It's such a lie. Just making the world a better place. Is I don't even really want to be here. I'm just doing it all for you guys. It's such a this is such a burden what I do, but I do it for you. <laughs> I bear this weight for all of you. The unbearable I'm weight of massive nice. talent. I'm an angel. And that the at most, if you do like negative farming negative hatred uh, uh, engagement farming, you're going to see a minor bump. But Explain drama, I'm going to keep saying it. It's like a channel that's extremely 
bumped forever, all while farming just people getting into negative situations. I don't think... Has he even done a video on Drama Alert where it's about, like, something positive happening? I'm assuming no, not, but maybe. People, <laughs> people, people love drama. I mean, basically, YouTube Twitch drama is basically like soap operas for, for Zoomers, you know? Like, that's what it boils down to. It, like, it's not really it. relevant to the points we're making, but it's such a weird point that he is making. It's like, I need you guys to know that trying to farm negative things doesn't work. It's like, of course it does. What do you mean? A lot, of, a, lot of gonna... content, a lot of his content is about farming negative reactions as well, you know? Yeah. Um, you know, capitalism bad, police bad, all this kind of shit, you know? To come to your side are going to be incredibly fucking toxic. Now, that per By the way, I think it was Metal Commander, by the way. He, he saw the thumbnail for this stream. And he started, he, like, he put a wheeze straight away, and I thought he was just laughing at the, um, the fact that it was Lord Farquaad with Hassan. But he then did a quote, and he said, Some of you may have your content stolen, but it's a sacrifice. I'm willing to make. <laughs> this is fucking perfect. So now I'm stealing that, and it was always intentional, okay? That was always a part of the thumbnail. Thank you, man. Yeah, 99.9% .9 of the time, people love it when you steal their stuff from thumbnails. Uh, so, really, it's A-OK. -okay. Person, literally, again, remember, it's a five-minute video from one fucking year ago that I have already addressed. I said, hey... I do this, sometimes people don't- I should have put a counter for the amount of times he said this. Every single time he has any kind of argument about anything, he just repeats this line. Every time. It's his- it's his safe- it's his, it's his thing that he could always retreat back to. Like when I'm watching their videos, and I deeply am apologetic- Oh, and to remind everybody, it's not a year, it's six months. There's a difference, okay? I mean- <laughs> <laughs> is there really a, a year, difference? Though. Even if, even, really if it was a even if it was a year, it wouldn't matter. I think that's why we don't care to clarify, because we're just like, who the fuck cares if it was a year yeah. or ten? It doesn't matter. The statute of drama limitations on the right, internet. Yeah, the yeah. statute of <laughs> drama content. <laughs> Six months, one year and a day. It would be interesting if he said, like, this happened yesterday, dude. <laughs> yesterday. This was six hours ago. Get over it. Move on. <laughs> I don't see this as, like, a major infraction. And I just never well, watch their videos. That's not up for you to decide. No, well, he's decided. Yeah, it. it is. It is not the. It is not the the um the shall we say privilege in a sense of the aggressor to decide based on how they feel the severity of their infraction. You killed Ever this again. man. Yeah, but I didn't. I wasn't that, like. I don't think it's that big of a deal, honestly. <laughs> well, my opinion. Off you go then. Yeah. Off you go then. Yeah. And and I move on. This is what, what I, I said. Want, bitch. One fucking year ago! Nope. No, it's Since not then, what you said, and you didn't say it a year ago. Just nope, nope, nope. He made a video, oh, or they made a video. Not that bad. Normally he's Afterwards, for they uh, had, like, a bunch of fucking Nazis on the kill stream. Uh, yeah, kill yeah, what's <laughs> up? Represent! <laughs> Nazis? Yeah, see, he's, he's absorbed that comment. It's just reality now. That's just how it works. ...together and do an eight-hour reaction to my... Jay wasn't even on my... it! Yeah, Jay like, wasn't on so the stream. Wait, it's and, totally and, and wrong! Just, he, he also seems to, at this point, be con actually confusing EFAT for the killstream directly. I mean, yeah, that's somewhere to that. When you, yeah, like, when I think he's picturing... Yeah. He probably is picturing straight up the killstream, not EFAT, but it's, it doesn't matter yeah, because... He, he, didn't well, say, he like, doesn't I, know what EFAT yeah. is, because the first time he heard about it, he said, fuck us, and he wasn't going to watch anything that we made. Which is fine, you don't have to, but at the same time... You don't have to, but can you not say these things? Can you not when call you have us no idea Nazis. what the fuck you're talking about? He's to watch it and then call us Nazis? That's somehow yeah. better, yeah, I think. The, 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 <laughs> you know? the, the first quote was something like, guys from the killstream, or guys like the killstream. Now it's just the killstream. I think the first the quote was explicitly was killstream Nazis. The, 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 that's the thing, he's absorbed it as just truth. The entire stream. I think it was an eight or ten hour fucking podcast that they did on that. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah. We, that's, that kind of yeah. gives it it's, away right there. I don't there. know if that's a problem, though. Well, it could still be you guys. <laughs> so you could still be the Nazis, too. Oh, that's true. Maybe <laughs> oh, he's talking about right. us. Holy yeah. shit. What if he's talking about you We're guys? Maybe he's you guys are the kill long. stream. How about that? Yeah. We, did, we didn't cover the J. No, actually. we didn't. But well, you've covered his you song. Don't need to ha! There you go. Ha! So here's the thing, you. the fact that you think that there's any prerequisite to rule you out of what he could be referring to <laughs> We're is safe. adorable.
Because there's <laughs> nothing you could say yeah, that would disqualify you. I do like the idea that Adam is like, well, he wouldn't consider us Nazis. I, I, right? Yeah, it I couldn't have been us because of this reason. <laughs> it's like, no, that he could still be talking about you. You could be, you could have died ten years ago, <laughs> and he could, he's, it wouldn't have mattered. He still could think that you're talking, uh, that he's talking about you. And I apologized Hassan, back has... then. Whoa. And they held on to the grudge. And then they made another video now. Man, you make it sound so extreme. The, the reality is, you had your stupid reaction, we covered it, and then we left it alone. Jay puts out the video, you have another stupid reaction, we covered it. It's always been in response to your stupid statements. I don't know what else. Cause and That's effect. It. I can't meanwhile, wait till he sees Charlie, the third one. Man, and yet meanwhile, Charlie hasn't had any responses or anything. Jay hasn't yeah. felt inclined We've to criticize. We've had nothing but good things to say. Weird, yeah. weird. What the fuck is the difference? Hmm. I, just can't Interesting. I wonder what the difference is. I wonder if there's any... Difference in the re the response. I don't know. We'll figure it out at some point, maybe. Another video a year later. Whoa. Sargon of Akkad joined. Multiple eight hours. I love how he just oh. jumps every time some dumb <laughs> fucking chat just says something. He just grabs onto it and then uses it as a fact. So, uh, Sargon <laughs> did join, I think, either the first or second stream well there. after well after the coverage was done. It was in the super chats yeah. and he just came in to banter about different shit. Wasn't even well, there. He, did, he did come on our stream, though. Well, but like, but I don't. We weren't covering this. The, 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 he's definitely talking about us at this point, or at least his chat is. I think. The, yeah. The fact is, like, he's combined disparate, vague pieces of information, and then concretely decided yeah, totally. it was a Nazi kill stream that ran for ten hours twice with Jay and Sargon. Which, <laughs> what? <laughs> which, if you take all of happened. those words and jumble them up, still is nowhere close to the truth. No. So I don't know <laughs> what he's gone. Well, I think that's the insane part about this. It's all wrong. And all, all of this is wrong. And it all stems from two people that you saw uh -oh. in chat who said something, and then you just latched onto it. Why would his chat lie to him? Come on. <laughs> They're well, all very trusting. They know if they lie lied to, him. to it. It might be that they have the same problem, that like they've just fundamentally misunderstood or they've heard something, but they've These never even watched this on for entertainment. They choose to do this mm. for entertainment, and not in the way that we watch him for entertainment, but like unironically. I mean, I was going to say, are you not entertained? I don't He's know. pretty this entertaining. Is, uh, I, I, that is true. I, I, had, I realized halfway through. why you were here, is... right? <laughs> are you not entertained? If you yeah, expect me to think that that way. person is charitable at this point, I don't oh, know sure, what to tell you. Totally fabricated a Nazi can be charitable, I'm sorry. Even if everything you said was true, they can still be charitable in assessing what you've done. Well, why the fuck? The, the more important point is he fabricate all that himself. It's, it's a false reality. You're like, why would I be good faith to somebody who didn't do any of the things I'm saying they did? Like, what the... It's bizarre to, to just invent a whole bunch of shit and then criticize the invented shit. Just, I guess that's just straw manning. Good old fashioned. It is it's, easier, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, straw man. You've erected a false J who went yeah. on a stream with a bunch of kill stream guys. <laughs> And apparently Sargon jumped on to jump on the fun too. And it's just all wrong. And Jay's standing in the corner like, hi. I oh man, what are you doing? Can you like, not steal my shit? <laughs> the false yeah. Jay. The false Because it's not, not the false You're Jay, a the fucking psycho if Valley. you think that that is a charitable person. No, that is a deranged person. Ah. Oh, uh, they're it's, awesome. Oh, cool. Now Who's more deranged, deranged? The person you or the a, person? You have who a deranged them. person. I just, this person you created was a little bit deranged, sure, I, but uh, who are they? What's happening? <laughs> it's a five minute video, which I apologize for. It's incredibly petty. Sure, oh, five yeah. minutes? Wasn't it 15? I, I yeah, saw I flying by in the chat there that we're also incels. Oh. Hell yeah. Chud, aren't you supposed to be fixing <laughs> our image on that one? Voluntary. Yeah, listen, I'm gonna, I'm trying to fix it, but the misogyny's got to be reduced by 10% <laughs> for me to really push it. I refuse that, that, that deal. Okay. We are voluntary enough. celibates. We are saving it for marriage, missionary, and only for the purpose of procreation. Yes. Um, I, I love the fact, right? So, uh, Jay highlighted this in tweets. So, he said it was a year ago. It was uh, several streams and, and all this shit. But then when regarding how much did Hassan steal, he says, five minutes. Five minute video. So, it's, it's interesting how the fuzziness of his brain is very biased against Jay when needing I when mean, needed to be, and him. biased yeah. in favor of himself. It's just like that's just weird well, how that worked out. Just, 
all of the th- but like if you just line it up a five minute video is actually 15 minutes uh six months ago uh, no, a year ago it was actually six months ago jay was on the stream jay wasn't on the stream I, at what point do you just write off like Hassan's assessment of this situation when there's so much about it <laughs> that's factually anything right? Yeah. It's actually, he- categorically, not even up to an opinion, he is just wrong on the facts. Maybe he thinks that it's like a like he gets points, like a combo for lying, and he just keep the longer you go, <laughs> the more points you get, and if you get a high score, then you win another mansion or something. Oh man, Eternal Sunshine said we're losers. Well, sn- snooks and shines. Oh, here's okay. Yeah. Really told you said that? Where? It's on, it's on the screen. Chat. Oh, no, I didn't know there was anyone in chat. Yeah. Yeah, there's loads of people calling you losers here. I was just checking. No, of course. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Thanks for checking our <laughs> We're winners. We I, win. I expect your chat to do it, but Hassan's chat? Really? No. I, I... Oh, look, we're fame grabbers. Oh, and then someone Yo. said commentary chat. Matt, look, commentary channels are the lowest tier of humanity. <laughs> the lowest tier. <laughs> really? <laughs> The Wait, lowest I'm sorry. Tier commentary channels. They think they're talking strictly about Jay there or something. It's like, what is Hassan doing if not what commentary? What is Hassan if not a commentator? Isn't he a political commentator? Like, fa- what does Wikipedia say? Hold on, sorry, I need to know. I just want to bring well, up he, again. Well, he's, he's on. He's at. He's in Wikipedia. Just look up nepotism. I think. <laughs> yes, I think he's in there. <laughs> Based. Hassan Piker is a Turkish American Twitch streamer and a left wing political commentator. Uh-oh. Oh man. Ugh. Well, I mean, it's only a matter of time until that guy gets banned. <laughs> yeah, he's like, don't be so fucking offensive. Jeez. You're giving Jay exactly what he wants. It's incredibly fucking petty. Man, Sorry, really? Yeah, just, yeah I, it is. I, he's you know right. what? I agree. It is incredibly <laughs> petty, Hassan. The truth. Now let's watch the rest of this. Seen it, and I just basically shared it with my community without adding anything to it, and they were upset with that, which I totally do and get. He added and more than they made Hassan. a video. Going- <laughs> And he did, yeah. Oh yeah, by the way- Hassan just fucked off. Actually, like, interesting points that are made in this, like, there's more from Charlie's sort of pieces that are covered by Hassan than there is from Hassan, which is... It's not even unusual, really. It's, makes sense. Going over that whole situation and really helped put it in perspective for me to understand things better. And Don't- by the way, yeah, so they're basically utilizing and profiting off of React content by complaining about it got it no that's precisely what they're doing to their shit but the, re- so, the jay is reacting to you taking his stuff jay makes x you react to x jay reacts to your reaction and jay's the one that's clout farming it's like now reactions already, are bad yeah you now already did bad. the thing and jay funnily enough hassan's already said jay has a bigger youtube channel than he does therefore an what? argument can be Come made on. that hassan is farming Jay by Hassan's no, own logic. He doesn't. Uh, yeah. Uh, he has a bigger Twitch. To be fair, uh, Jay has a bigger YouTube channel, but obviously Hassan's Twitch dwarfs Jay's presence on online. Mm-hmm. That is exactly what they're doing. That is what they're doing. Yep, yes. You haven't even seen like, the video, dude. You have no idea. Well, why would he? He can smell bad faith. We went over this. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, imagine if he clicked on the video and it wasn't about Hassan. That was just the title. It's like, that was a lie, Hassan. This was a test. You failed. <laughs> oh, you failed. yo. That See if you actually watch about it. That would be fucking brilliant. Like, making a ma- major, like, look, dude, lol cows are not the fucking new thing on the internet, okay? Dark side Phil is like a very... I'm, you are a lol cow. It's true. You, they're still all going... He is right, though. Dark side Phil is one of the oldest ones that started it up, right? There was, um... <laughs> Who's like the Pioneer. first lol cow? Would he be it? Uh, Chris Chan, maybe? Maybe, yeah. Chris Chan maybe Chris Chan, yeah. Common one. And for a lot of fucking weirdo, neckbearded, pasty fucks that spend all their time on Kiwi Farms and 4chan, they try to fucking lol cow. Can you call someone pasty? Is that a. I, or, I don't know. I think you're allowed are. to do I'm that playing. in the general parlance on Twitch, yeah. I think okay. you're allowed to, isn't it? It's only so kind of racial. I can even well, say I mean, cracker, is, as long yeah. as I don't use it in a directed way, it's fine, right? Oh, that's, but he that's just, did, just right? did, right? yeah. using it in a directed way. <laughs> well, pa- pasty is like you're inside a bit too much. I guess it can only be used against white people. I don't well, know if a black person spent get... five years inside, pasty. would they get pasty? I don't know. Um, there's I mean, plenty of black. There's, uh, definitely, uh, there's definitely different varieties. In, I mean, there's a lot of varieties in skin tones for people who are generally considered to be black. Um, And yeah, if you stay inside too much, then your skin can go a little bit paler. But I don't know that anybody would ever describe... 
a black guy who spends a little bit too much time inside is pasty. I think at that point we're <laughs> kind of doing a bit of a reach here, you know? Like, this is not <laughs> I don't know this is anything that anybody has ever said ever in the world. Could be wrong, though. Um, so, welcome to a supercut, because he's about to say, like, in, in an incredulous way, they try to lol cow me. The fucks that spend uh, all their time uh, on Kiwi Farms and 4chan, they try to fucking lol cow me. Says base level lefty takes. You guys are coping so fucking hard. Nine month subscriber. Following since March 7th, 2019. Why was all of that information desperately needed to... <laughs> Why did you need that? Why can't you just address the thing said? Yeah, th this need for him to... I gotta dig up. So many people are like this. It's the, this, this horrific social media Twitter. Why Soviet Union on, on his wall? Because they're really misunderstood, and they're wonderful people, and they did great things. This, um, this is a selection of clips that obviously will get back to the main timeline eventually, but this is a little, a little oh, delve boy. into the world of Hassan. Here we go. My friend, I'm going to save you from the brain disease that you've had for, since Man. 2019. Let okay? Stay? Clearly, for you can't stop yourself like you still come in here you still subscribe or get a gifted sub uh and and i'm gonna help you out okay i am going to put you down oh, no. like jesus you know like a horse that can't it's a run any longer to okay to that you you're don't going deserve. to the glue factory okay it's been a beautiful nine months but uh you know there you go the glue factory for you sorry just finally you can be just the, free just the phrase you it's uh, it's been a it's been a beautiful nine months but you're going to the glue factory out of context that sounds really <laughs> bad. jesus okay going to the easy glue. clap Do you think he approves of you um yeah the, the, <laughs> so the guy there? bad he said he said he spotted him saying easy clap so just i guess the guy is just like oh, oh. easy about right you are your life is so sad that the you don't only even know who he in is. Chat? No, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Listen, chat is, is, it is listen to the justification. Chat. Maybe you'll agree with him, Frank. Who knows? Yeah, adrenaline right. that you ever can get is a brief moment where I recognize your existence. That <laughs> My is dude. so pathetic. You are not even a worm. You are less than a worm. <laughs> and this is why you have no friends. Nice. This what, what happened? The... What like? Why are you so Jesus angry at this Christ. guy? What the You're fuck so is happening? I don't know what this guy said, like but are you telling me you never do this with your like YouTube comments? No, well, we, I don't no, think no, we've ever no. said like no, you're less than a whim for someone saying that's some pussy um, shit. You gotta fucking tell him straight. Fuck you. <laughs> Listen, Come on. Well, so, I, so if, the thing is, is, it's totally fine to argue with people and get into fights over the arguments. But when you're like, oh, what's your name? What are all of the messages you've sent in the past? How long yeah, have you been giving weird. me money? You're yeah. a pathetic, worthless worm piece of shit. Like, that's, that's what it is. This is what I mean. Like, what did you do that? that? Yeah, to, to clarify, I, I think there are funny ways to do lots of this, but this comes across. Yeah, like, yeah. is anyone else getting the vibe that's of like, oh man, Hassan is like yeah. really yeah. angry at this one person, and the person said something like something pretty tame, right? It was I forgot what it was, but it was like uh, based lefty takes or something. Which basic lefty takes. <laughs> that was, too, enough. Like that that. That was that. enough for this public execution. It's just, uh, yeah, this is why you spend a, all your time like on the Lord at the top of his fiefdom, you know, and yeah, some little this peasant, is... you know, looks at him the wrong way and he fucking gets him executed immediately. Internet, this is How why you? you constantly question yourself. Does this person hate me? Whenever you have new interactions, before they get to recognize how deeply disturbed you are, you always question yourself thinking, fuck, are they going to... Are they going to hate me when they find out a little bit more about myself? What is happening? A little bit more about myself. Why does he like, keep saying... Sorry, I, I, I like how we get distracted from this incredibly cruel, like, commentary <laughs> just with the grammar, but... Stop saying myself when you mean me, all right? Myself is often unnecessary. But hey... I think he actually means himself. Well, he so he was talking in the, th I think the third the projection. person. He's talking about himself. You, yeah, no, he was so. talking about as though he were the guy in chat. He was saying, like... When you, fuck it, I don't care. Look, the, 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 this one is the we got we, we got one example. So why do you guys you know it's fine. It's one. Who cares, right? So, folks, I'm live and alive, and we got a lot to talk about. I was right about Ukraine. That's right. 
War is not imminent. Oh, shot. Uh, oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. Whoops. Anyway, we're going to talk about that and a bunch of other stuff, so get in now. Anything from you for this? You can literally go back and look at the fucking the DMs that they will openly admit. Oh, I literally bought them computers and said, here, you get to own the means of your fucking this production. One. Oh, no. This is Here's your me. computer. Here's your computer. Sucker. <laughs> this way, you can do whatever you want with your own computer. <laughs> but of course, these motherfuckers <laughs> who are so horny, so fucking oh, horny, to disparage someone that they fucking hate, are going to rush to judgment even after this piece of fucking garbage knew that this clip was fu knew that this fucking tweet was deleted, and he still <laughs> talked about it on his fucking stream. Because he's a piece of shit. And no different oh, than fucking sort of his bed. Or <laughs> I mean, I, I, oh, that's uh, a couch in a sofa thing. Oh. Man, he's just he was talking so much earlier about keeping oh. you cool, you know? Yeah, calm and, down, and, bro. Oh, but it's coming. We, it's, we, it we, is we're coming. coming up to the Here best part. It's coming. Star. <laughs> if you see this kind of behavior in yourself, you can stop it. There you go. I gave you the fucking <laughs> shred of relevance. <laughs> you gnome fuck. It's so good. Dude, it's, it's like a candidate oh, for one of the best no. things that happened on the internet. This gnome <laughs> fuck <laughs> thing. Gnome. This kind of behavior. Just to clarify that for anyone gnome. missing this in chat, he, he pronounces gnome as gnome. <laughs> gnome. He see Mahler, there's a G. And what are you talking about? There's clearly a G. Behavior oh in yourself, God. you can stop it. There you go. I gave you a fucking shred of relevance. <laughs> you gnome again. fuck. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so good. Uh, what else we got? The record. My issue as a trans person is the fact that you, a guy that isn't uh -oh. super well versed on trans shit, brought on a known transphobe, knowing he might bring up transphobic shit. You aren't exactly a vosh at trans debates. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> He's gonna lose it. I hope. See now. It, it, I think, because he just read out the message, you heard it, right? The guy was like, you should know more about trans issues if you're going to find and defend them against someone who's very anti-trans issues. You're no yeah, bullshit. Super, it. It's just like, that's super benign destiny, comment. That is the normal take. Yeah. That's the normal take for <laughs> everything. Try not to go aggressive on points you know fucking nothing about. It's simple. And the, the, yeah. this comment, so I, 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 I did a whole video about this moment because it was so shocking to me. They even said at the end, like, thanks for the effort anyway. I really like your stuff. They're, they're very positive about Hassan at the end right. as well. Oh. But basically, you oh, saw the right. comparison to Vosh and he fucking saw red. And he, he's well, yeah, because look what happens. Hope. I hope that. Uh -oh. The rest of your life is as horrible as it is every single day, okay? What? Jesus Christ! <laughs> Goodness oh, gracious, dude. How do you do that to that comment? That comment was so Relax. chill. I hope your life is as horrible as it Does is Does everyone understand day. the relevant... Like, this, per this person that he's speaking to is a trans person, right? So, you understand what he's trying to say there, right? Which or is, my reading of it, anyway. That would be even more fucked up. He's basically saying more dysphoria. Yeah, he's basically saying your life is fucked up. My interpretation, I should say, to be generous. Right? Maybe. Right? Is Maybe. I think he's he's kind of saying, like, your life is shit. I hope it continues to be because you're trans. That was my interpretation of it. I um, appreciate you can see it differently, but yeah, I don't know. I, I think that's just incidental. I like, would be willing to be think how it is. More just I don't think standard, he... mean spirited thing. Yeah, like, I was going to say, yeah, I could believe. Because awesome. he's yeah. not very good at making fun of people. He's he's a little clumsy with it. So I could be. No, like, every time it seems to be, my life is better than yours, which is. It's weird, right? Like, if you have to say that, I don't know. Time, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, think I, I think I've brought this up all three evenings, but it seems very high school. You know, like the, the oh, rich yeah. kid who says, my parents will buy me anything. Absolutely. Yep. It feels like you've just translated standard high school bullshit, like, into... Except now it's about politics and, like, it's people making lots of money. It's just all of these weird multipliers and parasocial stuff and, you know... You know what? Wow. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull a dev here, and I'm gonna start passing out points. Hear me uh -oh. out. Okay. I'm gonna oh. I'm gonna throw a bone to Hassan, right? So here's what I think. I think he's he's operating at a level that is just above us. Clearly, he has oh. ascended in ways we couldn't hope to, and I'll explain why. Um, Hassan is a fervent believer in horseshoe theory, right? 
So I don't know if this is true or not. This is maybe deep down he does. Therefore, he thinks that if he insults a trans person by wishing on them continued dysphoria as they have now as a as a form of punishment to, to have them be miserable, which is a terrible thing. Maybe he thinks that due to horseshoe theory, if you experience enough dysphoria, it'll come all the way back around to no dysphoria whatsoever. And he's actually wishing this person the best and that one day they'll get well. Oh, you're saying he's like a hero. Kind of. He really is deep down. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. He's actually he'll take, the, he's a he'll secret take the hero. Public hit. He'll take the yeah. public hit in the hopes of uh. He's like Batman. I mean, yeah. You you could view it that way. It just seems like he's being an ass, but you know. Oh no, no, that's just that's <laughs> a, that's a really surface level reading of Hassan. Oh, so yeah. you, you really have yeah. to understand him as a person. It, to is this what I fucking know. sound like, Rags? <laughs> no, this is this is. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, it no, it was just like. Thing. <laughs> and you're saying that the person who left this message ended it with, "I appreciate the effort, though. Cheers, thanks. I appreciate." I'm paraphrasing, but it was clearly like a positive ending to it as well. Like it wasn't like. And this look at how even... that's been. Look at how that's yeah, been yeah, exactly. Yeah, precisely. Because this happens all the time with these comments. They're so soft and benign and supportive. They're just not supportive in the party approved way, and so he ends up totally. He doesn't want to hear he's a shitty debater. Okay, well, okay, I need to defend Hassan here, okay? A little bit, a tiny bit. So here's the thing. When you're streaming and you're doing quite provocative content, sometimes if you're really angry about something, someone can say something and you do see red. I've had it where I've banned someone from chat and the next day I'm like, oh, that was too harsh, I'll unban them. <laughs> like, do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, but he doesn't do that um, second bit. I mean, the thing is, is that you can just walk away. There have been times when I've gotten a little bit annoyed and it's just like, all right, just but what are you supposed down to do? Bit, just chill out. But the like, you don't have to lash out and freak out. In but fact, lashing out is that... part of the content sometimes, as long as it doesn't go too yeah, far. Yeah, but the problem is that from this that person's choice, perspective, though. all that's happened to them is that they've just been fucked publicly. Oh, I like, agree. They've, been, they've sure. been really raked over the coals and made to look yeah. like a piece of shit in front of an audience that they probably felt some sense of community with. Like, to you, it's some innocuous little thing, but to them, it matters a lot more. But on the fact um, that the, the following day, you would have unbanned this person and been like, yeah, I was a little angry. Like, he doesn't do that. He, he does. Do he that. can't they, spell self-reflection. He, he, do, he doesn't know how to do any of this. It's just not in his. It's not in his game plan. Yeah, that's I mean, a sign I, of weakness to go back on something that you've done like that. It's, it's a sign of weakness that he just can't show. I've well, been triggered I mean, by the chat. Well, I've been triggered by people oh, we no. talk to, but I try, and I think I always have. I always apologize. You know, once I call them, I'm like, okay, I shouldn't let my emotions get the best of me. But Hassan never. I mean, that's the problem. It's, this is. The entire situation with Jay, Hassan never backs down. He sticks his foot oh. in the mud and he says, I'm just going to keep digging this hole deeper and deeper and deeper. And fuck you if you dare criticize me. I think he, um, I think, I think you're right in that it's like, oh man, do I want to just be quoting like, I'm sure Marcus Aurelius talked about this, but you know how like there's an emotional response you have, but there's like that moment of sort of clarity in your mind where you recognize, oh, I'm really mad, uh, but I have an opportunity to stop this right now. Right. And just like put it, put the brakes on it. That like recog you can do it. He even said it. Remember how he said, like, you don't need to get angry, you know, just put some time between it. It's like, yeah, maybe you should take your own advice. Sometimes just like stop. Maybe maybe this is just his way of seeking out criticism, no. as he said earlier. Seeking I don't know, out criticism. <laughs> different maybe. way of doing it, maybe. I don't know. He's maybe. so I don't hungry for criticism, he has to create it. He's <laughs> simping for criticism. <laughs> How well, often guess... is it that in a Hassan Piker discussion, Marcus Aurelius is brought up in the same sense? This is the first time. <laughs> this is the first time I've heard. I guess it's because, I mean, you know, sometimes you get mad and then, like, you, you screw up or something, or you, you just, like, um, you don't respond as well as you should have. I don't know that anybody would expect anybody to respond perfectly all the time, but damn, it feels like a pretty consistent pattern of behavior. Like, I don't know. It feels Ooh, like this happens uh... more enough times that the cool Marcus Aurelius quote in chat, uh, you are less than a worm, you're a gnome. Oh, no. I don't think <laughs> well, that's, said no, that. Well, that's, that's the Latin. You see, Marcus oh, Aurelius right, right, was, right, right, right. Yeah, so that's, that's the Latin. That's correct. They pronounce that's correct. The GNs, yeah, it's say it. I never understood that line until today. I, no, I, I was like, what uh, is he Dude, saying? I was Thanks, always so son. thrown on it. Yeah. We figured he, it out. We did he it. He literally thought it was gnome. <laughs> Listen. English isn't his first language, okay? When yeah, he we said cut the Americans racism. deserve 9-11. Yeah, ableism, you know? that is. Able racism. Noir. No, 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 Able. he said that himself to, to excuse his America deserve 9-11 comment. Ah. Uh. Oh, was that his excuse? Wait, really? Yeah, he, he said English wasn't language? my first language. Wow. Oh. 
Wait, it, is it is it like his fourth? <laughs> no, he doesn't know multiple languages. No way. Okay, listen, listen, guys. I'm having such a good time, and I've been holding back, but it's nearly one a.m. for me, and I think I need to bow out. I, I don't know. I, I'm having a really good time, but I'm just so tired. I you fucking you bullshit. Okay. <laughs> that is that is a okay, sir. It has been almost six hours. I don't blame you. We've still only gotten halfway through this. Yeah, video. halfway through. I'm just looking at that bar and I'm like, I can't. You know, another. Well, that's another six hours, right? Jesus. Um, Weak. But I don't know. I feel a bit like you know. You know when you're at a party and you're like, okay, well, I see you, everyone. You know, it's a bit cringe, isn't it? So uh, I don't know how to do this. <laughs> you are well. Tell it's tell when chat. you say it and no one reacts in any way. All you yeah, gotta right. do is tell chat about what you do on your channel, and then I will post it in chat and tell them to click the description if they want to go get you. I've even got your YouTube and Twitch in there. Can you believe it? Nice. Wow. Okay. So I'm Chad Logic. I'm one of the good lefties, as as they might say. Come and check out my stuff. I do loads of cool stuff, loads of great stuff. If you want to see people shitting on Hassan, I do that. Um, I don't know. What else do your chat like to see? Racism, misogyny, bigotry is a little bit of that sometimes, <laughs> yeah, if you're lucky. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, just pure <laughs> hatred of women. Let's fucking go. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, come and check me out. Chad Logic on any good social media platform. Thanks for having me on. And it's been great talking yeah, to you all. Yeah, thanks for coming on. Oh, absolutely, man. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Yeah. We will and, um, take care, man. Later. See, we'll see you. Uh, no worries. Thanks a lot. Peace. Ciao. Bye-bye. 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 Can There's you believe that guy left. was on a stream with Nazis? I know. <laughs> one less humble green person on this stream You guys now. hear, yeah. He's a Nazi. So uh, his guys are pretty sure. And is really great. Yeah, he was on a stream it. with Jay and Sargon. <laughs> you just say Jay. I can't believe we got, him to, we got him to buy yeah, into to White Lives Matter. Yeah, we did. <laughs> All the meat still matters. Uh, shall we continue with Hassan's beritement of this uh, <laughs> first person? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh no! Suck my dick. I despise uh, you. Uh, I despise what? you more than anything else on the planet. <laughs> you wow. are what? fucking Jesus. cancer. More than anything else on the planet. <laughs> wow, that's, that's sad. Uh, wow, only one thing can be your most despised thing. What a, what an accolade. More, more so than malaria. <laughs> like, like if someone <laughs> if someone had said malaria. to him. So, red if you'd read out a comment that was like, you are pathetic, you never add anything, you're useless, this debate was horrible, mm -hmm. and it's indicative of your lack of creativity and talent, I could maybe see how this could happen, but they said, like, please don't debate people who are more equipped to defeat you on the argument with relation to trans if you're not capable of simple stuff. And now this person is literally the worst thing on planet Earth. <laughs> like, holy shit. Okay. You are cancer in this community, and you're cancer in every community. Suck my dick. Oh my For the God. past 15 months, you've been able to fucking hide in these ranks. You cat oh, boy fuck. No. <laughs> Move your cat boy you, ass out of here. Cat boy. You are never welcome. Yeah, the name of the profile cat was cat boy. boy. <laughs> Rip cat hey. boy. Rip a cat. Hey, you can't say that to a trans person. He identifies as a cat boy. <laughs> it's, can't it's, do that. It's so absurd, like to to rip into them to that level. They'd be like, yeah, cat boy. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> Feels, is okay. he allowed to say "suck my dick"? Is that something that lefties are allowed to say? I don't know. It, it, it's, tell it's, people to suck your dick. It's weird because there is some a tinge of homophobia in it, but I don't think people perceive "suck my dick" as like a homophobic. I'm just surprised. Yeah, this like, shit I'm not. Doesn't... I'm not disgusted because there's a dick in my mouth involved. It's because it's because there's a Hassan Piker guess, uh, involved. That's why it's. It's repelling. a little bit surprising, right? That it wouldn't be against TOS to uh. Well, sure, and, and not. how is it not more? Like, how are people not talking about this more in his camp? Like, this is, like, really bad. Well, surely this is unacceptable, He does this right? all the time, like, the if, Hungary uh, thing, and... Well, they're in his camp. Of, but, like, yeah, all of the modifiers, you've got a trans woman saying, I think that you, on trans issues, your lack of ability to debate this topic is harmful to, uh, mm -hmm. to me broadly, and, you know, broadly, the group that I belong to. And then his response is, like, this incredibly vitriolic attack. How is that not, like, against... How 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 can people look at that and be like, ha ha, fifteen months, lol? Like, Instead how do you run this defense away? for him? Cognitive dissonance. I don't know. Yeah, you how would can think you, that how telling can you a trans claim person you... to perform a sex act on you against their will, presumably, would be super no no vil. Well, but I I, I guess, guess he gets away with it. I guess to be because I don't give a shit it. myself. It's just the internet talk to us. It's just I'm pointing out. Does this is there not an inconsistency in the way that they? treat discourse because i'm well so i think 
I'm I'm getting a little bit cynical listening to, to when thinking about this situation. It's like how can you how can you claim to espouse for these problems like these? How do you espouse these positions or claim that you do? But then when someone says, "I think that the way that you've handled it is detrimental to my positions," and instead of saying, "Um, no, I disagree," but thanks, or you know, like hmm, maybe I'll take that on board. Instead, it's you're worthless. You're the worst thing in the world. And then you're all like, "Ha, ah, pog champ." Like, how do you how do you <laughs> sit there and go, "You know what? I actually do care about these things." God, that's like, uh, sorry, I'm getting well, annoyed. <laughs> here's here's a, a horrible potential black pill is that maybe Hassan's audience likes that he gets away with being a despicable hypocrite because it's kind oh. of his brand right now. It's I'm the socialist and yet I spend <laughs> his brand you know, is being a despicable. Yeah, because it's like I'm the socialist. <laughs> I, yet I get three million dollars for a West you know Hollywood mansion. I spend two hundred grand on a on a car. I rip off people's content. I don't pay my editors. Like, I don't know. It seems like maybe all his audience wants to be in that same position where they can virtue signal and not live that way at all. I I I I feel like it's simpler. It's that you don't really care about these principles. You just want to be part of like a little club. Um, maybe, maybe. Yeah, and, the, and this is a big club right now. That you believe in things. Yeah, exactly. And then have a level of righteous indignation when people get. God, I don't want to be like this cynical about just the way that people operate. In <laughs> it's life. a more it's positive way. I, mean, not I, guess. I don't know. I guess it just makes it because it just feels so like, yeah, just annoys me a bit. I don't want people At least to think we're that like consistent, I'm fuck- you know, we're, we're like, well, I, yeah, like I if, if all goal. racial, slur- if one goes, they all go like it's, it's got to be consistent, you know, and they're just like, fuck it. We don't even care. We don't have any baseline to well, work with. I think, be- I think, uh, Sorry, go for it, PSA. Well, I was say <laughs> to be to be <laughs> fair. I mean, the the Marxian principle that he's kind of living by is is not for consistency because it's all about oh, whoever has the power, you know, has different rules applying to them. So as long as his son or the groups he thinks he's advocating for have less power, he doesn't have to be consistent. It's yeah, like you guys bringing up Marxian ethics now that now that Chud is gone. Yeah. <laughs> yes, now that Chud is gone, let's talk. <laughs> Because <laughs> I don't really Marx, Marxian ethics. Is this like actually a specific branch of ethics, like virtue ethics or something? Well, it's um, just no, not, based, not in that sense. No, no, in that okay. sense, no. Right. But I'm saying if if you look into all the sort of neo-Marxian critical theory shit that Hassan is kind of, I mean, I don't know if Hassan has learned it on his stuff, but the stuff he's parroting, it's all about breaking down the means of moral and principled consistency. In order to help, you know, the "quote unquote" oppressed classes or races or whatever. If there really was like a Marxian ethic, it would be something like consequentialism, where you only consider physical world as a consequence. So stuff right, like honor or traditions. Yeah, yeah. No principles. There's no honor. There's no dignity. There's no nostalgia. There's there's none of those emotional things. It's all just the material conditions of those. Right. Yeah. Okay. I, I figure that'd be difficult to square away considering that we are human beings. Like, it's going to be really hard for us to to operate that way. Now you know why it doesn't work. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, I think, that, I think that intellectual consistency is really important. I think it's, like, one of the most important things that you can cultivate as, a, I guess, a trait. Um, well, there's but... a difference between intellectual consistency and moral consistency, though. Um, what do you think that distinction would be? Because if if you lay out, they lay out this framework of if you're more oppressed or you're part of a group that's more oppressed, you get a different set of rules. So they they are acting according to some quote unquote intellectual consistency. They just don't believe in like universal principles. Can they then everyone. claim that's a moral consistency? I guess it would be. I guess you're right. Because your moral they just don't believe in universal advancing, principles. Advancing like ends is the prime goal. That to advance some sort of end is the most important thing. And how you yeah, they don't believe in meritocracy. Well, I, I, I think what, what you're trying to, to describe, Sitch, is that they, they believe in a different neutral state of ethics than we do. So, for example, as liberals, we might say uh, you can't you can't be aggressively violent towards. Me. So that that's why self defense well, is, mm-hmm. is 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 valid, but actually attacking somebody isn't. So then well, the the greatest example is if you talk to an Islamist who says, "Well, actually, we believe that we should be able to attack." For example gay people. We're talking like, like a radical Islamist, right? Right. So, 
they, then you say, well, hold on, like, like you're the one who's who's striking first, and they say, well, we don't care about who attacks first because that's not part of our neutral state of ethics. Right. The the neutral state under liberalism, which I assume everyone here operates under, is that there are universal principles that we all have to follow, that we all you know believe in equally. We all are individuals. And we want to treat each other the way we want to be treated. And if you're coming to it from a Marxian lens, you don't necessarily buy into any of that stuff. And what I don't do know if that? that's... Do we really think that, like, Hassan thinks about... Does he, you know, like, no. feels like the way that he lives his life is very... No, 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 yeah, I don't... Listen, I don't think, I don't think yeah. Hassan buys into, like, I don't think he's, like, learned about it, but he does exist in this culture, and I think maybe that's right. why his audience is totally okay with it. Yeah, because if you ask one of us, you know, how do you how do you come up with a moral system under which you operate? You know, then we, we could go into this big discussion on, you know, what kind of things does it produce? What kind of a good foundation of morals generally assists with the well-being of humans and balances freedom and all? You know, we, we have this long, long discussion. And I just you're right. He hasn't had these conversations where someone just sits down with him. And says, okay, why do you think this? And why would this thing be better than this other thing? And how do you... He, he maybe maybe that. that's one of the issues is that I call it a system for us. Like it's a way to... Like you want to have a moral system, right? You want to. You don't want to operate on just proclamations by someone else, be it a, a holy book or some just figure that you idolize. You want to have a system to work with. So when a situation arises and you might not be certain how to morally approach it, you can work within that system to be like, okay, here's, and it can be self-correcting over time, like, like, like a science in a way. And it's well, like, it's a methodology. You new problems, whenever there's yeah. a question that you haven't grappled with before, you need to throw it at your system to figure out, you need a little Socrates on your shoulder, just asking well, you why constantly every Mark, time you make a statement, what? why, so that you can boil it down a bit more. One thing I, I think you can say about Marx is, is they don't believe that competence hierarchies are real. They think all hierarchies are dominance hierarchies, where it's might makes right, whether it's financial might or muscular might. So it makes sense that Hassan lives in this world. Basically, I mean, he's he's playing out might makes right with the chat and all the time. So, I mean, it makes it, it seems consistent to me because... If you don't believe in meritocracy, if you don't, if if you're like the Richard Wolf type that you think, you know, all employers are subjugating their employees, you're going to believe in a world where meritocracy doesn't exist. And that's just mm -hmm. a fundamental difference between them and everyone else. I mean, I believe meritocracy exists. I also believe dominance hierarchies exist. I think they're detestable. I think we should be moving more towards, you know, competence hierarchies is what I would call them. But well, how do you convince these people that they exist? Hassan like, they obviously think Elon would fail Musk on a competence is just hierarchy. Interchangeable. But they do believe Elon Musk is just like you could take anyone off the street and replace Elon Musk with them. And with the right kind of advisors, they could do what Elon Musk does. They right. just think I it's guess, a power well, thing. I mean, I oh wait, well, it depends if we want to actually have <laughs> this whole discussion instead of uh I, because, uh, because oh. isn't like one of the things that you would try and square away in terms of the idea of meritocracy and whatnot is like the circumstances into which you're born absolutely have an impact on like your life. They um, do, yes. I think it would, I think it would totally. be naive to to pretend that that's that's not the case, which I'm not really saying but, anybody here does. Um, but it is. So guess, but you got to admit, it's more complex than just. Oh there yeah, is yeah, sure. Only of course, yeah, you're not just doing the situation well, of your brain. So, yeah. Well, I mean, when I mentioned you, earlier. You, Sorry, go when for I, okay, thanks. When I mentioned earlier that they don't consider um, metaphysical things, they only consider material things and their and their moral calculations. What what's kind of downstream from that is if we just have enough power, then we can properly engineer the biology of people, and we can properly engineer the social conditions of people, such that there will never need to be any concept of meritocracy ever, because we'll all be able to do whatever it is that we yeah. have. Yeah. And however, like the, the amount that, that you need, like godlike power to be able to, which is why I think so many socialists end up having a, 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 a megalomaniac view of the world. Mm -hmm. That top down shit doesn't work, though. Like it all it constantly fails. You have to have bottom up institutions. That's why foundations That's the whole are point important. of meritocracy.
Because what your, is, is, uh, your morality is, should be bottom up inside of yourself. You need to start with those those core things that are are uh, which everything in your moral system is built on. And if everyone has that and is building up together, then that just, that just seems like it will work out a whole lot better. You need to foster that I, sort of change instead of telling people this is how things should be done. I guess it would be that things become less complicated if you've got really simple rules at the core. It means that like oh, yeah, any time that you have those those quandaries, you can be like, well, wait, what is the core telling me? And if you've got the core and it's like, wait, no, I don't I don't really know that, but I don't like that as much. It's like, well, now you need to square this away. What do you value more? Adhering to this principle or something that you perceive as maximizing your utility at this moment? Um, even, things become a lot less complicated. Si Sorry, go Even for this it. whole situation, I think... I mean, it's it just seems so clear of Hassan basically saying, you know, I'm not going to do that. I'm, you know, that's out of my reach. You know, he doesn't believe in meritocracy. He does. He doesn't even think he's where he is because of meritocracy. He thinks he is where he is because of luck. And if you just think that, you're um, just going to exercise power. Well, I mean, isn't isn't the the nature of that uh, that video that he did that he was talking about how he worked to forge the political space on Twitch on his own? So I imagine that he has a perception that he has worked really hard to, like, doesn't he? He, he presumably doesn't like it when it gets pointed out that he is kind of the product of nepotism. Right? Yeah, like, that, that, that is a, that, that's right? an interesting contradiction there. Which, yeah, it's, it's it's not his fault really. It's but not it, his it's fault. It's his lack but, um, of acknowledging it and and acting as if that isn't the case, which is the issue. I think well, yeah, like, oh, it depends it on the circumstances of what he's trying to argue. Because I've seen him both, if he's arguing against the concept of meritocracy existing in America, to make a broader yeah. leftist point, he will say, oh, I only got to where I am because of luck and blah, oh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. <laughs> but, but then, then he's being, about how great he is. Then right, but then when he's being the interviewed part. for the puff piece, then he's like, oh, I worked Dude, very that, hard. I, you know, blah, is blah, this blah. not like textbook? Isn't Word. it just true? Like, this is basically true, right, in terms of psychology, that people will attribute their success to their hard work and they would attribute anything bad that happens to them to bad luck. Yeah, self-serving bias. Or over or circumstances. Yeah. Is that, yeah, that's that. Like... Man, that feels like such a common thing that it's like absolutely true. I can't it is. doubt that at all. It, it's a very dangerous thing because especially not only do you have your own, not only does it apply to you. So you say, oh, if I succeed, it's because of well, my Well, it applies work. to other people. That's right. When you look at right. some person who fails and they failed in life and they're poor, it's... and it, you'd always be like, oh, well, they're a lazy piece of shit. They didn't right. work Right. You, you like, invert well, it. Yeah. It could yeah. be, it could be, be really lazy bad, pieces of shit. <laughs> Well, it could be that they had an accident. It could be that they were born into a like really bad. Yeah, but I know lots of people are lazy pieces of shit, though. That's your self serving bias, Adam. So, well, yeah, but I guess no, what I'm saying I, no. is it's more, it's, it's more Objectively, complicated than that, right? It's like, measurable. Yeah, but well, so, uh, so you understand that I'm not saying that there's no such thing as lazy people, right? Like I'm just saying that people. No, I do. Yeah, totally. Yeah, it's just um, it's just that sometimes somebody can. It's like, oh, well, you're lazy. You didn't work hard. Or you're not smart. And it's like, well, that might be true to some extent. But enough about the sun. All of these other factors. Oof. Wow. <laughs> Cruel. Uh, right. Yeah, We've had no reason to think right, he's a, I didn't, I didn't, a lazy that person. Was, that was a big. <laughs> what what more cruel things has he got to say? Oh yeah, we This is like the beginning of the supercut. We got plenty. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Move your cat boy ass out of here. You are never welcome. I don't want people to think that like I'm fucking running away. Cat boys are welcome on the EFAP chat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can you come here awful. if you want. You yes. know, don't scratch mm -hmm. up the cat chat. Cat boys, okay. dog creatures, salamandermen, just everything. Just all of you. You're, yeah. You hang out. Away from criticism, I never do. It's I. As a matter of fact, I seek it out now. <laughs> you are never welcome. They try to fucking low cow me. I'll change this every day to Ukraine is still has still not been invaded by Russia every day to to make sure the uh, to make sure that the wishes of these fucking weirdo like I'm actually a sock them and you're a fucking tanky uh, idiots on the Internet will yeah change it to Russia still has yet to invade Ukraine. This is why you even question the anxieties that you feel every single day when you question like do, 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 does my mom and dad actually fucking hate me too <laughs> Dude. this is the reason and they do by the way yes they do they do hate you See, at this point, yeah because they're showing up to a hassan stream I, I would even at this point be like you might want to 
pump the brakes a little bit, because this person, for all you know, might fucking kill themselves if you carry on. Like, th this is... They, they talk all the time about that shit. Oh, there's, you, you can't say anything mean, or these people will fucking kill themselves. Yeah, well, and yet, here we are. You know, it's funny, too, because Hassan was, like, giving Destiny so much shit for Destiny admitting that he would say the N-word in private in joking, joking contexts. And his whole argument was, well, you're going to get your other, your audience is going to think it's okay to do that, too. And here he is, like, acting like such a piece of shit, just promoting to his audience that you should treat people this way over this the is, most minor disagreements. Such, such, it is. It is what? <laughs> it's okay to say the N-word. Oh, 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 oh. It's, the, how is you, but this is punching down you're not allowed to punch down right like that's this is not, peak wait, punching you know down has there ever been as, as much of wait, a power disparity a on twitch as this a twitch streamer versus just some guy in the in the comment section a cat boy yeah it's all built on an <laughs> the lowest of the low everything <laughs> i could do a random can. cat boy <laughs> because you have a bad brain <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this is what I mean about him sucking at doing insults. So, like, on. your brain what is bad. What happened to ableism as, as a thing here? Yeah. Screwed yeah. Yeah, that's version. Yeah, it is, it is. Well, Gnome is pretty ableist, right? Gnome is pretty ableist. <laughs> I get insults from someone calling him a Gnome. I know several really some... good Gnomes, and they, they wouldn't appreciate it, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think that all the Gnomes in our chat are probably rightfully very upset. That is being used as a derogatory term. I've we seen are, several Gnomes well, yeah, be very upset I'm with this. I'm definitely anti-Gnome hate. Yeah. I'm pro gnome love. I'm pro gnome. Pro gnome love, yes. Pro gnome sounds like a fucking drug. Gnome sounds like um. <laughs> it sounds like a uh. It sounds like a. I was gonna say like a, an obscure brand of soft drink, but I think it's more like an obscure brand of um dish like washing detergent. Pro gnome, or just gnome? You know, uh, no, just gnome. Mm -hmm. Um, you pro, know, pro like gnome this, sounds it, like a, a a Russian communist thing for some reason. Oh, it's probably because of Hassan. It sounds like Pogrom. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah. Yes. If you've been watching Nine since twenty nineteen. And if you have and if you have a gnome who's bald. And wow. you literally oh, can I, I, I like the idea it. that when he watched uh the film the film uh, it was it Gnomeo and Juliet, he thinks it's Gnomeo and Juliet. <laughs> and then Sherlock Sherlock Gnomes is Sherlock Gnomes. <laughs> And if there's a really small, bald person, then he calls them Gnome Dome. <laughs> Jesus. It's good enough. <laughs> if you've been watching Nine since moves. 2019, chat. and you literally come in here exclusively to have takes like this, like to have shit takes, okay? For that adrenaline rush, for the brief moment of comfort that you get because Big Streamer Man noticed me, <laughs> Your existence is pathetic. Oh my God. You are a burden on this planet. Oh wow! You are a Holy burden shit. on this planet. Uh, like it, th that is one way to wow. kill a an audience's devotion to you. Holy shit! No, so well, it hasn't worked yet. Yeah. It's just one like person. It it's just yeah. It's yeah. it's one they person, like it. and you know the mob. They love uh they they love a victim. Well, I'm not so. that one person oh. yet. <laughs> exactly. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. me this moment, so pile it on. Absolutely. It'll yeah. never be my turn. No, well, that'll happen to everyone else. It's kind of like uh, with witch burning, you have, you know, Hassan is the inquisitor, the inquisitor who's d like saying who the witch is and all the other people, if they don't jump on board and say you're the witch, then maybe yeah, maybe they was uh, yeah. in the there's Simpsons, a witch. But wasn't that in The Simpsons when Lisa was criticizing their institution and then Homer just yelled, She's a witch! Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. His Simpsons. position is that you are overstating how bad she is and using things that aren't 100% true to justify it, just like the stuff you said about Biden. Oh, this was good. Everything I said about Biden is true, you fucking idiot! <laughs> it just seems like the person's really mad. <laughs> oh. oh boy! Our relevant is back to police the mads. <laughs> oh, this is a oh this one. Oh. <laughs> Care more about being like yo Hasanabi? You were fucking wrong. I hope you Austin all get dr uh, drafted, dude. Wait, hey. What? I hope you get <laughs> fucking drafted. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Can I just? I whoa, love that like, guy's the reaction. Other guy, he's like, whoa, whoa. Dude, calm he's down. Like, fucking hell. Dude. He, he almost seems like he's high or something. Man. He's like, whoa, whoa, hang on, whoa. Yeah. <laughs>
You are a burden <laughs> on this planet. His position is that oh, we'll see you are again, overstating sure. how bad she is and using things that aren't 100% true to justify it, just like the stuff you said about Biden. <laughs> Everything I said about Biden is true, you fucking idiot! That, and from my perspective, this is not a good look. It just seems like the person's really mad. You care more about being like, yo, Hasanabi, you were fucking wrong. I hope you all get dra uh, drafted, dude. Wait, hey. Oh. I hope you get fucking drafted. <laughs> God, that guy just did not expect that to happen. He was not ready for that. <laughs> you know how some, uh, based on you know how oh, some yes. Yes. people they hang out, they have like ugly friends that are, I say friends in quotes, just to make them look more beautiful Jesus. by comparison. That's just anyone next to Hassan, though. Anyone next to Hassan is instantly, they seem so smart. Doesn't matter mm -hmm. who they are. Oh, you mean, In comparison, yeah. they're just like, geniuses. That guy's, that, that minor he reaction really he had, that already it's like, that guy's a genius. Yeah, it's like, oh, dramatic oh, ties at first. Man. Yeah, dude. Talk to me when he's fucking throwing Ukrainians in a, in a, in a fucking, what are you talking about? Talk to me when he's throwing Ukrainians at a concentration camp, okay? Hitler wasn't fucking. <laughs> no, he's just going to shoot him in the streets. We're not going to yeah. get that. <laughs> Yeah, it, yeah. Bad, weren't there like por weren't there portable furnaces rolling into Ukraine at one point? Jeez. That was a claim. I don't know if it was ever. I've seen some bad stuff coming something. out of things. Maybe that, oh, like, 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 some crazy bad shit. Yeah, yeah. he's throwing yeah. Ukrainians at a concentration camp. Okay, Hitler wasn't fucking bad because he decided to invade Austria. He was bad because he I was mean... fucking killing Jews. Okay, <laughs> that was the problem. Like, classic. He wasn't, like, it's already a classic. It's, it's such a great little a clip. Like, it is. What it are you is. doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> It wasn't like, oh yeah, we're gonna fucking annex territory with like Germanic people in it. That wasn't the main problem That's with fine. Hitler, I think. <laughs> that was the main problem with Hitler. I think. I think. I, what, I think. <laughs> what in the what? <laughs> <laughs> wow. This what? this clip was heard by basically uh, everyone across the internet. Like, what is this? What's happening? What? People Listen. throw money at this guy. They just throw money at him. It is hilarious, Gen though. You got it. It is funny. That was a great clip, one for the ages. Genghis Khan didn't put anyone in, in a concentration camp. Okay, he just annexed all their territory. Genghis Khan like was it bad because he annexed the planet? It was bad because he's <laughs> <laughs> shooting people with a bow and arrow. I think. I think <laughs> <laughs> that was like maybe eighth down the line. I don't eighth? like you. Wow. I'm gonna make this very clear. If you are this type of person. I don't like you. I don't want you to be in here, okay? Or if you're gonna be in here, you need to fucking know your place. You need to know your place. <laughs> know your <laughs> place. Know place. Okay. okay? It's not this. It's so this. Upset. You can stay in here and watch, but you're not gonna be able to fucking write shit in the chat. Oh, you... Sorry. I'm I would quite the, literally least rather taller, have someone guys. who is on the margins and is actually interested in learning, but might have transphobic points of view, rather than Someone oh, who's yeah. like, mm, I'm a cat boy. I've been in here for 50 months. And I think like, you know, you're not that good at debate. So you shouldn't have a transphobic person on. Like, no, fuck off. Hassan is just not good at making arguments because he's not a debate bro. <laughs> they try to fucking low cow me. Yeah, he would ban denims then, right? Uh, I guess. He can't be a part. He just made it clear. If someone says he's not good at debates, they're gone. And what did she do? Oof. Mm, run you know, this. man, somebody who's really confident in their ability to debate points would uh, ban people who say that they're not good at it. That's really indicative of a high level of confidence in your abilities. Oh, yes. Everybody does hate you. Your anxieties are real. Maybe you'll even get a girlfriend <laughs> and fall in love. <laughs> Maybe your parents won't fucking despise you. What the fuck? Oh because God. they've that's created true. such a pathetic, filthy little spawn what? that is oh, only a burden Jesus. on them. What a, okay. nice, what a nice guy. There you go. Holy Why can't you just- He just kept going and going- Oh, sorry, this is the follow-up. Check this out. Ban him? The need to humiliate people? I mean, I can just ban him. I can just ban you, for example. There you go. I'm fucking <laughs> oh. running away from criticism. The need to humiliate people, sometimes you need to make an example out of them. <laughs> what? Oh, <laughs> yeah. What? Well, there you go, it's like, it's like our little KGB officer here. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you know what? Maybe he's right. Maybe he's right. Watching you squirm after Destiny's stream is my favorite thing to watch. Here's some money for the best content on Twitch XD. Thanks, buddy. I have your email now, by the way, just for the record. So why don't you just stop fucking sending me donos to harass me 
for your uh, daddy destiny with literally your email involved uh, in it. What a fucking stupid thing you, you just did now. What, what are you, are you So, so what are you doing, dude? just the what's reason I put the quote email? up here is because I want you totally guys to see that's what they said and they've given him money and his response is I have your email address now. Yeah. What the f what a great guy. Um, People throw money at him. So, mm -hmm. we have to get the equivalent here. If someone stupid chatted, watching you guys squirm just after, let's just say, Chud finished streaming a criticism <laughs> of you, um, is funny as hell to watch. Like, watching you guys fumble and squirm. Here's some money for the best content on YouTube. I'd just be like, well, thank you. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> like, what? You know, is this uh, uh, always what, happy to squirm and twerk or whatever, whatever like, I'm what? doing? To... Just, he's like, uh, I don't think I'd go. <laughs> I'm going to find your IP address. You understand? I have a certain set of skills. <laughs> this is so <laughs> strange. Like, My dad works for Nintendo. Why would you do that? Why would you donate money to me with your fucking actual email? You absolute idiot! I have your full name now. And this time, uh, if I go to fucking uh. Twitch. It's reasonable, because you're literally harassing me. Do you know how many fucking donuts- It's weird that he said this literally time, if I go to Twitch, it'll be reasonable? Me. Meaning this, this time. Yeah. Oh, Twitch, this, they're this, sending this me time. mean donations. Stop it. Listen, if, if anyone wants to harass me with donations, I'm 100% down for it. Yes, please. I'll take any harassment you want. <laughs> call me a cuck, call me an incel, call me your dirty little slut. We, we've had, I don't fucking care, give me money. We have had aggressive super chats before <laughs> that have been like, fucking screw you guys. It'll just be like, okay, you paid to say this. All right. All right. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. you know, Feel okay. free to insult us more. Yeah, go right ahead. It's okay. <laughs> Did you know that giving more money allows you to have even more long and elaborate insults? Yeah. Something to consider. <laughs> Gotten the from Destiny's fan, fans tonight? Do you I, know how many so fucking Destiny- again, so this is the guy who was talking to Destiny about, like, responsible use of his platform in terms of, like, messaging or whether you're yep. talking yes. about your yes. They all language. say this. They all yet, do this. And yet he'll be like, hey, I know your name and your email address, buddy. How the- <laughs> Oh, this, I, I can't- Dude, this With... has been like an insane spiral into hell. I can't, like, I, do, I oh, yeah. can't the... believe, I cannot believe this. And I knew it would be around this point that I would like to ask chat and you guys, who is the worst of the three, do you think? Hassan is the worst. Oh, easy. He's absolutely easy. Yeah. the worst. Yeah. He's the worst, for sure. I thought so. <laughs> Actually, are, are you going to be making these three compilations public at all? Uh, the raw files you're watching? I could. I don't want to release them all separately. I'll just put it in one big thing and probably call it, like... I don't know, the state of Twitch Journey reactors. Journey through hell? Yeah, I could do. And Journey then just time, time stamp it for the three sections. Because I'm so done with these fucking supercuts. Please let me live a, a life of not having to deal with them anymore. But a lot of people seem to want the clips. And so it's like, well, I guess yeah. you can grab them all from I these. I want the clips, man. Hell yeah. Very well. I mean, everyone wants it out. So fine, I'll do it. If someone can come up with a good name. For the, the, for the Descent. The, the Descent. Dante's Inferno. <laughs> you know, like the three parts. No, has, yeah, Hassan's Inferno. There you go. Well, but the, but it, this are Hassan relevant Inferno. to Dedems as well. You got to evolve them. Yeah, true. No, no. So I, yeah, they're the first two circles. <laughs> so Hassan. Three levels of Twitch Hell. Yeah. Yes. Man, I can't. This it's fucking hell. <laughs> Well, he's kind oh. of a monster. Uh, this is really interesting because there's so many things he does that we would just never fucking ever think of doing, and yet, yeah. like for moral reasons, and yet he he considers us, uh, us like on the bottom tier of the world for morality. While he's well, he's top not, round but Olympus. not right at the bottom though. It was that that person who? Oh, cat boys below us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, the debate we're next to the worst. Yeah, the cat below us. Any fans have sent me their emails tonight. Excuse me. Paying money just I'm so they can control. fucking shit talk. For that. Oh god, you poor man. Having oh, no. I don't even like is there even a reason to ask? It's like if your job where you get one insult per twenty dollars and you have to listen to as many as you choose to accept or something like well, that. Yeah, it's like would you, you be okay with that as a job? Insult me harder, Daddy. You, I mean, it's just like, yeah, I can deal with that, I think. Yeah, that should be okay. Well, if I can play video games while I'm doing it as well, you know? Like, if I could just play Kirby or something. It's like, Freaky, you suck. It's like, oh, look, Waddle D. I'm making the, the, the all of the, the, the hamburgers and stuff for the town. And the <laughs> Max and Tomatoes, you know? Thanks for the, thanks for the bucks, buddy. This, maybe the state of Twitch reacting three circles of hell, because he could be the last one. I don't know. We'll have to think about it. I need good. You know what? Comments in this video, every one of you, I command you to upvote the best 
title, because that's how we got Man of Steel, if you guys remember. Uh, Hassan Pike, a Man of Steel. That was a really great name. Oh, uh, yeah, that was a good one. You guys come up with some clever names sometimes. The I nugget. mean, then again, it is 5,000 brains combined, right? Plus the people who watch it afterwards. You could do, uh, like, Apocalypse Now, Hassan Now, and you could put the little thumbnail with, like, his face superimposed on... I don't know if that... All of Hassan you <laughs> boys out there, this is your chance to get revenge, to, to avenge your kin. Hassan Centipede, you. Trinity of Bitches, Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, do it! Oh, this is the thing that only works for us. I was hoping for something that would work for us and for the world. Oh, if they would oh, title, you know? I got it. The Dark Triad. That uh, that's that's still a niche reference. I know what that reference is, though. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, you know what? For those who know, it'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> Fellowship of the Thieves. That's a good one. Yeah. Something to be fair, to uh, uh, our relevant was like mostly okay in the thievery category. I, at least I didn't see him like doing the shit with like Hell's Kitchen and stuff that Denim's did. Well, yeah, but he's carrying water though for the thief. Hassan's True. kitchen. He's like, <laughs> like all relevant is going to Hassan. I can't thief for you, but I can carry you, so you can thief. Okay, I lost the train of that, but whatever. You know what I mean. Look, I'll put it out <laughs> on like a, a, I don't know, like a, a Thursday. Of next week, so I will check the comment section of this re-upload on Moolah and see if we got some really good names in there, and I'll, I'll grab one of them. I'll probably ask for a couple people's thoughts, because you guys, you come up with the bestest of names, okay? Huh? 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 <laughs> How fucking I... brain dead are you guys? Of course! I actually started hate-watching Hassan as a brainwashed Republican kid from Ohio and end up agreeing with everything he's ever said. What? Watch and listen with an open mind and even uh, even open mind even if you don't agree with everything. Man makes great points. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this is something I will say, by the way, though. The, the monotone, fast way in which he reads these messages is really, like, I don't un understand why he doesn't... I don't like it either. This person is giving you money. Uh, you could, well, like, pretend it, that you care about what they say. Well, some of these are in chat, right? So, like, if you, if you pause where, I don't know, let's... Oh damn! Well, yeah, Nobody's written get anything the idea. long enough. That I'm trying to latch onto, you know, but because all of the messages are kind of shortish. Yeah, it's you want to convey um, the idea to your audience. You're reading it out to for well, yourself, you're, you're, I suppose. You're, you're but you're also to an extent. Yeah, you want to let the audience know what it is that you're reading. So if you have a reaction to it or a statement to make as a result, they know the context in which you are making it. Instead of just what did he he mumble? He's doing this fucking mumblecore rap here, and I have no idea what he's referring to. Mm. No, yeah, I get you. Uh, um, and I just like the idea that he wanted to rush through something that was complimenting him just to say, yeah, I agree, true, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> like, I agree that I'm awesome. <laughs> you didn't even, you didn't really even have to say it. I mean, we all know it. I know it, you know it, we all know it. They try to fucking lol cow me. Nothing I do is performative. So I'm not going to, for instance, um, I'll use Hassan as an example. I'm not going to talk to a black person like Trihex and say, hey, the N-word, it's always... What? <laughs> what? Whoa. I love the little window. The window sound is great. Nice. <laughs> nice. What a fucking liar, dude. What a fucking so, weasley Hassan, little liar. So, so in, the, in the, what, the, the two years since that event happened, Destiny has been departed and banned from Twitch because of holding on to unpopular positions. How can you sit there and actually be like, yeah, no, not like me. You know, he's pretty performative. I guess mm -hmm. unlike me. That's just funny to me. Yeah. Like, of all the people to say it to, the person who got himself departed and banned over unconventional, unpopular perspectives on that platform. Not even gonna necessarily agree, because his perspectives are not necessarily at all unpopular. Unpopular on the platform. Uh, unpopular um, on the platform. Yeah, I, you know, I guess platform. it's categorical they're unpopular circles, on the yeah. platform because he's been yeah. fucked. Because, yeah. yeah, they were totally normal takes for, like, anyone to have. Hey, and the you know what? it's always... They're... <laughs> they're still... <laughs> amazing. It's amazing. It's <laughs> amazing. Yeah. He's just like, it's the barbarian kind of mentality. Just, oh, yeah. Grog, not Grr, like magic. I box. do not like facts. <laughs> Each table. Yeah. I do not like <laughs> gnome magic. Magic what, 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 what's going on with all these takes now?
uh, what's going on with all the takes now is like they're they're getting so ridiculous and so radical that like they've lost the plot with the normies and you ever want to do that mm. like you know you know five years ago we we're making fun of feminists because they had they had basically won five the feminist ago. culture war well okay okay maybe five ten years ago but like everything that they wanted they got so they started like inventing shit and it was just crazy and mm-hmm. then eventually they they kind of like lost the support of the normies and I think the same is happening now with trans activists. Like they're going yeah, so fucking right. wild. Well, th- this wild shit. Everywhere. Well, I watched so um, Adam Sitch's. Uh, you had that interview with that guy who said that an Asian man was white presenting. Yeah. Oh, with Joe. Yeah. Which is just Wait, like what? <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, look. He Can seemed, we please? He seemed, Can we stop? He seemed pretty <laughs> chill from the discussion with him. He seemed like a cool, cool kind of guy. But like, yeah, that quote was fucking hilarious. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> white person it's yeah so uh, i i just i agree with dev that there's like uh when you get comfy or have won you can start pushing it to the fringes and then you start saying shit that yeah just regular Instead people of are being like being happy on. that you got what you've been fighting for yeah. you're like oh wait i can well, just get some more i can keep she making was, oh humans to, to uh to the position that they're in very quickly it's only a matter it's it's very quickly that you can if you've got what you wanted that you'll be unsatisfied with it that's True. a that's a big old human thing, but you gotta introspect and try and sort that out because I presume yeah, on is... the other side of that is is a good thing. You I know, don't... contentness. Someone said I don't believe you, Mola. Who would ever say that? Adam Sitch, help back me up. Come on. Uh, yeah, Joe Lewis. We talked to him. We asked him about it. I don't. I didn't really give us a good answer. I, I didn't feel. I'm like I like Joe. I don't want to shit talk him. We had a nice conversation. You can check it on the channel. Uh, I'll be honest he, with you, I can't remember what was... The, the context was there was a, an Asian gentleman on a, one of these uh, bread tube twi- uh, Twitch panels, and he said some. He was kind of criticizing identity politics conceptually, and I think Joe's point was that, you know, you're white presenting, so therefore, you know, you don't have a valid say in whether identity politics is, is useful yeah. to black people. I think that's what he was trying to say. <laughs> Your, Which your, I agree. As an Asian, your white presenting is not useful to black people. It's like, just, yeah, if I, I if I ever become like this, just fucking shoot me. I feel like yeah, you know, like, the tangling has gotten so much that it's just like I can't follow these rules yeah. anymore. <laughs> I tried. Okay. Why don't we appeal to the rule of not tomorrow. judging people on immutable characteristics? Can we no. just go back to that? Wow, please? what a racist. Yeah. Please, can we just stop? You and your green privilege. Hey. <laughs> so, look, someone had to say it. Someone Are, you're saying it our talk with Joe got labeled as hate speech? Yes, it totally pissed me off because I I don't know why. Like, Wait, what? By what YouTube was in there that was hate speech? Yeah, the they fuck? labeled it as hate content. Like they labeled it as the worst content, the third level that is like uh, going after marginalized people. Wow. And I was like, what? I even contacted them because I was so pissed about it, but. They had a second review, and somebody said it was hate content, which is just, that's so bad. Like, that was the most mildest conversation ever. It's like what Denim's uh, linked when she took down all those oh, videos yeah. and started going, ooh, harassment. Mm-hmm. Um, and she had linked a comment. Let me, let me, let me grab it. It's the kind of thing where if she like seriously did that in like in a discord call, she'd be like, yeah, just give me a sec. Let me look at any one of your tweets about us and let's just grab anything that anyone has said because it's going to be toxic. She said it's so, the the, uh, speaking of the harassment, harassment, it's so blatant that even in my message talking about harassment, someone did it. And she linked to someone saying she's got a victim complex that constantly needs to be fed. Harassment. Harassment. Which is, I mean, the irony's not lost on us, but maybe on her it I is. I feel sorry for that word, because sometimes it really can apply, but even then it's yeah. an over-exaggeration. Some people well, are, it, some people are legitimately absolutely. harassed, and it's not fine. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm not even I mean, going that that's... direction. I'm going the direction of it can be classified as harassment legally, but it's just, like, should we really be... You know, if Rags fucking said I suck on three separate occasions relating to the same topic, because I was just, like, I missed it or something, I could be like, is that harassment now? And it's like... I can I can call that. It'll be helpful for me to just call it that if I'm trying to get him discredited. So yes, it's harassment. It's like oh come on. Yeah. When when I when think you... of harassment, I'm thinking of like targeted strikes that are consistent and att- attempts to wear you down and ruin your life, sort of thing. Um, mm-hmm. Maybe that's too extreme, and there should be a, a bit more of an allowance. But I don't know. I'm just tired of seeing everybody's harassed. Apparently, and it's like yeah. 
We need no, a I agree. Word. I think there's a difference between harassment and criticism. And harassment well, has it, to be continual. And Oh, yeah. Like, harassment categorically needs to be, like, sustained. Right. Um, that's, like, critical. If you call somebody an asshole once, you know, there's a difference between that and if you call them Wait. that a thousand times every day. <laughs> like We have thousands of people uh, supporting the idea that we're all hypersexist, semi-regularly on all these kinds of threads and, and things because of that Jenny Nicholson stream. Like, and they're, and they're all very critical of all of our characters without knowing anything about us. Like, I wonder if I could, like, that would be fair to say it's a form of harassment of some kind, right? Because it's false information. It's definitely mm. a, a sh thing. You it's know, not it's good. Not <laughs> we can put that much out there. What do you think black people have? What a fucking liar, dude! What a fucking the Weasley fact little- so mad about that, too. Oh yeah. Why well, is so... he calling him Weasley? He always uses these words: Weasley, worm, filthy. No, they're so, they're so yeah. like they're really harsh words. You know, like they're so really harsh about these words specifically. To be fair, this one made him look really bad because Destiny's claim is that Hassan worm tongued um, a black friend of his. I think it was Trihex. Uh, it mm -hmm. was Trihex. Yeah. Because like their their relationship was okay about the whole n-word saga and then hassan weren't telling him and then trihex was like a lot more critical of the situation afterward and so desi was like you fucked me like you took my friend behind the scenes and convinced him of and he's just like you're lying i didn't do that ridiculous and i'm pretty sure there's like a whole stream because they did it uh live so that was like sort of ever it just makes me think like geez you guys all need better friends a little bit. Yeah, y'all are. Yeah, jeez, all this backstabbing and with friends like these. And... Who needs an enemy? Yeah, at least at least my chats, enemies but... will stab me in the front. Sorry again. So just like with the rat thing, weasels are pretty cool. I actually do like weasels. They're uh, they're chill little critters. Um, it's it's a shame that weasel has become like it's got a negative connotation with it. Um, weasels are, they, they're little rascals. They run around, they've got very slim, long bodies. <laughs> um, and they, is that like what you the, like in a weasel? Well, I mean, I, I'm just describing the attributes of weasels. That, yeah, um, yeah, I, yeah. I'm sure that there are some shorter weasels. And what, what, what is the, sorry, I, cause what are we The short are, uh, weasel, you Google the this. rare ones. Weasels are, um, uh, are, uh, uh, they, yeah, like, look, look at him. Look at the, look at this fella. How can you hate this guy? Look at him. What about stoats? Stoats are great. Look at look at that. Look at that weasel. Look, oh, at, look him. at him. Look at him. Look at him there. He is just on the prowl. Look at him. There you go. Checking out the world. Weasel he's is ready uh, to he's ready to rumble. That's he Adam's spirit ready. animal. You put, the you put it on screen, oh, right? Wow. <clears throat> no, I did not, I'm afraid. Yeah, representing. So you you okay, so any of you who are interested, if you go to Wikipedia Oh, nope, there he is. Look at him. <laughs> Look at that guy. I don't think that that should be a pejorative. But Hassan disagrees. Yeah, but they take Evidently. all your chickens. Okay, it's a problem. Yeah, but like raccoons, you know, they, they rummage around in, in little bins to grab whatever they can munch on, and they know how to pick locks. All right? But do but they take your chickens? Maybe they do take chickens. Can know. you imagine seeing a raccoon leaving your, like your house like when you're coming home? I just got a chicken on its back. <laughs> like just no, it's got like chicken, chicken nuggets, like a plate of chicken nuggets. <laughs> a plate of chicken nuggets. He's like, mm, mm, mm. love chicken nuggets. Ooh wee. <laughs> I don't know why the raccoon is uh is um Mister Mister Poopy Wait, what's his name? Yeah, Mister Poopy Butthole. That's yes. right. So anyway, let's see more cringe. Yeah, back to Anyway, back to uh, speaking of creatures. Use a momentary reprieve. Oh, liar! You are just a trans person. Sorry, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> oh my god! You are dude. just a trans. This is actually so much more brutal than I thought it would be. It. Holy, it sounds bad. Yeah. <laughs> and guess what? No, the only not. thing I'm centering right now is the top of the hour ad break, bitch. Woo! Because at the top of the fucking hour, there's what? a 60 second ad break, and if you no longer want to see- He gets all excited to express that he's doing an ad. I, I don't- I don't know. It's a different nah, word, I'm man. Just, I will- I Down will- with the struggle, eh? Ads for money if I need- the, you know? It's like, I'm not- I'm not like, yeah, it's time for an ad break! Oh, I just- I totally just remembered. Hassan had a whole arc where he was calling Destiny uh, a slur. 
Oh, well, the Gusano. Gusano. Cuban. Gusano. Yeah, Gusano. 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 Yeah. And then I, I, I actually recently rewatched it where Mike from PA tried to say that it wasn't a racial slur because it, it describes <laughs> your political ideology rather than being a targeted slur towards um, Cubans. Cuba is a nationality, not a race. Yeah. So it's not a so racial was, slur. So is Mexico, but like yeah, nobody yeah, can apply yeah. that standard when it comes to Mexico. <laughs> you, you know, like. I can't believe, like, what kind of person are you where you have to, like, try and backwards rationalize how something that is a slur that's very clearly targeted towards a particular group from a certain ethnicity or uh, heritage, and then you're just like, oh, nah, you know what? No, it's not actually a slur. Like, come on. They, they did this yeah, with the whole yeah. cracker thing when that yeah, happened. Right. It's like, I thought it wasn't okay. I'm just saying, I thought you guys said it wasn't okay. Cheated. Changed the rules on us. It does feel that. like you're cheating, yes. That's, you wanna, how about you center yourself around fucking- I Alternate camera angle of Hassan's stream right now. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're the- You know, in retrospect, this image is hilarious from Game of Thrones. Like, it looks it's terrible. <laughs> it's been used so much, yeah, to describe these virtue signaling racial times. Exact type of person that we need, please, to save us. <laughs> this is the hill I will die on. Russia cannot launch an urban counterinsurgency war in a neighboring country with 44 oh God, million Philip people DeFranco with or without this? NATO support. I couldn't find the tweet on its own, and then I was like, wait, he's reading it out, so that makes it easier. So I'll just use this as a clip for context. Yay. This is why I've been That's saying he awful. won't invade Ukraine, not because of anything else. He's a bad person, not a mad one. Yeah? I would look like Tim Pool after that 49-state landslide L if... You know, there was a bombing, active bombing currently happening on Kiev, and like Ukrainians were being murdered <laughs> left and right at Whoops. <laughs> this moment. Oh, no. Oh, no. I, would, I would be that way if America was like, we're, we're going with a full throated, this is a full blown invasion, and yet it hasn't happened. Because if you're actually working class, you recognize that like, I myself am not that far removed from like fucking what? being working class. And <laughs> what? Oh my. God, come on, come on, come on. Really? What? <laughs> He's a millionaire who what is watches wrong? videos online. What the hell? How could you possibly? Oh Dude, you are literally in the 1%. It's literally. like Denim so, with the eight hour work. It's probably day. higher than the 1%. Oh yeah, in, he's, in the he's, Marxian he's, sense, in the Marxian sense, he's actually correct, which is why Marxism is fucking terrible. Um, How is the, he class in the Marxian sense correct? Because he's not a capital yes, owner. Because he's not a capital he, owner, exactly. But so he, he owns has his Twitch channel, right? That produces revenue for him, and he has employees that work for him, right? That do the edit. Oh wait. Yeah, wait, yes. No. So he, he he is a he is part of the petit bourgeoisie. So he's a, he's a small business owner, but he, his lifestyle is still ultimately. Um, it's still at, at, at the whims of Twitch. Twitch can cut him off and he has no recourse. He doesn't actually own the means of production. He doesn't, he doesn't control uh, it. He, he's not he somebody only, who, but, who, unlike who his simply editors. exists and takes in money for simply owning things while doing no labor. Mm -hmm. I just, so he doesn't see it as he owns himself that, he that makes all of this stuff happen. So like he's Man. he's technically correct, but it, it's because the lens that he's using to analyze the situation is fucking terrible. He owns property that he makes money off of, though. I'm sure he writes oh, it he? off on his taxes. I'm sure he is writes it, 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 room he's sitting in. Yeah, well, I mean it's true. His house he, is his office. He owns so. cameras and computers. Yeah, if, if you work from stuff. home, you can take up. Okay, to but a see, that's that's what that's what, house, that's what makes him. Um, that's what makes him a member of the petite bourgeoisie and not actually the Those full the bourgeoisie. Even though he is even yes. though he's incredibly wealthy and Yes, even though he's incredibly wealthy. So even, for example, and, and it, even he, though he's reached the point that if he invested his money well, he could probably live off of the dividends or like pay out some puts he, in ETFs or anything at this point. Like he, may, he could probably live forever. He's practically doing that already. Treasury bonds. Like his yeah. parents to be fair, have so he's his practically money doing that through the him. method like, of just lounging about, ranting about things. Like he's not <laughs> He may as well be living his normal life and being paid by nothing. Like, money's just spawning. Because the people mm -hmm. throwing money at him for this is insane to me. Well, the, the thing is, though, like, he his company is wholly dependent on another company, which can just cut him off in eight. Like, if, Twi if Twitch, like, permanently banned him, and YouTube permanently banned him... He owns land, him, though. He'd be he fucked. literally owns land. He owns well, land, he yes, wouldn't be, right? He probably has a big enough platform that he could What's create he his using own that website land with for? his own streaming infrastructure. Nuggy he'd probably farming. be okay. Yeah, yeah, he he could do that, but right now because he hasn't, he's he's no, still he's at their whims. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's what he's appealing to. I don't know. It's, it's fucking just... stupid, but that's 
It's pathetic. We all referring to himself pathetic. as fucking working class. Like, get out of here. And also, not only that, still advocate for working class values. Like, I get so mad at this when YouTubers look around, okay, and they make one fucking video. They make one fucking video a month and get like Patreon money or they make like two fucking videos a week max, okay? And then they cash out with like a six figure check because they have a, a uh, yes, of the simp. YouTuber. Uh, we did see this clip before. It's basically him <laughs> rationalizing that the, the Twitch streamers work way harder than the YouTubers they steal from. What a scumbag. Absolute and then they turn around madness. and shit on streamers who literally fucking go live for six to eight hours every day. Oh, How do you know there's people who are editing videos on editing them for six to eight hours a day? How do you not well, or ten? Or the more? math is really yeah. easy for me. If it's an hour video, it would have taken what an hour or two to make. Oh man, so it's like the fry thing in Futurama. <laughs> oh, no way. It's, it's like, like an hour like to write. Twitch. I thought it would take an hour to read. <laughs> no, <laughs> it literally is that. Yeah. Nuts, dude. Of course, there's gonna be dead space in between. You stupid fuck. This shit genuinely pilks me, dude. <laughs> I, uh, so bitter and angry. He's, he's always oh, been so man. stupid on this topic because this is an older clip. It genuinely tilts me. You could make a compilation of me sitting around, not even on camera, with a fucking video playing in the background. <laughs> so petty, hot rod chatter. Bro, do you not know by now? Like, no. yeah, I'm petty as shit, dude. They try to fucking low cow me. <laughs> So there is a target-rich environment for someone to be like, this guy fucking sucks. Now oh yeah, by the way, we're back on the normal timeline now. Okay. So it's just oh, a nice nice. little Man, jump into the world of Hassan. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure everybody feels better about him now. So. Oh, man. <laughs> Great impressions, but let's move on. Now, obviously, unlike DSP, I have a community, a fan base. I make content that, like, DSP avoids the, those... Fan base. Yes, not it's as not big, big or as powerful as Hassan's. It's fucking weirdos for the most part. So that is precisely why there is like, you're, you're hacky. You're like jumping on this exclusively so you can, you know, milk the negative engagement that you can possibly get because you're basically lawn, you're landing on top of an audience of pre-existing really fucking deranged people. And I'm telling you guys this, like, this is like really fucking personal shit. I should not be even talking about this. Then shut up. Okay. How's it personal? But, Hassle. Um, but that is but that is how it works. Oh yes. Um, okay. Okay. And talking about this Where's also that? makes it a lot worse. Usually, like acknowledging them is the worst thing you can possibly do. But there it is. I mean, Pokemon has them. I have them. Alinity had them. What, like people who are critical of them. What's happening? Like, what are we talking about? Just just because he's just written them off as all crazy. So it's like, oh. Them. I think they've like kind of gone away. They've kind of gone uh, sideways. They've, they've went somewhere else. Amaranth has them. Trainwreck has them. There, there are a lot of people that have like a community of people who spite them, who hate them, who watch them, specifically because they're sitting around in a forum and they're writing every single thing that I've done that day to just talk to one of them. Asmongold has them. Everyone has them. And they're stalkers. And it's stalker behavior. And it is, it, it, it can get really sad for the people Why that are you doing this that? up in relation to Jay. Exactly. What does this have to do with anything? Like, there are weird people out there who follow content creators. Like, okay. I don't think anyone's going to disagree that that's a thing, I guess. And it's, what does that it, have to do with Jay? Really, really damaging for the people that are doing that. I've talked directly to them before and been like, listen, you can get out of this fucking dark hole. But. All of those content creators that are coming across like they're making legitimate fucking uh, criticisms, the reason why they uh, are doing this is because they tap into those audiences. Yeah, they're nah, farming a the viewership reason. that is already built in dislike for the streamers they're talking about. They do that, for sure. Dude, Some nah, nah, come on. Like, there were people in, in Jay's audience who were like, well, no, I like Hassan. And then they throw up the defenses. Yep. Like, I would say that, like, Jay got pushback from his own community on that one. Yep. Uh, and how many times I've said it's like, but Jay believes in the point and wants to express yeah. it. That's as simple as it and is. And I like how he doesn't even count it because he brings up, oh, what they might seem like legitimate arguments, but their intentions are bad. It's like, well, wait a minute. You haven't said anything as to whether or not so they're legitimate arguments then. You, you said they seem like it, but you haven't said anything to counter that they are legitimate arguments. You just don't like the intent behind them.
But what does that matter if they're correct? Some creators that have been around for a very long time, like Charlie, have been able to avoid that. Myself included, it's actually the video of the Bizarre House walkthrough, the one that I mentioned, it was a very shameful moment for me where it's a video I really liked but didn't react hard to. I'd already seen it and I just basically shared it with my community without adding anything to it. And they were upset with that, which I totally do get. Some creators that have been around for a very long time, like Charlie, have no been able to avoid that. <laughs> How does he avoid it? I just don't get it. Mm, this he mystical. Was on his head. Must have some kind of secret potion. Magnanimous? Hmm. What's I that? Know. I don't know what it is. That is the reason why um, what that person is doing is not even remotely charitable. If it was something that, that I've done on that was like genuinely fucking morally abhorrent behavior that they were making uh, this many videos on and farming it for this much. I mean, is, is it not morally abhorrent to refer to a bunch of people as Nazis when you have no evidence? Well, to oh, yeah, yeah. People? I, mean, I guess this has come afterward, though, right? Now he's decided, you know what? Gloves off, I guess. Uh, well, yeah. Is it morally abhorrent to have done the initial thing? And it's like, uh, I mean, I, I would hesitate to call it morally abhorrent, but it's still kind of a dick move. Um, I mean, it's, it's wrong. But, like, I guess abhorrent is a strong word. Content so, and uh, I so, guys, I gotta get out of here. It's now 9 p.m. for me. Oh, gosh, oh. 9 p.m. What, do you go to bed at 9 p.m.? That's so early. Okay, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> what I like to yeah, do at geez. 9 p.m., oh. if Naomi works an early shift the next day, is oh, I, will, I will do quiet work in the I house. How it is. I will do quiet Wait. work in the house instead of talking on a mic. So, I'll, I usually just go and, like, write stuff. Quietly. That's you know so how sweet. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dev, it's been a fun one. Um, why don't you, yeah. why don't you, for the for great. the final time, because I will never have you back. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. <All laughs> right. be, well, it, it, it'll probably be a little time because we got to find more topics for you. We got you three in a row. How's that feel? Is it great? Great. Yay! Actually, it's been fun. Yeah, I think it's been fun too. Um, chat. You may have heard of him before because he was on the past two episodes. We got links in the description, <laughs> and he does all kinds of yes. videos on all kinds of topics. Why don't you, why don't you tell all him what you've been doing lately? What have you been yeah. up to? So, if you want to find me, it's Short Fat Otaku on YouTube, and it's Game Boomers on Twitch. Those are my two channels. Well, you can go check them out yeah. at your leisure. MMT content creator, he's great. You should check him out. Oh, Thank is that me? You, uh... <laughs> yeah, you, short fat, fat otaku, yeah. Am I an MMT guy now? What? Yeah, you made a couple videos. You wait, Dev is Dev has become pro MMT. MMT now? I didn't know this. I mean, I'm like, I, I, it, well, yeah, I was it kind of makes joking sense, around, but I guess. Oh, fuck, I don't know. <laughs> I can't fucking tell, I, Adam. You tell me. Yeah, you said, you said you're like, you're, it was like, we caught you with your pants well, down. You're like, no, I wait know. a minute, MMT. Well, okay, I'm so man, sorry. Like, am I, I, I went, you're I, like, am I went I to go stream MMT with the Connell boy. I, I went yeah. to go yes. stream with the Connell boy for like... I, I, you streamed with him twice, yeah. I wanted to talk to a Connell boy about economics. We talked about everything but mm -hmm. for hours. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. I need to have him back at some point. Damn, damn anyway, thanks, guys. Boys. Thank you so I'll, much for uh, joining uh, us and for suffering yeah, through yeah, all these videos. Noise. Appreciate it. We'll, uh, we'll catch you around soon. <laughs> Good night, guys. Thanks a lot. Keep oh, it boy. down. Mm -hmm. You don't have to bet. See you later. Except Never I mean... apologize. Guys, for it, that's one thing. Dark Viper more focuses on dunking, which I, in some cases. I just want to say that Charlie didn't make the original bad take it just seems like hassan is just trying to stay consistent because he came out so hard saying hassan, he had done nothing wrong hassan mm -hmm. wants to be on charlie's team but he can't because charlie is on a different team yeah Char a good charlie just team. didn't make the bad take that's all he did charlie avoided the bad like, take hassan wants to be like yeah us bigger streamers we're getting unfairly hit right charlie and charlie's like well i made a mistake and he's like no 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 no, no, no. never I'm capitulate never show weakness it was uh less of a mistake because i transformed it a little bit more but still and then charlie's like yeah jay made great points great video and then hassan goes i actually apologized uh and agreed with jay so yeah and then yeah, yeah. Charlie's like, well, so I'm actually going to be implementing changes broadly to how I approach uh, <laughs> transforming content in response to Jay's points. What are you doing? Oh, I'm doing the same thing that I always do because I do whatever I want on my stream. We're the same people yeah. though, right? Yeah, we're the same. We've done the same thing. It's great. He has every right to because I got things wrong, but Jay actually really painted the whole picture that put it all like in a really good perspective <laughs> for me to get. <laughs>
I needed to play by his oh. definition of React streamers, which I do understand now was a mistake on my part because that does not fit into the same category that he was criticizing. Which Again, like, Charlie is giving way too many concessions here. Like, he's too fucking nice. He's, like, painfully fucking nice, dude. I I'm serious. Maybe... I don't know. I, it's, it's super, super fucking... The cuts like that is literally a bunch of garbage happens. Um, but I know that one looks awkward because it's just like, wait, was he about to finish the point? It's like, no. It's hard he often for me to, finish to point, look at this so. as a productive video when, like, you're capitulating to uh, people who are operating in very bad faith. Not just bad faith, but, like, actually bad faith. Not just bad <laughs> faith. Actually, <laughs> actually, actually bad faith. Actually bad faith. What, it's it's important what? and very important distinction that needs to be made here. <laughs> Just so that we don't have anyone bad operating faith. on well, that, not actual, actual bad, bad faith. faith. That's kind of yeah. telling, because that means he says that all the time, but doesn't actually mean it. Well, yeah, but, because he uses it the same way he uses the word literally. Neither of them right. mean the words they are. They just mean the most of this thing. The most potent of this thing. Yeah, literal does not mean maximal. Those are two completely different words that mean two different it's things. The, what we said is like really legitimately actually literally Truly. they throw all these fucking words in there when they all use them the same way and then also on top of that making it seem like they are actually being super charitable in your criticisms yeah see jay just trying to make himself look like he was charitable it wasn't that jay was being yeah, charitable yes. <laughs> that did a really good it. job at it i will say that hmm even though he's confused on how charlie isn't a psycho like you man he can't handle the hate <laughs> you can yeah that's true no, it was, a, it was a compliment. You thought it might have been a criticism, but it was a compliment. You see, Charlie can't handle the hate like Hassan can. Like, Hassan, you cannot handle hate, dude. <laughs> you go nuts. Um, well, as we saw, I mean, he but punched he's... his desk. Yeah. When, uh, just, when, just when Destiny's like, oh, you know what? I don't fake my positions. He's not going to get hate anyway, because he, he does a really good job of, like, Making it seem like even no matter how fucking deranged someone's point of view might be, it's actually like, oh, well, I'm seeing your side right now. Jay wasn't being... I <laughs> just... Charlie, oh, Charlie tricks people into thinking that he's being reasonable by saying, oh, I, I kind of see a point. It's like, dude, he, so, he does see a point. Centrist Andy. Um... And then underneath that, Jay wasn't being bad faith. Uh-oh, watch out, buddy. Being bad faith? Dude, dude. Dude, I'm sorry, <laughs> no, my is. friend. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. The amount of content does not fucking fit the bill. If Do you think it's what? appropriate to do, like, multiple eight-hour fucking podcasts with a bunch of psychos, including, like, oh, actual fucking Nazis? There it is again. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. We're all yeah. psycho Nazis. Now he's heard the lie, and he is repeating it thoroughly. Is Actual it? fucking Nazis, before, yeah. give me the names, Hassan. And then give literally making the another video, he's gonna make another video about this regardless. He's probably already made another video about this, or done multiple streams over this. I'm sorry, at a certain point, it's not like... You've made multiple videos about this. How come Jay's not allowed to? Yeah. Because one rule, that his whole shtick is one rule for me and another for thee. Not for mm. thee, yeah. Doesn't he stream it's eight hours a day? Like, what's yeah, the deal with nobody ever, calling nobody out ever an eight hour? that good. No, yeah, we're clocking into yeah, seven, yeah. and he'd already probably consider this ridiculous because we're only talking about him. That's all we've talked about. And is, uh, you're right, oh, Adam. Okay. Though, like the whole audience doesn't even. It's like, wow, an eight-hour podcast, not like us watching multiple yeah. eight-hour streams every totally. week, every week, several days a week. Well, nah. to be f to be fair, we haven't watched a single episode of Hell's Kitchen yet. So, that's oh yeah, that's bad. true. Oh, we yeah. could, we could have watched uh, a whole season, I think, in in well, not a whole season, but at least half a season. In Dude, this imagine time. me how many Ooh, yeah. episodes we could pump out every day watching Hell's Kitchen while going. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we <laughs> could we, we could catch up on all of the Days um, of Our Lives episodes since it began in 1736. We we you know we <laughs> see them all. <laughs> It's not fucking appropriate, especially because I apologized a year ago for watching it. Stop Six months ago and you peddling this bullshit it. lie. And the funniest part about it is that you, as a non-content creator, don't understand the dynamic between content creators and other content creators. So in your mind, you're like, well, it does make sense. It does seem Who's like you? it's kind of fucked up. You're just like stealing their labor. Maybe you're a graphics design guy, okay? And you think, well, this is exactly like when the fucking big company uh, commissioned paintings for me, and then never paid me for it or some shit like. Well, no, because you never even did the commission; you just stole it. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. just picked it yeah. up. Yeah. Off the even street. remotely analogous. I mean, in that case, it's just breach of contract. Well, but like, add this to the list of people on the internet don't know what analogies are and cannot formulate them.
Well, yeah, because that's a really yeah. bad one. Because, like, in that case, it's we've made an agreement that you're going to pay me for my work, and you didn't. It's just breach of contract. It's not the you, same as you ran to their house, stole stuff. their shit, and used it for your own benefit. It's a different thing. Yeah. They're both not good. It's a different but... bad thing, but yeah. it's different. And he's also reacting to uh, Charlie, who is a content creator, who did the same thing, who said that disagrees he with you. Up. Yes. Yeah. Like that. So that's the problem the The problem is like you have no way of understanding it and that person is no abusing your lack of knowledge it. uh and and your lack of understanding Hassan, your lack have of you ever worked in foreign policy why do you feel so confident that you can espouse foreign policy and shit on people who work in that realm why do you feel because like he you nailed it with the ukraine thing were you not there yeah, idiot <laughs> Ranging on how like uh this ecosystem works to drive uh because Jay can benefit from criticizing Hassan in terms of viewership, that must be the motivation. It not be anything else. This is kind of like streamer identity politics. He's like, unless you identify as a streamer, okay, you can't comment. It's so weird, man. If you pull this card problems. of like, look, I'm a content creator, I would know. And we're all just like, so are all of us, and we think you're stupid. So what's going on? And same, and Charlie disagrees with you. And Jay obviously disagrees with you. They're yeah, but like, Jay is yeah. content creator. Stream More hateful engagement. You see, the way you stream just hypnotizes me. And I just yeah, he has a bigger YouTube channel, channel than you. It's pretty funny how he is the little guy. He did a four-hour video on Doctor Who. Don't You're steal Hassan. content. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it doesn't matter. You have nothing, you it fucking did. idiot. You have nothing there. But You're just it. like, what? You're trying to latch onto something that doesn't even exist as a point. Well, yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna say, if you guys weren't catching that, cause sometimes it can be confusing. But this person is calling Hassan out. Like, he has a bigger YouTube channel than you, so it's pretty funny how he's the little guy. He did a four-hour video on Doctor Who, and then it ends with, don't steal content. And Hassan, like, seems to be confused as to the nature of the comment, and then he just sort of trails. It's pretty funny how he is the little guy. He did a four-hour video on Doctor Who, don't steal content. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it doesn't matter. I'm sure they've done it. Yeah, Dark Side Viper is a bigger YouTuber than me. He has a bigger YouTube channel than I do. The guys that are fucking yelling but does he, does uh, about me do and about others stuff, are not actually tiny fucking people. But the comparison, back to the comparison that I was talking about. I tackle it head on. I yell about it. I'd never fucking cave. I never give in. And that probably makes me seem like a dickhead or a d It's not a seem. It is. Definition. Seem that way because you are that thing. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know. There's this not much confusion. Insane, that insane chat in Hassan's chat. This is just a symptom of the hyper individualist obsession with copyright. Hyper Jesus Christ, this is your obsession. brain on whatever the fuck this is. <laughs> I was about to say, what were you going to choose? Because this is just gobbled shit in his chat. <laughs> like... Abolish copyright, abolish property. Uh, hyper individualist. It's like, just don't steal my shit, please. Why are you being such an individualist? individualist. Okay. And I, I like the idea rock. that, that you know Og had the big rock, and then Oog is like, "Why are you being such a hyper vigilant? <laughs> like you're obsessed. <laughs> Let me play with your rock. Listen, don't come into my house and try to fuck my wife. Why are you being such a hyper individualist? Yeah, she can make her own choices. You fascist. Yeah. Like to the people that are not super uh, aware of the issue, or the people that are looking at it and going, "Yeah, it is kind of fucked up. This person is making some good points. Why is this guy yelling?" I, I guess he just doesn't know how to deal with criticism. Uh, and then there's the XQC way of dealing with it. Um, doing a video on a show is not stealing content, you clown. <laughs> oh. How's he going to do with this guy? Oh, oh yeah, brother. I can't. I, brother. Friends with Sargon. That's just your uh -oh. point of view. It was. I don't know if you, you caught that. I'll, I could re roll it, but. Uh... That, that, that on a show is not stealing content, you clown. Brother. Brother. That's just your point of view. It was <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I just, what, what, can you, what can you do at that point? He's practically advocating that he's like, look, we all have our own perspective on everything. Stop trying to argue anything. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. like, I give up. You win. It was a whole one hour video that boiled down to you should have asked to stream my content. Ironic, the house video was just Jay reacting to Google's content. Well, I already fucking said he's right about that. And the point that comment was making is that Jay did to Google's content what Hassan apparently did to Jay. It's like, are you. Why are you all so stupid? And it's like, well, look at their shepherd. They're like, oh, I guess there's not much hope in that chat. And I apologize for it. 
So that's fucking crazy that he's still making videos about it when we agree, supposedly, on the issue. So You do not agree on the issue. So for those of you who think that that's like actually fucking totally in good faith, I don't know what to tell you, man. They're you correct haven't even watched like the video. Feels like it needs to keep getting repeated. You don't even know the contents of Jay's video. You haven't seen it. You've just written it off immediately. Why is that necessary? Why would he need to see the video to know everything about it? I can't it? believe like that he thinks that he's smart. <laughs> I don't. I can't. I, I can. Can't. I think he's. I can believe that he's stupid enough to think he's smart. <gasps> It's a vicious cycle, Fringy. It's a vicious, vicious cycle. A vicious cycle. Like, actually, f fucking, totally in good faith. I don't know what to tell you, man. They're correct if, they say, if they're like, I don't want you to react to my videos. Which is kind of a weird response to a comment in which I actively tell him I'm fine with him reacting to my content. Son, if you see this, I'm happy for you to react to my videos. Come on! Holy man. fuck! Like, how many times? <laughs> yeah, just... He just explained to his chat that he and Jay agree on the point that he shouldn't react to the videos, which to is Jay's not at all video specifically yeah. not at all what Jay said. And and that was a clip of Hassan reading the comment out loud that said, "Go ahead and react." So, how did this happen? Like, I just don't get it. Hassan, you got up from your chair one time, so now all the content you ever made is chair. Yeah, I know. That's like the really weird part. What? It's just, this is a different clip from all the ones you've seen so far. And when those reactors are gone- You seriously can't be defending React content? Of course I am. Of course I am. What is this, 2016 YouTube dumbass? Job. Everybody does it and it's fucking good. Like, you enjoy it. You're literally here watching me react to Charlie's content. Like, that's so stupid, man. It's so stupid. You're- like, they make it seem like this is completely undefensible, like, or indefensible. Indefensible? It's... No, <laughs> look, hey, it's I'm, glad, I'm glad he had the self-awareness. Glad he had the self-awareness to catch that. I'm, I'm so... You, Hassan. If he sees, like, the biggest critiques coming from us and, like, Jay and stuff, it's like, well, people whose bread and butter is reacting to shit. Why do you think that we think that reacting is bad? Why do you think Jay thinks reacting is bad when Jay said you can react to my video, just transform it or another one of Jay's clever credit. traps? Yeah, mm. he's trying to appear good faith. Uh, so yeah, fucking good weird. Good faith. That's right. Other Dunkey's channel video about the house was much better, and he played his two words as our age. I mean, yeah, well, Dunkey's fucking dope. Yeah, because he. Didn't... I can believe that you think that. Dunkey didn't complain, so Dunkey's good. Wait, right. Sure. Framed it I've actually seen some other content creators saying things like, I guess Hassan just gets up and lets a video play for an hour, etc. Clearly not getting that the chair is a meme. Yeah, I know. That's what's frustrating. Like, this has staying that, power. That, that okay. you not being there and watching it as a meme, and that you kind of agree with that as, if, as if that's a defense. I think one is too many. When you've got three, okay, there's definitely a problem. And how many have I shown? Like, seven? Like, yeah, fuck and, off. and what? One or two streams? Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Hmm. It's like fucking when you have like psychopathic, delusional, deranged, self-interested pieces of shit that are regularly self interested yes. hmm. the self-interest of other people. It's such a burden. Deranged and self-interested. Who does that describe? Like, yeah, it's definitely hmm. staying power is an interesting on. term. He he he's losing sleep over this shit. He thinks this is going to be the death of him. Gaslighting everyone. Um then, yeah, some people are going to believe that after a while. They're going to unironically think, like, one of the top fucking Twitch streamers is just routinely leaving, just, like, playing a video and then walking the fuck away. <laughs> See, guys, he doesn't, he doesn't always walk away. That is so delusional. Just watch for yourself, dude. Just watch. That's all I urge you to do, okay? I mean, his reactions to this video hasn't even been that good. Like, there's been loads of huge gaps where he's just letting Charlie entertain his audience. Um, mm -hmm. But, like, this isn't even a good example. I'm sure there are at least a hundred people that came in here earlier today to be like, I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking notice. I'm gonna see for my own, with my own two eyes that this motherfucker just, you know, plays a video and then walks away all day. That's all he does. I hope if you're one of those hundred people, that came in here with that uh, POV well, that maybe you now right. recognize that that was fucking wrong, and that person was- No, they know it's right because they've seen the clips. 
they know that you've done it. Yeah. I don't know no, anybody this video, sir. anybody who said like all you do is leave your chair. I seriously doubt they think that you legitimately are never reacting to content by being there. Um, they're just being hyperbolic. That's what I would imagine because the whole point is that you do the bad thing, not that it's only the bad thing. But I guess if you only address to that point, then yeah, you can easily knock it down. So you'd be like, "Look, I'm here right now." Aha, debunked. I was quite literally lying to you about the way that uh, I make content, and hopefully you will be a little bit more, uh, I don't know, critical in the way that you approach uh, your... <laughs> wow, uh, wow, this is hurt. really amusing and interesting, isn't it? Hey, you know what? Maybe you've been deceived, and hopefully you'll be more discerning, says the man who found one comment and latched onto it forever. Pretty much. Favorite content creators in the... in. Uh, in your, uh, you know, in your approach. Jay on ironically said that in his video too, there's no serious convo? What do you mean? He said that that's all I do, I just sit around and let yeah, my oh, chair do the reacting? That's, that that's why so many people are fucking saying that. Yeah, Jay said that. That's something Jay said. It's true. Yeah. Hassan is an accomplished creator who almost certainly knows better than to just- Oh, he left. Okay, so it actually turns out that Hassan will just fairly regularly get up and leave while other people's videos are playing. This isn't what I'm here to prove in this video. This is just a fact. This is something he does. You could make a compilation of me sitting around, not even on camera, with a fucking video playing in the background. You could, when you're live for 13 hours a fucking day, of course there's gonna be, of course there's gonna be fucking dead space in between. But it's not the leaving in and of itself that is the issue. The same issue would be present if he was just sat there not saying anything like Jinx was. The getting up and leaving for extended periods of time just goes to show that he doesn't give a shit about even pretending that he's contributing anything here. But even when he's in the room, he's no stranger to just streaming other people's content with his own face in the corner. Now any content creator he does this to could be entirely okay with it, but I know from personal experience that he definitely doesn't bother to check. Now this certainly is isn't the only thing he does. Hell, it's not even the only kind of reaction content that he does, but it is something that he does pretty often, so let's talk about it. That's the full context of that section. Jay explicitly yeah. says it ain't the only thing he does. If only you watch the video to confirm whether or not this was the case. But yeah, but oh well. Jay streams with Nazis, so why would you trust anything he says? Yeah. I was gonna say, we should probably stop trusting Jay if he streams with Nazis. We probably I should. Be sus. And, um, and I, I don't know, like, in retrospect, like, what's Jay supposed to do with that section? How could that be better or quicker? It's got all of the standard caveats everywhere, and it explains the point, which, by the way, is lost on Hassan. The fact that it's not even about whether or not you're there, it's whether or not you're transforming it. It could have been said, better if Jay said, Hassan is right and I'm wrong, and then uh, that was it. There you go. All reactors are bad people, they exploit- okay. Not That's great. the Doc Viper guy. Not a great start. Not a great start. They expect <laughs> that, all... others to benefit no one but themselves. Okay, still, I mean, it's not a, ugh. Collectively, they have stolen millions of dollars from actual creators and have stopped countless thousands from having a career. Oh, it's just, uh, it, it, it's, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have tweeted that. He wants to do the same thing Jay did, but he's way more passionate, angry, and harsh. It's just like a exposed nerve version. Which is unfortunate that it happened at very similar times because Hassan just lumped them together. Mm -hmm. That's all I do. I just sit around and let my chair do the reacting. That's why so many people are fucking saying that. This certainly isn't the only thing he does. Hell, it's not even the only kind of reaction content that he does. By the way, I've ironically never watched this dude's videos and I will refuse to watch his videos because the original video that he made is about how I shouldn't watch his videos. And I know that he wants me to watch his videos Someone on stream. Chat told me this. But... Yeah, this nonsense tangle of points. Is libel? <laughs> I don't know Webs if he actually said that. I don't know if he actually said that or oh. not, but what I can tell you is this. His fan base what? absolutely thinks that, which is pretty funny because, again, uh, other YouTube uh, content yeah. creators uh, have <laughs> quite little... I can't even tell you what the video says, but I can tell you what the people who watch that video think. Yep. Uh, hmm. It's good enough. All right. Yeah. Literally on. made jokes about... Um, uh, other content creators have quite literally made jokes, like casually explained, have quite literally made jokes. They tweet something about you truly every hour, truly unhinged. Jesus fucking Christ. 
I just saw one of them on Twitter say, uh, just say that you're staying on your trade because of this. Now he did good. Dog, I literally gained like 25 to 30 pounds uh, over the course of 2020. Making when you're you not working. It was great about this is that I've put his audio unedited behind the clips. And sometimes when it, because of his fucking gaps, you're like, wait, Muller, have you, you know, <laughs> have you put the next one in? It's like, no, it's there. It's just. I don't think I've ever come across someone who's this popular and like speaks incredibly slowly. And it's such a weird kind of slowly. Mm -hmm. It's not even quality. Yeah, it's not even quality slowly. Like eventually when the words come out, when the thought does form itself in his head, the beauty of what issues forth from his lips makes it all worth it in the end. Instead, it, it, when he speaks, it's like, oh, oh. It's like the, you know, the big mechanical spider creature from Wild Wild West? Yeah. Yeah. Imagine that, but with one leg. <laughs> okay. Sort of dragging itself mm -hmm. around. It's like, That's what yeah. him speaking is like. Oh, okay. see that, yeah. That makes sense. Because I just don't move at all. Like, that's not, I just, I sit on this fucking chair for eight hours. No. He starts by saying all reactors nuggets. are bad people so i mean his video boils down to link every video watch because people aren't capable of finding the video themselves and react harder yeah it's really stupid <laughs> what? i thought that you said that you credited him why would you think that that's a stupid point if you think he's that's already said that to do? it's well i guess he's always had an issue with react harder he hates that being said so i'm sure he hates that because it's cuts deep and true yep that's poisoning the well as he says dark viper is the bad faith version of that jay's video was about Jay's video was fucking bad too, man. Like, you Jay never said you it. Never seen it, but you okay. Seen it. Always do that. I got fat for you. His entire fucking fan base thinks I do that. So I don't know what to tell you about that. This I certainly isn't the only thing he does. I know you don't know what to tell him about that. You think that's a really good point. But I mean, all of his audience, I'm sure that you've gone through and because you're so thorough. What's even worse? Sans audience thinks the we're Nazis. He's, so what, what? that was a, yeah. the the two parter of his reply to that comment was I'm I'm going to assert that I know what this huge nebulous group of people think. Also, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. After that insanely bold assertion, <laughs> you can't you can't have you can't say that after you, you claim that about so many people. And yet. And yet he did. I have this absurd insight into this massive group of people. Also, I don't know what to tell you. Hell, it's not even the only kind of reaction content that he does. There, like, that's all the criticism I hear. Non-fucking-stop. Every single one of these motherfuckers are like, dude, you literally, like, literally fucking don't actually, all you do is just, like, sit around and you don't do anything. He's, like, twisting Bro. it all up now because, like, well, we don't want you to do it ever. It. Doing it ever is bad. And he's like, oh, you think I do it all the time? Like, I don't care how often you do it. Don't do it. Yeah, this is not a thing that you should do ever. The more you do it, the worse it is. Um, you fucking play a video and you move on. I guess subconsciously, the way I said that I had to stop watching the video, Lamal. Yeah, I mean, dude, fans, fuck. I basically said it twice. Yeah, basically, I mean, I only watched a part, but that's what they said with more words, basically. Yeah, I know, but their fans are not going to see that. This that's what Jay said, but with more words in reference to Jay said that all he does is leave stream. What Jay actually no, said. Certainly isn't the only thing he does. Hell, it's not even the only kind of reaction content that he does. Man, it was like Jay just said, he's never there, but in more words. People fucking freaked out over MasterChef. I got hit with a fake... I got hit with a fake DMCA. Remember? And people saw the fake DMCA and were like, well, next time it'll be a real one. They weren't celebratory that we caught someone trying to fucking weaken the system. The laboratory, <laughs> yeah. Celebratory. This is, this is something we need to cycle through maybe another two or three times because this this is a web of insanity. So what he just said was instead yeah, of being David. celebratory that uh, we escaped the DMCA because it was a fake one, people were like, oh, you'll get a real one next time. And he says, so instead of being like thankful that we we stopped the exploit being that someone filed a false DMCA they are saying I will get hit with the DMCA for real it's like you think they were exploiting you the the person stealing masterchef like they well, were the yeah, ones he... well as long as you get away with it 
you're not exploiting, right? It's insane it's to me. It's not against the law if you aren't caught. That's right. People saw the fake DMCA and were like, well, next time it'll be a real one. They weren't celebratory that we caught someone trying to fucking weaken the system by abusing the system that's set in place. They were abusing the system. I just... Instead of getting excited for that dub, they were still like, well, fuck you. And the dub in this case is the ability to steal TV shows. I can keep stealing mm -hmm. into the future. I just can't believe dub. it. Why tell on me, guys? I'm making loads of money from doing barely any work. It's like, oh my god. You just, I just can't wait for the Twitch apocalypse when they come down on you so hard that it flattens your entire history of fucking VODs. Because all you've been doing with that poor show that so many people have fucking worked on, it's not like I'm going to say it's the highest art, but I happen to know it's very I'm entertaining. Yeah. Thank you, uh, you know, next time it'll be a real one. Since then, everyone but fucking Gordon Ramsay, pretty much, has been a fan. I have Graham, like, has gotten on Twitch as a- Everybody but Gordon Ramsay. Like, well, Everybody but Gordon Ramsay, the executive producer and host on the show. Yeah. <laughs> and probably Everyone the biggest opinion, contributor though, to its entertainment value. Than his. I think you're saying that Graham Elliott, who was one of the, the um, uh, judges for a while, is cool with it. It's like, it doesn't like, it's not it's just- not, They don't have the rights. Well, yeah, because the rights belong to Fox. Right. Um, up to them whether or not they are happy with it. And Can you Gordon believe Ramsey's involved in that show and executive producer? The 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 gall on someone to try and prevent Hassan from stealing all this shit. What a bad Sean person Bean that was. Sean said that I could stream Game of Thrones. What's the problem? <laughs> <laughs> kind of. That's actually a good example. Yeah. Consequence of me watching Master Chef. I've had Master Chef con contestants on the stream. Iran is making me cookies. Right now, yeah, Master oh, Chef contestants go. don't own Master Chef. I don't even um, know. It's not their decision. What does he think he's arguing here? Yeah, what is? Uh, so people who who you're not stealing from are fine with you stealing from yeah. someone else. So that's was money out of their pocket. I guarantee raised. you. Well, if it was overtly money out of their pocket, they would not be happy with you. Yeah, I bet they. Might. I had her on, and she literally gained twenty k fucking YouTube subs. That in that moment when I had her on and I I fucking doubt yeah, that you having her on a stream gave her twenty thousand YouTube subs in a moment. First of all, I, I, I doubt, doubt it. it. Second of all, you didn't bring Jay on or shout out the video. You clicked off of it immediately. Prevented you went any out of promotion. Your way to make sure no one knew whose video it was that you stole. And by the way, um, people have criticized him for that, and he will remind everybody that, hey, he was busy cooking and eating food. It's like, no, no, no. We're talking about when you very deliberately shut Jay up as desperately as you can. This is action you took to prevent a promotion yeah. that you didn't have to do anything else for. Mid, mid spooning the food into your mouth, but then triage something took precedent, and you had to staunch the bleeding. So even though I've got a, a, a bowl in one hand and a fork or whatever in this hand, and I'm shoveling food into my fucking mouth while I'm stealing content, I have to stop that and stop the video to make sure Jay doesn't get to even say who he is and what he's doing. Yep. It's disgusting. I pointed to her fucking YouTube channel. So that's the the reason why I'm making that meme of like, yes. oh, I'm having fun. The people that I'm reacting to are having fun and everyone's consenting except for random guy in Australia who is very upset for no fucking um, reason. No. For no reason. <laughs> When you react to that one r slash Hassan Piker post after really the Nikki drama, it really showed that not only are you willing to admit when you're wrong, but also willing to be empathetic oh, to those who engage with good faith criticism. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I am a good person. Yes, thank you for that. That is true. I am a good person. <laughs> if it's someone in my fan base, if it's a, if someone is coming at it like by even recognizing that they're being emotional about their criticism or anger, I literally fucking. I, I still will apologize. I don't want to harm uh, someone. I don't want to hurt someone's feelings. Oh my god. That's not who I am. He wouldn't want to hurt oh, someone's feelings. That's not who he is. Your parents hate you. You amount to nothing now, ever. We've we've learned oh, oh. over the course of our experienced lives and many for, so forms of media, you don't typically take what people say about themselves as proof of their characteristics. It's more so their actions. So, yeah, we, we know... Um, we know what lies are. Yes. I was actually going to bring that up as a concept, but I figured chat knows about those. So, he seems to claim that he very much cares about people and he wouldn't want to hurt people's feelings. 
interesting. That's not, uh, that's not what I do at all. Yo, that's my art on your shirt. It was stolen by boss, so I haven't gotten any revenue or credit, which has sucked a lot because I'm a very small artist. I tweeted it if you want to share. Oh, this. Jesus Christ. Yeah, for context, and I, I think Adam and Sish might have seen this before, but Hassan yeah, so, is a piece of shit. So, artwork someone made for Hassan. Someone else stole it and put it onto t-shirts to sell. Hassan bought the shirt from that other seller, and they got the money. This person mm. is saying, dude, the shirt you're wearing, that's my art. Here's the origin of it. Now look what happens. Here you go. Liv, this is uh, wonderful. I love this art. Pay them? Dude, what the fuck? Paid with exposure? Chat. I didn't fucking steal this person's art. Why are you guys yelling at me, dude? Because someone else stole it and you paid them, <laughs> you fucking moron. Paid it, with it, exposure. It's so wonderfully. It's like a. It's like a. You know, Twilight Zone episodes. You know, little mini stories, right? This is like the Twilight episode where we learn Hassan is not only stupid, but a horrible person. He also has a hat that says Korea veteran. Um, I uh, I yeah. I I like how he is like paid with expert. Like he stopped yeah. himself when he realized <laughs> you're yeah, not he... supposed to say that. Not because he really disagrees with that argument, I guess considering that he was about to say it and that's all he did but more so because he knew oh wait that makes me look bad yep. um yeah dude, god damn dude what the fuck paid with exposure <laughs> i don't want to harm uh, someone i don't want to hurt someone's feelings that's not who i am that's not uh that's not what i do at all show their fucking channel name dude it's not a big deal no shit dumbass what kind of a fucking baboon are you? Fungus. Like, Man. you think I disagree with that? Why do you... Oh, God, I fucking despise these dipshits, dude. I seek it out now. <laughs> Yo, I swear to God, dude. I swear to fucking God. Like, oh, yeah, that's just right. such a fucking so dingus, dude. Dude, just show their channel, that's channel that's name, dumbass. Baby. How is that so fucking hard? Like, what is this attitude that you have? You stupid fuck. I don't want to harm uh, someone. I don't want to hurt someone's feelings. That's not who I am. That's not, uh, that's not what I do at all. Jeez, Why do you say retail workers hate their lives? Person. Yes, I said oh, retail... Oh, yes! This, yeah, is, this is a good one. one. Workers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Why do you say retail workers hate their lives? Just, fuck, man, I worked in retail, down. but my life was worth living. Okay, I'm just going to ban you, dude. Um, okay? <laughs> I think you need to cool off a little bit. Is it... <sighs> all they said was, please don't say retail workers hate their lives. I don't hate my life. And he banned <laughs> Banned for not hating your life. <laughs> it's, it's so absurd. You speak against. You know, the go king. and uh, just just go and uh, you know live a life worth living outside. Okay, eat grass, dumbass. Eat grass. Eat grass. It's a meme. I think Destiny started. I just like. It. It. I don't know lagging. if that guy deserved a ban, to be honest. Do you want one too, dude? Here you go. 22 month <laughs> subscriber. Have fun with that, okay? Get Jesus fucked. Christ. I don't want to harm uh, someone. He thinks it's more points. If you find someone, the longer they've been subscribed, once you once you ban them, you get even more points. It's like mm -hmm. a payout. The funnier it is that they've been banned. I don't yeah, want to hurt someone's feelings. But he doesn't want to hurt someone's like feelings. Right. He doesn't want to yeah. harm anybody. He doesn't want to hurt their feelings. It's fine. It's like when an old lady falls downstairs, the longer, well, maybe the, maybe we can just continue. Maybe that's true. <laughs> that's not who I am. That's not, uh, that's not what I do at all. You want one too, dude? Here you go. 22 month subscriber. Have fun with that. Okay. <laughs> oh, damn. He's gone to the evil side. <laughs> I've been doing this for a very long time. Like I, I've never uh, stopped. Right, so that's, that's not that's the that's defense cool. you think it is. <laughs> I've been shaking for a long for time. months, years. I seek it out now. Mad streamer? Yeah, I am fucking mad. Here, take a week off, dipshit. <laughs> take a week <laughs> off. Fucking hell. Don't you think you went a little hard? You too, dude. Here you oh go, 28 God. month subscriber. 28 I don't want to harm uh, someone. I don't want to hurt someone's feelings. God damn. That's not who I am. That's not, uh, 
It's well, not- I feel like we've had an interesting comparison there of things being said versus things being done. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Come to your own conclusions, I suppose. Not what I do at all. I mean, w- would it be a Hassan reaction without him fucking leaving? I don't what? think so. <laughs> Come on! Come on! Off he goes. Look at all the cherry emojis. <laughs> Just because I don't cry about it and turn around and go, oh, me, look how much of a fucking victim I am, like Dark Side Viper or whatever the fuck his name is, and, and JX uh, Machina doesn't change <laughs> the reality. I, I mean, I'm impressed that he was even able to do that. He must have written it down. <laughs> JX like... Machina. He, JX. he thought of that and he wrote it what down. Is it, what does he think is the joke? J from the machine. Is that is that like... No, it's, it's, the, whoa, 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 calm down. He, he, he never went that far. It too much. It's simply that it is X and then Machina. Yes, like yes. yes, yes. It's because X sounds like X. <laughs> and that's very clever. That like you're fucking absolutely weaponizing your pretty sizable fan base. Okay, you're doing that. Oh, you're doing that like same you, shit. Doing that. Shut the fuck up. Be happy that I don't do the same back to you. If we're being fucking real. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> lucky. Feel lucky that I don't do that. Feel lucky that I haven't weaponized my audience against you. Which That's a feels, very interesting thing to say. I, th- I feel like we're on the verge of a threat there. Uh, if uh, not hey, just he's got your email. I think that is just a threat, name. right? Yeah. He's coming for you. Praise me for not being an extra oh, piece of shit. Goodness. Only a big piece of shit. Are At least I have some I decency, magnanimous. okay? To, like, avoid your fucking <laughs> shitty content for the most part. I have the decency to avoid your shitty content. You haven't even what all you- Man. <laughs> I can't believe this. I can't- I can't believe. Fucking hell. If you had your mods link the videos that you watch, this would all blow over. You're so fucking wrong because they do already, and I literally mention it in the chat when I watch they videos. Do? But you didn't, and watch what he says he because he remembers that he didn't. All the time, except for that one instance where I was fucking <laughs> cooking and I fucked up, and I admitted that I fucked up. No, you didn't. That never actually happened. It's the first time we've ever heard you say that, this. No. That's yeah. interesting. But um, he's also seemed to have forgotten. He's like, oh, I was busy cooking. It's like, no, you were right there. No, you were eating. And you, you chose were. to silence Jay. It was weird. Mm-hmm. But you're still talking about it! Yeah, because you've never addressed it. Now you're getting all angry. Because you're a fucking idiot! That, and from my perspective, this is not a good look. It just seems like the person's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, irrelevant. I, I love that clip. <laughs> it's, it's been really great. Just not that was the... Case, then you would have shut the fuck up. You never would have had that criticism. You literally never would have had that criticism. My, my mods actually fucking spam links whenever we have people on on the stream. Oh, my on. mods. A- okay, right, but not necessarily when you're reacting He's to their videos. Already right. admitted that he didn't do it in the instance that comment is referring to. So that, yeah. that comment is one, so- but you're just rambling now. Actually, fucking spam YouTube videos when people ask for what the YouTube video is. That guy's lucky that the chat has scrolled, otherwise he probably would have been, been banned. banned yeah. um, mm-hmm. But he's been lost now. I spam the YouTube videos. I show the YouTube videos. I give props to the fucking content creator. You didn't. Know. A lot of the content creators I watch, if not nearly all of them, are friends of mine, or at least in oh. the fucking. Uh, oh, that that mm. that almost sounds like it would be a better system because that means that you can get permission and appreciation from them directly instead of just stealing their shit. Without them knowing you. And getting huh. all the utility with zero consequence, yeah. So, yeah but he mm. said he's not gonna do that, though. No, yeah, no, so, fuck No, that. he'll do whatever that. he wants on his stream. It's capitulating. It circle of, of content creators that I'm familiar with that I know would not have a hard time or a problem with me watching their shit. Some of the content creators that I watch without consent come into the chat while I'm watching their shit and go, that's awesome, Doesn't thank matter. you so much for- Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Do yeah. You've admitted, you have already admitted apparently in your world that Jay is right. Why are you even bringing this up? This is all irrelevant. Jay is correct, but other people are- even the point that Jay made. <laughs> well, don't you remember? It was very clear. He said he would never want to give Jay what Jay wants, but Jay does agree with him about the initial point in which he does agree was correct, except that is what he's going to do now to avoid what Jay wants, which is okay. It was, it was very That's simple. That's a fun sentence. Yeah, I, I followed it all completely. I think some of you guys it's getting the confused. One-arm, it's the one-armed mechanical spider just dragging itself <laughs> along the desert. It's a sentence. It's it just... Ugh, lands ugh, on ugh, a point ugh. somewhere. For watching my shit. Okay? 
Not only that, Philip DeFranco is another great example of this. Philip DeFranco will add me to farm fucking engagement, will add me on the uh, clickbait titles with me, knowing full well that I will fucking pause his videos, will literally fucking make jokes about how much I pause his videos. What does that have to do with I anything? About, I, 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 I don't think I could care any less about what Philip DeFranco has to say on anything. I don't, I don't know why this uh, so is being brought it's, up. I, why are we talking about this? Yeah, Something but, completely irrelevant. It's not about what you think, Rags. How does the comments feel about Philip DeFranco? Let me know below if you agree. No, we, we need to farm all the comments for the, the title of the compilation. That's what they got to do the comments in this video, okay? But I get your mitt and reference. That was good. Same with casually explained. So many people on the, in the YouTube sphere has made jokes about how much I fucking pause videos and how much context I add on the bullshit. I'm doing it right now. This is a 30 minute video from my friend. I don't know how he's on this because the commenter said just credit them, which isn't even actually a comment on his reaction, you know, just credit. But now he's like ranting full on about how he definitely transforms it because everyone complains that he pauses too much. It's like you've already admitted that you weren't there for this one. You fucked up this one. Yeah. That's what the commenter's talking about. So what? There's no way to make sense of this other than he's just still annoyed and he's just ranting about this. Friend Charlie, who made a video, right? 30 fucking minute video. I've been talking about this for an hour. I do this every fucking day. So it's additionally ridiculous that, like, people who have clearly never watched a fucking video... How do you think we find these compilations? Like, how, how do you think they're created? They're just... CGI. Like, right. like we get well, a bot to watch all of his streams and pick out the times the chair is empty? And if you watch someone's video for, like, 20 minutes, and then you pause it for an hour to rant, and then you watch the rest of it for 20 minutes, like, you're not transforming the work. You just took a break in between. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've already seen the massive swaths of the video that he didn't say anything about. Exactly. And he's not really been talking about the video. Yeah. He's mostly been talking about... How many times has he, like, torn apart what Dark Viper said in these clips or supported what... Uh, in fact, he's gone against a lot of what Critical said because he's, like, critically being too nice. Right. And mostly talked about himself and, his, and talking to and his how comments. how is. Yeah, but he's, he's definitely... This is what I mean. I think I'd be unsatisfied. I'd grade this an F for, for reaction to, to Charlie's video, probably, uh, if I was to go through it with a fine-tooth comb. But uh, the thing is, I would allow this to pass compared to the fucking shit that he was doing before. Like, this is way better than, uh, you right. know, leaving. Well, he's there, and he's making least, mouth sounds, well, so... Yeah, because it's bizarre, right? If I play, um, you know, Hell's Kitchen uh, for two minutes and then pause for two minutes, and every one of those pauses I'm talking about how much I'm really having trouble on World of Warcraft these days. <laughs> it would just be like, you know, like, what is that? Enjoy the bump they get from us watching next. If this is about not linking the vid, the URL and the video title on stream nonstop, just put it in the YouTube search bar, Lamont. Yeah, exactly. It's fucking bullshit. It's just totally bullshit. It's total, how, total, so total. So you non expect that someone's going to, if the URL is in the search bar, you expect oh somebody God. to look at the search bar and, and type enter it out. in all of those characters? <laughs> yeah, so. yeah. Just put in the stupid. URL. Does he, does and he that wasn't even on. That that's a valid point. And he fucked it on Jay's one. You couldn't see that. No, you couldn't see. And anything. he already admitted that he fucked up on it. But now he's like, "Yeah, it's ridiculous, man." It's like, what? Can you, you know please what? hang on to I, a thought? Just one. You're pretty good at owning up to criticism, Hassan. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> I'm so good at it. I, I I run toward it, you know. Nonsense. Seek it out. <laughs> it's people trying to make a. It, it's. Yeah, I mean, here, look, look at this. Everybody is 24 minute Jubilee video triggers Hasanabi for two hours. Liberal team. 24 yeah, minutes converted to two Jay's hours. Video. I just, and also, these are rookie numbers. They dude. are rookie numbers. We're at, <laughs> we got an hour, 12 minute video, and we're up to seven and a half hours, which actually might equal out ratio wise. I'm not sure, but we did pretty well today, I think. But you we didn't done. do this. I didn't know that Jay's channel was called Jubilee. <laughs> yeah, no. Listen. Teens versus conservative parrots. Really? You think I just sit there? You think it's just- Nobody's saying this, you fucking idiot. Jesus. Stop. What, what is it? You think it's like 24 hours in a loop? Hey, I'm not mad at this guy at all. I'm, I'm mad at the fucking dudes that have been like, trying to create a non-issue. And the- Try to create a non-issue. You fucked up. We wouldn't be trying to yeah. create a non-issue. 
It's yeah, like turning the- a mount. It's it's making a molehill out of a mountain. That's kind of what he's done. He's got it backwards. What well, he means to imagine... say is they're making a big deal out of a non-issue, yeah, instead of... Yeah, all, but he screwed it up. All the energy and stress and anger he's expelled over this, instead of just doing what Charlie did and saying, you're right, I fucked up, and I'll try to do better going forward. Yeah, didn't mean to. You know? Yeah, all that stuff, yeah. Um, Someone said, awesome vid to Dave Waller, but please, next time, different topic. This is the end of the trilogy, guys. This is the last one. This is the last one. Well... Next week will be a multimedia medley. I'm going to talk wait, about wait, a wait, bunch wait, of different wait. things. You have to ban that guy. Oh, uh, yes. Mods, do, do your thing. He, <laughs> he was mean. And if anyone says it was a bit harsh to ban that guy, that's a ban. The unfortunate reality is like, here's the secret sauce, okay? Here's Ooh. the secret sauce. Mm. You, make yeah. a, you make a big deal, you make a big stink out of a thing that is otherwise a complete non-issue. Like the moment that other content creators, like larger content creators, react to it, Okay, that's when it becomes an issue. It's like the DMCA shit. Everyone's still watching DMCA-able content, but everyone shut the fuck up about it. So what's interesting, and I, I mentioned this to Fringy before, is he's not wrong, though what he's describing is right now he's describing it as a problem because it affected him negatively. But if you think about mm -hmm. it, when there is a problem, now, I don't know if you guys remember this, a bit controversial, but there was a problem in YouTube's Recommended where it would send you to, like, it, 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 YouTube's recommended was a great way for like child predators to find very easy recommended recommended records. You remember this? Like YouTube. Yes, for the weird. Kid. Yeah, I do. So, they'd make shit. the yeah, they'd make the really weird yeah. animated stuff that was designed and built around showing up in so, recommendeds with keywords and stuff. If someone said nobody would have stopped all that from happening if you guys hadn't made so much fucking noise about it, it'd be like, well, yeah. You, yeah. You, 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 when you find credit. something wrong, you you put a spotlight on it, you shout about it, you get other people to talk about it, you get bigger creators to talk about it to highlight the issue. He's highlighting here, God, guys, this wouldn't be a big issue if people weren't talking about it. It's like, yeah, I that guess so. That tends to be how it works with things. Yeah, when people talk about it, it becomes a bigger issue because more people are talking about it. And so, yeah, what I'm getting at here is that he's correct, but for some reason he's describing it here as a negative thing when in reality... I would see it as a positive thing. We need the attention of bigger creators in order to get more of a spotlight on this problem. And obviously, I'm it was sure really cool. I'm sure understand this right as a political advocate. Yeah, and, and it was cool that Critical, such a huge content creator, outright credited and linked Jay's stuff and said his mind was changed positively about all this and going forward, things will, will alter. And then Hassan's here, like, that's just what Jay wanted. Like, yeah. Yeah. Hassan's yeah. <laughs> a Jay's Hassan right. advocate. So, yeah, it's really weird to listen to all this being explained as though it's a bad thing. How did that happen? How did that happen? Why did everybody shut the fuck up about it? It was the grossest violation. Motherfuckers were acting like they were IP lawyers on the on the internet, on Reddit. Why is no one talking about it anymore? Because no one gives a fuck. Hot tubs. Hot tubs were the worst thing that's ever happened. It's just whatever the fuck is in front of you, okay? Whatever the fuck is in front of your eyes, that's it. I mean, that will take precedent oftentimes. Like, I can't be concerned about one thing forever. New right. problems that's, that's arise and you, new things. Like, yeah. yeah, exactly. You're just describing how all humans are, yourself included. We, just, we can't keep our attention on one thing forever. I only have so much attention I could split up to all the world's problems. So I will generally alternate from, okay, this problem is happening now. Now let's talk about this problem. And then maybe something will rear its head again and we'll talk about that again. And then we'll talk about another thing. Hey, like we did with Hassan. That's just how, yeah. <laughs> when he reared his no. fucking head again, we decided, yeah, we'll cover it. Yeah. Um, if you ever change your focus and you don't just complain about the same thing forever, that means you didn't really care about it in the first place. Also, his some, him blasting through these topics, I'm sitting here like, well, stuff was probably done about it, right? Because I don't remember, I don't know that the hot tub matter is still the matter on Twitch. It's probably not anymore. I think they made it its own section. So, yeah, I if think? that's the case, then sure. Certain. But I guess that's, you know, if he's like, oh, pff, people used to talk about it all the time. Now they're not talking about it as much. It's like, yeah, but what happened? What was the summary of the events? I'm assuming stuff changed. Things were addressed, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, this happens with far more serious things as time goes on. Like people don't talk about nine eleven, the Holocaust as much now. It's just it's things cycle in and out of the common. Well, even like, the um, even the war, right? It's, it's getting 
yeah, or, you know, with Ukraine right now. Yeah, yeah, West remember, yeah, and... the the trucker stuff. Well, we we don't talk about that because there's a war now, and now the war is like, oh, that's old news. Yeah, blah blah blah. Now we got to talk about this. We new are thing. in like an unprecedented cycle, age of yeah. cycling events to talk about. Like it's, it just or, moves right along. There is a single spotlight. Pretty much. What, what about Hassan himself? I mean, every time he's watching Master Chef, he's not talking about the plight of the working class. Does that mean he stopped caring about it? Well, let's be so. real, he never cared yes, about it. He never about cared about you the plight of the working class. You know what I mean. Yeah. Hassan cares about the plight of Hassan. Yes. The, pl <laughs> the plight of the Imagined Hassan Imagined or class. otherwise. Well, like the, the Will Smith Oscar stuff. That was everywhere. That is probably right. at its end now, right? Yeah, for like, four days. Right. Yeah, it was really a huge deal. I guess we never cared about that. Hmm. And now it's become a fucking issue, even though it's not a real issue at all, because, like I said- You already conceded and apologized, but you keep forgetting this shit. And you're just like, it's not an issue. And you're like, oh God, settle. I beg you. And How do- The people that, uh, most people are reacting to actually appreciate it. The people that are watching the reaction content- How many times have we heard him say this at this point? Ridiculous. <laughs> Keeps it's repeating it. It's getting annoying. Appreciate irrelevant. it. And that's it. <laughs> You know, you know, a broken clock is right twice a day. He's like a clock that's just slow. I knew you were going to so say that. I said in front of so you recently. I hate you. <laughs> what? That joke. What? It, what? Where was it? The, the clock is slow, so he's never fucking right. Where was it from? Where was it from? Uh, I don't know where I would have gotten it from. Presumably like a Reddit. Did I, oh, did I get it from you? I would assume so, because that's, I don't know, <laughs> if you, if you, I don't know, like, I just, it's just a thought that popped into my head, it's a thing I'm aware Joke of. thief. Yeah. Get Amy, him. Amy Schumer. What? No, no, that's not true. Did you just Schumer, Molly? How dare you? Greg I did Schumer. not, I did How not post you. the awards. <laughs> <laughs> right it, around it, it jokes pops into my head. That's, you can steal all my jokes all you sure want, because you're amazing. Did. I'm I'm happy when you steal my jokes. I'm I not like credit you because I think you're oh, a funny okay. man. Ninety nine point nine percent of people love it when I steal their jokes. Okay. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay. Call back. That's good. That's, That's a good legit. joke. That's, That's a good joke. Saved it at the end. Here we go. <laughs> but absolutely, I took a peanut butter and L E sandwich. On a lot. No, of he didn't. I... He did not. Like the fucking things that he quote unquote took an L on are ridiculous, dude. I I, I don't know. I think. I thought you agreed. Remember what he said. He doesn't remember what he agrees uh... and doesn't agree to. He legitimately does not remember. He's l he's gotten more bitter, and now he's like, you know what? No, N neither of us did anything wrong, actually, and we're on the same team, right, Charlie? You and I, we didn't do anything wrong, and Charlie's just like, no, yeah. nope. I think I can't tell if Charlie's doing this because he's like the nicest person ever or if he's oh, doing it to come imagine. across more reasonable and like, uh, you know, well, you, know, you gotta fucking point. cave a little bit. Has moral principles. You <laughs> gotta- <laughs> Hassan doesn't recognize that. He's like, what? That doesn't make any like, sense. what? You gotta like, like make no it seem like, Hassan. you know, the other side made- your interlocutors made some good points. Specifically so that you can like win over. Uh, their their audience to, or make them you can only make sense of it this way It has to be you're capitulating to get more viewers. That's the only yes. way it can be explained There has to be some like secret motivation here It's insane how much digging he'll do for both Jay and Charlie when they're trying to be like really good faith And he's just like all this like it's got to be clout money blah 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 Meanwhile all the crap that he has said and we're sitting here desperately waiting for him to have like a coherent line of thoughts so that we can talk about the motivation because his motivation is he's a piece of shit <laughs> like it informs yes. basically everything their audience more receptive um i don't know i i think it, it my honest my honest assumption here uh or my honest take on this is that like he didn't he is way too charitable and way too nice to people who you are very- You haven't seen the video. Nope. So you can't even know if you're going to say anything about this. And yet. Clearly trying to fucking farm off of his likeness, off of his clout, all of that. You once upon a- I mean, he gives the clout away, quote unquote, by saying, Jay was right, Jay's video is good, check out Jay. He's like, and then Hassan sees that and he's like, wow, Jay got the clout. <laughs> Instead of just being like, wait, what if it's a good video, though? He's like, no, impossible. Kill stream. Time, a decent content creator. Oh my Be god, dude. Oh, dude, I'm losing my mind on behalf of Charlie. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yell at him.
Dude, he's so fucked up, this guy. Why is he so fucking nice? He watched his entire video and this guy's like saying you make shit content? You fucking clout goblin, dude. What a fucking musty little freak, dude. Holy shit. Why does he keep insulting people like that? I just don't... It's weird to me because, um... It's, it, I hate to fucking harp on about it, but you can't help but be like, man, we're, we're reverting back, aren't we? We're going all the way back around. Because it started up with, like, the gamers are being too mean. But, like, mm -hmm. the amount of shit Hassan has said across all these clips, you're like, you're, you're no, like, better than the fucking guy who got banned from Fortnite or whatever recently. What was the game he was playing? I don't know. Valorant. Valorant. But, yeah, you, you show him, and he's like, you're a woman, get back in the kitchen. And you're like, oh, that's really bad. And then you show Hassan, who's like, you're a worm whose existence is simply a burden on this world and your parents hate you. It's like, uh... Right. But as long as your insults are not based on some oppressed class that Hassan cares about, then it's okay to be, like, a total piece of shit. I should, like, you combine it all, and it's just like, fuck me, man. You're, you're ushering in a, a brand new gamer age. <laughs> you're just gonna be like, as we'll long as you left. don't... Yeah, it just just be as harsh as fuck. Just don't, don't target the whammons or the minorities, and you'll be fine. It's the, it's the Huxley quote. Yeah. I'm in his like little fucking basement wearing his ugly ass tank top with his fucking hamburger meat popping out. My lord, what a fucking sick freak, dude. Oh, Jeez. your content fucking sucks. Yeah, shut the fuck up, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, God. Oh, it is so gross, dude. Holy shit. Why did you apologize? Because Doc Viper had some points that lined up with with Jay's ones that are just valid um mm -hmm. and critical was like yeah he's made some good points but he's also made some shit ones I, yeah. I think dev's right about the high school mentality because hassan is just totally channeling mean girl energy right now yep well it's the yeah it's the thing in the movie where they're just like they have to now analyze your look and pick out everything yes. they think is ugly about you and point it out yes. The fucking, um, do you ever see Community? Like, Abed is Yeah, really with good the it. Yeah. Abed, it has the little, like, <laughs> Terminator tracker yeah. vision. Oh my god! And then I started branching into other forms of content that I, I just have a lot more fun Dude, doing. Dude, I'm, I'm still mad. I'm still fucking angry. Oh my god, I can't, One like... Hassle, hassle. He is so gross, dude. He's so fucking gross. Who the fuck subscribes to this guy? Seriously. If you subscribe to this fucking basement-dwelling freak, Who's literally like, oh, your content fucking sucks now. Oh, it's just like the worst kind of fucking, it's the worst kind of fan. They're doing that exclusively so they can get one on you. Charlie is out of it, so prepare yourself to be the center of attention for the next two days with these two weirdos because he capitulated and you did not. Now you're going to be in the center of the shitstorm and I can't handle it. I'm just not going to fucking respond after this. I would have never watched that dude's video. I would have never watched. Just think about how uh, Hassan often tries to like appeal to this atmosphere of like, you know, I'm just leaving it alone. I'm getting on with it. How much crap has he shoveled onto Jay in this stream? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Insane. And it's like, I'm sure he'd be like, yeah, well, Jay made the video. It's like, you didn't have to talk about any of it. You keep pausing on people addressing it, and then you shout at them for being wrong and ban them and stuff. It's just like, you're making this all a thing, and then you're just like, oh, I just want everyone to fucking leave it alone. Jeez anyone's uh, video i'm only watching charlie's videos if charlie doesn't do another video on it i just will not watch it and i will not respond to it i'll just fucking ban and move on uh and also the other guy jay who uh both me and charlie reacted to one fucking time uh, uh unfortunately and i'm uh, so sorry that i did that like i've apologized a year ago uh and then said he was right a year ago um you know, that's, uh, it's ridiculous to continuous, uh, continuously bring that up over and over again. It's not like I fucking murdered someone. Chill out, dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> Such a parody. <laughs> fucking hell. Just lie, 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 followed up with, why are you angry? I didn't murder anybody. <laughs> what? Dude, like... The f uh -huh. But you're still talking about it because you're a fucking idiot. Chill out, dude. Oh man, I feel Charlie like liking an the J video is clip. <laughs> weird. They spend a decent amount of time just shitting on you. I mean, dude, I asked Ludwig, and Ludwig said the same thing. He's like, dude, you just took fat L's on that one, like L after L after L. 
context, he's a friend of a guy called Ludwig, and uh, that guy thinks that Hassan failed after watching Jay's video, apparently. So, now that he's just said that Ludwig said that, and his chat is reactionary uh -huh. as hell. Look what he catches happening almost immediately. I I didn't actually watch the video itself. I have no idea what the fuck's in it. Jay's video was I fucking bad too, man. Yeah, I didn't actually watch the video itself. I have no man. idea what the fuck's in it. All right. It's a fun is, uh, one. Did I miss the Hassan redemption arc, or are we still uh, we still? No, we're still downward. sliding. I, just, we're still, oh, I was about okay. to make. I, I like TOS those joke. clips back to when back. Said, they're. they're uh, no, I think you can spell right. TOS. Uh, I wouldn't want to bet my life on that one. The video itself, I have no idea what the fuck's in it. Jay's video was fucking bad too, man. Yeah, I didn't actually yeah. watch the video itself. I have no idea what the fuck's <laughs> in it. <laughs> I mean, I just, I just get a clean vision of that. I don't know. It's just funny. Uh, one as hell. guy said that there were Nazis or something, so it must be pretty bad. Jay's video is bad too, man. I don't know what's in it. <laughs> but, like, yeah. And, uh, like, he probably presented it in a way that makes it seem like I'm a fucking huge villain. You know what I mean? And I get You know what? You uh, can guarantee that for sure by just checking and watching the video. And no, that's what Jay out. wants. No. We can't do what no, Jay wants. Yes, other than want. when we agree with Jay. Right. I speak for eight hours continuously, so it's probably very Definitely easy to, like, whip me up into a frenzy and then... Uh, whip me off, it whipped me up into a frenzy and then like fucking turn it into a very good hit piece. So, Mahler, you, you know, I mean, yeah, I've kind of hit <laughs> pieced a lot of them. Frenzy. You know, it was so easy to do hit pieces real on real hit these piece. three streamers because all I had to do was show you what they say and then hit piece, hit piece. <laughs> yeah, but a good two minute video like the. Like the one they did on Joe Rogan would really, I mean, that would get a lot of shares on Twitter. That would really piss off us on. Well, the compilation of all the horrible Especially things he says. <laughs> all yes. the horrible things he's done. Yeah, exactly. Hey, I'm anyone is welcome to piece. tear apart the compilation minute, videos. I am seconds. out after this. I'm so fucking tired of listening well, to these people. It's very, it's done like, with this. I'm sick upload. of it. I'm so sick of it. This is such a frustrating. More, part. more, like, more. When are you going to no, upload? I, it's really annoying. Well, so you upload sorry, this sorry. one this, hour and twenty-eight minute. It's video. four hours. <laughs> um, it'll be four well, hours. The complete compilation. The, this uh, the, the, they'll just be stitched together. Um, well, if yeah. you want to, uh, Adam, I can give you. Do you do you Two want this minutes. video? Is what you're saying? I'm assuming. We'll do it. Well, I'm just saying. If you if you want, we will not give you any credit. An okay. If we have to keep within Hassan's moral code. If you want, if you want succulent fleem cringe, yes, I can get you the link to it. Yes. No problem. I mean, just are, you going, me. are you going for a hit piece? Is that what you're... No, I'm just going to... We can. We so can the, go for that. Yeah, I was going to say, you guys can do whatever you want. I'm going to... Yes. Tomorrow, or, well, it would be oh. my today, this will be re-uploaded on Moolah, and then probably the day after... No, I said Thursday, I think. I'll put up um, the, the stitched compilation of our relevant Denims mm -hmm. and Hassan, because hopefully by then we'll have a good name, and then I can be done. Someone in chat just said, holy like... shit, that pig is adorable. So they're they're catching up. They're yeah, catching, they're only five hours behind. But you're right, our pig is, is adorable. Yeah, it's like the pig, if he sticks pig around, we get a nice surprise. Yeah, and it, yes, that was me. That was me. That's right. Oh, uh, all these people agree with me in my perspective on these issues, and yet they probably still thought that it was like you know it looked bad for me. Love he's a capitalist dumbass though. I can't even watch that anymore. Noise. Wait, what? No, he's not stupid at all. What the fuck are you talking about? I love Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> He's a capitalist dumbass. I, I just love the even a hint of like Ludwig has been a bad boy. Like the chat are like, all right, then time to get. He's like, whoa, we like him. He's Fred. Stop. <laughs> like, don't Calm be, down, don't Bob. be horrible pieces of shit to the wrong people. Jeez. Yeah. Fuck you. I Fuck assume you. there's like clip chimping and shit going on. I doubt that he ever fucking mentions that. I apologize for it. As soon as he found out that I didn't really appreciate his non-transformative reaction stream where he played my content, he apologized and made it clear that he wouldn't play any of my videos if on his streams. only watch the video! Yeah. Again. Like, uh, I'm, I'm, I assume there's like clip chimping and shit going on. I doubt that he ever fucking mentions that I apologize for it. Uh, and, and agree with his perspective that like, you shouldn't watch people who don't want to be watched. They're correct if, they say, if they're like, I don't want you to react to my videos. Which is kind of a weird response to a comment in which I actively tell him I'm fine with him reacting to my content. Hassan, if you see this, I'm happy for you to react to my videos. 
It doesn't. Man. It's uncharitable, but the takeaway was react harder and shout out more. Yeah, I mean, that's like, that's fucking stupid. Like, I, I, I believe you, random person. Uh, it's, you do get to the point where you're just like, so this is hopeless. <laughs> like, your, your brain yeah, just well, doesn't just work. Of course. I already do, and, and I will continue to do so. And the react harder thing is ridiculous. Like, not all from Dark Viper. I think JXE did a really great job with it, to be honest. But yeah, it's something I don't that I think JXE did a good job. You I haven't, haven't seen, seen it. <laughs> oh, oh yo, wow. Yeah, actually, <laughs> you actually get that there you go. In that fucking video, but there's 0% chance that that person legitimately made Not themselves 0% look charitable, Not other than possible. just as an opportunity to make it seem as though this was actually regular charitable criticism. Especially considering that that person, one, got mad about me watching their video a year ago, okay? A year ago, oh, guys. A year ago. It doesn't even matter, but it's still wrong. Even matter. A fucking year ago. Ridiculous amount of time. 12 months. At the time, I literally immediately apologized and agreed with them, and yep. then they tried to fucking immediately come on my show. They were like, let me out, let me on, let me on. And so what happened was Jay sent you a tweet saying, I'm willing to talk about it on stream if you want. The, oh, the, wow. This has been described as let me on, let me on, let me on, let me on. cloud chaser. And see, they got yeah. a little Pepe there with no free clout. So, <laughs> I fucking hate this culture on Twitch. It's cancer. Awful. Hassan, yeah. stop talking about a video you didn't watch. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> I don't have to watch it to know that it's uncharitable, okay? Just take <laughs> the L. -L <laughs> instantly to their, instantly to who is this person? What have they said? He doesn't even think about it. Yeah, it's well, look what they've said. Oh my god, reaction. you didn't watch it. Just take the L. Hassan, stop talking about it. His this person's correct, but he's on his way out, probably. Banned. His ass is not reacting. <laughs> LMAO. Exactly. This is the, the type L. of fucking idiot that comes in here as a consequence of this person fucking... Yeah, what a fucking crazy request to make. Please stop talking about the thing that you didn't watch. Crazy. Crazy fucking comment. Still consistently fucking, uh, you know, farming uh, engagements, like hate engagements, okay? It's really fucking gross. It's really disgusting. It's gross, yeah. One, not only did I fucking apologize for you it just... one year ago for a five minute video that I was one year ago, guys. I like how it's all three. Year. You didn't apologize specifically for the thing that Jay was criticizing you for. You, you went on a completely different point and then apologized. It wasn't a year ago, it was six months ago, and it wasn't five minutes. It was everything you just said, it's the meme of Luke and fucking TLJ. Everything you just said is wrong. It's all wrong. Also the meme of Carmen in South Park. Every time he tells this story, it's just more lies and he believes it. I'm yeah. sure Hassan thinks this is true at this point. He said it so many times. Yeah. He probably thinks this is true. Watch, he'll, okay. Yeah, he'll believe his own lies. Yeah. Um, that he thought I wasn't actually watching, even right. though I was like, I was watching it on my phone, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. That is, you didn't transform shit. You just watched it on your phone while cooking. What? Um, he went and straight up made an entire fucking video Whoa. back then, despite me apologizing. A stream parodying you. It was a stream, yeah. Apologizing for it. And you could even call it a sketch. And saying I agree with him because I did not have him on my broadcast. He wanted to come on and the broadcast, and I was like, no, nah. at that point, I was like, no shot. The reason why- I don't even- I, 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 the problem is, it was Fuck so long ago now, I can't remember the chronology of this, but, um, he's trying to sell it as though Jay was always, only ever invested in the views. Why he figured out That's I watched his video to begin with, he as I'm sure 200. if he hasn't- Oh, 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 so, uh, the, oh, I love this part. So, we successfully hooked, baited, and caught our relevant and Denims on the point of- Jay's tweet about the bump. Uh, mm -hmm. and we know it's hooked Hassan before, but get ready for it to hook him again. I'm on the broadcast, and I was like, nah. At that point, I was like, no shot. The reason why he figured out I watched his video to begin with, as I'm sure if he hasn't deleted those tweets from way back when, because I still remember it, okay? The reason why, the reason why he even knew that I was watching it is because he posted his analytics. He posted his metrics showing a major fucking bump in his view counts. A major bump. On that major bump. So it's Hassan's a, it's memory is pathetic. Nothing. He only remembers 
the image. The line. And yeah. he's even yeah, if said... If you didn't see that graph, you would have never have known. He's even said that Jay's probably deleted them at this point because they wouldn't <laughs> match the point. They are in the video that recently released. They are in Jay's video. Yeah. But you don't Jesus. know that because you're so stupid. And How are you you're so wrong on everything, said, always. The, it's a superpower. You said that there's he's he's caught himself on the hook. Let's uh, well, I might believe that he's going to see the tweet. In no, question. he's he's never going to be. No, all three oh, of them right, never okay. learned. And to be fair, yeah. Hassan's not looking at it. The other two were, and they still didn't fucking notice because this. Oh, it's hard to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, Mahler. I'll say it because they're stupid. That video. Most YouTubers don't mind that. Actually, love that shit when Twitch streamers react to their videos. Because they, get a, a because they <laughs> get a fucking fat bump. Because they get a fucking fat bump. 207. This is not in thousands, it's in ones. <laughs> it's, it's unreal, but they only sold the image. And so they were like, oh, look at that skyrocket. It's one hour. The previous and next hours weren't affected. Yeah. Do you know how, like... <laughs> they just have zero understanding like of chat. analytics. Spike in views. Technically? Meanwhile, meanwhile, you've gained the utility of 30,000 people watching a video that you didn't make. Hmm. He just gets to get away with all- well, he doesn't get to get away with it in the sense that everyone in chat and us get to see that this is all fucking horse shit, and Jay's audience are probably more than aware of it, but, you know, Hassan's audience for the most part have no clue. Posted it on his fucking Twitter, he was like, I wonder who's watching this now. And then found out that it was me. Turned around and got very upset because I wasn't reacting hard enough, okay? And then turned around and, and made a video a year ago. It's so upsetting as well because Jay knew that a Twitch streamer had seen it. And I could be wrong on this, but if I remember correctly, Jay was like, excited to check out who'd reacted to it. And then was like, oh, they just left. Wow, they've just yeah. stolen my video. And it's like, yep, that happens. And I remember being fucking shocked when I was linked to it. Charitable, fair critique, and yep. this happened. Then he multiple throughout the multiple times throughout the past year, despite the fact that I already apologized for it and agreed with him and said I'm never going to watch his videos ever again. Okay, because I did not have him on my broadcast immediately. Okay, because I did not have him on my broadcast immediately. I wish I had a clip of this, but I'm pretty sure it's as simple as someone in his chat says Jay's willing to come on, and then he just goes, no. No. Like, oh. Then invited Nazis to hang out with him. <laughs> he literally fucking made multiple videos, went on podcasts with, like, actual fucking Nazis and Sargon Fuck Bacod. Fuck you, man. <sighs> Fuck you. Actual Nazis. Just yeah, not, not those fake Nazis, the, 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 the real ones. The people Nazis who were just... Moderates, I get. I don't even know. Fuck you, man. Actual Nazis, real ones, the Hitler types. Yeah, it's like, how many times can we clarify that, that all of this is false? Jay didn't jump on the stream. Jay's never met Sargon. We're not Nazis. There was no Nazi kill stream related to Hassan's coverage of React streamers. It's like, what else is this? All bullshit. <sighs> Eight hour long reactions to my fucking stream, which I don't even have a problem with. Go ahead, have fun. They made multiple eight-hour-long fucking podcasts with a bunch of fucking Nazis and Stop saying it over and over and over <laughs> and over again. Shit like that. So that's ridiculous. And it's been an entire year and he's still making fucking videos about me- I think someone in the chat will like tomorrow be like, by the way, Jay made another stream with the Killstream Nazis about you. I hope so. And then Hassan will be like, figures, how many is that now? Like 17? And someone in chat will be like, no, 26. And you'll be like, fuck me, man. 26 I streams. Someone in chat makes a good point. He said Nazis and Sargon. So I guess, so he thinks that they're, well, of course, Sargon is obviously not a Nazi, we're, but we're rational. But Hassan so I guess would think he is, right? But He thinks he does, he isn't? They're different? Yeah, right? I mean, he, if he's so taking the time to, be... to separate Hassan, uh, sorry, Sargon and Nazis, then yeah, Hassan doesn't think. We're worse. Yeah, I, yeah, <laughs> we're I worse. guess the implication is that we're, we're the worse. worse than Sargon. Yeah. I'm so, I, I feel bad about this. I was like, just curious, have you guys tried to get him on EFAP to talk to him? It's like, good god. You know what? Oh, I wow. haven't, but there's so just 0% chance of him ever yeah. coming on EFAP that I haven't well, even Well, wait tried. a minute. Don't say 0%. Okay, we okay. criticized Hassan for sure. Hassan, you're welcome to come on EFAP if you want to talk about any of this. Um, <laughs> I, it feels funny to say, because I'm just like, 
There's no fucking way. I assume no someone way. from from your chat is going to go into Hassan's chat tomorrow and say, "Hey, did you know Jay stream with Nazis for another eight hours?" You know, Nazis the, the Nazi said they'd happily have you on, you on to podcast. discuss the topic. And he's like, <laughs> "Why would I want to discuss this with Nazis?" Watching a video of his one year ago. So, what do you expect me to find uh, charitable in that situation? That's fucking in this invented well, yeah, scenario. In this invented <laughs> reality of yours. Yes. Mm -hmm. He's not even going to remember where he got the Nazis comment from. We saw where he got it from, but he won't yeah, remember. Yeah, asking him, why do you think we're Nazis? He'll be like, uh... I saw someone in chat say it. I also saw someone in chat say Sargon was on it with Jay. Yeah, that's where he got all this shit from. It's yeah, cool. that's where he got it. I wonder if he will remember that if we were to ask him hypothetically. Yeah, why, why do you think we're Nazis? Platform, you know? Man, that super responsible use of the platform. Oh, yeah. Who gives a fuck? Well, it's us, isn't it? He doesn't care about us crazy okay so i blocked them and i wanted to move on but his fucking weirdo fan base still is getting in here and uh, still and trying to get me to fucking is also weird too it's not like they could have any legitimate criticisms <laughs> no this is like actually one of the most infuriating frustrating things i think i've ever seen on this show like this is insane i cannot believe that somebody can have such a large audience yet just spout so much stupid false shit Lie and after do so lie smugly after lie. and confidently, and then we see the montage of like all of the times that he's been incredibly like fucking cruel to people in his own chat, just banning people because they give him light criticism. Meanwhile, turns around and talks about how he runs towards the criticism and what an awesome guy and how receptive he is. Look at how much soldier. I poured. I apologize for this thing that I did that I about a year ago that was five minutes, even though it was fifteen minutes and it was less than a year ago, and it doesn't even matter. And you didn't even address the criticism that Jay levied towards you. And you didn't even watch the video. And despite not watching the video, you say that the video sucks and that it's clearly uncharitable based on this fictitious reality that you've invented on like two things that you saw in chat. Get out of here. Come on. It's insane. I can't believe that you would be like one of the largest Twitch streamers in the political space. It's That's wild. insane. I can't it's believe It's wild that. how successful he is. How he's so shit. And just people... You you read the chat scrolling by and it's just so depressing. Like these are people. There's human beings behind Jay these would... keyboards typing these things. Like Jay provided such an airtight. He's right. He was just completely right. And not only was he right, but he was right in a funny way and right in an, inve an incredibly charitable way. And look at how that was like how that effort was rewarded. I can't believe that. That he did everything right and he still got massively penalized. This isn't an ironically it's not fair. absurd scenario that we find ourselves in. This is bizarre. Like it should never this should never have been possible. Whoever yeah. wrote whoever wrote the script <laughs> for Earth is should be fired. <laughs> Characters like this can't be this inconsistent and terrible. And it, what do you mean? It, this is a great. I drama. guess he is the villain, so yeah. it's, it's funny, I could see myself saying if it, like if it was a Hassan in, the, in an Earth TV show, he was this popular and we saw them do this, I'd be like, I don't see how he would be one of the most popular streamers if he was doing shit like that. Like You're I right. feel like that would be like, a criticism I'd make. You're right. You'd be like, this is such contrived nonsense. No one would actually like this fucking asshole. And yet. And yet react to it when the original point is that he doesn't want me to react to his video so why would i do that that wasn't so the turn original point turn someone into a nazi because you didn't react hard enough let me fail i don't think that person is actually a fucking nazi or whatever yeah jay isn't a nazi all of us are get it right come on yeah but i do think uh because uh you know the thing because that, that person does not have stuff. a problem you know hanging out with nazis as long as those nazis are fucking shitting on me <laughs> I like it. I like how he's completely unaware of the history that like Jay is a friend. We, like they don't, they, don't, that they don't understand he's friends with Nazis. Friends are. Oh well, no, but it's just that obviously in his mind he's presumed that it's like oh well, there's this podcast off on the side, and because their interests aligned in terms of criticizing Hassan right. specifically, oh well, look, he jumped on. It's like it's because you don't know anything. You know nothing, but yet you're so confidently going around saying all of these things, but you have no idea. You don't know anything. I can't, and, and I guess it's really frustrating as well to think that there's like 30,000 people watching and like even, even in the face of that, there's still so little in terms, in terms of trying to correct him. In fact, like people actively they know like, a band. like, lol, react harder, omega lol, ho, 11 months, see ya buddy. Thanks for the patronage. Yeah. Thanks for, thanks for the mansion.
Fuck off. Yeah, your parents hate you. Like, what? <laughs> You're the scum of the earth. Chat, like, Worm. And then someone's like, hey, wow, that's a little bit harsh. See you too. Keep I hating your life. Work kid class for giving Andy. Me, money dude, in, in the, pro- the struggle of the proletariat against the capitalist bourgeois. Keep hating your life working class, Andy. You work in retail. You hate your life. Oh, wait, no, I don't. Go out and eat. Oh, and eat some grass in between like 10 second, 15 second pauses. Can't you spit it. on my face and expect me to say thank you. I can't believe it's raining. Okay, you're pissing on my face and and asking me to say it's fucking raining and I should be happy about it. Man, you eloquently that stated. One, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Alex, so eloquent. Judge Judy would be proud. <laughs> he was trying so hard to say the thing. You, you knew the words. You knew the general <laughs> concept, but we we just ah. Uh. It's the it's the one legged it's the one legged yep. spider machine dragging itself through the desert every time. Like if Creaking someone and clunking has made this much content out of one fucking infraction that is literally not. So you continue to make additional infractions when you keep lying about all the different elements, and then you mm-hmm. say that Jay is only recently that anybody would have realized Jay is a, a Nazi from your point of view when someone asked like. That's how bad this has if, gotten. If someone goes to Jay's channel and starts watching his videos, and they're like, wait, this isn't a Nazi. <laughs> I've been lied to. And then they go to my someone channel and they're like, told oh, me a fib. he didn't like Black Panther. Okay, it's a Nazi. Like, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. He didn't like Black Panther. Oof, saved. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Not only minor, but something that I already agreed with. And Yeah, how can you say this 10 billion times over? It's insane. And still be mad apologize for one fucking year ago Stop. Then, i'm Stop sorry i'm not gonna fucking assume that this is like a reasonable person i'm not gonna assume that this is a reasonable criticism what if charlie told you that directly that it was how many people would it take how You're many gonna, people would it take i think you just uh, keep saying no people... until someone with enough clout you know above him you need yes. like fucking aoc to come on his stream and tell him <laughs> it's jay's good faith and then you'd be like <gasps> <laughs> he's like I'm going to assume, perhaps correctly, that this person is farming negative perhaps hatred. Correctly. Perhaps correctly. I like how you even acknowledge that, like, you don't even know whether or not this is correct. But you've just decided bullshit. to do it anyway because you're too lazy to watch the video. So that they can, you know, pick up on all of the people that fucking already despise me on the internet. There's plenty of them. They actually seem to want you to why. react to the video based on the Twitter. They were saying some shit about you not engaging with the arguments. Of course I'm not going to. Why would I give them what they want? Why would they I engage with the argument? engage in I like a discussion. You, why? You, you, oh, fuck. You pivot off from engage with the arguments to why would I give them what they want? <laughs> to engage with their arguments? Why, yeah, why would I engage with their arguments? It's not like I'll I'm a political them. commentator well, so, and that's my job. This is the thing. I it's guess like, in this case, not political, but nevertheless. It's all about that want. clout, man. So if Jay's clout chasing involves listening to arguments, then you can't do that. That's giving Jay what he wants. So you can't, can't be doing that. If Jay ever wanted, I don't know, oxygen. Can't be doing that. <laughs> it's, it's giving in to Jay's arguments or something. I don't know. He just argued himself out of addressing any arguments, and he thinks he's like in the clear. Because they want me to engage with their arguments because it's gonna fucking give them more clout. Right, That's the be point. That he actually wants okay. you to engage with the arguments so that you can reach some sort of common ground, or you well, know, just, just admit that you fucked up. There's nothing um, to be but- done at this point. Then, if you've decided. The, the, the search for clout involves the desire for you to listen to an argument, then it is functionally no different than anyone doing anything. Mm-hmm. My favorite part is how it's unfalsifiable, because even if Jay said that's not my intention, you'd just be like, nah, it is, though. Cause Unfalsifiable you, and no different stuff. than any other approach that it desires to have mm-hmm. you address an argument. What I mean, is this? Even, if it, even if he is searching for clout, who cares? I mean... Well, that's, so that's a big fundamental one that, that we don't have to address, because <laughs> we're all certain that Jay's motivation isn't that, but let's pretend it were. Jay's still correct on this one. Yeah, if Jay's made good points, then you have to grapple with the points. But it's a lot easier to not grapple with the points by just basically slandering Jay. Yeah, yeah. it is um, easy to call people Nazis. Right. Cause, which completely destroys the original and diminishes the original fucking take. I already engaged with yes. anything, actually. You see, Jay's desire for Hassan to address the arguments and react to videos destroys Jay's initial argument, argument of not wanting yeah. Hassan to react. And it's like, that never happened. That was never, yeah, exactly. That you was, made, that, you made up. that up. 
for the number Jay one said, article. Again, to reiterate the point, Jay said, give credit or transform it. That's it. It's a really chill request. And then he gets mad when the it's chat like repeats chill. that, and he's like, I already do that, you idiot. Then he goes, except for that one time where I didn't. About Jay's video. Except for that one time, and that was the person who's actually taking issue with me. Yep. But Crazy. Do you think, because he has, he has spoken at length about this cycle of how Jay won't let it go. Do you think Hassan's brain, be it fanta fantastical or otherwise, right? Do you think he understands the connection between him throwing out accusations of people being Nazi? And people responding to him that that's like in, in keeping this going. Do you think that he can understand no. that he perpetuates this cycle? I think no. Hassan, I think he wants, he wants the best of both worlds. He wants people to leave him alone, but he also wants to be perceived as correct and have the last word on yeah. the subject. But the problem is every time that you have the new word, yeah, of course people are going to disagree with you. They think you're wrong. So yeah. like you can Other never get what might you have want. Something to say. Yeah. Your only option is either to persist with the argument until you convince people broadly that you're correct or to just abandon it and move on. Basically take the mm -hmm. the loss and just try and move on as best you can. But he wants both. He wants to be perceived as correct and left alone. Uh so he can't he can't help but keep just that's why it feels like every time that he's giving all of these defenses of like, well, no, look at all these other creators who like it. These are all just like arguments that are irrelevant, but he feels prop them up. Like, no, I don't do this. I'm actually not bad. I'm good. People like what I do. I do transform. People say that I pause. All of these irrelevant points that have nothing to do with the fact that in this instance, you didn't transform. You were absent for a good portion of the video. You didn't give any credit. And you didn't even apologize for the thing that Jay was like levying criticism about. And then you're surprised that like people are still mad at you when you persistently keep like repeating these false points. One year ago, five minute video, kill stream, like fucking hell. Your brain Someone is like, functioning correctly. No. Someone know. in the Discord said Hassan could lose a game of tic tac toe if you gave him the first four moves. <laughs> yeah, it's like the Connect Four one. That was a. Wasn't that a? Oh yeah, that was. It's the same joke structure as the. Uh, yeah, Connect Four. Which was so Denims would lose Connect Four. I guess Hassan would lose Tic Tac Toe. What's our relevant losing? Maybe he just loses chess. His it's marbles. Just, his his battleship. Three. His pool. Marbles. I mean, the number one fucking criticism, which was the the number one criticism, which was. Don't react to my videos. And I said, yes, no, you're right. I'm so not a criticism. The number one criticism was transform or credit. That's what I mean, man. It's yeah. like the sentence structure constantly is shit as well. The number one criticism, criticism of don't react to my react videos. videos. That doesn't even it's line up. It's not a up. criticism. Yeah, that's not yeah. a thing. Like it, it, It's just a it, command. A demand. It's just a demand. The English yeah, language deserves better. <laughs> I don't know. So, no, it says, Sorry. Can we kick him out? Saying crediting giving clout. Seems like crediting is giving clout, so... Oh, well, yeah, but you'll find that he's more than okay with giving clout to people that he likes or promote him. Yeah, exactly. Because they're good people and they're good faith people. Tartar, that's ridiculous, but I will just not react to your shit ever again. I like how you think that that's some sort of magnanimous thing. Yeah. I'll never react to you again, kind of spoken in that tone as well. Yeah. With that implication. And it's you're said like, with why, why is Jay upset? Privilege. Exactly. It's crazy. I was doing it's you crazy. a favor, but hey, you didn't yeah. appreciate it. I, I will you rescind something my generosity. My face. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you're the only one who loses here. I got plenty of YouTube to steal. Like, I got plenty yeah, of YouTube yeah. videos to steal. I'll never run through it. <laughs> they make it faster than I can steal it. I'm set for life. And as uh, Glidus just said, I think it's also a punishment in his eyes. Like, yeah, he's, he's if anything, he's yeah, annoyed yeah. that you have spoken up. So he's like, time to punish you, bitch. You don't get my reactions anymore. It's actually fucking crazy. There are still people who are, and I've already given so much fucking uh, more attention to this than I should. And no, I don't think like I don't even need to fucking see the. I don't even need to see. I know you. you I know that you are desperate, desperate to ensure that you never have to watch that video. Yeah, but just cool video. Please stop. Yo, to to oh assume God, that true. the video is like good faith. He's correct. He doesn't have to do anything to assume stuff. It just makes him an asshole. That's all. That's what yeah. assuming is. There's a good old saying about that. It makes an ass out of you. You're gonna have to go with you ass. You can't do ass with that one. Ass.
ass -yume. Doesn't work as well. Ass? If you say ass, you got to say ass. Oh, arse. Arsume. That's what you okay. say over in your neck of the woods. You say arse. I, I say both. Arse. 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 Pirates, we love that arse. And... We love that arse. Yeah, pirates arse. probably did like ass, yeah. Arse. You do. It's a, it's a I've seen so many other uh, I, I, the, so many Call other the poop things that this person has done that leads me to believe that they are not anything. being. Yeah, you if you asked him to cite, it'd be a bunch of shit he made up. Well. In any way, shape, or form, good faith in their criticism. How convenient They're is good... that, that? That of everything you've seen, which is nothing except for two things that people said in chat. That you can assume that somebody is entirely bad faith. And therefore the video is probably bad faith, and therefore you don't need to address any of it. Even mm -hmm. though uh, But therefore critical you can still be critical described. of the content of the video that you haven't seen. The person you've literally covered and said is a good person and a friend of yours, critical, has vouched for the video. Seen the video and is vouching for it, yeah. No, oh he's my. too charitable to this video I haven't seen. Good faith. That's whenever it, I say the, when the, Mahler or Fringy or someone's like, Hey, Rags, this show's really good. I think you'd like it. I say... Fuck off. I, you can't be trusted. <laughs> How dare you side with the trusted, show? Yeah. You're capitulating. The way that they're seeming good faith, they're seemingly behaving in a good faith capacity, is specifically so dummies like you. Ah, there it is. Jay's only coming oh, across as good faith to convince people split. that Jay's acting in good faith. Very mm, clever. Jay's masterminding here. You Jeez. definitely can't win at this point. <laughs> there is wow. no victory. Yeah. You can't win. You cannot win. If you do something good, if it's because you're only using it so that you could tactically get some advantage out of it, some underhanded, sly, weaselly turnabout on it. Well, it's been rationalized that the only response Jay could have and be a good, morally upstanding person is to not respond. How very convenient. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. It just... Uh... I love it though, it's just like, that's the last thing that Jay has, is objectively speaking, has been civil and good faith in terms of like approach to everything, and then Hassan is like, yeah, just what he wants you to think. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, wait, what? <laughs> so it's just over then. There's nothing. We'll turn around and think, oh, this person is just making good faith criticisms. See, this is what I mean. Like, man, this sucks. You're being super close-minded about this and making it seem way more unreasonable than it is. No, dude, you bye don't want to see it as an unreasonable thing, okay? That's what it is. That's what it is. Ooh, That's what it is. is. This, how long has this guy been around? Let me uh, account. He's following 6 November 2021. So. It's only a few months in. Yeah, not that long. Before yeah. he got oh, banned, yeah, I that's, imagine. That's not, I can't believe that that's where we're at. It's like, oh, he's only been supporting you for a few months. <laughs> he's. That's you so might odd. be safe. That yeah. was like a year ago. No, it might even protect him from being bad, but I'm assuming not because it was about to happen. Oh, yeah. Brother. I'm not talking about this. react that's harder. I'm not talking about like, why haven't you fucking addressed that uh, you shouldn't watch people's content without consent. Why haven't you addressed that, uh, whatever. Like, you're doing this. You're doing this right now. Yeah, you are the reason the why questions. it's like impossible I, I for like you to ever- I because the first thing that he posted on this day was, um, shouldn't you respond to Jay's arguments he made in this video that isn't just saying react harder? That's pretty- I like how he has to pull up the log to see, oh, what other dumb stuff have you said? And that's the first thing he said is incredibly reasonable. You know what? Can you watch it first? Maybe How do these person... semi-reasonable people find themselves on a Hassan stream? Did they get lost? Rags. Or, like... Look, I don't, I don't mean to correct you, but this person is desperately looking for the next episode of Leftovers, which is the Hassan H3 show. Oh. What? Right. So oh. maybe they are a lost cause. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh. Hey, you know what? Maybe that show is great. Maybe it's I'm just sure it's great. sure it's fantastic. Incredible the wonderful insights commentary. of Hassan. And Ethan, Ethan Klein. From they are such brilliant minds, political minds of our generation. Yes. Fucking, uh, uh, like, to ever respond to something. Uh, normally, dude. You fucking weirdo. How do you not understand, random you guy? Literally. You, d you don't know anything other than they said, hey, could you, like, watch it and then respond to it, please? It wasn't that, ba it wasn't bad faith. And you're like, oh, yeah, you weirdo. Loser. You're with him. You you're Girl turning him. him against me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you uh, let him hear. Literally random guy. If someone has made videos about you over the course of the literally past fucking year. Guy, for but 
Oh, that's a great way to, to over the top, yeah. just it broaden that, times, though. Also, if, yeah, he uh, is allergic to using literally correctly. Oh, yeah. He, um, if just if someone made two videos about you in six months that you say they are making many, several different all of the videos about me over a year. It's like, yeah, you made that sound as deranged from what it was as you could. Huh? I can see why they made videos on you. It would have been really cool <laughs> if um, if he just as the video progressed said it was over a year and then two years and then five years and then ten years <laughs> until he got to like a hundred years. <laughs> it's like, Wait, what? For a thing that you apologize for, then that person is not being serious and sincere. Ah, okay. I paint want him. you to fucking just understand, dude. Slap I want him. you to understand. I want you to fucking respond to me. I want to understand. Making it seem way more unreasonable than it is. It hurts how to see arguments you make about other things because you are literally making assumptions of calling bad faith with no engagement. Just weak, bro. Instead yeah. of banning you, I'm, I'm putting you on the fucking spot. I get that, dude, but it isn't an apologies after. Yeah, I know what he's after, dumbass. He's after me what? reacting to his video, just like he wanted to come on the stream. See? The idiot, you don't realize Jay's just getting them views. Jay's just view farming, man. That clout, clout goblin. I know that already, okay? I know that. He just wants clout. That's what he's after, and you're giving it for him. Right, I'm moving. I'm banning, and I'm giving moving it on. for him. Amazing. Yeah. I've already given you, you, you got the you're, number you're wrong. Giving it for him. Giving him to him, not for him. It's wrong, a, wrong number. Right, come on, he's tired. It's been what, like five hours for him? Six hours now. Yeah. He's he's he said thirty minutes worth of words over an eight hour period. We need to we do need to <laughs> relax. Yeah. And uh yeah, that person's gone. It's been so Bye. much I've already given so much. He wants attention, guy. that's it. He so wasn't much. that bad. It's mostly just react harder. Jay also said he didn't think you shouldn't watch the video. Just that I know he doesn't think I don't. I shouldn't watch the video. He wants me to watch the video. I'm not giving it in to him. I'm not giving in to that demand because how it's. You, how can you simultaneously make both arguments? Because he's dumb. I have <laughs> agreed <laughs> that Jay is correct, and I agree that I shouldn't watch the video. However, Jay wants me to watch the videos because Jay is a clout farmer. Weird to hold those two positions, but let's see how it plays out. It's been great so far. Farming. You're not a content creator, so you don't understand how this works. Oh, this argument. Yeah, I am. I feel like since he hooked you once, he owns the incident. The only way he'd let that go that year ago incident is if you gave him a new incident to make more content on. The only way to win is not to play. Exactly. Oh, there you go. That's it. So I don't want to play. I don't want to play anymore. So these fucking weirdo fans need to shut the fuck up and leave, okay? Yeah, but don't watch stop nerds criticizing me. Oh, this is the, uh, the interesting thing I just added because it was a part Oh, of this. no. They hate YouTube. Whoever linked this knows. Wait, really? Nerd City hates me? Why? I've watched some of their videos. They're fucking really good. They hate me? Are you sure? Uh-oh. Okay, I won't. It's, it's so interesting how he Achilles investigates heel. this claim immediately. He needs to find out. He has know. to know. He instantly engages into detective Hassan mode. Dude. Because it's such... It, I told you, Hassan is... It's all about Hassan. It's the all about Hassan. Chaser. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize why he was checking Twitter. He's checking to see if Nerd City Nerd follows City. him. Nerd City, yeah. Yeah, and he doesn't follow him. So now Although, can you see that uh -oh. someone has said but there at Hasanabi, what about the 700,000 views on your VODs? That's much more eyes than 30k. I'm not even sure what point that's supporting, but uh, it's just interesting to think about, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He likes Veritasium. I saw a video with him complimenting Veritasium. Well, so, so you could say if Veritasium doesn't like him, he'd probably freak out about that too. This is the thing. He got you know, so... Just, put, just putting it out there. <laughs> He got so paranoid so quickly that he was about he like? to support or at least passively approve of a channel that might not like him based on one random chatter. Eat me? Are you sure? Instantly, yeah. Okay, it's I won't watch him. their video then. Fuck You're... me! Jesus Christ! Yeah. Holy shit! Yeah. Nobody go into Hassan's oh chat and tell him that YouTubers he likes don't him. like him. Yeah, I just keep telling him like, his favorite YouTubers hate him. <laughs> Nobody do you need like a God. meme of Veritasium that's like a quote saying Hassan is the biggest dipshit on the internet. Veritasium. Um, 
the end is so we're not actually at the end but i just this is kind of the end i just like this is the the best three quotes from the three wow. of them i think at least it was my choices youtube content is there when i ain't got nothing else left to talk about dude let's be Man, straight about is, our business this was such what does times. take pride in your work mean i don't know oh, gold. <laughs> the need to humiliate people sometimes you need to make an example out of them <laughs> Wait, what does still take another, pride in your work? Well, that's the meritocracy. It seems like there is a little more to this video, so what's going on? Oh what? my god, oh, bonus, bonus oh, what? what? Oh shit. Even clip channels are being annoying and commenting in the description on how you're wrong? Why are they clipping me then? Are clip like, if my own you? fucking clip channels are clipping all of my videos to make money, why are you fucking clipping wrong information then? If that's the case. And then fuck you, dude. Don't make me what? DMCA your bitch asses. I will destroy Whoa. the Hassan Eclipse Industrial Whoa. Complex. Whoa. I have, I will make what Russia is doing to Ukraine look like little kisses to the Hassan Abi Eclipse what Industrial the, Complex. Do you understand what, me? What? Is, oh no! Oh, oh, so you're just motherfuckers are literally posting my YouTube videos uh, from my fucking Twitch, stealing this shit because I allow them uh, to, I, so they can make money off of it, just to make me look fucking bad or shit on me. What the hey, fuck is this? To the people, Hassan, Dude, this is. That is an insane density of just incredibly telling quotes. It's amazing. Yeah. It's absolutely amazing. When I saw that quote, I was like, no way. I let really? them steal, but they're making me look bad? Like, oh my god. Well, Plus I like that he, we, had an, we had an unspoken right arrangement. Now. He instantly knows it's stealing. Yep. What's happening to him. Instantly. When it's happening yeah. to him. Instantly, yeah. yes. I can't, Crazy. that is, I, I can't. Some person the, the told me this YouTuber doesn't like me, so fuck him. And yeah, when it's I'm about me, it's got to be about stealing. And it's a it it it's the mind of a child. It's the mind <laughs> of a child. He's the mind of a child. Oh, he has what the mind is this of a additional child. additional flame crumbs? What what is this? Ooh, this is just, additional yeah. flame crumbs. Yeah, this is just more oh, the bank no, account. No, no, no. well. I mean, that's true, but. I would go so far as to say oh, that yeah. I am way more fucking manageable uh, in comparison shit. to like 99% of content creators it, with respect Come to on. taking criticism, which really? everyone will laugh at and say that's wrong <laughs> because you've only fucking seen wrong. clips of me yes. uh, yelling at a chatter. But I routinely admit my mistakes. I routinely say that I was <laughs> wrong. I apologize when I'm wrong. Oh. And all the people that, that are good. now memeing and saying copium is good. funny, and I'm not going to ban any of you, even though I should. <laughs> um, but I should. You know, you've been in here for in long my mind, you know you that. The only people I fucking lose my shit on are motherfuckers who make like entire careers out of like literally. Oh. Wh yeah. Literally oh. fucking going that, the ape shit buck wild, cutting as many videos as possible yeah. anytime there's even a mere that mention. That one person who said, hey, I don't think you did a great job on uh, arguing these trans issues. Were they somebody who's made m multiple videos criticizing you, huh? They made multiple letters in his comment section. That's basically the worst. I just want to just, just, just to make sure that no everyone understands the, the comment he responded to there was no content creator takes criticism well. And he says, well, I do. Like, yeah, I, you, that is hilarious. You're isn't fucking it? kidding me. Like, nobody responds well to criticism. Well, in my defense, I think I'm pretty good at responding <laughs> to criticism. And then when his I chat calls him out, cool him. he's like, oh, right. I should ban all of you. That, it's, <laughs> it, 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 it's, so, it's like performance art. I'm good at taking criticism. <laughs> Those of you criticizing me, I should ban you, but I won't. Like, <laughs> maybe that's maybe we're wrong here. Maybe Hassan is some like Andy Kaufman esque hero who's in um, the long con. So I happened the other day to be looking at the comments of the multimedia medley we did last time, and I saw okay. this comment. Rags, would you care to read this comment that was made four months ago regarding Jay? And let's just I'm let's just to. give it a feel as to whether or not it's relevant today. All right, let's take a look here. This rogue fox. All right. Uh, Jay respectful. Uh, Jay respectfully tries to argue the mistakes of the Snyder Cut and the faults of the director. His detractors. This kid has chosen the wrong side. He needs to be punched in the face. <laughs> the life of Jay is one of pain and tragedy. Wow. That is. That is oh, Rogue Fox, you're out there it's somewhere. Just... Welcome to welcome to now. Welcome to this mad yeah, man. Life is suffering. Well, okay. yeah. So, 
the TLDR, Jay was wronged. He responded about as well as possible and got dragged um, through the dirt for it. And, and we just went through the whole saga of that. It was, uh... Yeah. It was insane. Uh, mm -hmm. all I've got left now is just something funny that I caught because I was, I was, I watched a little bit of Chud Logic. I was gonna do this while he was here, but now I think it's actually oh, no. funnier while he's not here. So let me just get the, the timestamp right. Oh. It's like right at the end of one of his newest VODs. Uh, Last video, I know some. Yeah, let's one, two, 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 six. Okay. Basically, like going. One sec. Uh oh. <clears throat> oh, yeah, this is the Noah Sampson drama. It's really not relevant to any of what the topic is. Just, uh, just check this out. My life these days. Okay. And last thing, I am aware of all of the criticisms from my last video. I know some. Yeah, listen, I'm not a, a leftist. I'm not one of your fucking lefty, soy fucking leftoid pricks. I'm not one of those people, okay? I'm not. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit about being part of your fucking in-group, okay? I've seen the things you do. I've seen oh the way God. you act, and I fucking despise you, okay? I don't want anything to do with you. I want you to just fuck off, to be honest, okay? My chat would be um, immeasurably improved if all the leftoids just fucked off and watched some other soy cunt, okay? Because I'm not interested in having you as part of my audience, okay? And if I've got to be more racist, if I've got to be more bigoted, if I've got Yo. to do more stupid stunts to piss you off so that you fuck off, I'll keep doing them. And I'll keep doing them, and I'll keep doing them. Because all you do is fucking annoy me with your stupid comments in chat. You're fucking pathetic. You're pussifying the internet, and I'm fucking sick of it. Go and watch someone else. Fuck you. Well, I guess. Based. 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 Great. Very good. I yeah, that was the that. guy who was on That's today. Epic rant. Link in description. He's quite a little Based. entertaining lad. Nice. Weasley, sniveling like little liar. I just love the power he says, I've seen what you do. I don't want to be a part of your group. <laughs> And with that, is that is that the conclusion of this painful arc? Yes. Already? Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah, quick. Did you? Link it, oh it. man. Did you want to show the thing, Adam? Or are we gonna show it on our stream? Our well, let's drop it tomorrow morning. Okay. You Should we tell so Mahler about it, or is it gonna be a secret? Oh god. Mm, they'll secret just head messages. Secret, yeah. Okay, we have a we have a secret Hassan thing. <gasps> Oh, that you oh. might all find very enjoyable. Yeah, hopefully Hassan right. finds it. Um, okay. Hopefully Where, Hassan there finds is one it more enjoyable. I suppose. I, do I mean, wanna... I have a ep. What? Oh, do I need to get I back collect together? epic rants on my secret channel. I have like a Nick Ricada rant that's fucking epic. I have a Destiny rant uh, rant that's pretty epic. Um, I I think considering everything, this is this is this feels about right to bring up. Uh, oh, okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, I'll, I'll just, just segue into it through saying, right. Jay has mm -hmm. been having a lot of fun time getting shat on by everybody unfairly, and I think this has been probably a form of support doing these, uh, these little streams because yes. we like Jay a lot uh, over here on the uh, Fappens. And what's really neat, if you didn't know, oh boy, is that Jay's actually launched a little plushie, and if you wanna. To help Jay What's out in any way, shape, or form, and you have some spare mm -hmm. moonies. This is uh, this is it. Got a little. I think that's the 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 time code for the Doctor Who video right the there. Doctor Who video. Um, mm -hmm. which pisses a lot of the Doctor Who fandom off, from what I gather. And Jay's got a little Rido, which looks pretty Aww. cute. Um, I'm definitely gonna be picking up one of these. Obviously, I I ain't forcing anybody to do anything, but it would be really cool if we could at least get it funded. Uh. Jay is 35% along the way. We still got 19 days to go. So, um, I mean, if you want to put a little plushie next to your rags and mauler, or your sitch and Adam, because I know that you guys did plushies at one point, right? Round um, out the EFAP and Friends of EFAP collectible um, smorgasbord. Yeah. Um, I think as well. If, if, you don't get a, if you don't get a J plushie, then... Who will rags and Mahler plush? Who will who will they punch and exactly. kick? And <laughs> Someone's got to be kicked. Yeah, they won't. They won't have anyone to. Who will they accuse of bad faith? 
Oh god, imagine a Hassan plushie. It just like, fucking shoots itself in the head when you buy it. <laughs> yeah, god, it's so stupid. Um, it just says racial slurs when you pull the string in the back. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, if it pulls a string, it'd be like, keep hating your life, then working class Andy, and <laughs> basically all the Destiny dono sounds. <laughs> 22 months, banned. Yeah, you can gnome, obviously. That's, that's gonna be in there. I'd also recommend, yeah, because while we were streaming, uh, Jay's managed to get the um, the Lego video out. Lego Star Wars. Oh, excellent! I gotta yeah. watch that. The first version got pooped on by uh, copyright. Actually, it's it's interesting because uh, you guys would have seen a whole refresh of all the visuals from that when I was fucking doing Super Chat Catch Up, and so you get to do like a full review on it. That's as in the title says, a serious critique of Jay's hunting down the Lego games, the classic ones, which is kind of funny. Because right now, I only see them as kind of kind of cool and awesome compared to the new one, which I will go into next week. Don't worry about that. In fact, people who are wondering when I'll stream that next, it'll probably be Monday or Sunday. I'm not actually sure yet. I'm not sure what's going on in my life anymore. Everything's blue. But, mm. yeah, I would recommend checking that video out. As well as, as I said, supporting Jay with a little bit of a ploosh purchase. I shall pop the link into the top of the description. And, you know, it, I just think it's a really neat way to support uh, creators, especially one as, as pure as Jay, who mm -hmm. uh, will probably come on next week to talk about LEGO Star Wars, and then we will likely talk about Moon Knight. Who knows what else may pop up in the world of the multimedia medley. I've collected a whole bunch of stuff. Um, so, yeah, that pretty much does it for, for the cuvelage. Um, so I suppose... Next up will just be uh, good old Sitch and Adam. Adam Sitch, what are you guys doing? What are you up to? And where can people find you? What are we doing tomorrow? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I almost started asking in the chat, hey, what should we cover? But I don't, I don't we know. have some choices. We have there's a philosophy tube video, there's a demon mama video. Okay. There's a we could do that matrix video. This is like officially your job now. So. I know. Listen, I had That's to prepare for this idea. stream. Okay, I didn't have time. I know. This now we're both on here. I did so much prep work for this today. For this stream? Did you really? No, you no, didn't. I did zero prep work. <laughs> I was going to yeah, say, just, why? What? Yeah. How? <laughs> right. But we'll figure it out. We'll watch some Maybe we'll just horrible take a day off. What do you think? No, no, no. <laughs> Fuck that. No, no, no. No, we'll, we'll I mean, watch I one of those three. I wouldn't take anyway. I just work on something different. But okay, uh, cool. you can catch us out. No check us out at the Sitch and Adam. That's the name of the uh, YouTube yeah. channel, Sitch and Adam. Sitch show. and Adam show. Yeah. You guys sound really Great enthusiastic. Great video dropping tomorrow. We're tired. Listen. I know. Yeah. We're nearly at nine I've hours. It's been a long boy. Um, it's been a long yeah. day. I very much appreciate you both uh, hanging out for as long as you did. Um, Sitch, obviously, a lot longer because he's he's a better person. Um, but that Adam, is true. Thank you. Adam tried. I, stu I stayed till the end, though. But I mean, you did. <laughs> did you? Why can't we? Why can't we throw a short fat of taco and shut logic under the bus? Because they, they came I mean, on for the first I think half I rather than the second than half. Them. Second half people are just stanky, yeah, you know. But, Based off people, but I think technically, mm -hmm. I, I think technically, I stayed on longer though. I think I think I did more time. I'll than say you did. I'll say you did. Yeah, like, we can way just say more that you did. Short, it's okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Short, right. fatted taco. He was like in and out. He was in and out in an hour. I've I been know. here for like. I came in at what three? I've been here like and for the five sake hours. of his girlfriend too. Disgusting. I know. We're supposed Your to be incels. Didn't you hear that? Uh, well, I'm not incels. <laughs> I'm technically married, so I mean. Oh, okay. That's yeah. well. He can still be involuntarily celibate, but also married. He can still. Be I know. I or... feel. I feel horrible yeah. for those people. I'm no. thankfully not one of them. So. <laughs> those. Uh, people. You're not Scott Adams. Someone asked if our plushies are still available. <laughs> they are not, but eventually they may perhaps be willed. Maybe if. Uh, oh. Obviously, super chats. Yeah, we're, we're not gonna be able to do them today's ones today. They will be all done on Wednesday. Um, what are you doing? Because yeah, we're we're definitely capping out. We try to we're trying not to go to the uh, the actual YouTube cap these days. We're trying to go for a more reasonable cap of just nine ish hours. Definitely being a I think it's you seven to be reasonable. <laughs> I mean, yes, I think you guys should Everyone adopt this. Everyone complains. Everybody complains. They, like, they always will complain, hours. but I mean, I just decided yeah. it's not a healthy idea. 
<laughs> to keep doing it's it that true. way. It's um, true. It's true, yeah. So, but yes, we we will definitely get to all of them on the Wednesday. Um, and yeah, of course, thanks to Judd Logic, short, fat, otaku, Adam and Sish for keeping us all company. This has been a fucking horrifying arc, looking into the state of mm -hmm. Twitch. We have learned yeah, nothing what, uh, but bad things we cover next week. Um, about the platform, but obviously there are plenty of fucking streamers who actually give a shit on there. And I wouldn't want it to deter anybody from exploring Twitch, because there's still plenty of good shit you can find there, but holy fuck, they need to fix this problem. Um, and they need to stop encouraging everybody to defend the crap out of all of it. It's so stupid. Stop. It makes you look really dumb. And you get loads of clips made of you. And supercuts. By Mubly. Go on that. No. Um, yeah, uh, uh, free rags. Was well, there anything else you guys wanted to say? No. no. Wow, that was easy. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've been no! fucking jabber jawing on for nine hours. True. Fuck. So, like Plus I said, I'm tired. This will come re-upload tomorrow, and then I'll put out the. Uh, I, I want to see some good top comment ideas for the name of of the supercut of the trilogy, and I'll I'll timestamp them so that they're separated into their sections and. It'll forever be a, a source for you guys to mine clips out of if you really want to from any of the stuff you saw. But, uh, you know, I, I think some of it might be confusing without my commentary, because it wasn't, like, perfectly edited or anything. Like, some stuff is confusing. Um, but hopefully, because it's just like a resource at this point, I suppose. Um, forever to encourage React streamers to be less shit. Um, on that note, thank you all so much for your donations, for hanging out with us. For, yeah, thank for you very giving much. in your thoughts and, it and all that, all the way. and for just yeah, for just for, for being there for it. Thank you so much. We don't think of you as worms who had nothing to society that we want <laughs> dead or whatever. Um, and yeah, good night, everybody, and goodbye. Yeah, have a good one, everyone. I hope that I hope we've learned a lot today. Bye, 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 bye. Bye. Later.